All right. Hello, everybody. Oh. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the end of the trilogy. The third Hollow Knight stream. Welcome, Moy. Welcome, the Emerald Sword. Welcome, Sora Studios. Welcome, Nano Abyss. A Leard. JPS. Hello, weird name. Hello there, Nutella. J Rex. Mommy got a clock. Hello there, Nick! Hello there, Three Loy. Meta. Beyond the cartoon. Hello there, definitely not a robot. Ooh, thank you, Looney, for the membership. Thank you, Boogie. Hello there, Surplus. Deagolite. Suki. Insomnia. Tark. Ah, how's it going? Oh, it is. I when when you started the, the stream and started playing Grimm's theme, I was like a giddy <laughs> kid on Christmas again. I'm so excited. I fucking knew that I had to put something special at the start of this stream. Sorry for making the intro a bit too short, but I think we're probably going to need the time for this stream. We're going to need the extra time uh, for <sighs> all the stuff that we're going to do today. <laughs> Thank you, Seb the Dirt, for the 10 months. 10, mo 10 months, let's go! Hell yeah. So, for those that have not been here for the past two streams, or for those that need a refresher, uh, welcome to the third part of the Hollow Knight streams. Uh, yesterday, we grinded out a ton of upgrades for our character. Uh, but now we're left to do, I think, arguably some of the best content in the game. Uh, I after, except Void Heart. We got the Void Heart cutscene, and that was fucking sick. Uh, oh yeah. But right now we are going to do Deep Nest, which is one of my favorite locations in the game. We're gonna do the Grim Troop DLC. We are <laughs> going to do uh, the True Ending. We're gonna get the Third Dreamer. We're hopefully gonna do the Fragile Flower quest. We are gonna watch the MatPad lore video on Hollow Knight. <laughs> and I'm gonna take a shot every single time this fucker says any bullshit related. You got that root beer ready? Yep. Hell yeah. And we are going to do, at the very end, after everything else is done, after we get the true ending, after we watch the MatPad video, we're going to do... Path of Pain. Ooh, so, hopefully you guys are in here for the long haul. I think this is pretty much content, aside from Deepness, this is pretty much content that I have never seen. Uh, we are going to try to get uh, uh, the Soat battle. We're going to have to get... I, I think Assy wants me to get like most like charms and like get the grubs and stuff like that. But honestly, like I'm fine not 
having this be a 112% run. I just want to get the biggest, most important, most memorable moments of the game into the stream, and then finish it off with one of the hardest challenges that the game, that the main game can give you. Is that good? <laughs> Does he know? I yeah, do not so... know. <laughs> also, got to get. You also got to do collector. I don't know what that is. Okay, you know. <laughs> Uh, Moth goes, uh, has been a member for 10 months and says, 10 months, time is speed, but I hope you have a happy gaming fill. Thank you. Thank you to Marco for the 10 months. Are you going to do 112% today? Yeah, see, like, I don't think we'll be able to. Um, there was an ending that we talked about on the first stream, the mushroom ending. I have no idea what that is, but apparently it takes a long time to do. Not really. You have to just quickly visit locations, and that's it. This is basically still, still the ending. Uh, thank you, Insomnia, for upgrading the membership. Uh, thank you, uh, Panbean Weirdo, for the three months. Three months now! Damn! Can't wait to be able to pay for these myself. Yeah, a lot of people have been giving out gift memberships on the last stream. Uh, thank you so much for that, by the way. Uh, so yeah, this stream... Uh, <laughs> it's mostly just gonna make me playing, and these two are completely allowed to just talk about the game's story and, like, everything open. Open-ended. Because we got the first and second stream out of the way. Right now, it's just... You can, you guys, you two can go nerd out however much you want, you know? I'll just be the puppet playing the game and trying my best not to die, you know? I have all the upgrades. I have some, uh, like health upgrades like i think i think i'm good i think i can play i think i can i think i warm myself up for the challenge maybe i i, I think okay. i think you'll be as ready as you can be yes 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 so i will be <laughs> mostly focusing on doing these hard challenges and you guys can go off and talk about whatever the fuck i will be listening because i'll be i'll i'm the newcomer to hollow knight i i, I touched the surface level of it that's about it you know uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Arcade Punk, for the six months. Yo, how's it going, Phil? Sorry I haven't been on stream a lot. Side note, the Collector is one of my favorite bosses. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have fun with it. <gasps> Wait! Oh, fuck, I really... The Pantheon version, you remember, though? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I beat uh, Markov on my first try, if that's a good, in, a good, a good thing. Is that a good thing? That's that a good thing, yeah. That's okay, a good thing, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, every single time I've been doing these streams, uh, the final hour is dedicated to, like, the hardest challenge that I can get in that stream. First stream was uh, Soul Tyrant. Second stream was the Trial of the Fool. Third, This third stream is going to be Path of Pain, so I hopefully... I, my skills have been sharpened enough to be able to do Path of Pain. Thank you, Vanessa, for the $5. Not feeling good today. Looking forward to the stream, though. Aw, oh, I hope you recover, Vanessa. Uh, gonna try to get my mind off of stuff. I hope that everyone has had a good rest of the day. Thank you. That's very much appreciated, Vanessa. Hopefully everything uh, will turn out well for you. Thank you, Vol Duty, for the membership. And thank you, Three Loy, for the nine months. I accidentally missed yesterday's stream because I forgot to open my other tab with the stream. Luckily, uh, luckily it won't happen again, though, Lamau. Thank you, Three Loy. All right. Hope you feel better soon, Vanessa. All right. Do, do we just go? I, I, I think we just go. I think we just go. I, think, I just think we dive right in. Dive right in. All right. All right. Oh, lordy. Oh, you've got the friggin... <laughs> you've got, got the prepare. grim title screen! You've got the grim truth title screen! Gotta prepare, boy! Hold on, I'm getting my grim plushie for this. I'm gonna hold him for this stream. <laughs> also, uh, before we properly, properly start, uh, Azazel? <laughs> Great goddamn job on that hey, intro screen, by the way. Your art is amazing. Fucking I'm not absolutely wonderful job. I'm not getting paid for that, so please donate all your life savings for me. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, 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 Pastra. Yeah. You got uh, 24 extra bucks because of Primal Aspids last stream. Let's go. <laughs> I knew they would come in clutch. <laughs> hey, at least. Uh, hey, hey, half of those, half of those came from me accidentally killing those fuckers instead of getting hit by them. So let it be known that I only got hit by them like 20 times. 
Oh, only 20. <laughs> only 20. Wow. You, yeah. someone who memorized all the patterns? I learned the pattern. Funnily enough, I didn't... Primal Aspects weren't the ones that were the most, the biggest problem in the Trial of the Fool. Uh, it was the big, sippy, like, mosquito-looking guys. I don't know if you remember those. Yeah, I, I do know what you're talking about. For some reason, yeah. they were just annoying to me. I don't know why. Uh. You, you will, you will, uh, one day I will force you to be the fucking Primal Aspect Queen. That's not a thing, is it? That's a mod? I'm pretty sure that's a mod. Uh, thank you, Weird Name. I will still force you to do that. Weird Name says, the Primal Aspid bed is still on the table, by the way. Yeah, if we if we find a Primal Aspid somewhere in the game while we walk through what we need to left to do, I it, it is still on the table, yes. Alright. Does he know? I do not know, chat, but that's <laughs> the beauty of this playthrough. You know oh, which? Bye. Let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> grim, 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 grim. What is the first thing on the table, boys? Deep Nest. Deep yep, nest. Deep Nest is our first one. And with Deep Nest, you gotta do Nosk as well. Yeah, and Nosk actually, dude, I love to talk about Nosk Legation a lot. Oh, hold on, okay. need to adjust the levels of the, of the game. Hold on a second. Okay, uh, then a second left to the, there's gonna be a little elevator that we can go to resting grounds, we can go to resting grounds station, then we go to Clint station, and then we go right down, we'll do parkour, and... Does it sound like a plan? Yes. Mm -hmm. Crystal dash left. Right, because of the, 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 the little guys. These <laughs> guys are also annoying. Not really. Like, you literally can go past through them. Oh, I love this game. It's so good. It's so good. Dude, I, I, you, I, I said take the elevator. Ah, sorry. Thank you, Black Smile, for the super chat. Just a reminder that you are all awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Okay, now, okay, you know where you are, right? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. He heard the friggin' war cries of like the flying <laughs> monsters and immediately knew where he was. Holy shit, PTSD. Just like me for real. <laughs> no, 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 you have to go to the station. Okay, you have to go to the station and then go to Queen, um, Queen Station. Queen Station? Or yes, Queen Station. What charms do I have right now? Oh, gosh. You're actually not missing that much. No, you've actually been good with charms. Yeah. Most uh, of them actually- Most of them actually will be in a way, so we'll get them. You can buy the rest. And then you're gonna get the really cute Cassian. I yeah. need seven grubs to complete the Father Grub side quest. Seven. Um, four of them. A letter, one of them, in, like how many of them in Deep Nest? Two? Queen's Gardens? I think there's two in Deep Nest. Queen uh, yeah. Queen Station. Wait, why is other one? Okay, no mind, we're gonna beat the collector. It doesn't matter. Okay. Thank you. Oh god, if I remember. Alright. I speak on behalf of nearly the, the entire Hollow room. Knight community when I say that primal aspids are, okay. without a doubt, right the hellspawn out. of Hollow Nest. Dude. Arcade so Pong not, no. super chats five dollars and says, "I speak on behalf of the nearly the entire Hollow Knight community when I say primal aspids are, without a doubt, the hellspawn of Hollow Nest." Thank yeah, you, you see, they know what they're talking about. Okay. Yeah, they know. You don't. Uh, another down? Yep, here. Okay, um... Okay, boing, jump boing, over boing, this. Boing, boing, boing. Okay, then... Uh, left... Yep. Uh, Sora okay, Studios, MC. Super Chat's five dollars and says, I can actually stay for most of the stream, yay! I'm slowly digesting Hollow Knight uh, lore because of these. They're nice to listen to while I work. Yeah! 
Hell okay. yeah. Left up and then just does a straight out. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna watch some Hollow Knight lore in in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> we're not watching good Hollow Knight lore videos. Oh, but you don't understand. Like MatPat solved the lore, right? Like MatPat is the last person to watch for Hollow Knight lore. <laughs> okay. It's, this... it's basically say it's basically to say say like, oh hey, do we have moss bag at home? And basically that's MatPat. Spore shroom. Yeah, literally. I like that. Yeah, like, it, like there's two com like Hollow Knight and Undertale communities like basically drove off MatPat away after he did his stuff, but now like MatPat it's gonna stick by the FNAF community no matter how fucking hard anyone tries to get him off. Uh, um, hmm? Phil? Yes. Can you go back? You're missing. Sorry. You're missing the thing. But yeah, like I, I love that it's both Hollow Knight and. Uh, Undertale, like one of my, like, like s some of the most like fucking lore-heavy communities out there, both are like sick of Matt Pat shit, you know? Yeah, no. He said Sans was Ness one time, and everyone was like, "Okay, nope. you know what? Maybe not." I missed the thing. You, I, you keep talking. I cannot even interrupt you. Sorry. I'm going, going the left. Call, stand on a little, on a little cliff. No, right? Like, left. See? Right oh my god, that's so invisible. Thank you. Okay, now, okay, step. Step and crystal dash. Ow. And just, just nail those guys. Hello there. Bright. Blazing bright. The corpse of a mossy vagabond overcome with infection. Basically, it was a fucking cult. Anyway, to go to the deepness for a second, go right and just walk to the right. Like, do not go down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. This is what happens. And then the ambience immediately fucking starts. Oh, man. So, my first playthrough of Hollow Knight, I fell down here while completely underprepared with, like, almost no upgrades. Like, with no, no fucking double jump, no nothing. So, this area was fucking terrifying on my first playthrough. Oh, if I love I this. Sticking... Okay, if I'm sticking, go... I have to climb up a bit. All right. Oh, the sound design is so fucking good. Deep Nest just sounds creepy. No, you can climb on the left side. Okay, okay, right? Okay, right. And that must be either a breakable wall or like the wall you can go to. Yeah, d down there. If I'm not mistaken, you have to go down. Yep. Welcome to the wor worst place in the game. I would say it's the best one. I don't it's even know the, the lore the of Deep Nest. Spiders. Lots and lots of spiders. But aren't the bugs all sentient? Like, what's up with this place? You can actually talk about it, by the way, because, like, the spoilers yeah. rule is off the table now. Okay, wait, go up. I'm changing this up. And somewhere on the right corner, there must be a breakable wall. Yes. Like, I don't know much about Laura of Hollow Knight, but I do know that Deepness is some sort of area that was blocked off or, like, guarded by the Mantis Lords. I just don't know for what purpose Phil, or what. Whoopa! Right! I, I told you. Mimu! Oh, no. <gasps> They're all over the place here. Home. Mimu. <laughs> this game's like version fucking... of mimics is the best. 
You get so excited because they're so cute when you come to see them and then they just like... Ugh. Fucking disgusting. I love too how the dream nail can be used to reveal them. Like that's such a cool little thing. That makes total sense too. Yeah, it absolutely does. Ah, oh, so fucking good. There's no like any okay. visual indicator. It's just like... Just, go, just fuck dream now. go fuck yourself. Okay, I was heading straight to B thing. Like, where are hiding? Okay, bust your way with hiding first. Pass the, the fucking bench or. On shore. We need to find a bench first, though, yes. Yeah, absolutely. That should be top priority here. Bench, bench. Even uh, though when I bench. first played this game, I, I was desperately trying to look for a bench and then I realized, oh wait, now I can't actually go back in my save. I'm stuck in here. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Like, that's a trap. Like, finding a, be a bench in this place, I, I was so desperately trying to find it, and then I realized, oh wait, no, I, I can't actually leave now. Yeah, now I'm stuck down here. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, this location is amazing. I love I love how the creepiest place in the game is the one that's oriented around spiders. That feels just so oddly fitting. So why is it yeah. so like this, though? Uh, what do you mean exactly by this? Why is it so animalistic and creepy and horrible compared to all the other places in the kingdom? So, oh. do, you, do you want to explain, or...? Go ahead. Basically, the way I describe it is that the whole the whole thing in like you know Hollow Knight lore and like the reason why Hollow Ness became the way it was is because of the Pale King, right? He showed up and everyone started worshiping him as like this deity. Yes. The the entirety of Deep Nest was um, sort of controlled and like the local place of like the spider tribe and they were delayed. not Focus for it they right. did not like the pale king they did not worship him they were kind of just their own little um they were kind of just like their own little society that existed in the same <gasps> place but didn't worship him hello corny is it this blows gets me the creeps vicious little creatures burst on all over the place and the passages are dark a dark twisting maze Unless you're well prepared, I'd urge you to leave. Uh, though, if you're feeling strong enough to descend, would you like to buy my map? Absolutely. Thank you, Corny. He's Hold so on. scared. You gotta help him out. Dude, you know what's the worst part? When I, when I got here... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Deepness is one of my favorite yet of the horrific locations, because I'm arachnophobic. <laughs> Oh. oh, yeah, that'll do it. Your favorite game is the bug game, but you're arachnophobic. Dude, dude, I'm afraid of bugs, like, well, most of them. But this is my favorite game. Yeah. That's gonna be good. And yeah, but I, most of, most of find, them actually can kill you. Ever seen jumping bugs, spiders? Like, super fascinating. Jumping spiders are adorable. Let's not talk about them. Aww. They're little sweeties. What's wrong with them? Yes. You, I, I just said I <laughs> But there's like a little bit of 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 what? Their tarantulas are cute as well. They're little fussy balls, you know. Yeah, they're little what fuzzy the... guys. <laughs> Azaz what, is currently what? vomiting. Uh, no, I'm currently questioning why I'm playing in Call of Duty too. Because they're you cool. love this game. Wait, and you love this game. Wait, wait, Basha, and you like us? Wait, wait, wait Basha, Maybe? is it the location? No. Basha, uh, it's, uh, is it the location? I'm not sure. I can't see enough to discern. Hold on a second. Let me open up my donation ticker. Thank you, uh, Sin, for the five dollars. Sorry for being delayed. Hopefully, it's all going well. Yeah. Thank you, Arcade Punk, for the five dollars. For deepness, they were already sentient before Pale King showed up, like the Mantis people and Fungus, but they completely rejected his rule. 
you're Andrew Layton for the three months. Hi everyone, enjoying the streams as always. My favorite one for this month as so far is the OC review. Gives me inspiration to do my art better. Yeah! Uh, not sure if you saw that stream poster, but we went through like 230 like blob sonas for that stream. And some of them were like fucking amazing. Like the, commu like, the community here is, like, filled with, like, tons of, like, talented artists. And, like, I love their work. Like, that yeah, was I, I really fun. Oh. I checked in every now and then. I almost, like, I, I, I wanted to make one for that stream to just to see what your thoughts on it. But I was literally so busy working on the makeshift ad that I couldn't. Yep. Spinning plates. Don't have to fucking add more plates to your schedule, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My god. I'm happy it's done with, though. My god. You did good on it. What? <gasps> hey, look, it's you. Yes, <laughs> hey, look, it's you. Yeah, don't worry. I know what this is about, but like, it's still I, fucking cool. I, I know, I know, but for the people in chat who have no clue what that is. <laughs> oh, hello. Is, is it another one of our siblings from the abyss? Oh, what's he doing all the way down here? Oh, poor thing. Let's, let, let's chase. We're let's gonna have... Let's, let's, check, gonna, it let's check it out. Let's yeah. check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Yeah. Is it one of our siblings from the you? abyss? You know, like, yeah, maybe he maybe he escaped yeah. somehow? Hello, uh, buddy? This is full... This is full for, like, young. I've got some, like, cool lore I want to talk about with Nosk, too, whenever we actually dude, get to see him. Yeah, dude, I want to... I want to... I want to talk about a fucking location, like, specifically. The trap mm -hmm, bench. Mm -hmm. I just want to talk about, like, how Nosk works, because I find the way Nosk works so fascinating. Family reunion? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh my mark. reunion! Oh my gosh. Okay, really? Yeah, yeah, go on that. Yep. Go there. I'm from there. I guess you will not get lost. Thank you, Looney, for the $10. Nah, mate, that's just cussing Jerry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Jerry, what you doing in deepness? Get out of here, man. Doing, man. Oh, um, Mimu! I, li I like how you actually learned. Well, it's deep nest. If you have to learn someplace, it'll be this one. Yeah, but no trust. If, if it's if it's gonna be a person who gotta learn, it's not you. Who's this? <gasps> oh my God! Brother, here. brother, Co cousin Jerry. Do you have some oats? Oh my gosh, Lanky Larry! Oh, you got something to eat down here. There's nothing but spiders. Oh my gosh, Lanky Larry! Hey, do you? Do oh my God, it's Lanky Lenny! Hey, 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 Jerry! Would you would you like to own a pet tarantula? Do you like spiders? <laughs> Why did you, you like spiders? Hey, hey, cousin Jerry! Do you like spiders? You a fan of spiders? You think jumping spiders are cute? Why every single stream of those must be a torture of mine? Ah, spiders are up, cool. <laughs> what what you looking at? Look at that there, buddy. Looking at spiders. <laughs> oh, cool moment. <laughs> I'm no, pretty mate, sure. That's just cousin Jerry. I'm pretty sure I found this guy before I, before like I went down into the ancient basin. Did I go? Oh. Did I? Did I get? Did I go into the abyss on my first play? I I straight up just honestly don't even remember if I went to the abyss on my first playthrough. Um, I mean, I mean, have you thought? Hornet on your first playthrough? Yes, I did. I mean, you could, you could see it on the stream, like... I... like, I... no achievement oh, popped up. <gasps> no achievement popped up, so... you know. Yeah, yeah. Um... Shortcut over here. <laughs> of course, it's gonna be the first <laughs> thing we do. <laughs> After I kill this guy, no, no. I'm, after I friendly meet this guy, uh, you you can talk about his deal. Yeah, I I really want to talk about Nosk lore. He's one of the creepiest characters in the entire game. Cousin Jerry lore. Cousin Jerry lore. Planky Lenny. Planky Lenny. Oh. Chad, look at look. Sorry. Hello, brother. Do you have oats? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, He's motherfucker! So cool. Ah! 
I love so much how literally like the head on the body he's mimicking flips upside down to create mandibles. The fuck? Like, cool. Okay, can I just say I really like the like we get to see our like siblings being dead. Yeah. yeah. Like, especially like okay, Phil? Yes. I remember how you asked me like oh yeah, like if all the bitches got stuck in the bitch. Like, yes. why our night, though? Like, that scene is going, like, yeah, uh, you know? Yeah, uh, okay, uh, question for Pastor, like, the, the thing that I uh, asked Azzy. So, we learned, obviously, that the knight was, uh, the, the, the character that we're playing out right now is one of the failed children that didn't manage to become the Hollow Knight that was chosen by the king, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if that's the case, and he fell down into the abyss just like the other ones, then how come, at the start of the game, he returns to Hollow Ness, like, from a completely different place. Like, how come he's just not, like, still stuck in the abyss? Like, okay, where okay. did he come from? Okay, okay, I might have an answer, but maybe Pasha will, uh, black my skin on that. Okay, you can see, um, siblings here. You can see them, right? Yes. Uh, there's a part of deepness that might be connected, like, the developers, they actually, that was actually either, like, a separated flash or, like... Oh, it was either like some sort of interview, but they say, oh, you kind of do not know, but uh, fans actually find out there's like a part of deepness that's actually like really close to abyss, and it's actually affected by abyss. Like so right think, next like, to it. Yeah. Like in the map, and it's yeah, like yeah. right next to it. Yeah, so plus Nash also really close to abyss, like this uh, affected by abyss part. So fans just speculated that there might be a leak in the abyss where, like, um, some of the siblings escape. And some of the fans, if I'm not mistaken, like, I will not take my word on that. But some of them, uh, some of the people have been speculating that there's a light blood part where, like, siblings got escaped from. Yeah, because... There are, there are multiple other characters other than, like, vessels that are connected to the Abyss in some way because of, like, Void. So it is heavily implied that there is some way out of the Abyss and, like, a bunch of the vessels started actually, there. like, started, like, leaking through. And, yeah, that's, that's why, um, that's why, like, um, Hornet immediately was so adamant about, like, you know, fighting you and, uh, testing you, too, because, like... Hornet has killed other vessels before that were like you because right. that's her whole thing is that she wants to test vessels to see if they're worthy of being like the Hollow Knight's replacement. Mm. So like you are not the first vessel that's escaped the abyss. You are far from it. What makes yes. you special is just the fact that you actually did something. So it's never actually explained in the game how the vessels are escaping through. Yeah, yeah. it's just known that there's some way that both vessels and like other creatures made a void are escaping the abyss in some way. Very fucking interesting to just not have an explanation in there, and people in the community can fear us. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a like terrible job of this. Or... You, you say it, you kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I just needed to like needed to focus back, and there you go. God, Nasca is so fucking cool. Dead. You can, you can, you can pogo the thing. Yeah, you can, you can hit the mask around. If I'm mistaken, the... Let's go, cousin. First... Let me go, let's just show me. Hello! Hello, let's go. One out okay. of three for the next upgrade. Is it the last upgrade? Or I... It might be. Think okay, so. open, your, open your inventory. I can... Yeah, it's the last upgrade, yeah. Alright. Okay, so I want to I wanna take a second to talk about Nas real quick. Um, Please do. Because I fucking love this character. So the reason I find Nosk so interesting, right, is that Nosk's entire thing is that obviously he's like, he's a mimic that is supposed to try and lure people down into his nest so that he can eat them. But what I find so interesting about that is that Nosk mimics his prey based on their memories and like memories of things he's eaten. Uh -huh. And um, usually whenever he tries to mimic someone, he takes the form of someone they love or someone who's passed away that the person knew. Makes sense. But he, 
but he takes the form of you because you're an empty vessel. You don't have anyone who's like that. So the only thing Nosk knows to mimic for you is you. <laughs> So, huh. like, if it were anyone else who were in Deep Nest, instead of seeing, like, a perfect replica of yourself, you would see, like, like a loved one. Like, you'd see someone you care about, like a family member or someone right. who you recently lost and that you want to, like, have a chance to see again. But it, you're a special case because Nos didn't have anyone that you could latch on to. So he was just like, okay, you. I'll just mimic this guy himself. Hopefully this will work. So... And then it did. A little too well. Ah. Uh... So that's the question then. The question so that you guys can talk about this. How sentient even are the vessels? Like how like do they have even like any sense of self? Cuz like I keep I, I know I know I know pretty much a little bit of what the void is, just not like the the grand purpose of it. But like are creatures made of void able to like form any kind of personality by themselves or I, uh, I, I know that I know that Hornet is kind of like partly made of void but I don't I'm not sure if like a hundred percent something made out of void so well, that's actually that's actually a big point of contention is people have been arguing for years about whether or not Hornet even is void or if she's just a regular insect herself I thought yeah. she was like uh the vessel's like kind of brother I guess okay, uh, uh, they are okay. gonna they are like connected through like sibling bond, but yeah, they are like half like siblings, definitely. It, okay, it's... do not piss on this thing. Fucking yeah. hell, my god! Yeah, plus I told you to save. Anyway, um, should I tell him how Vessel's actually been born and like actually like Go nuts. the entire process? Yeah, so... I mean, like he's he's seen the abyss cutscene. He knows the general gist of it. Dead well. children. Okay, yeah, basically, like we're dead, like. Definitely, we're a dead child. Dead um, children. My favorite. Like, okay, so basically, uh, remember like this thing that you have to hit uh, in a case to activate the cutscene? Yes. Uh, this is our egg. Basically, um, Queen and Keen got a union, you know, um, when one bag loves another. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, and like, they put those eggs in an abyss where you fucking died and the corpse has been affected by wood, if I'm not mistaken, like, I may be really fucking wrong, I haven't played this game in a while. So, way. king and queen egg plus void equals you. Yeah. Yeah, essentially, they, they had a bunch of, they had a bunch of eggs, they chucked those eggs down into the abyss, the eggs got infused with void and they were transformed into vessels. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What about Hornet? So, then? Hornet is a special <sighs> case. Because, um, actually, do, do we wait until he beats Deep Nest to talk about Hornet's, like, origin? Yeah, okay. yeah let's wait until Deep Nest. Because... Okay, we'll wait until you beat Deep Nest to talk about Hornet, because you'll actually learn, like, th there's there's stuff about Hornet in Deep Nest. All right. Okay, okay, wait. Okay, beat Deep Nest, then go to Hera. No, okay, then go to midwife. Alright. Mm -hmm. Because midwife actually will... If you're asking midwife is the one who drops the massive lore bomb. I believe so. Oh, fucking me. <laughs> By the I way, White Palace? Me. Fucking amazing. Are White Palace right? is my favorite location in the entire game. It is my favorite part of Hollow Knight. The fact that it's a location based entirely off the memories of this one dead guard in front of the existing, like, ruined palace. Like, they could have just made it a palace in, like, underneath everything in Hollow Nest, but no. They they chose to make it, like, the memories of this dead, dreaming warrior that was supposed to, like, like safeguarded. And like to to show like the palace in its full glory back when it was like active and stuff like that. It's like I fucking love that concept, you know? What what gets me about the White Palace too is that you spend the entire game hearing everything about the Pale King. You hear about how grand he was, how mm -hmm. like he was this god that everyone revered. And when you finally meet him, he's just a corpse sitting on an empty throne in this like pitch black room with Little no guy. light or anything Not even that in there. Big. When I okay, first played I'll... Hollow Knight, I fully believed that the statue 
like in the middle of the thing was like because of, like ugh, like I thought that that was the king. I didn't know like I, I, I it's <laughs> mad pad brain. I thought that there was some kind of connection between like the king and the Hollow Knight or like the the king became the Hollow Knight or whatever. Like I was theorizing as I played the game when I originally. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I was theorizing as I originally played the, uh, the the game, but no, he's just a tiny little guy, you know. The, the, the thing is, the thing is, you can see statues of him like uh, all over the Hollowness, and like Bax was like, "Oh my gosh, he's so great." He been he, they've been building such a big statue, thinking yes. he's such a big figure, but the, he he's just a fucking midget. He's just a little tiny little guy. Especially too when you go to get the king's brand and you see the worm he was born from and it's this gigantic <gasps> monstrosity But then he's just this little thing that was born from it <laughs> Little one, yeah. I found it. The stag nest! Where I was born and raised! I've yet to go there again. My duty binds me to travel only where I'm called But if you wish to see it yourself, I could take you there. We got all the stations! We got all the stations! <laughs> oh, you did it! None may remain to welcome us, but the nest is still a sight to behold. Give me the word, and we will go there at once. I love this guy so much! We actually will go there when we want to talk to the Grim Troop. Really? Yeah. So, should we not go to the, the stack nest? Uh, not right now, because... You said let's sit directly to the grid. Not directly, but it's like near the green drop. It would be uh, more optional to. I tire so easily now, and my old legs seem to ache more and more. Still, I am lucky to grow old at all. So many others haven't. Oh, I love you! He's just an old guy doing his job, but he's trying his best. Would you say he's your favorite character? No, but he's up there. It's By the way, fucking awesome. Sly? Yesterday? Yes! Oh my god! Fucking told Sly? Me that you found out about Sly. I was so happy you found that out. <laughs> the, that motherfucker! He's like the <laughs> nail master, like the OG nail master that thought the th that, that, that 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 taught the three guys, the big guys. That's so <laughs> awesome! It's such a good reveal. He could have like just master Yoda. Of he could have just he could have just been like a like a random little bug that sold you stuff. But no, Team Cherry said no. This motherfucker is important. Oh, he is the nail master. Wait, Fuck Phil. Hmm? Okay, Phil. Yes. Do do okay. No, no, no. Go back. Remember what the thing I told you about? Do the skip. Do the thing. Come on. I do not know. Uh, climb the wall. Dash, oh yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. Uh, don't go into the middle. Yeah, don't go into the middle. No. Those guys, like those guys, are so fucking. Yeah, yeah uh, from here, yeah, you have to dash. Fuck. You know, she's a, she's a speedrunner. Greetings. You are very tired. Sit and rest. We are friends. Welcome. Sit and rest. <laughs> Please, sit and rest. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. They're it so is warm safe. and safe. Sit and rest. Welcome, you need to you need to rest. Sit. They're so nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. These guys are so sweet. So we just do it. Oh <laughs> is there, wait, okay, question, is there, if I'm not mistaken, when you have your last save? Uh, oh. he hasn't, he has not rested in Deep Nest yet, has he? No, I, I have. Okay. On the bench, on next the bench. to the... On the, on the, on, on the, on, on the spring. Right, right, right before Nosk. <sighs> Is there a bench nearby? I'm pretty sure the I bench here counts as a save. Oh, it does it? I'm pretty oh, sure yeah, it actually. does. Yeah, it does. Sit and rest. All right. Come on, sit and rest. <laughs> uh, hey guys, why y'all why y'all looking at me like that? Oh, don't. <laughs> hey, this one's sticky uh, ass uh, bench, guys. Wait, 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 I love how this part was actually never fucking explained. 
Yeah, they never talk about this. Yeah, They're just, just spiders, happened. man. No, I mean, it's, it, like, just happened, and we never see, like, even creatures behind those guys. It's so fucking cool. I love Deep I love Nest. I love how Deep Nest's, like, whole gimmick is basically just mimics. You've got fucking mimic grubs. The boss here is a mimic. You've got those dudes who are just like, sit and rest, please. We are friends. Yes, human. Bug. This entire place is just spiders and mimics. Lovely. And these bastards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my advice is just spell them to death. Bitch. Hold on a second. Ah, oh, but yeah, no, like... <laughs> I just... What is that? Hold on. I just love the entirety of this location because of how horrific it is. As, as the, you know... As a resident horror fan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This shit, this shit... This shit is like the best part. I found it so early in my playthrough, too. I think I, I, I think I did like, like when when I did, when I did my first playthrough, it was like the entrance to Crystal Peak, then Green Path, then Fungal Wastes, I think, then uh, something something City of Tears. Then I went after City of Tears, I I tried to do Queen's Gardens, and then immediately down here. I don't think I even found oh, the. Oh man! I don't think I even found the. No, yeah, I did. I did find the the Mantis Lords. But, like, I went here as soon as possible. How the fuck have you been playing? I don't yeah, fucking know. I don't remember. Reminder, reminder that he did it with an up, unupgraded nail, too. Yeah, that's the problem. I died so many times in my original playthrough. Yeah, I wonder I why. Huh. Fucking maze. I always love Deep Nest, too, because, like... Stop, 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 wait, hold on. Oh. All right. Have I heard the groan? Or is I it the spiders? Did, I didn't hear the groan, it was just the spiders. I guess I'm just going to say because of this location. That is okay. Just like, just like watching me play with like, your eyes covered with what, like, one finger, like, like, uncovered. <laughs> Dude, I really do not like spiders. They're cute! They're, I love spiders. They're cute! Dude, I, like... Good luck to all spider hammers, like, legitimately, but I, I just love how, like, be, uh, like people who own spiders be like, Oh my gosh, look at the, uh, like, look at the cupcake, like, the, what the f fucking fur baby. They're just and leg just puppies. Fucking, and they're just torrential, just eating, f like, five size, like, five size, it's, uh, it's all, like, a fucking rat. The only spiders that I don't like are the ones with like extremely long legs, like the daddy long legs and stuff like that. Or like the ones that like literally like can necrotize your arm and like within minutes if they bite you. But aside from those, like... Or like the ones that have like actual like crab claws at the end. Or like yeah, their legs. Just like... Or the, the, the Australian ones that are like as big as a fucking dumpster. Yeah! The, oh, I, I, uh, the, ones, are, the ones that are big, as big as dumpsters are actually crabs. Horseshoe crabs, I think they were called. No, no, not horseshoe. No, crabs. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, what were they called? What were they called? What were they called? Um, they weren't horseshoe crabs. Mimu. Were they? Were they coconut crabs? I think they were coconut, coconut crabs. crabs. Yeah, yeah, but it was coconut crabs. Those things are massive. But yeah, no, like. You're just been waiting for me to get to that toha. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I you, you, you chose the wrong person to be scared of spiders in front of because I'm like really into like um fucking like anything about bugs. I find them super fascinating. Like okay, bugs are cool. Like as I said, my favorite game is, is this. Like yeah, I do have afraid of them, but like spiders as long as like I do not want to like. <laughs> I, I love anything related to entomology, and spiders are among the most interesting to me. <sighs> Dude, has a this is gonna sound very fucking stupid, but uh, like. Don't worry, you're saying this; it will make sense. So, is the world of Hollow Knight supposed to be actually bug-sized, or are they just like? Yes. Okay, good. It it is actually bug-sized. This is happening in like your front yard. 
That's I awesome! <laughs> you, you, you're sitting in here playing a video game and meanwhile Hollow Knight could be happening right outside. Like the entirety of Hollow Nest you could like fucking destroy with a single water hose. Yeah, basically, yeah. I mean, One of those videos where somebody pours molten metal down an anthill. Oh my fucking god. I mean, one of the characters literally uses a fucking uh, needle as a weapon. Yeah, you're literally using a needle, and City of Tears was built over a river. Or built under a river. Alright, so what's up with this? If I'm that's mistaken, a... nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a set piece. Huh. Considering the detail and purpose of all the other locations in this game, I heavily doubt that, but... Cool. Like, I know this is here for a purpose, like, in terms of lore. It's nothing. But I don't think I mean, it actually does anything. Huh. I mean, it's there for purpose of lore, but I, we just don't know the purpose. Cool. Yeah. I love when... <laughs> this is gonna come across as, like, really fucking hypocritical, coming from someone, like... I wasn't in really into FNAF, but I just really love sometimes when developers put cool, unexplained shit in their games that no one actually knows what it's about. It's just cool. And, like, there's See, clearly some kind of purpose in there. It's just we don't know what that purpose is. See, I, I don't necessarily think it's too hypocritical to say that, even with, like, FNAF in mind, because I think there's, like, I think, I think, like, there's a way to do that really well, and there's a way not to, and Hollow Knight does it well, where, like, nothing that is, like, you know, yeah, unexplainable is something that is, like, literally imperative to knowing the story. Where, you know? Where was it? You, you don't have to break the wall, you actually saw this. You actually can see, like, the little gap in the textures. Yeah! Oh, nice. Very nice. They grow so fast. <laughs> Look at him go! I'm so I'm so proud of him. But I like what I, what I like about what Hollow Knight does whenever it leaves like stuff a mystery on purpose is that it's never something you absolutely need to know for the story of Hollow Knight to at least make some sense to you. It's just one of those things where it's like it's... here's a little cool additional thing to theorize about. Yes, it's not the main thing that go down, go invests back to your you. Like there, there's a. Right. How can I explain it? It's the it's this feeling of like feeling of just genuinely cool, genuinely cool, genuinely interesting piece of lore detail versus like please make a theory up. about our game. Please, 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 please make a theory about our game, you know? No, go up, I said. Sorry. It, it's I like it exists to make the world feel bigger. Just go up. Just explore more. Alright, alright, alright. It, it, it it's it, you can tell it, like I don't know how but you can tell the difference between when a developer actually knows what they're putting into their game and why they're doing it and just like flesh out something on and, and, and or like make the world bigger versus just please please please, please talk about how what this, this means game, please you guys are enjoying hey I don't know I I think my pet would like to think about <laughs> but my pet I I think that Mappa would like to dis dissect this frame by frame you know Mappa should really respond to our DMs yes Mappa you should really respond to our DMs right now it's like that kind of behavior like pisses me the fuck up it's so annoying. Because uh, like, think... it doesn't feel like you're trying to tell a story. It, it feels like you're trying to market the game based on nothing, instead of just trying to add to something that you care about. Yeah. Hello there. Um, thank you, Dags, for the ten dollars. My pea brain wasn't able to get past Green Path in this game, but clearly you guys are enjoying for it. The purposes <laughs> of oh, hi, Austin. Than Hope you're doing well. Because they're taking time uh, to thank think you. about their story. Thank you, Fartface, for the five dollars. Ambiguity for the purpose of world building rather than lore carrying is awesome because they're taking time to think about their story. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like Hollow Knight puts something in there because it's cool. They don't, like, and you know, the the lore doesn't require it to be there. It's not they like don't you do beat it Hollow for Knight marketing then... purposes. Yeah, it's not like you beat Hollow Knight and then a box shows up at the end, and then you have to spend years waiting to figure out what that box means, but you never do. <laughs> not naming any names. Uh... <laughs> A sleeping figure what? lays atop the stone plinth. Ooh. Ooh, technically, like, technically, this is one of ancient corpses we see through the game. 
Like, are they actually there? Like, you know? Hello there! there. Yes. Dream nail! Bound for blood or child. Fair bargain made. Give all. Okay. For her. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to talk. You know one thing I love about the dreamers as well? Mm -hmm. You know how all of these guys are so massive compared to the vessel? And yeah. that, like, imagine these three, like, serving the king, which is like this fucking. Like, the king is not that taller than us. I'm just imagining, like, the king in the middle of the throne room with these three assholes, like, right next to him, like, towering over him. Especially the Hollow Knight, too, who is so much taller than him when he became an adult. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, fuck you. Goblin King. I'm so ready, I'm so ready. <laughs> like, the entire fucking... Uh, like, and after the hive, I want to talk more about And the her. White Lady, too, Lamau. The, the White Lady wasn't that big, right? She had, like, a smaller chair. I mean, she was, according to a better game and concept design, but not really, but, like... And... The there we go. Thank you everyone for joining us for the stream. No. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Wow, 56 minutes. What a short stream. Hornets! Oh, my baby Jay. Hello there, girl. La Fenu Venido. Mm, did somebody want to take this? Me and Azazel have both voiced her. So, Azazel, do you want to voice her? Azzy. What? You can do more feminine voice than I do. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, your voice wasn't that bad. That bad? Wow, thank you. Come on. It, she, <laughs> she doesn't even talk that complicatedly. She does. I didn't know English. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Actually, you want me to do it then? Or... Actually, fuck you, Phil. Do it. Me? <laughs> yeah. All right. Fine. Yeah. <sighs> so if you slain the beast and you head towards that faded goal, I'd not have obstructed this happening, but it caused Be me some pain to Phil. knowingly stand Come idle. On. What? Be more feminine. Be, I mean, be more women. I didn't really ask you to be women. I just asked you to voice a character. But all right. Come what? on, can you be good at voice? I... You might think me stern, but I'm not completely cold. We do not choose our mothers, or the circumstance into which we were born. Despite all the ills of this world, I'm thankful, thankful for the life she granted me. It's quite a debt I owed, only in allowing her to pass, and taking the burden of the future in her stead. Can I begin to repay it? Leave me now, ghost. Allow me a moment alone before this bedchamber becomes forever a shrine. Oh, I fucking love that line. Yeah, so you, uh, you just killed her mom. Mother, forgive my inaction, but another path may be possible. So, but, you remember, but, like, remember, okay, um, can, sorry? Okay, oh, I will say a cool detail. If you kill this dreamer before fighting her for the second time, she's gonna fight more aggressively the second time. <laughs> I didn't. That's kind of cool, actually. Aw, poor Horny. Yeah, because, um, remember whenever I said earlier that Deep Nest was, like, completely disconnected from the Pale King? Mm-hmm. The reason that um, this dreamer in particular, who was the leader of the spider, uh, the spider tribe, decided to become a dreamer in the first place was because she made a deal with the Pale King. She would become a dreamer and connect um, Deep Nest to um, the entirety of the Pale King's kingdom. But in return, he had to give her a child. Oh. And that child yeah, so, was Hornet. Oh. Yeah, and so, and so the is not a white. Like, the, the reason why... Like, People call, like, those are half-siblings because they share the same father. And, like, technically Hornet is actually, like, she's alive, she's not a vessel, she just look like one. Because yeah. she's- Oh, so she's we, not made of void. No, we- okay. 
we basically look exactly how we died, if I'm not mistaken. This is why it will look familiar, because, like, technically we're just dead a body. We're just dead body. Mm. Now you can see why this lore going a bit of, a bit of dark, you know? A bit dark. And that's, and that's also why Hornet has, like, actual personality and emotion, because... She's a descendant of the Pale King like you, but she was born from an actual, like, proper mother and has nothing to do with Void. Oh. Yeah, plus, okay, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this fans girl, either fans or, like, the game itself call her, uh, the daughter of three queens, right? I believe so, yeah. And, uh, apparently she was born from, like, Spider Queen. Now, go outside and drop down. Um, she was born by, uh, Spider Queen, was raised by White Lady. And was trained by another character that we will we'll meet. I said, drop down. And yeah, someone in chat pointed this out. That's also why she's referred to by uh, some characters as the gender child. Because, you know, all the vessels are just kind of these, like, genderless little, like, entities. But she's actually, like, you know, like a proper, like, <laughs> a proper gender. character. She's, she's like an actual girl. I was bestowed early in life with gender. Something that you she do was... not have. She was the only one that was handed a gender. Ew, female. Hornet is so gender. Oh my gosh, me too. Oh! oh. Pastra? You feel that? Am I voicing this one? I mean, it's another freak, so... What? Come on. She's going, she's going like a freak, come on. <laughs> I know what you meant, but saying, oh, she's clearly a freak, Pastra should voice her. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll voice her, I'll voice her. Oh, please, please, don't be shy. There are some nasties about here, all right. Not me. I'm a friend to all and happy to serve a traveler so bold as you. Yeah, sure, buddy. Is it information you seek? That I can provide. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> That village above here, home to a sad creature, hers is a tale of tragic exchange. Cost her and her people greatly, though I suspect she bore no regrets in making it. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, you're intrigued. You want to know the tale? Well, I'm sorry. I'd love to tell it, but I'm just, I'm very, very sorry. And I haven't eaten in some time. Get the fuck out! And oh, I'm starving. Oh, fuck out! <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Bad bitch. Bitch. Should have dream nailed her before then. Oh, you can leave the room and come back if I'm not mistaken. Also, Chad, I fucking. I. I. Yo. <laughs> I wish I can be disappointed in you as my mother disappointed in me. Yo, bitch. Gah, get out, get out, get out! Okay. <laughs> My good friend, you wear that bright mark of relationship. Then you've met her, perhaps. Her who'd guard the mark, the gendered child. Oh, oh, what? It's actually fucking canon. Okay, I thought it was a fan name. Yeah, no, they literally just refer to, yeah. her, to her as the woman. woman. Like... <laughs> A sprightly yeah, thing, isn't she? Pale gift to the nest and the beast, and fair trade for sacrifice made. She's long she's been distant. It'd do our spirits well were she to grace us a visit home. <laughs> oh, hmm. I'm sorry. Old memories cause my mind to wander on such silly diversions, especially when I'm oh so famished. Okay, no. Okay. You can do it. You can do it. Fuck you. Okay, now I want you to go some places. Maybe one more time first, though. Yeah, sure. Nom, 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 nom. <gasps> like that, this is the exact mix of horror that I love for these kinds of games. Just horrific, horrifying, like, murderous, horrible actions. But, like, the characters are so cute, though. I got a little guy! 
Hey! Ah, it returns. I do apologize about before. <laughs> no matter, no matter. My appetite oft gets the better of me. For now at least, I'm content. Would you hear about myself? There's not so much to say. I'm a servant to the nest, though few in recent times would seek my service. Our brood is lost to the pestilence of the mind, a sad fall for the most intelligent species. Ah, but, hmm, I've eaten, yes, and full. Then again, another little morsel would make me oh so happy. The perfect end to a meal. <laughs> I love a character that, like, actively tries to fucking destroy you, but she still, like, actually offers helpful lore tidbits. Yeah, I'll chat with you, but in return, I'm hungry! Hungry, bitch! Okay, should we go to another fucking lore part? Absolutely. Okay, um... Okay, uh, Pastra. Baby spiders. Hmm? Uh, the baby spider's charm. Oh, yeah! I love it! I love that charm so much! It's one of my favorites! Okay, then go up, Phil. Uppy, uppy. Up and right. Uppy, uppy. <laughs> okay, I all love them. The way, all the way to the right. Okay, right. Right. Not so far right. Hold on a second. There's a secret. Right. I must explore the secret. Up. Did I hear a grubby? Right. Where's the grubby, though? Uh, I don't remember. Buster? Grubby, anyway. grubby, grubby, oh. grubby, grubby. There we go! Make sure. <gasps> Mimu! Okay, go up. Okay, no, actually, actually, I'm lying. Okay, go down and on the platform. Right? Kill the fucker. Kill more fuckers. A lot of motherfuckers to kill. Some motherfuckers don't learn. Did I hear a secret doorway get revealed by that, like, attack? Yes, the fuck. Yeah, I did. Oh, uh, there we go. Welcome, while the Weaver's cool death. Lucas applications. You can go down. <gasps> oh, this is the location. Yeah, I just do not remember exactly how to open the. I don't remember exactly how to open the. What is it? The secret? Do you remember? I'm not too familiar with this place. Oopa! Oh. Okay, I will try my best to reconnect my you. Fucking fish memory. Okay, yeah. Don't worry, there's nobody who will hurt you. Hera. I'll go right and up and have a soul for one spell. Do I heal, please? Alright. Yeah, there you go. Stop! Okay, do not heal. There oh, it yeah. is! Okay, Weaver song. Ca cast a spear. To the left? Mm hmm. Huh? That's great. Dash. <laughs> oh, hiya. Good luck. Good luck, Bojo. Yeah, good luck with this. Uh, do not heal, because if I'm... <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, on the left, there must be another door. Like... 
On the left, try to break the wall on the left. Oh my god, secret spawn secrets. Yeah. Uh, the same thing, uh, the same uh, seal is located in Enters of Path of Pain. Uh, mm -hmm. the seal of binding. Interesting. It's the lore. There's the so lore. much lore. What does it all mean? What's it all mean? Oh, My dogs oh. want to know too. No, 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 just exit the location first. All right. Opa! Hello! Come here. Nice impression of the dog, by the way. <laughs> You're gonna love that charm you just picked up. It's one of my oh, favorites. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if I'm not mistaken, uh, who is it? Silken Midway charm Hall containing a song of farewell, left by the weavers who departed Hollow Nest for their old home. Summons weaverlings to give the lonely bearer some companionship and protection. Yeah, basically, um, basically, uh, like, if I, okay, basically, uh, Buster's dream charm to spawn shit of tarantulas around him. Um, yeah, you just have a bunch of little spiders that follow you around and attack enemies for you. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, maybe I'm gonna have a new dialogue based on you accusing this charm. But for now, I'll have to get a tram past while we're still in location. Yep. Okay, drop down. Right down. Right. Wow, you're learning. Wow, you're so smart. You're so good. <laughs> Drama go. best. Drama best. Look at him go. I cannot wait for the path of pain. I cannot wait. So is there a lore explanation as to why Pale King loves Saw so much? No. Uh, he no. Loves. He just he just has an affinity for buzz saws. <laughs> he just yeah. loves them. Loves them. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's just it. <laughs> it. It's literally just like my, my king. Why? What the fuck? <laughs> well, I just think they're neat, you know? Like, put one there, put one there. Marge <laughs> holding up the Mar Marge holding up the potato, but it's just a saw. I just think they're neat. My king, one of one of the traitors tried to come to our kingdom the other day and was killed on the way to your throne room. Oh, well, sucks to be him. <laughs> I told everyone to come with a nail on hand. Yes, but not everyone is built like that. And not everyone needs to talk to me. Just get good. Everyone needs to get good. Hmm? You want me to send you the path of pain again? I'll send you the path of pain again. <laughs> There's even like, the sauce there. This is like the king. This is like the king every single fucking morning before going to bed has to climb up those fucking saws. Man, has to do the whole platforming challenge. One of his one of his people's like, my king, maybe we should tone it down with the buzz saws. Ah, spears, I like the way you think. <laughs> going up and down through the platforms. Yeah, makes this place an actual up. bitch right. to traverse. The path of pain oh. with you, my child. How else will people know how awesome I am? Fucking boss saw complex. <laughs> Are you really like a ruler of a kingdom, though, if your castle isn't filled to the brim with traps and buzz saws? Uh, Phil, that's what, that's what Resident left. Evil taught me. Left. Salazar complex. Every yeah. time. <laughs> Every time that someone calls him short, he get they get sent into the path of pain. <laughs> hey, um, you're shorter than I expected. Oh, huh, yeah, no. path of pain with you. Okay. Into the saws you go, motherfucker. In into the saw pit. Mimu. <laughs> no cost too great. <laughs> no cost that's him, too great. That's him looking at the budget for all the buzz saws. <laughs> <laughs> no cost too great. Boy, 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 boy! Wait until you get to the free him! Free him! Can I listen for him? Can I listen for him to suffer? Just let him out! Let him out! Let me out! Chat, please buy us a plush and consume him in jar, please. Hey, wait, Basha! What trial have to go through to fight Zod? Is it the final one, right? It's. I'm pretty sure it's the first one. 
You fight Zone at the end of the first one after you free him, I'm pretty damn sure. I have to do that. Let me check shit on the fucking thing. You know what, Buster, you know what I'll have to do? Hmm. Gloss. Yes. Oh. Skrunk Trap Super Chat's five pound and says, wait until you get to the Home Depot segment of King's Palace. Does he know? Does he know, chat? I do not know. He thinks it's, you, you think it's just some kind of joke, but you go in there and there's actually just a fucking Home Depot. It's a drill. Giant drill. Yeah, this, this is where I bought all the, this is where I bought all the buzz saws. I figured I was always traveling there, so I may as well just have one built into the palace. Hell King is just really into carpentry. He loves carpentry. Where the it's, it's fuck do we save so? Just go up. You don't save him in that room. This is the point. Uh -huh. You're gonna meet one. You're gonna meet. Oh, you're gonna meet one of the coolest. Michael, uh, don't leave me here. Sorry, sir. So. Michael. Okay, to save Zod, go left. But to have a bench, go right. So. Anyway. So content. First. Okay, you have a leg the fifty-seven. <laughs> so content. So it comes before anything else. Okay, my advice: just stand on the left up platform and just enjoy your life. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm telling you. Should we? Okay, Buster, do you think should we guide him to 57? I mean, I'd like to. Okay, okay, okay. Look, what if we? Okay, is Rachel? Okay, will we do the fucking fire? Uh, fire flower quest. That's uh, the thing. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of these like optional side quests that would be like cool to see Phil do. But my God, the amount of stuff we have to do already. Yes. Can we leave those at the end at least, you know? Mm, this I is think... the point, because the Life of Pain is one of the- Okay. Okay, you know what? Okay. Okay, hear me on. If we're gonna put a uh, Dream Genie- Oh my fucking god. Let's go. Like, do, 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 do not free him. Oh, I enjoy the sound. Please? Please? You like the sound of Zote talking? No, I like the sound of him suffering. So the kingdom was hiding this. Oh, wait, no, you, 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 you. <laughs> I gotta get my nasally, my nasally voice for him. So the kingdom was hiding this dark nest full of deadly predators. Well, now the deadliest predator of all is here. I love that he believes his own hype. Even when he's like actually dying. Zota the mighty. Like he's not trying to like he's not trying to make himself look big for anyone else. He just legitimately believes his own hype. He he genuinely thinks he's that cool. Like I love it. Oi! What are you doing here, you clumsy little oaf? Swinging your rusty nail around in the darkness? You almost struck me. And if you had, it would have been the end <laughs> of you. Trust me. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. My weapon, Life Ender, has been <laughs> struck has struck down hundreds of foes. Be gone, or you'll be next. He also legitimately doesn't remember you when you saved his ass before. He has no idea who you are. <laughs> are you lost in these dark t tunnels? I don't care. Fine, boom. No. I won't lead you out. I know the way due to my powerful memory, but I only travel alone. Be gone. I, love I don't him. care that you broke your elbow. Any last of tells? I don't care. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> bye bye, fucker. I love how somebody in chat said you sound like Papyrus or Scooter. <laughs> that is kind of a Papyrus a voice. Of both. Whatever. Great uh... voice acting. Whenever I used to play uh, like Undertale and like uh, like with my friends in like Discord calls, they would always let me voice Papyrus because he was my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that everyone in the fandom just like automatically like now has agreed that because like you know Undertale doesn't have actual voice actors, but everyone just fucking agrees that Sans sounds like Patrick and Papyrus sounds like Skeletor. Those are just yeah, the no, canon literally. voices. And if and if if Sans isn't Patrick, then he's a freaking dude from Boston. Yes. Dude, uh, that, that reminds me of the time you just sent me a picture of, like, Sans AUs and said, do you recognize these? And when I said yes, you just said, I fucking knew it. And yes! the conversation there. What was that about? Did you make another bet? Yes! With her! Oh, you, 
Okay, like, chat, for those of you who don't know, this guy keeps making bets about <laughs> things I used to like when I was younger, and he keeps being right. Like, Too first right. he made a bet that I had an RPG Maker horror phase. I did. And then this guy's over here making bets that I was into Undertale AUs, which I was. <laughs> Yo, Claw! I'm like, I can't even be offended because you keep getting me right. I mean, I want my $5. Hey, Coco. Thank, thank you, Poster, for five dollars. Thank you, Coco, for the five dollars. Poster, so it sounds like Carl the intern from Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> <laughs> this whole area swarms with deadly critters, biting, burning, scratching types. I thought to test my strength against them, but now that bravado has left me, and all I feel is tired and sore. Aww. Oh, claw. Oh, my baby girl. Such bad luck. The critters about here are just terrifying. Those scuttling legs, those gnashing teeth. This is not the end I'd ever want to meet. Oh, <laughs> well, well, at least you know. At least, at least like, <laughs> I was so sad. I, I, I was so sad when she died in my playthrough. Like, I'm so glad that we fucking saved her. Mm -hmm. I'm taking what brief rest I can. Then I'm off in search of less terrifying challenge. This nest is no place to die. Let me see you, Daddy. Uh, love okay, you, Okay, Pasha, wait. Pasha. Mm -hmm. Were you into Horror Tale? Yes. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Horror Tale and Underfell were my two favorites when I was younger. Okay, wait, okay, no, Underfell? Are you for real? Are you that edgy? Yes, I was that edgy. Oh my fucking god. Bail Trammel. I... The funny part about that I know that you're talking about, but I never finished Undertale. We were- okay, you're gonna be on that stream, Azazel. Wait, which one? The Undertale stream. Cuz, I'm gonna <gasps> eventually replay that fucking game, like, it's been a while- like, I've refused to watch Undertale playthroughs because, like, I want my memory of that game to be, like, removed so I can have, like, a clean slate again for it. I, I to... play through that game once a year, and every single time I cry. Like, I want to do that, because, like, ah, oh, that, ah, oh, like, my first reactions to, like, like, you know, like, Omega Flowey and, like, Sans and all that, like, oh, that game is so fucking good! Sure, it has when its I, moments um... where, like, I still prefer the way that the combat of Deltarune is, because it's, like, so much more of an improvement compared to Undertale, but the writing and the characters are still, like, top-notch. The thing is, is, like, Deltarune feels like the combat and whatnot is an improvement, but, you know, Undertale at the end of the day is a complete package and Deltarune isn't. Yep. So, it's just nice to go and relive Undertale because you have that full, complete experience and it's Toby Fox's writing, so... I'm probably going to replay Undertale, like, before the release of the final chapter of Deltarune, whenever the fuck that happens. Oh, yeah. It's... Thank you, Insomnia, for the $2. Sans is moist critical. That's also another valid option. I mean, still, I, I, I hate that I know every single, like, not every single, but most of fucking Undertale, uh, like, I use, but I don't even know how the fucking Undertale ended. Uh, Wait, what? Yes, she doesn't know the ending of Undertale. What? She stopped at, like, no. she stopped at, like, when did you stop? After a mega flowy. Ah, uh, you don't know anything about the pacifist ending on the true lab. Dude, Wait, the what, true what? lab, the true lab was a source of nightmares for me when I was younger. Yeah! Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, you don't know! Azazel, please. Just, uh I'm like somewhere uh, around Commission Arson, I guess. The, the ending of True Pacifist makes me cry like a bitch every single time. Or like the final, <laughs> final, final boss. But yeah, I that so thing gets to me so bad. Okay, uh, okay, Azazel? I didn't kill anyone. Okay, as, uh, okay. No, yeah, no, but you have to replay the game to get the... Okay, okay, okay. Azazel? Yeah? If you want, like, an analog for what you missed in the pacifist route of Undertale, you basically are missing getting, like, the Void Heart and, like, fighting the true final boss of, like, Hollow Knight, but for Undertale. And maybe, yeah. like, you, you haven't seen, like, the, I guess, like, okay, True Lab is not, like, White Palace, but, like, you, you basically missed, like, Abyss in Undertale. Oh. oh. So, yeah, 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 that's why. <laughs> you missed <laughs> my favorite parts of the game. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. You should replay. You should replay that game, please. I mean, I still have it. Have it downloaded and shit. Like, can I'm... we? Find it? <laughs> I mean, I can play it after the stream. Like, after the stream, we're gonna be exhausted. Yeah, okay, we are gonna be. Play... Oops. Gonna okay. got the tram pass, okay. by the way. Okay, great. Okay, okay. Should we go and meet the mask thing? Uh, the mask maker? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, please. I'd like to meet him. He's one of my favorites. Okay, okay Basha, we can, we can only meet him through... Through Queen Garden? Or, like, can we meet him like that? Yeah, we can meet him only, like, the Queen Garden. Oh, shit. By the way, uh, this is the failed tramway. Is this... I guess this is, like, the remnants of what when they tried to make Deepness part of the kingdom, I guess? Yeah, yeah they... and Krishus was really against it. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, they they tried building a tramway, and the spiders were basically just like, fuck off, fuck we will off. kill you if you keep trying to build this tramway. Yeah, okay. So the Pill King was like, oh, okay, I'll take my buzzsaw somewhere else. <laughs> and then um, and then later on he was like, hey, you want a kid? <laughs> Uh, where where uh, we yeah. should go? Right down. Okay, we we'll have to return to the bench. There's a little park session for the extra charm that you don't want to use because fuck this charm. I hate this charm. I hate this charm mostly because of the um, Basha. You know how you f how I failed my pride month. Mm hmm. Sharp shadow. Oh. Uh, mm. Yeah. You know. You know. You know. Yeah. Pride month, Pride month was over. It was over. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Where the fuck you are? Go back. Back to the tramway? Uh, okay. Left. Down. Uh, down. <laughs> I really hate that just could have delay because I'm on the side of the earth. Okay, so, uh, fuck, do I recall this right? Oh, shit, uh, go down? More, more like down, the more down possible. Down, down. Okay, somewhere here, like, if I'm gonna second left. <laughs> left. Cause that is a drop, right? Somewhere around here. Like, that must be a drop to... Fuck. Me, I shall hold my even I get him fucking lost. I mean, Deepness is a maze. I'm not yeah. faulting you for this. It is designed to be difficult to traverse. It's dark as hell. Doorways and different paths open up constantly. Like, it is literally a maze. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think you're going right. Like, not not that right. The right. Left. Uh, okay. No, no, no. I said not that right. Okay. The left. Left. Which left? Down. Okay. Great. Back here. Okay. Go right. God, I hope I remember that correctly. Tramway. Okay, right and no, right down. These are so loud. On the left, there must be a secret. Nice. You're completely right. The corpse of a garped. Nope, just dead. So, okay, further lore question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up with dreams and memories? What is... I understand what the purpose of the void is, like the pestilence, plague, but I don't know why this game is so obsessed with like memories and ghosts and dreams and like I don't know what what how that aspect comes into the lore, you know? So I I am I just saying question race? Like like the the whole thing of like going into a person's mind and like discovering like and fighting their selves? I I don't know what. So, 
I can't say much because again, there's still some things that we can't spoil yet that have to do with that. But what I can say is the reason why dreams and whatnot. Also, this is connected to ancient basin, so. Yeah, this is uh, connected episode, to deepness. Yeah, yeah this is no, this is a uh, deepness part affected by the way. Yeah. Okay. Also, oh, yeah, you can um... go. Th also, you can go through enemies. So. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. There we go. There you go. But um, can't spoil much in terms of that. But basically, the whole idea is that. Before the Pale King showed up, most of the insects in Hollow Nest were just straight up bugs. Like, they did not have, like, voices or, like, a proper, like, sentience. Yeah. And what made the Pale King special was that he would show up and, you know, he would give them sentience so he could be oh. worshipped. Oh! So he's the originator of all this. Yeah, so if if the Pale King didn't exist, there are some different like tribes and whatnot in the Hollow Knight universe that would still have their consciousness, but the vast majority of insects would it's literally rare. just be bugs. Yeah. So that's yeah, the, and that's where right like that's where like the whole idea of dreams and whatnot stems from is the fact that literally the entire purpose of the story is that there is this being that gave greater sentience and conscious minds to otherwise like you know just bugs just, just like bugs. wild bugs interesting contains yeah, uh... a forbidden spell that transforms shadows into deadly weapons when using shadow dash the bearer's body will sharpen and damage enemies yeah my advice do not use this but that sounds cool though are you homophobic oh okay. <laughs> anyway <laughs> People follow all they know. Anyway. Just, just that genuine reaction of, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, where are okay, we going now, next? Oh, oh, good. Oh, no. Go up and exit the location. That's a fascinating concept, by the way. And it's then, so now interesting. Like, okay, I'm actually in Grill Connect, but actually can it. Like, Grill actually, like, will make some remark that, like, oh, yeah, those creatures are so fucking dumb. Left and up. Yeah, 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 she's, um, there, there's a, there's a Quirrell comic that you get with the collector's edition of the game, where Quirrell travels outside of Hollow Nest, and outside of Hollow Nest, all the bugs are literally just dumb bugs that huh. can't even speak. And, and, and so like, what the uh, fuck is gonna happen with Self Song? Because Ornid is going through okay, a completely uh, different location uh, outside of Hollow Nest. Okay, so basically... If I'm mistaken, uh, okay, it's actually been kind of explained, like, by the guys that you met, like, the worms are usually, like, basically, like, gods? They kind of kill, like, you know, the, some sort of, like, self, like, how do I say this in English? Like, bastard, worm dog. Um, there are multiple, there are multiple worms, like the one that birthed the Pale King that exists in the Hollow Knight universe. And they always birth a, um, they always birth, like, a royal, like, a, a royal sort of insect like the Pale King that gives other creatures sentience. So there's So there exists, one. there exists multiple creatures like the Pale King, and they are seen as actual gods in this universe. So yeah. it's very possible that there was just another one. Is okay. Un one of those? Okay, Un actually is one of worship gods, like... Uh, as I explained, yeah, it's, uh, this thing of being worshipped. Oh, uh, it also this- Okay, Buster, do you remember the black worm? I no. am pulling a blank on- on that. Okay, okay, uh, basically there was- There's not much on black worm in the game. If I'm mistaken, if you kill a white defender, it will be mentioned. But if I'm mistaken, black worm- probably kill him. I want to. Mm -hmm. He's a really fun boss fight. Yeah, I want to. That guy was so fun. Sorry. Doma, 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 doma. Doma, doma, doma. Okay, then uh, exit the location. Go down. Uh, go right and down. But uh, no, no, exit the location. But um, platform was mentioned as a kind of try to uh, go into Hollow Nest. Like area, like so apparently there's other black forms. Like, but King was so fucking sure in himself that Hollow Nest is gonna be a one and only location. Like, 
I said right. That like uh how nice stands for eternity? Like uh no, I have to go I said right and down. Continue. Oh god. So the thing like uh remember this thing in the starting game? Basically says like, oh yeah, how nice stands for eternity, thanks god. Literally. Like Basically, uh, basically, Pelkin was so fucking sure in his abilities to, for, for like his son, that he was sure that uh, Hall Nest is gonna be a one and only like worm civilization. Yeah, the, the, the beginning of the game calls it like the one and only kingdom or of something. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, everything was nice until Moth Nation attacked. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, basically, this is a moth kingdom. Is... Yes, and basically not. Um, so I is Silk Song a prequel? Okay, we cannot answer this at the moment, um, just because, like, there's not much information. People saying activate the thing on the right, and it's now will be fixed. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> You'll kill the I music. <laughs> you awful person. Um, anyway. That's really homophobic of you, by the way. Uh, happy Pride Month, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, the entirety of Silk Sun is gonna be like actually highly advanced, and it's gonna uh, have like bad bugs, fucking dust locations, something like this. Like basically, the. Um... But then go left. 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 Down. Great. Why is that like a girl from fucking Friday Night Funkin' <laughs> I, I thought about it, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> why do you have to? Oh, why do you have to give it this simple sense of direction? Hey, anyway. Um. What else? Also, okay. Also, I remember how like people been like thinking what the fuck cream is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, like, people still not sure what he is. After Deepness, we're doing Grim, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, look! Look, 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 look. It's, uh... <gasps> cloth! There we go. That's what I was... I, I, that, that's Cloth's, like, club. That's what I was pointing out. My friend, you dealt with all those beasts. I'm ashamed to say I was hiding. Oh, Those ghastly things chased me and I ran. If you hadn't come along, who knows if I'd ever have survived. Others have taken me for a fearsome warrior. What with my impressive size, but this kingdom's beasts. I wonder if I'm just no match for them? No, no, you're great, right, you're great. Right. Yeah! Enough! I cannot allow in my weakness. I must take strength from your example. You act so confident in battle. You show no fear before your foes. I'll try my best to do the same. Let's go, Claw. Such luck. This tiny one appears at just the right moment. And what masterful skill it shows. As a warrior, it sets powerful precedent. I do well to learn from its form. I look forward to our next contact, tiny savior. Then you'll meet a warrior with courage to match your own. Aww. Okay, now go down, if I'm not mistaken. I really hope I'm not mistaken. Motherfucker. I can hear a thing. Oh. Where is it? Oh, wait. No, those aren't... Egg? Egg. Second no, one. We need go. one more. We have to go like the last one. Left. Left. Just, 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 Left. Hold on, hold on, Left. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. Damn it, you're listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, me. thank you, Azzy. I'm, I'm stealing your skin. Oh, 
Oh. oh, it's so nice to see you suffer. <laughs> Path of Pain is gonna be a, a reward for you two after this! Oh, it's such a reward. Oh, Buster, the Pandemons. I go, I did Path of down. Pain as a break from doing the Pantheons. Oh my god! You have yeah, to go down there yeah. I know, I, I need to I need to hurt myself, hold on. I, I... There we go. There we go. That's you enough. know that you can you can you can Please be what we need, please be what we need. Okay, this is so close. Robbie. I will never trust oh, yeah. one of you ever again on site. Home. There we go. Mimu. Mimu. All right. Oh god, I hope I remember. Okay. Mm. Just in case. Hold on, I need okay, to like uh, need to search for your mind just in case. Mm. Actually, we're really close to White Defender. Go up. Sewers? Okay. Um, go up, go right, go up, go left, go down, go left. Remember, remember, nice, nice. Go up, go right, no. Okay, uh, Buster, I'm trying to remember, like, uh, we're gonna kill White Defender. Mm -hmm. And after that, what's the closest station? Because we can go to Stack Station. And we can go to... And we so, can go to the green job. Yeah, because there's... You can do White Defender, and have then that 5, leads out 000, into the big pit with Royal Water Waters. have 5,000 Geo, by the way. Should we go and deposit it into our bank? Uh, we can actually, actually, it will give us more money, yes. Shall we yeah, go cause... deposit this to our bank? Whatever, whatever will get you the most money in the long run, because there's something in Grim Troop that's going to take a fuck ton of your money. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, wait, but remember, like, if we deposit money, we'll, we'll get much more. Well, we'll get much more. True, yeah. Just, yeah. We need to deposit I, I, I guess it in our bank smart. and gain interest. I don't know where okay. the bank is, though. I know where the bank is, it's just I'm trying to build left. I'm just trying to build a way. Left. Hey, Poster, this is look. so sad. Hey, oh, Poster, look. <gasps> it's the no, Five Nights. No. Yeah. The Five oh, Nights of Hollow Nest. No, 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 okay. What? It's the Five Nights of Hollow Nest. Okay. Yeah, the five yeah, it yeah. I was not thinking of anything else. Yeah, yeah. you're right. It's the five yeah. yeah, it's the it's the five yeah. nights of Hollow Nest, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 The f the f canon. <laughs> yeah, I was I wasn't thinking of anything else, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go, <laughs> motherfucker. This guy's so sad. He rebuilt all of his dead friends out of shit. No. Buster, can we kill this green man by the end of the stream, please? Maybe, maybe. Nah, me too. Depends Let's on go. if he brings up my security breach video again. White Defender! Let's go! So fucking fast! Holy shit! Don't forget to come down whenever he's like fully in the ground. I love this guy so much. Holy shit. And you're done. <laughs> Need to learn this pa this guy's patterns, for sure. Oh yeah, he is so not just like a harder dung defender. He's got like, he's got like completely different patterns and everything. What's wrong? What's It'll take me like around a few tries. Oh, look at the figures in the background. Oh, you're so fucking mm -hmm. It's so fucking sad if I'm mistaken, she also think Isma is still alive. Mm-hmm. Like, oh sh He's got no clue. Does she know she chat. Oh, you can actually move the balls. Yeah, you can actually hit them. Yeah. 
Also, Speed Dragon is just fucking bombs here, and that's it. Okay. Oh my. Allow every. Okay, let me. Okay, let me think. Okay, but. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, um. Okay, actually, I actually. Okay, Pastor, I know what I'm gonna have to go next. Hmm. Okay, if we go up and right, that will be a king station, right? There should be, yeah. Okay, the king station. And we go straight to king or sky next? Or is there something else we have to do? Fuck. Is this a is there something else we have to do? I forget, are you able to do the thing with the Descending Dark in this version of the fight whenever he's burrowing, or is that exclusive to Dung Defender? I... do not remember. No. Apparently not. But it won't, no, with that attack. You can't do it with that attack, but with, like, with this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we, you can. It feels just yeah. really sure. Yeah, because if you're Descending Dark whenever he's burrowing like that, it'll knock him out. Yeah. This. Okay, I guess not. No, I guess he's just slow. <laughs> Let me think. Wait, is it the last dream party? <laughs> and dead. Oh, no, 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 he's got a chance. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, last phase. Oh, maybe he does. Does he? Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> Slowly getting better, just need to avoid those attacks. Am yeah, I that right? one was really close. Okay, Shade throw him. And attack him from the back. It will take him a few frames to to uh, fucking to his back. I think the only thing I have to do is stand next. Maybe actually. Okay. Okay. Wait, uh, okay. If I'm gonna it, all we have to do is just do the same thing. No, no, that's a little bit of a bite. I have to. Okay. Oh no, 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 first try, first try. Okay. We're gonna go to King Station. We... we might put a. Okay, we're gonna go to King Station. We might actually put a um, Dream Gate next to Tower of Love. So, yeah. Oh, true, actually, yeah. We're gonna put a gate there. We're gonna, we're gonna go to Green Station. We're gonna go to Bang. Yeah, we're going to Bang. Then we're getting scammed! <laughs> no, we're <laughs> depositing our stuff into the bank! Oh yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Then we go back to King Station. Yeah, then we go back to King Station where I sent to... to fucking... What's it? Then we go to the... Uh, to get our scammer back. Then we go to Stack Next. Man, I just wanna see Grim! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, my god, you're doing very good this attempt. Yeah, it's always just failing for a while and then just learning the actual pattern. I know that that keeps being a meme, but it's actually true. There we go. I mean, yeah, the, in the entire, the wait, entire wait, like, wait. design philosophy of these boss fights is like trial and error. Wait, oh. Here we go, buddy. Aww. Oh. Aww! Oh. No. Oh. You poor insane wreck. She's that insane. This is the fucking point. My friends, I will protect our dear kingdom. Have faith in me. We will all meet again. I promise it. Go to sleep, buddy. This poor, poor, tortured soul. 
I think we didn't actually talk to him at some fucking point. I don't remember how. All right, uh, where next, Azzy? Up, up from right. So go right and go up, and up. then go right all the way to the station. All right. Also, wait, hold on. Can you quickly open your inventory in the next room? I want to see if you have any keys. Mm. Love key. This kind of suck. Okay, go to the right. We do need a key, but you wasted. Uh, I might this... actually return to Asian Basin. Someone in chat also pointed out that in order to talk to Dung Defender again, you have to beat White Defender five times. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, you, you can rematch him and you have to fight him five times in order to talk to Dung Defender. Oh, I mean, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, no. I'm insane, right. but come on. Right. I mean, Chad, I have to suffer. Like, I honestly have to suffer and listen to two or two of those talk about some sort of snap lore. I mean, you know wait. what? Uh, we, you know which boss we should talk, uh, fight more than once though. Who's that? No. Fucking no. Sode. <gasps> well, I want to fight Sode until I can't. You know. Uh, you're, well, you're, okay, you're gonna okay. be fighting him until he literally instantly kills you with one hit. Yes. That's what I want All to right, do. Alright, go off! Go off! Okay, okay, no, actually, kill. Yeah? You'll we'll have to suffer, right? Yes. Uh, trade offer. You give me your sanity, I give you 57. I don't know what that is, Azazel! <laughs> Where are we going? You know. <laughs> I know. Quinn Station. Believe me, 57 is gonna be nice. Is that the number of times I have to fight Zod? No, you fight Zod 10 times. All right. Yeah, you're gonna fight another cool thing. If, if y'all in, in chat know what the number 57 means, you know. All right. Where are we, where are we going? Uh, left up, you I have to get scammed. <gasps> yeah, okay, left up. I like the people in chat who know what 57 scam, scam, means. They're scam, like, oh scam, god, scam, 57. Scam, 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 scam. Well, I mean, the boss did our stuff. I mean, yeah, totally. But yeah, not. yeah, obviously. Oh, come on, come on, she's selling five blushes. <laughs> Hello, dearie. Keen to do some banking. Trade offer. Trade offer. Goodbye then. Stay safe. Okay, should we get a scam now? When next to return to the delightful spa, the water so ease the tension in my shell. Okay, go outside of the room. Get in. Get she in just, back. She just is so fast. Oh wait, we haven't deposited a thousand geo. We, I, I need to go bargain and see if she can deposit okay, right, like right. a thousand more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh. Oh, I think you have to. Oh well, now. go do that deposit. <laughs> Let me, I, I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. You have to sit on the bench, then go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, yes, I do know this motherfucker. Does does she know? She knows. Does she know, Chad? Uh, Neon Ice Cream uh, donates five dollars and says, "Hey, Phil, do you think you're gonna play the Alone in the Dark remake? I think it looks pretty good." Which one? That game got remade like <gasps> Wait. twice. Mm -hmm. Wait, Phil. Phil, mm -hmm. I kill the I kill the, uh, the fucking boss to turn into a spawn. Weaver song! Weaver song! I don't know... Exit! Exit! Oh! What? You got little guys! Children! You got little dudes! Aww. And also... Wait, sit on the bench and wait. Oh! <gasps> guys! 
little guy. I fell asleep. This is like one of my favorite charms in the game just for them. I figured out that I am a pretty fucking, like, nail heavy, like, guy. I, I don't use the spells much, to be honest. I should, oh, I want some quick focus though. That would be nice. You and I are opposites in that regard. I always use my uh, spells. You know, the thing with spells is that they're very, very, very powerful. But if I use them too much during the fight, I get like, like I, th that's too much for me to balance. Like I, it, 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 I struggle with like casting spells in the middle of the fight. So I always go for the nail, you know, because like that's <laughs> the most consistent thing. Shadow wizard money gang. Shadow wizard money gang. What love costumes? Whenever I would um, whenever I would run Pantheon five. I, I started using the spells to try and kill the bosses as quickly as possible, so I just ended up relying on them. Also, oh, hey, Hapa. where'd she go? What, what, what's wrong, huh? Oh, Hapa. <laughs> sadly, sadly, I could, I, I, we, I, 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 this is not my first reaction to this, but like, oh, this fucking game is the best. The first time you get scammed is special. Mother. Fucker! Anyway, thank you everyone for buying five blushes. And then we go to the right. <laughs> okay, and then we go back to the station. <laughs> Into deepness, I think? No. Wait, why? No. No. Oh, King Station. We will put a net. We'll. Fucking okay. grandma. Holy shit, she, she finally took her pills. <laughs> Okay, King Station now, and then okay, King Station. We're gonna put um, what is it? We're gonna put um, Dream Gate because it's not like you're gonna use Dream Gate much. Wait, are we like only one boss away from full ascending? I think we are. Fucking yeah, yes we are we? No. We. Maybe? One or two? I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. Okay, okay, no, uh, only one who left is Xero and Galen. This, this is the last one. Like, one will give 200. No, no, go right, go right now. Um, like, the only one. Yeah, the only one who left is Xero and Galen. Galen will give 200, and Xero will give 100. And this is last. Okay, go to Tower of Love. Yeah, Tower of Love! Tower of Love! Never been here. I mean, yes, I have, but I haven't opened the fucking love door. I love how this place is look like fucking mental, like, mental hospital. Yeah, all the freaking, like, padded walls. Okay, open. Yeah! Okay, um... I will tell you when to place a good uh, dream gate. You're about to meet a character who's like in my top five favorites. The collector. Okay, and um, yeah, go one a little bit further. And place dream gate somewhere here. Yeah. Nice. I only okay, ever um, use this once, I think, in our original playthrough. Okay, do not go in. We're not fighting no. this fucker right now. Should we fight what? now? What? Okay, okay, actually, okay. Don't it's do that right to there. me! It's right there. Okay, okay let's fight, let's fight this. Yeah. Can you just wave this in front of my face and take it from me? Like. <laughs> Look at this boy! Oh, yes, I cannot wait to take a candy away. Wait, is he made out of void? Yeah, yeah, he's he void. What? 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 Why? He's a creature that escaped from the abyss and started collecting random animals because he get, he got an obsession with them. <laughs> Aww. Are you trying to are you telling him real more or head cannon? Uh, it, 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 it's like partially real and like partially just my funny little goofy head cannon. And what else would it be if it's fucking void? Okay, after that we will tell you. Now suffer. What if I dream nail him? I'll wait until he's done. I'll let that instantly kill him. Version. 
Oh yeah, dude. Okay, you have to join now, this bitch. Oh yeah, you can join now him in that other fight, I don't know. Why. Oh, I really want you to do five pounds. Five pounds will give me so much money. At least he doesn't collect primal aspen. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, motherfuckers. Does he know? Does he know, chat? Nail, 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 drip nail. Almost, shit. You're so slow. I love him. What the fuck was he? Okay, wait. It must be saved. A safe space for you, and you, and you! Are we done? Fucking insane bastard. Aww. This game is so good. Thank you, Vanessa, I... for the two dollars. Obsession. Bye bye, funny void man. I miss you already. Mimu? <gasps> Mimu! Yes! All of them, Mimu. Mimu? All of them, too. Mimu! They're all real. No. Oh, he put them in the jar. Took you way long enough, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I'm a second, okay, well, I'll just remember me. Somewhere here, there must be a secret room on the top. I believe the collector's be, yeah. map. Oh, the locations of imprisoned grubs will be displayed. Oh, that's so useful. It's a great upgrade. We only have like a few grubs left. You've only got like a couple left. Some in Green Path. One in Ancestral Mount. This is the first one that we found in our playthrough, and I never was able to get it. And I'm in a grateful pick. Some in Kingdom's Edge. Uh, this is Hive. Yeah, no, we got everything in Deepness somehow? Yeah, and this is not my in Deepness. So. We're very thorough in Deepness. Green Path, Queen's Gar one in Queen's Gardens, one in Green Path, one in Ancestral Mound, one in uh, City of Tears, and then the rest is in Hive. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's go get that grub. Okay, um, now try to look for something in, on the um, on the ceiling. There must be a secret room you can jump onto, I guess. It's either or either for the right, somewhere here. Okay, it's from here, yeah. Huh? Grub. Grub lore. The collector really likes grubs. Grub lore, grub lore, glub, grub lore. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, there was the uh, remember the guy that we found um that we were finding uh the Vitruvian grub. Key? The love key oh. from? Here you did. Uh, where? Okay. Okay, now go back. Actually, okay, we'll get a grab from... We'll get a grab from City of Tears. Okay, we'll get a grab from City of Tears, and yep. then we'll get our money back. I mean, deposit. <laughs> yeah, right. Down. How you keep using those spells right now? You don't have to use them. And never use them for like the battles. Mhm. Mm if you want to drop faster, do the do the spin spin attack, like the spin nail mastery. Like it will help you. Yeah. Huh. Spin attack. Spin attack. Use it to drop faster. Okay, then go up, and there must be an open door somewhere. Here, while you guys are doing that, I'll just be back in a second. No problem. Where Grub at? 
Would you not leave me with you alone? Where like, grub oh. at? Boy! Can I sit in the right? Maybe? Sh sh just check the doors. Top? Murder. No, not here. Grubby grubs. Either right up. Not here. Nope. Either somewhere on the right. I do not remember where. Up right. Oh. Jesus Christ. Fight, okay, yeah, okay, a little bit left. No, no, there's no more. A little bit left. Down. Oh. One, a few layers, and the open door that you missed. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Down. A, a layer down. This. Rub? Grub! You protect. You protect Grub. Mimu! This. Very nice. Okay, now, now go to the bathhouse. In the city? Mm-hmm. That should be on the left side, right? Oh. It's here. Great job, idiot. Fuck! <laughs> I told you, great job, idiot. Wow. I thought you were complimenting me. <laughs> Marissa. Hey, I, I, I'm so done with you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just have a little bit of patience, Azzy. I'm impatient for the last nine hours. You've done you've done a lot of help. I really appreciate it. Pleasure house. Yeah. Is she the only bug that's blonde? Selling. Blonde bug. <sighs> Yo, motherfucker! What up? Dream nail, yeah. Oh no! Leave me be, creepy little thing! Uh, uh, hello there, theory! Fancy seeing into, running into you here! <laughs> Is it Geo you're after? Well, uh, you see, uh, it's that thing, but, uh, it's gone. All spent. The cost of running a bank can be high, so I had to charge a somewhat large service fee for your accounts. Perfectly legitimate, of course. Just a part of the whole banking deal. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for visiting me. Uh, uh run, run along now, won't you? If you allow me some privacy, I'll be done here soon, and then you can have all the spa all for yourself. Kill, Time kill, to kill. kill, 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 kill. No, with me. Okay, my advice, do not bother her outside of the map. Just... Okay, bogger you up. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying. Fuck so yeah. Can we get a, can we get a blob bonk? Bonk. Oh, 
my fucking pinata. Come on. Yeah! Holding out on that! <laughs> yeah, she's the best to torturing I never found her. Just call that fucking line, please. Get the fuck back in your water. Oh! See? You still dropped it. Well, I told you to call out the fucking money. Oh my god! I told you. Fucking shake down, shake down, shake down, shake down, dun 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 Oh shit, that? girl! Isn't that satisfying? Super fucking satisfying. I wonder if the game like uh, stops you from like. Finally? No, more. MORE! MORE! Stop. Oh my god. MORE! You said you we needed money! Flash your shirt, not me. Stop hurting her! No! This confirms feelings against women. I mean, ima imagine if women dropped money when you hit them. Stop it. Talk to her. <laughs> Come up, Mom. You good? Okay. All right, that's it. Okay. Okay, fast drop. Time for the Grim Troop. I think that's it. Nothing more. Yeah. Now time for the Grim Troop. Grim Troop. I think I know how to activate it. So. Yeah, you know. Let's go. Actually, fuck this. Use Dream Gate. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and just go to King Station and then go to the Snet Stag Nest. Come on, let's pass troll. Can we can do Stag. Summon? If if he's not back, we can do Stag Nest after we activate Grim Troop. No, we can do. No, we have to do Stag Nest first because we have to summon pass troll then. Can grim, somebody grim, sacrifice? Grim, 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 grim. Can somebody sacrifice a child to summon pass troll? Is that how it works? Oh, yeah, I mean, it usually works. Ah! Grim, my beloved! Yeah, we- I don't- I don't want to do... the- the stack nest without Pastra. Well, we'll just go there without doing anything sadly. Or should we do something else? Uh... Don't you have to go into the edge of the world to do Grim Troop? Mm, no. Okay. Okay. Actually, listen. Actually, listen. Actually. Okay. Fuck. Buster is not back. Okay. 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 Listen. To oh, me. maybe we can do some grub hunting on on Green Path and Queen's Gardens. Okay. Yeah. Actually. Um. Yeah. No. No. Okay. No. No. Go to Green Path. Just 
the grab that we need we have to shield oh, with that from the green bar. Alright. Go to grub father. Uh, when we get all the grubs. Oh, I have three grubs here. And then one in Ancestral Mound. Okay, uh, go to the... Like, oh, the one... there's one in Crystal Peak yeah, as the well. One, the one that I thought Chad will guide you, so... But, okay. Okay, go right... Go, okay, go up from here. And go one plat platform up and right. It's here, it's here, probably. Is it? Yeah. Spell, spell, spell. Mimu! Alright, um. I need to go down. From here, you can go. Actually, you can go. Okay, go platform down, right? Okay, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some grump hunting. Okay, and do down and do, go a dissection down. I'm back. Hello there. Yeah. We're doing some grub hunting. Grub hunting? Yeah, yeah we decided not to actually grave troop. Okay, yeah, by the way, thank you so much in chat for sacrificing the child. I'm gonna get- Ooh, I can finally get this! Fuck yeah, what is it? <laughs> Nothing, okay, colonist seal. <laughs> colonist yeah. seal?! Oh yeah, we also sh shook down our banker. I was gonna say, it looks like you got your money back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. <gasps> actually, speaking of money, should we fight a big grub? Oh, fucking not big grub. Fucking big moss bitch. Hmm. I forget where you fight the big moss charger. Okay, go. Okay, go right. Uh, okay, okay, you turn straight. Okay, then have to go right. Okay, you have to go to the. I have to go down. Hmm. Not no no. Go back, go down. Yes. No, no, wait, okay. Okay, map. Like around map, map, here. Map, map, no, map. Like around here, right? Mm -hmm. Bottom right? No, no, it's not here. What? No, okay, go up. We missed it. Okay, go back in the room above. I mean, guiding him right? Yeah, I, I am. feel it. <laughs> okay, up. Up. Mm -hmm. Up, one platform, and right. <laughs> Almost fucking touched me. Oh, huh? the way right. <gasps> Mimu! Every single time you land in the acid, I forget that you have uh, Isma's tear, so I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now bottom left towards Queen's Gardens. Actually using the map for once. Crazy. He has been Probably. guiding me most of the way through, so I don't really need to do that. And and even somehow you've been, and even somehow you've been getting lost. So, question. Mm -hmm. What's the lore of Queen's, like... What what does this, like, grassy green area exist in the first place? Is it just because the Queen liked gardens, or...? Okay, this... Okay. The green path does exist because it exists. Oh, by right. the way, you can find the bitch here. Bitch. Hello. But Queen Gardens existed because... It's, if I'm not mistaken, it was, uh... Just there because she just like gardens. It was in a much better form, like 
it was in a match by the like money, blue money, 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 money. when you can read about those creatures by the way like a big one which is like cute i think but wasn't wasn't it that like all the overgrown like wildlife and all like the shrub creatures and whatnot were created by un family of I creatures think... that have learned to bulk up and with moss and live as one there is strength in numbers, yes, but these creatures never had much strength to begin with. Cut through their trickery. Oh, that's mean. Yeah, okay, people, people in chat are confirming that. Yeah, Un, Un was the creator of Green Path and all, like, the green overgrowth and all the little moss creatures. Left. some sort of god, but if I'm mistaken, once the fucking king appears, uh, everyone stop worshipping. This is why the, um, uh, this is why the shrine in, next to the Lake of An is such a bad condition. Aww. Yeah, cause I'm, yeah, that, that's, that's like a recurring thing is that there were other gods in this universe, but the Pale, the Pale king, king showed up and was like, hey, guys, Fuck I'm all awesome. And then the other gods were like, whoa, wait, wait, but then all other people were just like, okay, yeah, you know, this guy's sick. He likes buzz saws and he creates light. Like, oh my god. Oh my gosh, she hates children? She's just like me for real. Not enough oh to god. fucking get rid of the fucking plague. This guy's a lamp and he hates children? Holy crap, sign me up. Treasure chest. Yeah, do the parkour. Which you kind of don't have to do because fucking... You have Ace Materials. Yeah, it's fucking easy mode now we have that. <laughs> Rub! Sorry, Mimu! Bud. I'm sorry, I'm so ready, Puppet. <laughs> Mimu! Little Mimu! Calm down, you're crazy. Sorry, my therapist will hear about you. Okay, actually... Actually... All right, we got all the top left side grubless. We got no grubs in the bottom left. We need one in astral mound. And we need one in... Fucking... Crystal Peak. Okay, we're actually really close. Go left. The ones in Kingdom just... Edge are in the hive, so you can just get those when we go there. Yeah, but now we have to go to Stagnus, so go left. Yes, we do! Grim troop, oh, we actually get to go there now. <gasps> in the, in the Grim troop. Go up. No, 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 no. This, this is a vessel, if I'm not mistaken. Fuck yeah, thank you. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Glasses Guy, for the $2. Hey, Phil, what are your thoughts on yeah. Dead Rising? Dead Rising 1 is literally top five favorite games of all time. So, I will definitely stream it in the future. That game, you, that game, you, you know how you guys have, like, somewhat of, like, a fucking, like, photographic memory of the errors in this game? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same thing with me, but with Dead Rising and Resident Evil. Dead Rising is just so fucking fun. I so, have never played Dead Rising. Okay, me so... Uh, if I can explain it... What's the way that I could best explain it? Okay, so imagine open world, but the map is small. It's a mall, and it, over the course of 72 hours, you have to, like, complete objectives and save survivors from, like, a giant fucking zombie wave that infected the mall. And, like, uh, the entire thing is perfect because if you love managing your time and resources, that, that series is, like, the perfect companion to Resident Evil when it comes to that. It's just... Done. Okay, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. You're playing as fucking journalist, right? Yeah, Frank West. Uh, you and take photos to get experience points. You are supposed to solve this, like, super mysterious case about where the infection came from, but even though, even though the main story itself is super serious, every single other side quest and plot and, like, the, 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 the cutscenes and goofy characters are, like, completely off-the-wall fucking cartoon-like, and it's just... Oh, I love that. I love that game so much. Yeah, I know, like, I, if I'm not mistaken, like, most of the events in the game are time-based, left. Yeah, uh, ev when you start that game, every single event is, like, is reigned by a universal clock that you can look at in your, you can look at your watch, or you can look at the clocks around the mall, and every single event there is timed to that clock. 
it just keeps running. Like, no, it's, go down. It's a it's a thing that I thought that they would do with security breach. Like, you, when you know, translate the time of like from from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. to like an actual time-based event-based like open world. It's the yeah. best way of adding tension to an otherwise calm and like <laughs> otherwise calm experience like that the the timer in dead rising makes it so much more unique compared to every single other open world game out there it's just Left. there's nothing else like it, it and, sounds cool as hell and then capcom fucked it up because people complained that the timer was so like this was so they put so much pressure on them oh no i can't go have fun with my zombies if the timer keeps telling me what to do no that's the point you fucking dumbass and then Capcom removed the timer restrictions after, like, Dead Rising 3, and the whole series fucking became awful. Hate it! Oh, that sucks. They, 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 it's same shit with Resident Evil, except Resident Evil actually bounced back from the awfulness. Dead Rising just fucking fell down. A every single game after Dead Rising 1 had something that I didn't like about it. You know? So it never had its Resident Evil 7. It never had its resurrection, no. All right. Let's go into the stack nest. Let's go. And after that, we're doing the... Actually, we will have Joiner's Blessing. <sighs> that pass you hold. It is not for that ghastly machine, the tram. I hope you're not thinking of riding on that grotesque contraption. The thought of a mere machine could attempt what we stags do. Very foolish. Very foolish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Grandpa. Uh, by the way, I just want to point out to you guys that this guy's called the last stag. <laughs> Being backed in my old home, I feel the weight of my long life bearing down on me. I carry it proudly, though. Wherever I travel, the memories of my family and my kind come to me. There we go. And that must be a mask shirt or um. These are all the other stags. Dead. Do you remember where to get last two? Yes, I do remember. An empty eggshell. An empty eggshell. Egg. What does that mean? An empty eggshell in the stag nest. No, no, go to go back, back, back. Okay, 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 okay. Go, 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 go. We'll go Egg. Outside. Egg. Yo, buddy. Yo, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. No. The last stag. What do you think of my old home, little one? It was full of life once, stags coming and going, swapping stories of the places they'd been and the passengers they'd met. For a long time now, I've considered myself the only one remaining, the last stag. But being in the nest again, there's something in the air, a smell of war uh, or a warmth, a presence perhaps? Could it be other stags have made their way out into the wider world? Yes, I will hold on to that hope. My kin, still alive, still out there, journeying beyond these lands. He changed his name to Old Stag. Changed his name to Old Stag because he has hope again. But for me, I could never abandon the stagways. Not as long as passengers still need them. I can tell you you still have an important work to do. 
I will be your companion as long as my old body still serves. Let us enjoy the old stag ways of this kingdom together a little longer. <gasps> ah! I love this fucking guy! Such a bittersweet moment for this ah! guy. Like, oh, I love him. The fucking fast travel fucking story. It's just a fast travel system. This guy's literally just a fast travel guy. But this story is so fucking cute. I've never seen a game before this one literally flesh out the fast travel as a full character who has like a story ah! arc. All right. Yeah, we. I, 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 I wanted you to be here just for that. Just like, oh, that puts a smile on my face, you know? It's so wholesome. Now it's not awesome. Time mm -hmm. for Dumbler Sex and Men. Alright! <gasps> I have no fucking clue what Grim Troop is, by the way. We're, in, we're doing yeah, here, here. Okay, okay. Da jump down and go left the exit of the room. Oh, 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 I'm sitting up in my chair. Go, motherfucker. I said left. Alan Cliffs. Holding my Grim Plush tightly. You do actually have a Grim? Oh yeah, you do. I yeah, do, just, I do. Just, I posted a picture this... of him on Twitter at the start of the stream. Dude, when this fucker got announced, people have been making so much fucking fun of how fat he is. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Somewhere uh, on the right, there must be a breakable wall. Somewhere. On the right. I like how you always go left when I say that. I've got, I've got a plush of this guy. I have two pins of him, and I have a shirt of him. I, I. There we go. Um... Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. So is that a lie? I'm not sure. What? Like... Don't, don't let Mad Mad read this. No, 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 just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, is that a lie? Ugh, I really want to play... Just, After okay, okay, Now, now okay, that I've been, been playing this game again, I really want to play Sail Silk Song. Right! Oh. oh my god! Finally, finally somebody just stabbed with me. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Basha? Mm hmm It's time. It's time. It's oh, time. you gotta wait it's a time. little bit. Me? <laughs> Go right. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, I was gonna wait and see if he could figure that out. <laughs> what do you think about Phil? Are you like... You have hopes still? I've got faith in him! The corpse of a sure. large bug. Oh. Listen. <laughs> clown music. Shut up. He's my you clown. Have... Shut up, you have no words on this man. Back to Dirtmouth? Okay, first of all, um... Okay, there's a charm in that location. Um... Just, like, few layers above. Go to the left, click King's Idol because we will need money, especially since now we have Grim Troll. 8,000. <laughs> yeah, would you believe me if that's not nearly enough? Holy shit. Man. Okay, go like fully left. Just fucking feel. Fucking. Um, go fully left. Left. No, just jump down. Left. I like the people in chat who don't know, like, who or what Grim is, so they're just like, what, what, what's going on? I'm so confused. Okay, go right. Um, and that is must be- <gasps> Kings Idol? Okay, 
pick. No, fly mount. Okay, wait. Okay, let me remain. Uh. Actually, no. Go right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Camo King 360. For the five dollars, the nightmare has begun. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. I wouldn't. I wouldn't nightmare, call it a nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> I will not judge you. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Yeah. Emu. Forward to this. Wait. Oh, okay. There was a Mimu here. There was a Mimu. Yeah. What? Oh. Have fun. Ah, oh, fuck! What? My last one would kill the right one. The left one is useless. Fuck you, man. It's a nest of these things. Mm -hmm. It's their den. Balder shell. Protects its bearer with a hard shell while focusing. <gasps> Soul! The shell is not indestructible and will shatter if it absorbs too much damage. So, is. Well, it's not a fragile charm, though. No. It will, okay, it will restore it once you sit on the bench. Alright. But it can handle up to five or seven damage. Could be really good for me, actually. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting it. Will here. it break on dreams? Yes. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Now back to Dirt Mouth. Well, down the sex man. Dirt left, Mouth time. Left. No. No, don't jump there. Go left and climb up. Oh, actually, no. Climb up. And that must be another breakable wall on the right. Somewhere where Cornifer sits, if I'm not mistaken. Also, that must be a tree of dreams in one of those. In one of the platforms. I did easy. see it. Really? Oh, it's, it's useful. It's useless, so. Yeah, because we already have enough dream stuff. We, we already got the Void Heart, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, uh, climb up. No, not here. Somewhere where Cornifer sits, if I'm not mistaken. You're corny. Also, if I'm not mistaken, now you can meet him at his wife's house. <gasps> yeah, corny's gone. Okay, yeah, go right. Do the little parkour section for one of the... Most beautiful supplications, in my opinion. You know, remember, remember that last year. Sorry, what? I I just associated for a minute. Thinking about Stop. Grim too much. I was literally looking <laughs> at like stuff of Grim. I am not kidding. Awesome. I. I... Man, I and I thought I thought you were a fan of Hollow Knight, Azzy. I'm ho I'm fan of Hollow Knight, not one particular stumbler section man from this game. That's the thing with some of these big fandoms. Some people will just like. Some people are fans of the game itself. Some people are fans of that particular character. Like you know the fucking Undertale Sans fandom that rose up. Like mm -hmm. that shit. That shit got scary, man. Oh my god, yeah. Or like the like the Onceler from the fucking movie. Like or I don't know. Cipher. I do not understand when people like. I understand being fans of like a game or a show or a movie but i don't understand the people that go crazy for like that uh, that particular character and they make like thousands and dozens of variations of the same character but to interact with like each other like i i don't i don't get it it gets it gets absolutely insane it gets yeah. bonkers if you let it fester for too long Check what left. the fuck is this one of the most beautiful locations, in my opinion. It's so pretty. Five fan artists, can you explain? No, but that's people making their own characters based off of Fi, not making like Fi versions. Joni's blessing. I've seen people make a use of my characters. Blessed by Joni, the kindly heretic. Transfigures vital fluids into blue lifeblood. The bearer will have a stealthier shell that 
and can take more damage. They will not be able to heal themselves by focusing so fuck off. And how does he can get in talk to this <gasps> fucker? Yep. Ah, I see you bear my blessing. I can't remember giving it, but my memory has been a little lacking as of late. Relatable. It's isn't it just so peaceful here? Such a perfect place to rest. Aw. Bye bye, Johnny. Drinking this thing was a taboo, and well, you. I mean, you saw that his name is Heretic, so. Like, nobody fucking knows much about. Another like deity slash power thing that the Pale King, like, stomped down on. I mean, he didn't like most of the flowers, mostly because he was scared it will go against his own. Hmm. This is what I mean. And th I mean, this is. Most, most of the reason why the entire fucking whole night thing is going on, so... He, he, he tried to stop down every single other de deity and power that didn't come from him, and then the plague came along and fucking wrecked his ass. Absolutely obliterated him. No chance. Like, this game is dark. But awesome. It's it, it, it it's so dark in all, like, the right ways. Oh, can I not come back? No. Oh, I can't no, go back can. to... Okay. Does it make sense? Just dash... Bozo. Man, this game is cool! <laughs> Let's go! Now you see why... <laughs> now you see why people... Well, why, why nurse like me and Basha love this. Hello? <gasps> it's time! <laughs> oh, 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 chill, Basha, chill. We're here! Need to go uh, visit Dirtmouth for a second? I'll be right back, guys. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so concerned! Look there! Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Ugh, it fills me with dread. I think it's best to try to ignore it. <laughs> Why must these grotesque strangers intrude into our peaceful little home? Sometimes I feel like the whole world is conspiring to make me uncomfortable. Aww. Nice to see you, buddy. Ah, tiny warrior. I'm glad I could see you again. You've inspired me. I'm about to head off in search of other places and other foes. This quiet town's the perfect stop before I scale the cliffs and head out into the plains. Nola, I'm coming. More challenging fo foes are out there somewhere, but none in this ruin could take me to you. Oh. Can I read this sign? No, just save on the bench and then... <gasps> Fuck, we should, we should do so, Dread. We should do so. <sighs> we should do so, okay. and we should get the grub from uh, the Crystal Peak. Yeah, my friends, I think Buster will explode. Can we go into that? Mm -hmm, please, all please, right, all right, please, all right, please. Right. Yo, Sly, are you okay? What, what's going on? How's going on, buddy? Do I buy this yet? Okay, uh, go into smaller town first. Actually, no. Okay, sit on the bench. Oh, what if we uh, read the, uh, the the girl's diary? I love oh how my you, god. <laughs> I, I love how you purposely train to make posture explode. The white savior in darkness. Troubled dreams beset the maiden. The savior gone, consumed below. Oh, no, yeah, I've already read this. Yeah. You already read this. Posture, posture will be there. He's right okay, Should we talk okay. to him? No, no, no. Okay, faster. Mhm. Mm talk, 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 talk. Okay, okay, dude. If you talk into this fucker now, you're gonna do pantheons. In the future, no matter what, you will. You will do pantheons. Go talk to him. I'm telling you, if you talk to him, you will do pantheons. Okay, that's a that's a posture voice. 
Shall uh, the stream, the stream been announced. <laughs> Pale thing, you wear that nail with ease. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no great warriors in this decaying burrow. I've heard an arena exists somewhere below. One built for our like. Mm. Meet me there and we'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon. Come and find me if you dare. Cool. Uh, this is Kickstarter character, by the way. Colonist. What challenges await in its ruins? <laughs> this little squib clearly fears me. I'd kill it right here, but it'd be too pitiful an end. Thank you, Squidward. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> the button. He's sleeping. He's sleeping, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Empanada. Empanada. Okay, go to the right to talk to her. Oh. Corner for his home at last, but look at him. He's exhausted. He snores so fucking loudly. <laughs> he always does this. <laughs> Furiously charts a place, then collapses when he's done. He'll be sleeping for some time, I imagine. So even with him home, I'm so lost for company. Ah, but I do love the bug, even even his faults. Seeing his passion for maps, it's something of an inspiration. Aw, power couple. Corny keeps asking me to join him in his adventures, and I've always declined. Maybe next time I should accept his offer? Aw? Okay, sit on the bench. Ooh. Uh, charms? Mm-hmm. Okay, you have to kill Fragile straight. No matter how, like, just do that. Fragile strength? Sure! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Okay, great. Now go to the small tent. On the left. Do we talk to small. these guys? No, 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 the small, small, small. Those are horses. Talking horses. The roads between us are dark and long, but the master's light will always guide us. A new land. Different from the last. How many more will we see? So yeah, okay, that's confirmation that... That, whatever the king says is bullshit, Hollow Nest is not the only place in this world. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this uh, later, I guess, after the fucking... Hollow Nest is Mag not the... What the fuck? <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah, and I have a special character from this game. Chad, stop, Chad, stop, Chad, no. Chad. You call us? You called us! And we came! We came! You don't I... look scared! Why did you call us? <laughs> you, you said Smashable, right? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came! I can smell something! Something I... deep below us! I want it! I want it! So... Talk more. <laughs> My charm! Beautiful! Most precious thing! Little lovely! Will you let me see it? I have to show it to me. Oh. Yes, give it. Give it. <laughs> Such a little beauty! Such a smell! Such a smell! So good! So tasty! A perfect, perfect thing! Just for me! Lovely. 
<laughs> You're very sweet to bring me such a gift. <laughs> the one who made my gift. Ah! Somewhere <laughs> below, yes? Very good gift. Very tasty. Delicious. <laughs> do you want something, little lovely? You don't want to take my gift back, do you? <laughs> so tasty, so cruel, if that's true. Once you give something a gift, it's lost to you forever. Oh, please, please. A gift <laughs> for you? So greedy. Why does she have so much dialogue? But I could show you something if you're nice to me. Little lovely, will you do a nice thing, lovely? Give them to me. Your Geo. Give me your Geo, and I'll give you a gift. Make a grim after that would be such a... Holy rare. fucking shit. Yeah, remember uh, when I said it wasn't enough? Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. Think of Vanessa for the $2. 10 out of 10 voice acting, fell. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, oh, my okay. face hurts. My... No Geo! What? Why don't you have enough Geo? Okay, leave, please leave, leave. Please, oh please, sake. please leave, please. <laughs> okay, okay, let's okay, let's satisfy posture and not send through therapy. Go to the big mm -hmm. tent. All right. Please, please. Hello there. Babala Geno. Mm hmm. Called us. Speak to Master. Please. <laughs> When flame burns bright inside one's mind, can heed the call cross lands and time. Okay, yeah, go right. Oh, finally. Oh, shit, boy! Woo! There he is! There he is! The boy! All right. Uh, oh I, I, I feel like if I take this away from him, he will like they'll kill me. So go uh, ahead. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. All right. All right. What kind of voice am I gonna do for him? Ooh, uh. So it was you who called us. Perfect. Well met, my friend. Well met. I am Grim, master of this troop. Troop master Grim. The lantern has been lit, and your summons heeded. A fine stage you choose. This kingdom followed by worm and root. Perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. Uh -huh. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. Fuck yeah. As the lantern flared, your roll was cast. Our compact written in scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence, but first, some illumination is required. I fucking love how this guy talks. Grim I child. so much. Holy shit, you gave birth. Across these lands, my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my... Breed the flame and dream. Seek my kin. Claim their flame and return it to me. Together, marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one, for this task won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself burning essence. Eh? Like you, the child plays key role in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. <laughs> Come back! Come back! Cool guy. Hey, well, welcome to this. Hey, well, welcome to Grim Oh, Grim Trodel, see you. Anyway. Time to go equip that charm and explore Hollow Nest. Mm, okay, actually, people are right. We have to visit the f uh, the fucking merchant from uh, Siege of Tears. Oh. You seen that shit? <laughs> you 
that lovely Lee Young last returned to us. I must admit, I'd placed thin odds on her survival. Seems to think very highly of her rescuer, some sort of dashing warrior type. Barely stopped gushing when she got back. The war must have passed down below whilst I was taking my nap. Such a shame. I'd have loved to meet so, so impressive of a bug. Yo, bitch. <laughs> Asshole. Okay, um... Actually... Yeah, it killed us. And look at the baby. Leave. Baby! You little grim baby! Baby! Child! Grim baby! You can shit, wait, shit and wait. This entire DLC is babysitting. Yeah, basically. Oh! Which is really close to babysitting. Tell this is a babysitter. Oh, uh, white light will help you near the location of this fucker. Anyway. Yes? Anyway, um. I want to see, I want to see the okay. Uh okay, go Ooh. Hmm? So there's yeah, a flame can... in Crystal Peak and the Green Path, if I'm not mistaken, right? Green Path? Yeah. Crystal oh, Peak. Oh there's one in, there's one at City of Tears too. And the one in City of Tears. Green. So that's perfect. Can... You can you can go to Lem whenever you go to get that flame. No, sadly not because we have to go to the Lem through Okay, to the lamb we have to go through King Station and to actually would be would it be easier to go through um, uh, City of Tears storage? No, hmm. right? Hmm, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Let's go sell our shit, then let's do the first part of Grim Troop. Mm-hmm. Uh, S Noodle super chats five dollars and says, How good is this game? I never played it, and my friend gave me a free copy on Steam. Play it. Okay, Fucking listen, play listen, it! Listen, play it. Listen, listen, hear me out. If you're not gonna play this, I will steal your family hostage. Anyway. Okay, so, right, hear, noodle. hear me out, Grim. Mm hmm. That's all. Just yeah, Grim. <laughs> true, true, though. Yeah, he's right. Okay, yeah. Noodle, Noodle. Also, thank you for becoming a member. Uh, noodle. Do you know what. Uh, no, no game can be perfect, right? No game can be the best game of all time. Okay. However, okay, however, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. however, there is something called the peak of a genre. And for Hollow Knight, I would say that Hollow Knight is the absolute pinnacle of the Metroidvania genre. Like, the, there, are, there are games that can be considered the peak of shooters, horror, like, action, puzzle, stuff like that. Uh... Hollow Knight is the king of Metroidvania. So if you enjoy those kinds of games, you have to play this. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much my sell on it. No, yeah, okay. that's, that, that's like the reason I love it so much. And Grim. All right. Okay, where are we going? me and Pastor can put guns away. Okay, King Station. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, Metroid itself exists. Yeah, no, Metroid sucks compared to, compared to this. See, I I love Metroid. Do not get me wrong. But, like, I feel like this game just takes better advantage of everything that makes the Metroidvania genre that Metroid started so good. Yes. Metroid will always get props for being one of, like, you know, the, the games that started this. But other yeah, games have a... built upon it and improved upon, like, the genre in many different ways, and this game's the pinnacle of that. Yep. Okay, go, uh, go left. Child! Yeah, he will actually attack me for another second. Look, if for a second he will attack, right? I don't know if he can attack at this point. Oh, he just useless well. He, he, like he needs to grow up a little bit before he can start attacking. Child, ow. Yeah, you know, this DLC is basically babysitting and killing people, which is basically the same thing. Telling this is a babysitter. Where are we going? Left. Any it's particular entire... location? Lem. Left, then you got across the statue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Ah, if only we had one more ore. Mm -hmm. Well, for sure, don't forget the- what, where would you the ore? I don't know what ones he's already gotten and what ones he's missed. Okay, yes, I'm looking. Yeah, yeah cause I- I know he- like, I know he got the Colosseum one, and I've seen the ones he got this stream. But there were points where I wasn't watching yesterday, so I wasn't okay, able to see all the ore he okay, got. Okay, we got ocean base, or got from base, or got from cedar. Uh, the one on crystal pick. We got one in Nosk. Do we got Nosk? Oh. Did you get the Did you get the one from Grubfather? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I was about to say this is the one. No, wait, wait, you. No, go right. This is the last one from the Grubfather. Yeah, I was about to say that. All right, so we just need to find all the grubs. No, just 31. How many is that? 36, right? I believe right. so. The child. Right. Oh, yeah, no, no more. Just no, the child's been soft locks. No! <laughs> <laughs> Dead! You just killed Grim's baby! Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. Oh. We're fine. Do not, do not worry, we gave birth to another there one. Okay, the only thing I want you to read is about one kin idol and the eggs. Just read about the eggs. Eggs are useful. An icon of hollowness. No, no, no like the this the thing that like the merchant will say. All right, let me sell these though. May I sell all oh. of them? Yeah, you have to say all of them because they oh, literally have nothing else. Velmi Arcus. Hopefully, we get enough. Velmi Arcus. Velmi Arcus. I'm sure you will. Yeah. We got a lot of them. You you've been collecting so much. Holy shit. Money, 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 wow, money, money, so cash, great. money, wow, honey, so amazing. money, money. Yeah, I did it all by myself. Oh, Paul, tell me, Arcid. I think we, yeah, yeah. I think with oh, just the journals, me, we have enough. Yes. Yeah. Gachel, leave. Tell me, Arcid. Oh, Paul, tell me, Arcid. I wish you could sell them all at once, though. Yeah, that's the problem. I wish you could just. Probably because of the unique dialogue, but I don't really care much to... Yeah. Right? I know there's a mod you can oh get God, that makes it so you can. Well, me Your son, Velmi Arthur. Velmi Arthur. Velmi Arthur. Oh man, this is what making money sounds like. Velmi <laughs> Arthur. Bring me back to the cookie clicker days. Oh pop. Velmi. Oh my gosh, for real. <laughs> Riveting you know? gameplay. Oh pop. You know, it also sounds like money. Fucking ass big. Oh pop. <laughs> That's the other money maker. Dude, I have to do it. Oh, the king's idol. Okay, oh. read about one, and this is useful. Useless, after all. I'll oh, read about several of those. A king's idol, huh? Alanes King was an elusive figure, deified by the citizens. With the king rarely seen, worship was offered through these idols. There's an expert craft to them. Few alive could match this skill. The king's idol. If you look closely, each of these idols are, is subtly different. There are fine engravings about them that take some time to decipher. I suspect each was tailored to the owner, a personalized symbol of the king's omnipotence. Another king's idol? Have you visited the remnants of his palace? It's down below the city, in the bedrock of the kingdom. Must have been an impressive sight in its time. Now there's nothing left. It's a strange thing, though. There are no signs of conflict around the area. It's as though the whole place just vanished. Huh? So you were saying, um, you were saying that the White Palace was the memories of a king's mold, right? Yeah. Uh, well. you're sort of right. Huh? <laughs> Do you know what the, oh, Okay, Bell King basically said, Wanna see a magic trick? Huh? 
Hill King basically said, oh, my kingdom's in shambles? What if I just... And then did took the entire palace away. Did they shove it into that guy's brain? Yeah, he, um, he put it... He, he went into the dream of one of his king's mold with his palace to try and avoid the infection once the, the Hollow fuck? Knight failed. Yeah. He, he ran away with his palace after the, uh, after the Hollow Knight was a failure. That's yeah. awesome, but also, what the fuck, king? Yeah. Dude, yeah. once his son became like, uh, once his son failed, he was like, okay, actually, I will not do anything, I will just hide. Oh, what a fucking coward! <laughs> okay, and that's, now you that's... Yeah. yeah. Now you see, like, people say he's the worst dead possible. Fucking hell! I've often wondered the true visage of the king. Depictions are of an imposing, gleaming figure and a fiercely horned crown. I suspect there's much embellishment in the imagery, though. A ruler seeking worship tends to hide their blemishes. It'd do no good to appear a common bug! <laughs> oh, the irony. Oh, oh the irony. Little, little fucker, little fucker. Uh. Alright, almost done selling all our stuff. Salazar complex. Okay, Little is Salazar or, complex. I'll read about eggs because there's like only three in the game. It seems like a simple egg, but it's actually a precious relic from before the birth of Hollow Nest. I'll pay a small fortune for it. Please sell it to me. An arcane egg, huh? Now this. Oh, arcane. <laughs> this is an ancient egg. I think thing. These relics are the prize of my profession. There's knowledge hidden within, though it's very difficult, painstaking work to extract. One large understanding can be gleaned, though. This civilization may claim itself the first. Ah! But something else did exist within this place before Hollow Nest. Each egg offers a narrow glimpse into that forgotten age. Another arcane egg? It's a rare chance to own two of these. I'll be the envy of all my colleagues, though my purse is feeling much lighter for it. <laughs> These eggs are the most desired find from time before Hollow Nest. They're not the only remnant of that age. You may come upon them. Those old statues that seemed a store for a soul? They too prove its existence, though in a larger, cruder form. Hmm, looks like you don't have any relics on you. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there's only one last egg we can find. Um, I don't know how to get it. I'm not sure if you want to get it. Mm. I mean, I don't think we need to. It's a lower base, but anyway, go down. Yeah, it would be. A... Where are we going Why exactly? Should... We're doing the green troop DLC. Oh. Shouldn't we go oh, but... up then? I mean, it's, it would be isn't it, it would be easier to go to King Station and then to and then to um, storage. I go all think the way so. right. Oh yeah, pasture will guide you. I would. What? Well, we'd always just go top left. I mean, ah fuck Pastor, it. you know, you will do a great as a guide. Come on. No, no, you don't understand. I still need to use Wayward Compass. Nah, don't worry. I, I, Wait, I'll... what? No, no, no. Okay, shut the fuck up, Phil. What do you mean you have to use compass? I have really bad sense of direction! <laughs> that bad? Yes, I get lost very easily in games. I can do it. I... 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 Uh, uh... Don't judge me! I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Don't worry about it. Why are you, you know, so taken back? I... You... You know secrets in this game. You remember, like, uh, bots and shit, but... You still can't find yourself on the map? I... Yes, I still struggle with that! That's a huge it's a problem. Big, I also have a problem with directions. It's a big fucking map! It's a huge map. Pretty sure you also have to... Oh. Fuck! Whoa! 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 What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? Don't worry about it. The curse just acted up for like a second. Oh my god! <laughs> for a I moment, guess... the grim child decided to fuck with you. 
Uh, by screaming to stealing him. I guess this was it. just a bug. Just a little bug. Just the curse acting up again. Anyway, speaking of hacks, do you guys like Arcane? Fuck. I love Arcane. You do? Oh, wait, wait, yeah, you see it? Yeah, that show's great. Oh, oh yeah, okay. God. Okay, great. I love that show. Of course, you play League of Legends. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Okay, Pasha, at least, at least diamond. At least diamond. Please say you at least diamond. It's the highest I ever got was gold. The fuck are you For real? Competitive. Oh, about... League of yeah. Legends ranked. Yeah. <laughs> I, dude, there is, um, I, I, I stopped playing League of Legends for quite a while, though, because they made this website called How Much Money Have I Spent on League, and I checked it once, and I felt such overwhelming dread when I saw that number mm. that I had to go away from the game for a while. Wait, 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 okay, wait, okay, first of all, you just spent money on that? You have to go left, too. I spent a lot of money on League of Legends, it was bad. Wait, Assy, you know what fucking Diamond is? Of course, dude, uh... I thought you didn't play I... League. I know, I know some uh -huh. of the ranks. Like, it's... Uh-huh? Okay, but... How? Uh, because, How? Because, uh, because, because Valorant self and... Self-report, self-report. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Because Valorant and Link share the same uh, rank system. So you just assume that it's the same? No, um, uh, there's some, uh, like... Okay, <laughs> right? okay, okay, listen. Okay, listen. Uh -huh. Keep right? going. Right, oh. client oh. shares the same for League and you, you can still chat with League players even though you, you don't play Link in Valorant. So like I sometimes okay. I just I just ask my friends it's like hey what do you play in like comp like water and diamond? That 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 sounds like a perfect excuse. Yeah, that sounds like a great excuse. I play Valorant. I'm like not in, I'm totally not better than Pastra. Even not, no, Pastra is still worse. He plays League. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, whatever helps you sleep whatever, at night. Whatever, right? <laughs> whatever helps you sleep at night. You, you still can't deny you're a league player. I would take your opinion, but you're a league player. Oh, I'm come a, on. I'm not an Ethna fan. Oh, come on. Come on. You fucking read Homestuck. <laughs> oh, you are not in any place to judge. <laughs> oh, you. You. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on a second. Information. Well, Pasta, wait, hold on. Pasta, did, do you, have you read Homestuck? No, I have not read Homestuck. Okay, yeah, see? You are in no place <laughs> to judge me. He's right, hey, you know? Okay, hey, shut up, Philly. Really. You cannot be on that side. You also read Homestuck. Yeah, but I don't give a shit. Yeah, me too. You're the one comparing and saying that he plays League. I don't I give mean, a fuck. You play, I mean, I mean, oh, I mean, you play League. I, I read Homestuck within three days. Fuck all y'all. And you proud of it? Yeah. <laughs> you are no better than me. <laughs> I now said I'm better than you. All right. You, Let's go. <laughs> you were talking down to me a lot for somebody who wasn't. Let's go now to Green Path. What Your chat's what? telling you it's literally impossible to read it in three days. Nah, I did it. You okay. I read it, but I didn't do anything else but read it. No, I bro. see. Yeah, you're worse than Joel, so... <laughs> I literally sat on the couch on my family's fucking, like, living room, little on my phone, reading Homestuck for the entirety of the day. They were concerned. <laughs> Did you at least path. enjoy it? No! I mean... I didn't I mean, figure. <laughs> I love how we just had like this fucking exposed fucking Spider-Man born in each other session. <laughs> well, you were over here self-reporting on me playing League. If I'm going down, then you know, other people here cannot be exempt. Making fun of... Making fun of Pastra. Because, like... <laughs> making fun of Pastra and then talking about Diamond level. Me just sniffing like... I smell fucking bitch. I, I smell. I smell leak player. <laughs> Smelly bitch over here. Okay, yeah, listen. You're not even good at league, so. Last time I like last time I played league a lot with my friends. Uh, one of my friends, um, who I used to play league with a lot, he was like really especially toxic in that game. And I remember he had like a of bunch course. of alt accounts for when he got banned. And I remember there was one time he got banned because somebody in like the league chat said to him like. 
Oh man, um, do you think you could farm a little bit more? To which he responded, I hope you die and get reborn <laughs> as a snake. <laughs> and so there was one day where we opened up League to play and he's like, uh, guys, I've been banned. And he showed the screenshot and it tells you what message you sent that got you banned. So he was just looking at his screen and all he saw was this big blurb of text that said, I hope you die and get reborn as snake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, wait, hold on, can I share something? Okay. We know you I played League 2. I haven't played, but this is my brother in chat. Oh no. Oh no. Can you read that out? <laughs> oh god, wait. <laughs> 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 Don't do that to me, please. I'm non-binary. <laughs> the fuck was happening? I I literally do not fucking remember. During Pride Month? <laughs> I have never touched League or Valorant in my fucking life, and I never will. Don't fuck yourself. I mean, Don't. I mean, Don't. I mean, you're I mean, you're a FNAF developer. Yeah. That's at better. At least I'm making shit. I'm not getting toxic and fucking whatever the fuck you guys are doing in those games. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not toxic. I get really toxic when I play League. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I become an asshole. Yeah, no, that's how. No, no, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. No, like that game. That like there are a few games that like get like me get me riled up. League gets me really riled up when I play it. I am a different person. Different character comes Blast out. Your evil, Blast your evil arc. The mask comes off. No, oh, no, please, not the mask. <laughs> I think I'm guiding myself pretty well right now. Maybe. Kind of. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pastor has two sides. There are two wolves. <laughs> nicest of guy, you. nicest guy you'll ever meet, and dirty fucking league player. No, there are two I'm wolves inside I... of you. One plays League of Legends. <laughs> no, no, there's like I'm. I have me have Foxy. <laughs> I am me have Foxy. There we go. I did it! Holy shit! Yeah, you. For some reason, you took the longest way possible. By the way. Because I was, I was desperately trying. Hello neighbor. Hello, neighbor brought that out of me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I still, that makes sense. I still cannot forget uh, Phil calling you Hollow Knight YouTuber. That's still in my memory. Hollow Knight YouTuber? You Hollow called me a Hello Ho Neighbor Ho YouTuber? Yeah, when we talked and uh, he was like, Oh yeah, Pasha, the Hello, Hello Neighbor <laughs> YouTuber. God, that just reminds me. Like, I remember joining in on your April Fool's stream when you were playing Resident Evil 4. And you saw me in chat, and obviously you were speaking Spanish the whole time. And you saw me in chat and you went, oh, Pastra, and started going in Spanish. But then in the middle of you speaking Spanish, I heard you weave in the word, hello, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day, I don't know what you said to me. I won't tell you. I don't remember. What? <laughs> like, what did you say? I don't know. I, I don't, don't have know enough. What I don't have a good memory enough to remember that. <laughs> like, I remember watching the stream and I even said in chat, I'm like, chat, what the fuck did he just say about me? What did he just say? I don't fucking know. For something really, something really unfunny. <laughs> like the th the thing is, like it was one of two things. You were either saying, "Oh hey, it's that person who made the Hello Neighbor video," or it's, "Oh Hello Neighbor's his favorite game, guys. You should go. <laughs> you should watch him play Hello Neighbor. He loves that game." That's really mean, even for me. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's what you did, though. I don't know. That's that stream was an acid trip. From moss and leaf, our life is drawn. While it grows upon the path, we shall never wilt. All right, where the fuck is that station? This. I've lost sleep over two things now. Fucking figuring out what you said to me in Spanish and what you held a grudge over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these streams are nice. For six months! I think it was more than six months. When did you release that live? When, when did you release that video? Let's find out. I remember whenever I posted that video, you put the fear of God in me because you were like responding to all my posts about it with like that picture of like the cat staring <laughs> in your soul. Uh, it was actually five months ago the video went up. Okay. 
Uh, Insomnia super chats five dollars and says, "If like, if Clyde met Fi, how would that go?" Dude, I don't know enough about like dreams of an insomniac lore to know that. Insomnia I mean... also super chats two dollars and says, "Hey, question: If Fi and wait, it's another one. If Fi and Clyde met, how would it go?" He really wants to know this. So, I mean, all that's known I mean, actually, about... wait, 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 Pastor, do not answer. They will ask another question, we will get more money. <laughs> True. <laughs> Devious. I mean, like, all that's really known about Clyde from what I've released of DOAI so far is that he's a creature that devours children and mimics people's dead relatives to lure them out of their house to eat more people, so... I would find that cool. Oh, <laughs> shit, is it Nos friends? Not necessarily Nosk inspired, but I can see that comparison. Inspiration. Um, Where I mean, is isn't start? like okay, isn't isn't it like if I'm not mistaken, sorry, I will not like fucking say the lore because I literally cannot watch oh, stuff you made in a good way. Um, <laughs> dude, I just have heart problems. Like I can like the fucking like I can die because of like breathing. Like I mean, all <laughs> of us would. I mean, all of us would die because of that. But you know. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, if, like, someone touches, uh, the species that Clyde is, they, like, immediately die or, like, like, fucking disintegrate or something like this? Yeah, um, that's one of the things in Volume Zero of that series. It's revealed that physical contact with Clyde's species, um, results in, like, literally your body just mutilating itself. Oh! Alright, well, yeah, the like... thing with Fi is that they're literally made out of... A substance that absorbs things. Like, okay, so the whole deal, well, the whole deal with Phi is literally they are made out of a substance that feeds off of organic matter to the point fight that. Fight him, fight him, Phil, oh, fight oh, him. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, I was talking about my fucking thing, but all right, whatever, fucking, fuck you. <laughs> Stop there. Those who try to leave this kingdom are cursed. They're to rest here until the time itself sleeps. Hope and freedom. I thought that strength alone could grant me these things. In my dreams, I would cut that plague with my nails, and then I returned my weapons upon the king. When I awoke in the sacred place, I began to understand. Those who hope I are, are already doomed. Do you still hope, Wanderer? Will you flee, or will you raise your weapon and doom us both? Fuck you, my guy! Yes, sir. <laughs> Just shriek him to death, like... Yeah, Shriek's really strong against him. Imagine Fizz not having an analog horror series with his avatar. I cannot picture Fi in nah, an analog horror nah, series. Nah, Fi's not a monster. The thing with Clyde, Clyde, it's really funny because Pastra and Clyde have like, are like completely opposite in personality. But no, Fi's just a lazy asshole. Like, Fi is not a monster. There we go. I mean, you are a monster, but I'm not. More of a, I'm more of a monster than Fi. And you are. Ah, I can see now. Those who turn against the king are doomed as soon as they raise their weapon. Do not call me a traitor. Simply call me a fool. I know you will not flee. Wherever you go, I will be watching. I'm just, I'm just like, you know, casually trying to get a grub and just find this guy and just fight, fucking fight him. <laughs> oh, Curse hey, where's the grub? Oh. <laughs> Curse are those who turn against the king. Man, little grim child, you see where the grub's at? Challenge me, you. Okay, so where was the grub again? <laughs> um. Oh, pass. This whole time I thought the name was pronounced Claude. What? Wait, for Clyde? For Clyde? Oh, uh, yes, Claude. By the way, wait. Oh, is it Trampas I think about? Oh, uh, no, it's not. Mm, hello. Where the fuck are you going again? I'm trying to go up into the peak so I can get the last grub in there. And then oh, go. Map, 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 okay, map, okay, so, map again. Okay, my, my, map. Path, my path is I want to go into the Crystal Peak, get the grub, and then go and get the last uh, grim thing. Over here. Okay, now my advice go back to the station in Russian grounds, go to Dreadmouth, climb the left wall, dash crystal crystal dash to the right, uh go through the go through the grim 
Okay. Then go. Then go to the grab. Yeah. All right. Uh. <laughs> the the fucking the Goblin King super chats two dollars. Hey, Pastra, have you read any D O I A I fan fiction? Oh God. Oh yeah, he has. Uh, I have. Of course. I have of read course. fan fiction about my characters. I had to stop. Of course, there's fan fiction. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, I okay. Honestly, like I'm not gonna lie. Like I only know about the series through the words of my younger, because only they have the balls to watch it, and I not allowed. Um, like, dude, I don't wanna die. I heard this shit is scary. Uh, like, okay, you keep laughing, but you know. Um. <laughs> I know. I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh yeah, my stuff is terrifying because I made it. That feels a bit odd, but. I haven't no, 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 you have to go it. left. You have to go left. What? Oh yeah, actually, it's, it's shit there, yeah, actually, will work. I haven't watched uh, Dreams of an Insomniac, mostly because I want to just, you, you know when, ah, oh, you, you know when like, you know you want to watch something, but you want it to have more of it to watch all at once. Yeah, it's it, it's it's very underdeveloped right now. There's only like there's only like essentially what I call the pilot episode and two mini ones. I haven't even finished like filming for volume one yet. Yeah, so for me, I want to just wait and not watch like not see anything of it until it's more developed. Oh, hello. Oh, it's more developed. Uh, Honestly, that's that's the way to do it. I think for that series because like there isn't much yet for it. Like, and a lot a lot of people who have seen it. Um, they would rather just wait for more. Yep. Opa. Yeah. Volume one's taken a while though, cause uh, like vo volume zero, the prologue I made, that one's very much so like analog horror tropey. Like a lot of the scares are like you know, oh PNGs, spooky analog horror. Um, but for volume one, I've actually made like costumes and props, and I'm doing live action Ooh. stuff, so it's taken a long fucking time. That's And great. um, oh, my yeah, friend that... Lyra's making a full CGI model of one of the monsters. So it's taking a lot of time. I heard the sound design is good for some reason. Ly Lyra made a whole soundtrack for me, and Lyra's Fuck music yeah. is absolutely fantastic. Like, oh my god, I'm so happy to have her like working with me on that series. There's not many analog horror series that have like a proper soundtrack. They just mostly use stuff they find, like creepy songs they find on on like, like, like old creepy songs they can find. So that that's that sounds unique as fuck. That was my intention at one point, but uh, whenever I met Lyra, she, her music was too good. I I had to commission her to make the soundtrack for yeah. the series. Okay, go left. Oh yeah, you're gonna go right. It doesn't matter. Nice. Okay, go right, go... In next room, go... To, go up. Next room, no, right, right, right. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> At some fucking point, I'll just take a food break and Basha have to guide you. I'll do my best. Up, more up. No, no, more up. Deserve. Slap the right. end. <laughs> and then go. Don't go up. Go right. I would not recommend that. But yeah. It's oh, right. damn. It's alright. So yeah, I have no knowledge of Clyde lore because of that. I just know like the basics, I suppose. I'm mostly just through word of mouth. Mm -hmm. For Fi, uh, it's not a thing. It's not a thing that I really focus on. You know, I have like kind of an idea of this, of the thing that Fi does and the deal with the toxic husband and all that. But it's not like I can, like I'm a streamer. I'm not gonna do a thing that explains the lore. Maybe like a comic, I guess, but aside from that, it's not really much of a priority. Can I call right, like yeah. this? <laughs> Ow. This it was it was kind of funny for me because like DOAI was something I always wanted to make, mm -hmm. but Clyde was not originally a part of it. Clyde was originally designed to be my mascot. Yeah. But then I realized after I made Clyde that he had a lot of visual similarities to other characters. And then after my YouTube channel blew up, I was like, wait. Now I have an audience that would actually give a shit if I made the series. Yeah. So I took advantage of that to actually try and make it, um, because now I had people who actually wanted to see something original. I'm already way too busy with 
development stuff to make any kind of series or stuff based on the talk success, but maybe in the future when I all my other responsibilities are done and over with, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. After that, maybe, I guess. Um, a game could be nice, I guess. It could be kind of cool. Well, one uh, day we'll finish a comic, one day. Comic, <laughs> yeah. That's something that most artists have, that they always have, like, these ideas of cool stuff bouncing around in their heads, but life gets in the way too often. Yeah, I mean, very we often. We finished one comic? Yeah, and it was good. Which is why, like, yeah. like, like, artists usually have potential to make, like, great comics, but the thing, comics are, like, a serious undertaking. Like, yeah. artists already spend so much effort and time and commitment doing, like, pieces of artwork like it like a comic is like several pages of several full illustrations i'm pretty sure that there was like a comic there was a sem sample of a comic um uh, test by an artist that tried to cover the silver eyes i think it was called the uh, for fnaf and yeah. everyone was like, oh my god, this artist is so cool. Oh my fucking god, these illustrations are amazing. Why couldn't we just get a full, full, um, like, comic uh, about this? Uh, why couldn't this artist be hired to work on the official uh, FNAF comic? Or, like, the f official FNAF, like, uh, not official Fish. novel, illustration? And, like, you gotta understand, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna disparage, like, Pinky Pulse's, like, work on the on the silver eyes, but that shit, as good as it looks, takes a long time to make. Oh, yeah. And companies like Scholastic and, you know, like other, like, uh, graphic novel, uh, like, publishers usually want their stuff to be done in a certain time frame. So, mm -hmm. usually, if artists are usually uh, hired to do this kind of stuff, they usually have a specific very strict window of time to be able to produce their work. So... Yeah. It's either you put too much effort and take forever to make your ideal comic for yourself, or you have to lower down the quality of your work to meet uh, the client's standards. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's another thing, is like, oftentimes your artistic vision can't 100% be followed through because, you know, you're being directed when you're working on, like, official stuff like that. Yes. So you won't always be able to, like, you know, with the, with those, like, pages that people saw on, like, Twitter, that was 100% uninhibited, but... Uh, uh, I'm gonna do the grub stuff, and then we'll come back to the tent, okay? Okay. But I still really, really want to do the, um, like, the fight comic that will explain the lore. I still really want to do the fucking a comic about dead orphans. That would be nice. I know, right? It's just, you know, time and effort and, like... Okay, so here's the thing. If I ever wanted to explore... Because, I, you know, I still have ideas for, like, the toxic cesspit and what that actually means. I keep saying the word, the toxic cesspit, but people don't really understand what it is that I'm talking about. And I completely understand because I don't give any details on it. But I do have some mm -hmm. ideas bouncing around in my head. And, obviously, I, I don't have time in... Oop! I don't have time... <laughs> to make anything, and obviously I'm not talented enough to make a comic myself, but if I had to do something uh, soon, I guess I would have to hire an artist to be able to do that, but then comes another set of pains, which is proper payments, you know? Because you have to actually pay your artist to do the work of a full comic. And a full comic for a, actually, you know, for an artist, would be more than just a single page commission. You can't just you can't just pay an artist like a hundred dollars to make a comic, you know? You need to actually properly pay them, like for real. Yeah, you'd have to like um what what would be the word I'm looking for? You'd have to like pay them based on like the amount of time they'd spend on that. Yes. So I'm right here. <laughs> I know, I know you are. But, like I was thinking like like maybe like hiring Ellie to do that kind of thing and like you know because like the fight uh, the fight plush is actually succeeding a lot right now maybe use uh, the the money that I get from the fight plush to fund a proper comic the thing is Ellie is also busy with pop goes and all her other stuff that she wants to do as well so I need to find a I need to I need to plan it out properly if I want to make a official comic for the toxic cesspit I think that would be the best form 
for that kind of setting to take so that people can properly understand what I'm actually trying to do with that. Instead of just I'm being right just the back backdrop for funny for funny streams, you know? I'm right here and I'm starring. Those I know. two problems are, those two problems are resolvable. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, all right. Let I'm me... not guiding you for like past 10 minutes. What the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to get to Grubfather. Grubfather! Hello, Grubfather. Give us pale ore. Give me. Wait, wait, check, check. Are, are those all? Or that's not all? Have no, we left? need two more that are in the hive. Okay, while we're waiting for an mission to order, I will, I will do that. Thank there you. There it is. My God, you have so much. Yeah, that's more than enough to pay the the, the bitch. I mean. Yeah. This He's is probably still going. all. In, I mean, probably this is all the money for college. It's not like they need them. This could pay my entire tuition, or it could get me a really good charm. Mm. I mean. Is that enough? Oh, <laughs> no. This is oh. definitely... This is so not enough. Pale ore! Did that give you the charm? King's Idol. Oh, just a King's Idol, okay. No, uh... Bastion, we need two more in uh, Hive. Okay. Shall we go back to the tent, or...? Yeah, go back to the small tent. The right. charm you're gonna get from her is crazy good, so... I am. This bitch is insane! Also, yeah, pure nail time. Now you've got all the ore. Got all the ore for that. <gasps> but we also Guys. need, like, around 5,000 geo for the nail as well. Yeah, I don't know where you'll have it. I mean, happy bright month! Happy bright month. Yeah, my advice, unacue the child when you're gonna upgrade to Nail. No, please. <coughs> please, please, no. No, 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 please. You already read it, you already read it, you already right, read it, right, please. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, God. Oh, wait, no, she's gonna talk more. <laughs> alright. Alright. Don't DM me after this stream. Unbreakable strength! Now you just have it forever! Oh, that smell! Oh. You're hiding something very nice from me, aren't you? Shouldn't hide something so nice! Show me! Show me! Put it on! Quickly! What? Why did I come here? She wants another one of your fragile charms. Oh! <gasps> so it's not. Permanent? Yeah, yeah, she she eats your fragile charms, and when you pay her enough, you get a permanent version that never breaks. Oh yeah. my fucking god. Okay, Anna kill the child, Anna kill like we don't need the child. Oh actually actually no, put child back, we're gonna go to green. Child since back here. Unbreakable strength. It strengthens the bearer, increasing their damage deal to enemies with their nail. This charm is unbreakable. Yeah! Strength increase. It's it's just more damage. Uh, Golden Bacon super chats and says, "Did you do the nailsmith arc?" Yes. Oh. Fuck yeah. Oh, and does he know? It's no chat. The 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 the, the sly thing, right? You're so dumb. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's go back to Graham. It's Basha's birthday today. <laughs> My summer birthday. Or Basha, what? happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy happy birthday. in the winter, but... Happy birthday. No, shut up. Happy birthday, Basha. I can feel it. The warmth of the flame you've gathered together. A masterful opening act. The air hums with excitement. <laughs> Dear child, you've done so well. Let your fire burn even brighter. Oh. Oh. Did you kill and your you kill child? Oh. Ah, I just made it stronger. 
Beautiful, yes. The child has grown from idle youth to deadly companion. About these dangerous lands, its aid will no doubt be welcome. Oh, Shan. Just don't neglect our dance, for it, for it too continues. Keep hunting that scattered scarlet essence. Someone said my grim voice sounds like Wesker and... <laughs> Oh my God. When the can child do, is filled, what? Sorry. Can, can can you do total global, uh, total global, total global saturation? Total global saturation. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> when the child is filled with the flame once more, return to the stage and the performance will begin. Ooh. You will not live to see the dawn. <laughs> that's my favorite Lesker line. Okay, Dude, did you, anyway. did you King's see pass. that virus? Resting rounds. Kingdom's Edge. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, I'm a cured right now. We're gonna go and grate your nail. And then I'm gonna show you the Braid Month arc. I mean, shouldn't we just. Shouldn't we just keep the child with us? Well, okay, will the child attack, Vastra? Uh, will it attack who? The character after the nail upgrade. No. Uh, well, actually, no. Wait, let me. Uh, hold on, let me double check this. <laughs> okay, uh, actually, I'm gonna kill this. Like, it's better be safe. Also, yeah. Uh, just uh, before yeah. we do that, uh, we should hmm? go to King's Pass. I'm gonna do that really quickly. All right. Uh, nobody has ever confirmed whether or not the Grim Child will attack this character. Ah, shit. Yeah, let's, let's end a cue, it's gonna be safe like that. All right, but first, let's do the quick thingy here. Okay, let me see how we're good. And then we'll have to go to... Okay, and then we'll have to... Okay, Buster, remember, we'll have to go to Green Path after that, right? We should, yeah. That... What's up with the giant fucking blue door in Abyss? Oh yeah, I was about to open it up. We should actually open it. Mm-hmm. We can. Okay, we have to have shit enough charms. I'll have to buy all the charms from... It's here, yeah, don't you? Yeah? <laughs> oh, look at the big boy! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> Big boy! Big okay. man! Fuck, my, my mind is still consumed by the comic. I still don't really want to do that. <laughs> I'm just thinking about Grim. Imagine if they do the comic about Grim. So, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? I'm already... Yeah! I'm already thinking, like, so... A fuck is even going on with Grim? Grim is completely outside of Hollow Nest. Okay, uh, yeah. so basically the grim is like a continuing ritual, like, ritual just fucking continue, like, you know, like, uh, rich ritual travels to the place where it got summoned. But that last bug failed to summon them, if I'm not mistaken, like the corpse who found. Was having a um, crap day, but this stream has made so, things yeah, better, especially yeah, so cancelling pastry for Yeah, grim, grim travels to any location in the gratitude. world where the torch is lit. And mm -hmm. one of his servants meant to light that torch, but you found their corpse, so you know how that uh... went. So you lit the torch for them and summoned Grim to Hollow Nest. You don't know what for yet, but he's here now, and you're doing the job of his original servant that died. Right, okay, got it. Yeah, people have been speculating who this fucker is. Uh, theories go from moth to vampire moth to fucking bat. <laughs> Nobody still knows who this fucker is, but like nobody cares. People still thirst around him. We have a good idea of like who and what better, he is, but nothing's ever like blatantly said. League. Take this geo as a token of my like, gratitude. Like he's aware of like, if I'm mistaken, he actually like kind of likes to mock a fucking uh pale king, by the way. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's uh he's got a bit of beef. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
but who doesn't at this point? I mean, yeah, fair. I mean, Fuck the Pale King. I mean, child support totally how a bit with him. Where are we? Where open is up. the... Open, open, open. To the left. Mm hmm Yeah. No, actually... Is it a Blue Lake location? I think it's a Blue Lake. Ah, shit. But it should be around here at the bottom? Wait. Is it... Is it Blue Lake? It is about the blue leg. Oh, shit, bro. No. Oh. Wait, open. Open the map again. Okay, go to the right and go down where, where like, Fortress with Reposter exist. <laughs> like, I don't remember the name. I'm sorry. Go down over here? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, and go all the way to the left. Okay, got it. Ew, ew, I, ew, ew, I still ew, can't ew. get over last year I was on when people thought those monsters were me making noises. <laughs> Camo King uh, super chats uh, five dollars and says, "Was having a crap day, but this stream ma has made me uh, has made things better. Especially canceling posture for playing League. Take this oh, Geo, <laughs> take this Geo as a token of my gratitude." Well, I'm happy to hear that this stream helps in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. I, I like how all of us had like a fucking cancel each other session. Oh, I don't care at this point. Oh my god, he attack! Hey, he's helping you! A little bit. Ow. L a little bit, he's he's kind of weak right now, but he's doing his best. Here we go! <laughs> Very nice. Okay, uh... Is it the last? No, it's not the last. We'll have to go to Kingdom's Edge, right? Now we, we have to do, go to Kingdom's Edge, and then we have to probably get into the hive while we're there. Uh, my advice on the cure the child. We can oh, upgrade the... our nail, I guess. Yeah, but then that can okay. Actually, yeah, let's upgrade the nail. Okay, okay, what do we do? Unequip we will, uh, I'm gonna go to the station, unequip the charm, go into the City of Tears, uh, upgrade the nail, come back, put the nail, put put the charm back, go into the hive. No, go into Green Path. Me and Buster want to show you something special. Alright, unequip. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck them, child, just a bonded. No alimony. But just fucking Christ, li no, we have to go to the King Station. Oh. All right. Where are we going? Um, go to a nail. Where you can upgrade your nail? Nail guy. Yo. Also, oh my, how did I only just see the art you drew, Azazel, of Clyde and your character drinking tea? Yeah! Ah, yes. Uh, yes, literally fucking Satan and Clyde. <laughs> Azazel also has her own lore. Eh, it's not that interesting as both of you. The Satan? Not really a Satan, I mean, I joke that my character is a Satan, but technically it's just uh, a boring character that got burned to death. Not technically, well, I mean, not interesting, not interesting. I think it's interesting. Maybe I one mean, day. I have, I have a character that's more interesting and is like a fucking part of Toxic Success, but I really likes her. Yeah, bucket. Oh, I've seen that design. So fucking cool. Yeah, it, awesome. it, 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 it have much lore going on to it. One of the few blob zones that is actually canon to the thing that I'm, like, planning out. And I still want to make one of those. I mean... Okay, okay. Don't chat, chat. Happy uh, Pride Month. Mm. Oh, you've returned. 
I see you have some pale ore, a rare, fine metal that, given that ore and some geo of my efforts, I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. As you wish, I'll get to work then. Going from no upgrades to Cartel the most upgrade. It's done. The reforging is done. Your nail is much stronger than it used to be. As strong as it could ever be. In only your weapon have I seen such potential. Finally, I behold the majesty of a pure nail. To think this moment has come upon me so soon. I, I must step outside for a moment. Hmm? <laughs> Pure Nail, the ultimate weapon of Hollow Nest. Crafted to perfection, this ancient nail reveals its true form. Ah, oh, kind of looks like the King's Soul. Kind of does, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, dude. <laughs> Do it! My life's work achieved. What more is left? Do it! Ah, Ranjo Stenja. With a pure nail forged, my work in this lifetime has come to an end. My only remaining desire is to see and feel the nail strike true. I beg you, cut me down as my final moment in life. I want to taste the blade's exquisite edge. DUDE! Please, please just walk away, I beg you. After all this time, all this toil, haven't I earned it? Please just walk away. Right, dude, head. you clearly got some issues going on. Please. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna walk away, dude. I'm just gonna walk away, I'm just no... Dude. I fucking hate Sharp Shadow. I fucking hate Sharp Shadow. Um, I fucking hate Sharp Shadow. I'm just gonna go, man. Uh, have have but, a good but, time. But, Please go uh, seek therapy. Dude, I will seek therapy. I fucking hate just, Sharp just, Shadow. Just go seek therapy, my dude. There's more to life than that shit. Just fucking leaving. Walking away from that situation. Yeah, just get the hell out. Can I go guys, back and... Guys. Is he still gonna be there? No, please walk away, walk away. Just fucking walk away. Still gonna be there? Please do not do crystal dash, crystal dash, do attack. I had a sharp shadow, guys. Sharp shadow is so homophobic. Did you accidentally kill him in your playthrough? Yes. <laughs> I fucking hate sharp shadow. That's why shadow. she was this saying that it's... That's why she was saying sharp shadow is homophobic. <gasps> now he's gone. Okay, Phil? Phil? Yeah? Go back to the station. He did. Alright, well. Go back to the station, I guess. Okay. Okay, I'm so... Uh, uh, if you brought the Grimchild, the Grimchild totally would have murdered him. Yep. Yeah. That thing attacks anything it sees, like, it would have killed him. Go to Shio's. What? Shut, shut, shut up. All right. Dude. I mean, Shio, Shio fucking abandoned, like, his nail craft. Maybe he can show him something? Hopefully, maybe? Anyway. Man, that's fucking dark. Yeah, right? But this is, like, this is what you do not do that. Like, this is what people, like, th th this is what people mean by, like, this game is dark. Like, yeah, this is just, like, you know, like, also shit to tell children. Like, and I'm this... just one-shotting all these guys. Oh, yeah, uh, does this nail deal, like, 24 damage? It, it does around that. It's really strong. Yeah. Yeah, that's a jump from the last one. Where is Shia? I will guide you, do not worry. Alright. Go to... 
station, step station, right now. And from step station, go to the green bar. 21 damage plus with that strength charm, it could see some. You could deal some major damage. Yeah, Green uh. path. Please then. 32 damage with unbreakable strength. Ooh. Yeah. Please then. Yes. Next time. How much? Secret. Uh. $32? Fail. Fuck. Go down. Be going. I hate oh, this okay. fucker. If this fucker been stealing my memory, and this fucker been stealing my ticks, and soon this fucker will steal my therapist after the Bojack Horseman. I we still need to watch the Churro episode. Oh, you guys didn't yeah. watch it the other night? No. Left, 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 left. Too tired. Like, you know when you do a stream, you feel so nice and relaxed and great, uh, d like, during it, and like, oh, it's amazing, and you're having fun, and like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this again. Uh, but then you actually, oh, I can't go up? Fuck. Oh, yeah, cry, cry about it. Skills you, skills you, skills you. Fuck. But then after, <laughs> like, a, like an hour or so after you finish a stream, you realize, Oh wait, I have been talking for like nine hours straight without any pauses or breaks. I'm going to die. Yeah, it hits you all at once. Yeah, that's what happens to me. I can mm -hmm. go on and do streams for like hours upon hours upon hours, but then it hits you and you're like, no. Nah. <laughs> Which is why when people on stream tell me like, Phil, please take a break. You deserve a break, buddy. You need to go rest. I'm like, no, you don't understand. If I take a break right now, I will just crash. If you want me to take a break, I, the stream will literally just end. You know? Yeah, no, exactly. I, I'm the exact same way when I'm on streams. I have to keep the rhythm going. Otherwise, it's just going to be over. Speaking of which... Hype for her next week, by the way. <laughs> I still have to properly announce that. Yeah. Please, no, please, no. No, no, no. You's, you's gonna be like two weeks, like two weeks afterwards. I mean, like, okay, okay. The, ch the charity stream. Oh, oh boy, the charity oh, boy. stream. Anyway, happy Pride Month. Let's go. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> <gasps> oh, look who joined us! We have quite a merry crowd now, don't we? This fellow came wandering into my hut, quite distraught and on his own quest for a new calling in life. We talked and found a common love of creating and building a honing craft. So now we make art together! <laughs> oh, happy Pride it's good, Month. It's good to have company. I hadn't realized how lonely I was. It's like being with my brothers again. Stay with us if you'd like. <gasps> oh, look at the, look look the, look, wait, look at look at the canvas on the right. Oh it's him. Ah, hmm? Danjo, Danjo. Oh hello traveler. How strange that we should meet again in a world as vast as this. Were you guided here by some kind of creature? <laughs> I must thank you for not killing me when I asked you to. I was irritated at first, but I ha had some time to think up there, and I soon saw the wisdom in your decision. The world is made of more than metal and weapons. I set out exploring, and f soon found my way here. Shio is a master of many arts and has promised me to teach me what he can. I think I'll be quite happy here. Yeah! Happy couple! <laughs> Fuck! Hello, sweeties. Yeah! Fuck! Yeah! So cute. Happy private. Oh, my brother Odo, what drove you to hide away deep down at the very edge of that ash-swept grave? Was it pride or fear or shame? Perhaps you should lay down your nail if it haunts you so, and find a new calling that eases your soul. 
An age spent toiling alone. This is much nicer. <laughs> wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 do you remember how to, um, fuck, um, fuck, how, should you go, oh, oh, okay, if I'm just like, walk outside, walk inside, then we'll do something else, like, I don't remember what to do. It's so fucking adorable, man, it's so fucking great, I know, right? it's so fucking, oh, the one, oh, thank fucking god we didn't get the, 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 the grim child. To attack him. Holy yeah, fuck. Yeah, you would have missed out on this. Holy shit. That's the Wait, sweetest. That's stuff. the legitimately most sweetest thing. Like, not bittersweet, just like sweet thing in this game. Holy just the shit. happiest ending a character has. Okay, why well, did you do that? Yeah. Oh, fuck. So you met my brother Oro and convinced him to teach you his nail art. Hmm. It's been a long time since I've met him. I wonder how much he's changed. He always seemed to be haunted by something, though I never learned why. No matter the distance between us, though, we are still brothers. I hope that passing down his learnings to you brought him some happiness. <laughs> that nail art you've learned, the Cyclone Slash, that was always Mato's favorite. Must have made him ecstatic to have a pupil like you. He always wanted to pass down what he learned to a new generation. He was not the most skilled pupil himself, but his enthusiasm and kindness set him apart. I'm glad he achieved what he desired for so long, to be a teacher. <laughs> that charm! Only the great Nail Sage could have given that to you! <laughs> Seeing how strong you've become, it almost makes me want to take up my nail once more. But no, I should stay on my current path and keep working at my art. If the great Nail Sage ever comes by, I want to show him how far I've come. <laughs> Building these models done. takes patience and light touch. It's worth it, though, seeing the grand old Knights of Hollowness come to life before your eyes. He, he's making the dung, the, the, the dung defender! He is, yeah. He's making the dung defender! Mighty Hegemol was always my favorite. What a towering figure he was, though surprisingly soft-spoken for one so large. They were all impressive in their own right, of course. Fierce Drya, kindly Isma, mysterious Samir, uh, um, and the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Build, uh, yeah, yeah. Can you change your mind? Okay, but remind me of what uh, what we have to do for ah, them to change. We're building a full mm. suit of the kingdom's knights. In their time, I barely ever pay them attention, but Shio keenly remembers each. It's so refreshing. Nothing like the crude practice of nail work. I just love all the intricate details. <laughs> this is fabulous! I'd never have believed my claws capable of such deft construction. Aww. What was it that made I the two of them change pride. what they were doing? Happy Pride Month. Okay, try to save on the bench once again, and mm. then... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so, um, it's not sitting on the bench. Um, I believe you have to go around and talk to other NPCs, like, um... I remember, I remember, like... In my playthrough, I talked to like the other nail masters and Sly, and then whenever I went back there, they were different. Mm. Wait, should I just Sly and come back? Because I really yeah. want you to see it. I think. Do you do you think it's worth it? Uh, for like a few. Mm, I think I, I I just I just love the ending where it is. I think the the bonus dialogue may be cute, but I think I'm happy where I am right now. It's not just the bonus dialogue. Hmm. What's your opinion? I mean, it's up to you. They'll be partaking in like a different activity and everything. Maybe a pole? We should probably go. Okay, we okay. We should we we still have a lot to do. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, so hi. we should probably go uh, to. Uh, Hive. Yes. All right, then going back to stay. Uh, not that way. It's way more than that. All right, we will do it, but 
We'll have to do a bunch of stuff before that. Hello, Brian Mudshed. I love this game. This game is fucking awesome. It's so good. That's like yeah. legitimately the sweetest thing I've seen in this game ever. Everything else is just so dark and dreary and miserable and like bittersweet. That is just genuinely sweet. It, it, it's just a happy ending straight up, like... Fuck yeah. Cause like, to tell a bit of a sad story on my first playthrough, I ended up on my first playthrough killing the Nailsmith. Not because of the fact that like I genuinely wanted to, but the thing was, I knew in my original playthrough that this game was inspired like quite a decent decent bit by Dark Souls storytelling. Right. And in those in the Dark Souls games, right, when a character loses their purpose, they become this thing called hollow where they just become a husk and a zombie that tries to kill people. Oh, you were worried that they were going to succumb to the plague. I was worried that if I left the nailsmith alive without a purpose in life, he was going to get infected and then become an enemy I had to kill. So I killed him, assuming I was avoiding a bad ending. As soon as I struck him down, one of my friends came back from eating and said, Aww. No, Zach, don't do it! Don't do it, Zach, no! It was like an actual fucking movie was playing out. Right as I struck him down, no. my friend then explained. My friend literally after I struck him down went, Great job. No, now he never gets no. a gay lover. I'm like, what? God damn it. Dude, I... I will not even explain because, you know, Sharp Shadow is homophobic. <laughs> so, I never met... I I never got to upgrade anything with this guy. You, just, you both... And you both... And you both killed him. Yeah. It was an accident. <laughs> In my case, I just thought I was helping. Aww. Aww. I just wanted him to have his happiest ending, and I was under the impression I was gonna ruin his life if I left him alive. I was just thinking to la la leave him. I was like, oh yeah, like dude, no, like I'm, I'm, I'm fine. And then I dashed, but I had a sharp shadow. <sighs> Man. I said, I said like. They finally like, got said, their happy ending. Dude, I said like seven or like ten minutes just fucking thinking about my life choices. <laughs> Uh, Pastor, I have a question. What did you see in Resident Evil Village that you didn't see in this game? Okay, I brought this up before. There's a difference uh -huh. between thinking a game is better and liking a game more. There's a difference between a game being better and a game being made for you. Like, you know? I was, I'm not saying that I played Resident Evil Village and thought it was a better game than Hollow Knight, although I even just think it's hard to compare them. It's just, that game has a little bit of everything I find appealing from, like, works of media I enjoy. Where are we going, Azzy? Uh, just go to the left and down and use the best. Oh. Not that down. Train pass, train pass, train pass, train pass. Smith with a spell on purpose are so evil. Yeah, that's just cruel. That's just so <laughs> Actually, 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 stop. Actually, we, if we go to left, we are supposed to... Okay, not, not there, not there. Okay, yeah, use the jump pass. Because there's like a key that we could, that we might need later for 57. Oh, they're still broken, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, use the never return. Fuck you, fuck you. Go to the right. You. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, yeah, just fuck you. Just fuck you, go away. <laughs> Who's gonna fix them, Phil? Everyone's dead. The guy that fixes everything when I exit the room. He fixes signs. You think he knows how to fix speakers? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Oh, I'm a go carpenter. I must be a technician, too. Ooh. Time to kill all fuck. the bees. Fuck you, Phil. Fuck you, Phil. Oh, yeah. shit. Hold on. <laughs> I need to equ equip the child. Why? No, why? Because... Child? No? No. All right. Isn't there, there's, isn't there's, there supposed there's... to be a red flame in the hive? No. It's, it's the third wave. Oh... We, it feels like you make. Did we it take care like of all making, of them? Oh yeah, alright. No, I, I, you have. I have to equip. It feels like you're making fun of me for not getting way too well. What? No. It's, uh, I'm not talking about you. Me? Yeah. What am I doing? Nothing. I'm just confused. I'm just confused, man. Anyway. Good child. Right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's on the way there, you know? 
when we exit the thing, we'll find it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. On a guy hand bastion. You. Now you're making good fun job. of me for not knowing much. <laughs> Over Petty here. Oh, fuck. you're you're making fun of me for knowing too much about the game when I'm genuinely just confused. Oh, you want to guide him now, Pastra? You want to guide him? Petty as fuck. No, I'm just itching. I didn't want to check if he me just champion like. Thank you, Coco, for the five dollars. She paints the nail smith like one of those French bugs. <laughs> Imagine building such a complex, also, dark, the entrance. <laughs> detailed world. Of amazing characters, and it's just in your backyard. <laughs> yeah, you, you could like spill a drink, and the entirety of Hollow Nest would die. Yeah. yeah, down here, you can break this wall. Oh shit! Oh shit! I oh, love the music shit. here a lot. The hive. Look at this fat fuck. Big fat boy. No! You killed the Glub Go Gabgalad. So, now that we're in the hive, mm -hmm. what's the lore of this place? So. Anyway. <laughs> okay, now go on. I actually have some ships left. If I recall correctly, the hive was very much so just a place that was completely disconnected from Hollow Nest altogether, like in a similar vein to, um,. In a similar vein to Deep Nest, yeah. they kind of just built their uh, they built their little hive like far away from everywhere else and didn't really connect with that society, and so they aren't as like intelligent as your typical uh, like insects, except for like a couple. I know there's something up with one particular character here. I'm trying to remind myself though. Bees. You mean Vespa? Uh, yeah, I was thinking of Vespa and the Hive Knight. Bees. Yeah. I remember when sh I remember that when there were no boss in this fucking area. Oh yeah. Also, I just I just read up on the lore of like the Hive, and now I'm sad. Oh. What is it like? I read up on the lore of specifically the Hive Knight because I was right about what I was talking about, but I forgot about the Hive Knight's lore, and now I'm depressed. Oh, oh. you're right. Bench. Yeah, the, the, the hive was just like the hive was just like a completely different disconnected place from Hollow Nest, but the Pale King still ended up fucking this place over in some way. And fuck the Pale King. I mean, yeah, dude, you're basically thinking like as an average fucking moth villager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like everyone was like, like yeah, fuck moth king, like fuck, fuck white uh, pale king, like. Bruh. <gasps> Oh yeah, those fuckers do that. <gasps> you will make the fattest. Fucking killing a billion children and then and then realizing that his plan doesn't work, so he just says, "Ah, fuck this!" Retreating into <laughs> retreating into the mind of one of my servants. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Man, just like, don't worry, guys. Fattest. We have a solution. His name's the Hollow Knight, and he's gonna. Oh. What? What, what do you mean? What? It... All right. So new plan. New plan. Fuck, fuck this. Out. <laughs> I did my best. It was a good chance. We failed. We'll try again next time. There won't be a next time. Goodbye, everybody. Back to my <laughs> buzzsaws. Dude, I know that we could maybe try to solve this again. Maybe my plan wasn't really that good. But I need to go complete Super Meat Boy. Wait, wait, Pale King, you, you made a vessel. We I can need, try and make it I'm gonna, hold, <laughs> I'm gonna hold myself in this throne room. I have a TV, I have a computer. I'm gonna play Super Meat Boy until I die. Literally until I drop. I am not leaving this chair until I rot. <laughs> not getting out oh of Oh my God, chair. so that wasn't even a memory of the, of, the, of the Pale King. That was literally just him. No, he yeah. literally just hid away in the White Palace until he dies. What a fucking asshole. Welcome to Hollow Knight community. This is- uh, this Hollow Knight community has Worst the most- dad ever! I mean, yeah, this whole uh, Hollow Knight community has the most fatherless behavior ever. Holy shit. Think of Coco- I, uh, Fucking hell. Think of Coco for the two dollars. He literally lives in his head rent-free. Yeah. Poor guy. 
And then there's also, like, the implications that Void started leaking out from, like, his experiments in the White Palace, because you could see that his chamber was filled with Void. So even that, like, palace and all the people in there are kind of screwed in some way. How long... How... Okay, question. Mm -hmm. How long did it take from between the Pale King running the fuck away like a coward and the events of the current game? That's a really uh, I good would question. I would actually say, I don't know, like, something's not like Hornet age. But because... Hornet is like... It's like, like, people are talking about, like, Hollow Nest as, like, this really old kingdom that fell to ruin long ago. Like, like, they, like, they, they, they seem to be talking about, like, Hollow Nest as, like, centuries past, you know? Well... The, the infection was a very slow burn thing, because you gotta remember too, like, the, um, the Hollow Knight was taken as a child, but when you see yeah. him, he's like a fully grown adult. Yes. Yeah. So the infection but how was long a is very the lifespan, slow burn. How long is the lifespan of creatures like Hornet or the, ho the, the Hollow Knights? I mean, this is what we cannot answer, like, not because the game doesn't tell us. Oh yeah, definitely because the game doesn't tell us, but it's just... Like we don't know what cr like creatures exactly they are. Because like if you take if you take him from like actual just biology, like these creatures, like bugs live a very short life, but they I mean, talk about this stuff like it's centuries old. First of all, you're not the one to speak about biology. Second of all, like as Buster <laughs> said, it was a really slow burn. Like oh, Bell can have to like g get alerted about that. They have to have a reunion with Queen, so, um, you know, they have put an egg into Void, and, like, kids have to die, and, like, you know. Like, I would say... Uh, I would kind of say, like, 50-ish years. years. Like, I would say, so like, maybe, like, 40, like, somewhere around, like, I don't know, in bug years or something, but mm -hmm. it was several decades for sure. Also, bigger question. Why is Hollowness built underneath a tiny little dirtmouth town? You know? Or did Dirtmouth come after Hollowness like uh crumble? If I recall correctly, wasn't Dirtmouth like built by the Elder Bug as like a little sanctuary for those few who are left? Or am I or am I just like making shit up? <laughs> like I, uh... I, I legitimately don't know, that's the thing. If I'm mistaken, uh, Pale King lured them down? Because, like, like the, the, the main entrance to Hollow Nest is a fucking well. Is that intended? Um, if I'm mistaken, there was another entrance, because you can see there was a king path of the ruined stairs. Mm -hmm. Um, the king path was actually made by, well, King himself, in case to, like, you know, welcome people and basically lure them. A cool gifts a good. Okay, actually, Flashra, fucking mm -hmm. Mr. Mushroom actually gives a lore on that. God fucking damn it! It always goes back to Mr. Mushroom. Motherfucking mushroom. <laughs> it always yeah, no, goes this back is so to him. It's actually so fucking stupid that actually he actually drops lore. By the way, up there there must be a grub. You have to dash from the wall. All that to you. Mhm. Mm yeah, Nemo? there you go. Nemo. Nemo? I love the way the hive looks so much. I love how, like, bright this location is, you know? It's so, like, bright, and it's got these, like, it's, it's, got, it's like, bathed in all these really pretty-looking warm colors, and you've got all, like, the different shapes that are, like, taking up the foreground every now and then. Now we just need to go to the left for the uh, last grub. No, it's another enter. You cannot get, get it there, so just keep moving. Deep into hive. Okay, uh, oh, give me! Okay, 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 you have to lure a big ass into there. Oh, yeah. no. You gotta get a big ass bee to ram his big fat face into it. There we go. Dude after, dude, after the lore, I cannot wait. No, not that. Even bigger. Yeah, that didn't hurt. Oh my god! Oh yeah, also they are pretty fat. Fat fuck. Alright. It's Big fat boys. Fuck. Okay, you have to lure him. Joe hit. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. 
Did he just join into a fucking with a fucking Infection has been a long time in the work. You found out he was needed for something that disintegrated. About <laughs> Would recommend oh, a mossback binge for more lore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do hurt a bit. A little okay, bit. Bitch. I, I, I'm, I'm afraid the child will kill us. Grimchild does like no damage. Grimchild? Grimchild? Please. Okay, Please! Go, go in the wall, go in the wall, it will be enough. Please! Please! <laughs> Do something! You have to, you have to uh, climb on the wall, not the uh, like crystal dash. Yeah! There we go. Another one! Damn, took you long enough. Uh, apparent, uh, the Raven super chats five dollars and says, uh, "Empanadas, Phil. Infection has been a long time in the works. I think Pastor's right about dirt mouth. Would recommend a moss bag binge for some lore." Yeah, yeah. moss bag is basically lore. yeah, moss bag is basically all mad bad, but actually good. That man knows Hollow Knight lore like religiously. He knows like everything there is to know. Yeah. Mm. I actually like, watched actually, more videos actually, after this. Dude, he actually did like a two hour <laughs> essay about the entire lore without small details. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why are you healing in such places? Like, why? What's what's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> get oh! The fuck get the hell out! <laughs> oh, actually, I think he's dead. Oh shit, you're right. Ah oh, shit. Per per se, per se, good, 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 you don't have a breaking street. I do not have that. I, you better cure that. Like, child is useless at the moment. Can't really go back to the bench. That's all the way to the left. I mean, you can. Yeah, but that's a sign of defeat. I mean, I will go back to the bench anyways if I die. So, might as well try. I mean, it's it's a shortcut down there you open. That is true. Let's go! Da down nice. on. Fuck! <laughs> oh, B! Come on! <laughs> you deserve. You really fucking deserve. You're not gonna listen to me. Wow, you are we. <laughs> fucking bees everywhere in this fucking hive. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Have fun. What a malicious have fun. Oh. Do you, do you like be? Hey, do you like jazz? Bees. Thank you, Grimchild. Ooh, hi, mate. Right. Cute little guy. He plays with a little toothpick. She I'm not. Me for him. Uh, uh. The hive knight of hollow nest. I love this guy. Oh my god. Okay. I love how you feel in most like awful moments ever. Yeah, like that. Alright! No, you're Grim Child! <laughs> Grim fucking child traitor! <gasps> oh my gosh, you gave me. actually a liability! Nice! How did how did you get off three? Bees. Oh. 
Run, child! Study! Nice, okay. I think you got this here. Yeah! Let's go, first try! Oh, yeah. Chuck Jumping Water is done, it's two dollars. Unbelievable! Oh. So, is that okay. the queen? Yeah, that's okay. the queen, and the lore of these two is really fucking sad. Aww. Okay, go down and go back. Go back? No, no, go, 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 go left, idiot. Oh, look, that's the, that's the body of the queen. Yeah. She goes all the way down. Okay, chat. Can you believe Bottle. this game is fucking seven gigabytes? Right? Wow. Can you believe that this and the Grim Troop are free DLC? Oh my well, I mean, God. to be fair, Kickstarter game stretch goals, but yes. Uh, still, it's free. It's absolutely wild to me, still. Also, Talk. let me check this out. Hive Blood. Golden nugget of the hive's precious hardened nectar. Heals the bearer's wounds over time, allowing them to regain a health without focusing soul. Holy shit! Yeah, uh, basically the Path of Pain charm. Holy yeah. shit! When you do Path of Pain, you gotta bring that. Yeah. My knight, at last you are freed. I've Queen Vespa. Wait, what about the other one in the back? That's her corpse. Oh. Yeah. Small thing. I know you're kind. I know what you are. <laughs> if you attempt to resolve your past, then know I am not the queen you seek. It is the pale beings that bear the blame for your nature. Though this hive exists within Hollow Nest, we play no part in its attempt at perpetuation. To rail against nature is folly. All things must accept an end. Do Do not hit her when okay, no. Okay, 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 okay. And now... So, I was just gonna go into lore stuff. You should probably talk first. Oh yeah, Fagor. Oh, Alright, we need okay. the glass grub. Yeah. Oh, uh, you have to go outside of the thing. Alright. But, um, yeah, the, the, this, this place, like, Hive Knight's lore always makes me really sad whenever I'm reminded of it, because the whole thing was that this place was disconnected from Hollow Nest, but the thing was, was that eventually the queen passed away, yeah. and after her death, the infection spread to the hive, uh. and the queen was the only one who could stop it. So the Hive Knight stood by her side and constantly waited, because he was under the impression that one day she would wake up to save them, but uh. she never did. So, during that fight, he's trying to guard Wait, his dead up. queen, uh, thinking that you're there to kill her. Aww. Go up and right, if I'm not mistaken. There must be a, either a breakable wall. No, not a breakable wall. Oh, okay. I'm tripping then. Oh, well. Uh, go this down. This is where we found the grub? No. Okay, we'll have to go outside of the hive. Don't bees go dormant when the queen dies? All these bees are infected with, um, are infected with the, uh, infection. The plague. Because without the queen, Rush. they couldn't be protected, so they're, they're still active because of the plague. Ah. So even the people who weren't involved are fucked over by him. Fuck the Pale King. Mm. Yep. Dude, even the fucking, what is it? Wait, oh, by the way, um, Horia got trained. By Vespa, Aww. if I'm not mistaken. Does she play Vespa at night? I'm, I'm pretty sure she got trained in the hive by one of them. Yeah, because she didn't actually say that night have a similar part of oh, like, attacks to Hornet. But like, those balls of spikes. <gasps> yeah, kind so, of. Yeah, so this is why you can, uh, this why Hornet could go up and right. Uh, this way Hornet could, um... And um, okay, go in the water if I'm not mistaken, and swim left. No, fuck, where is it? No, 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 no okay. 
I'll Where try to it? find it. It's somewhere around here. Up, oh, yep, I found it. Here you go. Nice. nice. So this way, Hornet called, uh, like, right. Oh, this way, uh, everyone, like, say that Hornet is raised by three queens. So, I have a big question. Mm -hmm. It's a simple question, but it's a big question, I guess. <gasps> Mimu! Yeah. What's the question? So, we've seen the Pale King, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where's the queen? White lady, are you fucking stupid? Yeah, oh, the, the white lady the white is the queen. Yeah, she was the queen. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, are, are you. I, I... Well, she's qu called the white lady. I. I didn't know it was the actual queen, you know? I was just... Uh, why do you have the... Why is she called the white lady? Because she abandoned the the, the, the kingdom? Like, so the, she just... Oh, like, that's why I... she's hanging around in Queen's Go... Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah, uh, if I'm mistaken, if you have the king so like you would she will say like, Oh my gosh, beloved, you're like, oh, I can feel your presence. But Aww. she's like blind, she will just feel the presence of the king. This is why MatPat went so fucking wild about oh. it. Yeah, because MatPat saw that and he's like, Oh my god, it's actually him! And he didn't think no, she just thinks it's you. Yeah, go to the right. Oh, this location. <gasps> Wait, actually, we're so close to Coliseum. No, down, down, da 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 We can do so- Whoppa! Oh, well, he spawned- Okay, there you go. Found it! I can do Zod, by the way. Yes, we can, and we will. Fuck. I fucking hate Zod. I still want a brush of him. For unspeakable purposes. For sure. Maybe. Oh, leave him alone. I will not. I will commission somebody. Actually, no, I will buy like 10. I will buy 10 Zod plush, and I will kill all of them different ways. My god! There we go! Nice, now we go to Coliseum. Up, up, up and away. You can go through the right and up, if you want. Twenty-five ways to kill Fi. <laughs> I, I, that thing is still in the jar, by the way. I can't oh, get it out. it out. No, I can't <laughs> get it out. Yeah, he legitimately cannot do that. Like, it starts no, to rip. You have to oh, push no. it further. Yeah, I told you! I told you! Like, the, <laughs> mi the midway, I, like, stop him, and I was like, Hey, Phil, do not do that! By the way, five dollars. So no, all. no, I didn't do shit! Oh, right, fuck! Oh, sorry, I forgot <laughs> to kill them. Because I, I knew you for Gore. Yeah. Last time we get him bang. Okay. The midway where this fucker was stuck in the splash, right in the fucking corner. No, Grip Child! No! Yes, Grip Child! Grip Child, no! Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Grip Child, oh, fuck off! He's our little saboteur. Oh my gosh. Sure. He's going so fast. I love him. Grip Child, He's fuck so, off! Such a helpful little guy. I knew. I knew I loved him. Perhaps I, I was too him. hard on you, Grimchild. Yeah, I love you, Grimchild. God damn it. Anyway, um... <laughs> I love how he became your final boss. Grimchild, no! <laughs> come on, come on! <laughs> okay, so... Um... <sighs> fuck, uh, what am I talking about? Sorry. My I have no like... idea. I've been focusing too hard. Come on, holy shit. Why We're talking about the five plush being in a, in a jar oh, yeah. and breaking. Oh, like mid, mid, midway, this fucker was stuffing the five plush in the call. And I was like, hey, Phil, you cannot get it out. Like, you know that, right? Like, like I, 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 like, I told him that it will rip apart. <laughs> Woo! Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Faster, faster, we did that. We did We're that, raking in the dough. Oh, this is so good, Chad. How much? Hey, how much yeah, Chad, show me the number. Okay, <gasps> this isn't the got, way. Do you got like thirty-six dollars from the last stream? No, uh, we're, we're counting this new. We're counting, we're counting this anew. This is a new. What? It's a no, new counter. you ha you haven't paid not me not Pastra. I have paid you. I need to pay Pastra twenty-five dollars. Okay, okay, let's count. 
Okay, let's go to like in like you know. Okay, if we got twenty four dollars. Talk about five plush. Wait, we don't. <laughs> wait, wait, you paid me. Wait, you got. I already oh, yeah, paid 40. you. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to summarize so we get like the entire fucking thing. Is it? By the way, wait. You have to talk. Oh my gosh. Okay. What was it from the last stream? Forties. Yes, Phil. Goes towards the bees. They're not bees. Yeah, they're not bees. Okay. Was it forty-six? Forty-two. Forty-two. Okay. Then oh, you got fifty. Great job, Phil. Amazing. So proud. Do Dude, Buster, can you imagine that? Can you imagine that fucking fire? I didn't actually you, get hit us... fifty times. Yeah, but still, you fucker. So you, <laughs> like, damn, Buster, could you imagine that th those little bastards would give us fifty dollars? Could you imagine? Imagine, right. imagine something good coming out of Primal Wait, Aspects. no, 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 stop, 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 don't go, don't go, go down. Right, 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 well, it's as if I'm gonna fucking die. No, I go in this for <gasps> this, oh, oh, this is, feels good. What do you want, Kerr? Have you come to laugh at me as well? <laughs> Fools! Did you never consider that being trapped in this cage was precisely what I intended? It was his plan all along. Oh, yes, God. by all means, release me into your arena. I am Zout the Mighty, and as soon as I draw my nail Life Ender, your laughter will turn into terror. Fucking idiot. Oh, fucking idiot. Lovable idiot. Should put Unbreakable String on. Just the most amount of pain for him? Yeah. I see. Anyway. Okay, we should go we should talk to you so in Green Path. We need Is... to do the trial first. And you know what trial has? It's the first trial, right? R right? Uh, let me... I, I'm pretty sure it is, but let me remind myself real quick. Just in case. Lord mm -hmm. Fool, give me another chance. I'll prove my strength to you. Yes, yes. According to chat is yes. Okay, I I, I thought it was. Uh... Zombie Man yeah. F, Super Chest $2 and says, We almost got a SOAT DLC from the Kickstarter. Oh, you're yeah, <laughs> right. We almost got him as a third playable character. Dude, I am third. Because second one, okay, Silk Sun eventually it was a DLC. Oh but yeah, became, right, playable Hornet. Yeah, it was a DLC, and then they just like, if for a second Hornet DLC was mentioned in 2017. <laughs> this is why you can see that many of us fans been starving. God damn, Team Cherry. Someone actually got locations from uh fucking whole knife got into the the silk swan, aka bone forest. <laughs> like dude, I can like fucking nerd out about how much stuff got cut off, how much stuff got into whole night, like What are your guys' um hopes for silk song actually? I <sighs> I'm I'm hoping for it to have like at least close to the amount of like map traversal as this game, but I'm I'm just hoping that like I'm just hoping that like Hornet like plays as fun as she looks. Like she she looks like a completely different kind of character for that game, and the idea of traversing a map like Hollow Knight with a brand new character sounds so refreshing to me. Like. Oh, they like showed so much from like game de demo. Like, have you seen the demo, dude? I, I, saw I the haven't menu. seen I... shit from Soul Song. I'm talking to Pastor right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like I know I haven't seen shit, but I will fucking I will eat your DMs for like because okay, Pastor, have you seen the main menu? Have you seen the demo? I have. I have. Dude, I've been fucking like I saw the menu. Have you seen the lace fight? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, I was so fucking hyped for Lace Fight. Lace is oh my god, Lace design is big for me. Like I'm sorry. I just all like all the bosses and all like the gameplay we've seen so far 
makes it look so insanely fun. I'm hoping that, like, the, the new types of mobility we've seen from Hornet will allow for so many new ways to traverse, like, the map in ways we couldn't in Hollow Knight. Yeah, like, Hornet knows all her moves from the, um, like, Hornet, Hornet knows all her moves from this game. Plus, have you seen, oh, she, she can do the green thingy, like, the drill. Mm-hmm. Also, she can do bombs, she can crash shit. This is like so fucking cool. And she can talk! And she can do like the grapple with uh, with like the thread and needle. Yeah, right. Dude, Cor Corbin has such, so much mobility, like. Like, I really, I really hope it's like. Uh, okay, the only thing I'm kind of worried about is side quest, because they're gonna be there. Oh, uh, they have like. Where it is, there's some hot, some of them is probably gonna be a fucking uh fourth jump uh, fourth chapter of fucking Ben and Egg machine. But I'm generally excited. Like I'm kinda of afraid about uh side quests because it's really not my pick. I am not a big fan of side quests unless they like, you know like like I don't like side quests that will feel like a like, I want side quests to be actually, like, feel like it's a, a war that, like, alive and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm kind of afraid for that. I have faith <laughs> in the game, too, also. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, just let him, let him hit you. Let Sup him hit you. the mighty. <laughs> Another fool to be cut down by life, Ender. Imagine dying to him. I love that he believes his own hype. <laughs> Clunk. Clunk. <laughs> oh, I. Uh... He literally can't hurt you. <laughs> Clunk. It sounds like keeping a plastic toy. <laughs> yes, yes, please. Oh, he's actually alive from that. Yes, yes. To be alive for as long as he's been, you've got to be at least a little bit durable. Follow head. You can hit him while he's there. Go on, Kerr. Scurry away, lest I humiliate you further. I, I will, I will tear apart his plushie. Yes, yes, please, all oh, this is satisfying. What did he ever do to you? Should I, should I say what he did to my family in 2007? He didn't exist back then. <laughs> All right, so now we go back to Dirtmouth, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. Do you want me to guide you? I have a pretty good idea. Anyway. Yeah, I'm so fucking excited for fucking... Uh... <gasps> Dude, there's gonna be like... Like, oh, fuck... The fucking demo gave me gave us so much info, dude. I remember like I saw the fucking main menu. I fucking died. <laughs> I'm so fucking hyped for this. Like, no matter when it's gonna come out, like I'm just just gonna fucking drop everything that I'm doing and just stream it. Like, can I get an explanation for mm -hmm. like just how? Salt song came about because I'm confused. Like the whole idea of left, left, and take elevator. You go in the wrong way. I don't. Thank know. you. Doing this all by myself. So, because mm -hmm. like the idea was that Hornet was gonna be a playable character in Hollow Knight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The right. fuck happened for Salt? Like, then Salt song was supposed to be a DLC for Hollow Knight. Right, 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 right. Salt song yeah, was Selsung... supposed to be a DLC for Hollow Knight, and yeah. They got way too ambitious though when they realized that it would be better to just to make it a full game rather than a DLC. Yeah, this is what Pastor said. This is basically the prehistoric of the whole, whole nice little song. 
that's fascinating to me as like you know for game development things it's like makes me think so does that mean that there was a version because like <laughs> here's the thing for those kinds of development stories that means that development had to have restarted at some point because when you make a game or when you make a dlc you usually have to plan out the scope of that dlc and like where it all fits inside of the game that currently exists right so for them to make it its own thing for them to make it its own game that means that there would have to be a version of silk song that was just the dlc that was smaller that was then changed into a different new kind of game so what what i expect was the case mm -hmm. was that they started making silk song and if you've seen like anything from silk song Hornet has a very complex moveset, and her movement is unlike any other character. So yeah. they probably realized that she had a lot of potential and didn't work in a map that wasn't, like, made for her and whatnot. Right. And they realized that they could better explore her in a full game rather than a shorter DLC. So they, that's probably that's probably how it got started and why it's taken so long, is that they had to completely, like, start over and make a game that was specifically designed to cater to Hornet. Mm -hmm. Where are we going now? Right... <laughs> but that's not me, 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 me. that's not the only danger I had to overcome in my quest for glory. You've noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake for my final triumphant battle deep in the pit below us. It's just a helmet. Yes, Life Ender claimed another victim, and the crowd erupted into ecstatic cheering. Cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. To to what do oh my god to what do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories? You ask. As I said earlier, the key is in my personal philosophy: the fifty-seven precepts of Zot. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Are you gonna listen to them all? Particularly relevant here is the first precept: always win your battles. As for the other 56 precepts, well, you can actually listen to every single one. Oh my yeah, fucking god. Listen, no, listen, no, listen, please, no, please, no. Please. no I, I like soap, but no. <laughs> okay, thank you, Phil. Okay, but I came to this kingdom to fulfill a promise, and now I have succeeded! What the fuck? <laughs> that promise I made so long ago, a promise to myself. A promise of glory! Glory for I, Zout the Mighty. I never doubted myself, never faltered, and now I have achieved everything I desired. Okay, you know what? If if it makes you happy to be in delusion, then more power to you, man. Like I I I I, I don't know what to say, man. Dude, I think I think my favorite Hollow Knight video on the planet is somebody did a challenge run where they did a full playthrough of Hollow Knight where they had to follow all 57 of Zoe's precepts. Oh my fucking god. Oh, you're yeah, right, this one. Hey, Prince, so dark, so troubled. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking, uh, wait, wait, Tumblr is bug. Literally... Wait, is she literally, I can fix him? She's literally, I can fix him. So troubled. Okay, can we go to her house for the chat? Yeah. It's like, I love, uh, the, the, like, Greta's one, I like, hate. Greta's just, like, great. What a fucking weirdo. Oh, and it got changed to Soot now. <laughs> the Grey Prince. He Heaving heavy breaths, flushed from the exertion of battle, the figure emerged from the well. Triumph was his, and trophy he bore to prove it. The fearsome skull of his van vanquished opponent. <laughs> Startling warning he brought to the village. One that rung so true. Their white savior, Thought a hero by the bugs was a vicious beast, and this shrouded great prince was in truth the hero deserved. With honor and humility, he recounted his quest below, his epic journey of one purpose to find her, the protector, his gray maiden, his partner in darkness. <laughs> I. First of all, Phil, remember the. Fa f okay. Remember the 57? We'll return to that later. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will make you suffer. Oh my God. <laughs> Do not know. Do not. Gimme, gimme, no. gimme, 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 gimme. No. Here we go. I'm, I'm... 
I'm taking Ashari. Y'all ready for the best boss of the game? Let's go. I'm not, I'm taking Ashari. I'm not I love that she was so obsessed with Sod that this fucking thing just exists in a statue. I'm taking Ashari. No, actually, I'm just taking Ashari. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying, beautiful, powerful, Grey Prince Sout. I love how every time you fight this boss, he gets more titles as well. Oh my fuck, God. <laughs> this boss fight's really cursed. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, Paris social like, boss fight. I the developers know what, you know, I love how all of them get this character in the background. Plus, can I just say- He still like, does the thing! He still fights just like he did at the Coliseum, but now it actually hurts. It's so yeah. fucking goofy. I don't really know what know what fanbase want. Why didn't he become the Tumblr sexy man for real? Maybe the big one. Do you want me to- Splasher, do you want me to send so the gift again? <laughs> send the gift again, please. Send the gift again. Um. Oh my fucking god. Can I put that on stream? Probably not, right? <laughs> uh, that's a really good question, actually. Oh, huh, we have defeated him. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe. Okay, can you show the first boy? No, I don't you, think you can. can. No? Oh, come on. Should I just miss it now? Do you know? Do it two more times. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad I'm not doing the sober, but yet I'm so sad I'm not doing this more drunk. Yeah! Again! Gorgeous, passionate, terrifying, beautiful, powerful, great Prince Soad! Please? That would be nice. Zara, I know you in chat. I will just straight up call you out. Green Prince Fi? Do not text me anymore. Oh my fucking god, stop, please, not you. <laughs> this is what the next five plush will look like. <laughs> okay, let's do I will have this plush just to burn her. Imagine you released another plush and it was just the last plush but ripped. <laughs> like, actually just built. Take off oh, the yeah, shirt, there's pecs underneath for no <laughs> reason. Mm, bush up. Bush up, I will show you something. This, mm. um, we, we, we actually, we actually have, we have, actually have something like this in Korea. Do we actually have like this? Uh-oh. Will I be able to find it? That's the question. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Chat, you know. You know, I'm so sorry, chat. Oh my, I'm about to see. <laughs> Let's try. We I we don't have an we, ha, we don't have like all the time in the world to be able to do this like all day. So if I die again, I'm gonna stop because like we still have so much to do on the stream. Oh yeah, you have. Yeah, you still have not even gotten close to finishing Grim Troop. Really? Yeah. Yeah, dude. You like know where you're fucking close. You're I not thought, even halfway I thought, through. I thought he said that it was the end. Like after after the <laughs> thing was done. <laughs> yeah, you know? I'm, yeah. Does he know? I Does literally know don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you wanted to see five but reaped. Sure. Okay, pastel. Meet four. That's just oh a fucking. Oh my god. That's just a fucking. <laughs> oh, looks like this... he'd be voiced by Patrick Warburton. Okay, what? Well, and this edition. Oh. 
Oh my god. That character is like if one of those fucking Undertale Sans OCs became a actual fucking thing. <laughs> the, the art oh, yeah. the art for these are so good. I know, right? She's so talented. All of them... I, I can, I, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to call this artist now. I'm just, I could have been bad, but... Maybe also <laughs> don't talk about things people can't see on the chat. Oh yeah, th no, also I mean, true. Like, like, they, they know, dude, like, they know, like, they fucking know, like... Again, again, again. Like, Alright, last knows. time, if I die, I die. But the, I will give you the artist actually support him, he is actually super cool. Let's go, let's see the next title. <laughs> Diligent, overwhelming, gorgeous, passionate, terrifying, beautiful, powerful, great prince out! <laughs> Oh my god! He actually, I love how he actually gets like new moves. Fuck no! You will like a fan for him? Doing this fight on the Pantheons is fucking hell. What? He's on the Pantheon? Not... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh you did not know. Oh, you sweet child. Yeah, that's what that was said like the next like before like fifty times over. Yes, I get it. Oh yeah, but it's still like like it's for me it's like every single time I'm like like you know this meme from Attack on Titan like with like who is it? It's not Aaron, right? But like one of the characters from there, like, like every single time when a new person just plays this game for the first time, they're like, "Oh my gosh, this game is so easy! I like this game. Look at the simple art." And style. done. And I just look at them, and I just. This should be enough, right? I'm just should scared. Be. Another one. If you beat him ten times, I believe you get a golden statue. Yeah. The Soat Arc. Let's go. Vigorous, digilent, overwhelming, gorgeous, passionate, terrifying, beautiful, powerful Grand Prince Soat. When, when did he be, just become an insta-kill? Ow. Uh, Holy shit, believe, two damage. Yeah, he does more damage every single time you fight him until he's just an instant kill. Holy so if I recall, shit. If I recall correctly, his next fight is gonna do four masks. Fuck! You gonna enjoy 57. All right, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, he starts to really hurt after that. Let's go. So, back to Grim. And now is Britta going? Yeah, Britta looks sad now. Yeah, I can talk to, I can listen to her. Oh, she's just bored. Yeah, because you... You ruined her perception of him. <gasps> Now she doesn't. Now she doesn't find him cool anymore. Now she. Aww. Now she thinks he's lame because he kicked his ass in her dreams. Very nice. Let me. I'm gonna equip this. Actually, Grab actually, wait. Like, um, uh, hold on. I'll go to Sly and buy every single charm. Will you get her back? I don't want her back. I don't want you. The best part is I'm pretty sure she leaves at some point, and he still just keeps talking <laughs> as if she's still there. He doesn't uh, even notice she's left. Oh yeah, this will happen once Never you meet get your a heroes. Yeah, basically. You can all buy Only all the three base, charms the left. Okay, let me... I will... Okay, I'll... Uh -oh. One more, one more, one more, one more. Patamas, Jill. A uh, compass from Iselda. All right. Oh, you're right. Compass from Iselda, one from collecting all the grabs, another one, I guess, from buying it from Salubra. 
Am I stupid? I might be you. <sighs> Papanada. Papanada. Empanada. Yeah, okay. Oh, Wayward it's, compass. It's, yeah, it's We're still... Miss okay. We're missing the one from Grabs and the one I... Do you remember? We're missing the lifeblood one from the abyss. From a bit? Oh, you're right! There's the lifeblood one. Yeah, how do I... Okay, let me check how much hearts we need. Let's go back to the boy. Oh, it's so nice. It's him again. Wonderful, wonderful. My kin arrive. My 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 kin arrive, and the time has come. Ew. The searing fire. It carries well the ritual's promise. Dance with me, my friend. The crowd awaits. Show them you're a wor you are worthy of a starring role. Oh shit! Run, Pete. Oh, yeah. you don't hit him when he's bowing. You fuck her. You can I hurt him? Oh, Basha. Oh. Oh, look at it. I'm in the moment right now. <laughs> oh. Basha, throw it back. <laughs> this is so oh, good, cool. I feel loved it. Ow. This is so cool, I fucking love him. I'm turning up the volume. Jesus. Alright, can't heal. Got it. Toho bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I love how when he goes for that attack, the music gets more intense. <laughs> I think he did a hard attack over that. Ho oh ho! Hurt bitch. him! You're gonna hurt him, I'll kill. Man's an actual vampire. I mean, people have been actually kinda like. Uh, like, suspecting he's like a vampire mod? Or like a bad? Because he do have a connection to high beings, somehow. He's just cool. He's cool boy. That, that, that's what kind of bug he is. He's awesome. Bug type, cool. <laughs> oh, bad facts. Every single time when you're not running him as approaching your phone this location. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Like, oh. like, Alright. I think I learned his patterns. Let's try again. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, I am so happy. It's Bush's birthday today. It is, it is. Chad, happy birthday. <laughs> you did not hurt him. Yeah, he knows, he knows. Yeah, if you hit him when he's bowing, he instantly goes for his strongest attack. Yeah. Ah. Oh. You're testing my nerve. Cool. 
The music gets no. way, way fucking epicer. Oh. I, I cannot wait for him to do to mid to mid the. The little guy. I love the little drum roll when he's changing back off. Oh. Like, I wanna, I wanna provide more commentary, but like, I'm just in the moment right now. That's alright. Yeah, I'm also yes. in the moment. Dude, in the second fight, I will not, I will be speechless. <laughs> this is the second fight? Oh, You'll this is the first stage. This is the first stage, Phil. Jesus, how long is this fight? Well. <laughs> Alright, I think I got it though. Yep. Yep. Alright. I think I got a hold on the patterns. Now I just need to use spells on him. The amount of times I've used this music in my own Dungeons and Dragons campaigns for boss fights. <laughs> the fucking drum roll. It's so good! Shit. Shit. <laughs> ah. Okay, yeah, the only attack that is safe is that one. Mm-hmm. He's learning. Not really, actually. Sorry, I didn't that. Oh my god, okay. Focus on healing. Right, good, 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 good. He's so good now. Clapping! Yeah! Nice! nice. Second try! Fucking good job. He dead. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bow, 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 bow. Nice. Thought I was dead, bitch. <laughs> you know yeah, this fucking. I bitch. lived, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bravo, my friend. Hear how the crowd adores you. They've not seen such a show in a long time. Mm. Now take oh. care of my baby again. Look here, how our child has grown, Ew. nourished and strengthened by the heat of our passionate dance. Ew. The two of you will feature in many tragedies and triumphs together, I'm sure. And so our great ritual nears its end. Will you continue to harvest the flame, even though now you surely see the path it illuminates for us? Our scarlet eyes will watch you keenly, friend. Ooh. Go out into the darkness, harvest the last lingering embers of this kingdom, then return to me and we will complete our dance. Grand performance. Oh, this is so good. Oh <gasps> yeah, charm launch. Like, okay, can I just okay, can I just say I really like his voice in the game? Mm-hmm. But okay, Fasha, I will show you this. This is like my really, really old art. Oh people, my god! When people knew me as a Hollow Knight artist, Grim Child, a, born by those a... who take part in the Grim Troops ritual. 
Okay. Collect more fire for him. Where is... Okay. Oh, uh... Deep Nest? Mm-hmm. Ancient Basin? What the fuck? There's one last grub in there? Oh, I thought you had them all. I thought too. And there's one in the hive, of course. Mm. Okay. Okay, wait. Uh, okay, scroll. Oh, okay, we will not go to hive because fuck hive, like, legitimately. We have to go there for the flame. No, we will go to deep nest because it's fucking easier. Mantis village. Okay, uh... Fuck, let me see so that's the man. So that's the Mantis Lord's entrance to Deep Nest, where that one is. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay. I kind of want you to go to the Deep Nest first. Oh, that extra charm notch is actually really good. Okay, go to Forbidden Village. Oh, like, what is it? Distant village? Distant village, yeah. While we're on the hunt, I think I'm gonna start ordering myself some food. Yep, it's been five hours. Pretty <laughs> much, <laughs> I think, halfway through the stream, I guess? At the pace we're going, probably, yeah. We'll have, uh, we'll have to do the flower Okay, quest. wait, okay, no, no, okay. Go to the left, that must be a cocoon. Or something like this. Do not drop down, please. Left, yep, yep, the cocoon on down here. Here? Down, look. You have to walk in. Oh. Huh? Babala, Geno. Hmm. You came. The red flame I've gathered from this dead kingdom. You would claim it for our master, for his final act. The ritual plays itself out once more. We are like the notes in an old, old song. You and me. Hmm. Endless, repeating songs of sacrifice, of servitude, for the ritual, for the troop, for the master. Even this child was born into invisible chains. Hmm. So we serve. Thus it has ever been. Yes? Take the flame, then. It is why you came here. Alright. It is done, and yet... It is not merely by fortune that we meet here. In the darkest, furthest reaches of the world, where my master's scarlet eyes cannot see us. Hmm. A song that never ends is no song at all. You take part in the ritual, yet I sense you truly have no master. It is so, is it, is it so? Perhaps together we can banish that livid flame and let this dead kingdom rest in peace. If you wish to silence the endless song. Hmm. Meet me where it began. But if you return to the master and complete the ritual, Hmm. As long as you do it without regret, I will bear you no hatred. What? Now you have a choice. You can complete yeah. this DLC one of two ways. You can either complete the ritual like you have been, or you can go with him to where you started the DLC and extinguish the flame. Which one is the cooler option? I think completing the ritual is the cooler option, personally. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know why. I don't Let's complete the ritual. Yeah, no, I for sure. I always complete the ritual whenever I play through the game. Of course you do. Mm -hmm. oh, so we already have a flame. Mm -hmm. But we yeah, still need to do this... the one in Deep Nest. Yeah, we'll have to go... Oh, fuck. Uh, fuck, let me remember. Okay, go back to Lucky. Uh... Fuck, should I go from fucking Queen Garden? From fucking Queen Station? Go Queen Station. Ah, oh, fuck. I... Just a second, just a second. Extinguish is cooler, though, yeah. says someone. Why? Okay. Uh, those people, uh, those people saying this is just because they cannot finish this fucking thing. Ah. Yeah, both, both, both endings are cool in their own way, but I think finishing the ritual is a much cooler way to go. Oh yeah, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's 
sorry, I will, I will. I I know that I'm also in the same side as Post. I just I just love to. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you get me. You understand. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, I'm gonna go to the Mentos Village from here. Like, dude. Oh, the musical goes so fucking hard. Like, sorry, as I said, I'm a sucker for jobs. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a sucker for, like, all the Grim Troop music just because I love, um... I love, like, accordion and organ music so much. I like something with, like, beer that, like, you know, I can just fucking... Bang like, your head, like... too. No, I just love the beer that I can, like, at least, like, you know, fucking snap my fingers, too. I just like I love I love anything that sounds like super gothic and like feels reminiscent of like vampires and all that sort of stuff. Oh hey, yeah, okay, Basha, that Basha, style is just my some... favorite thing. Okay, it's time for me to talk. Wait, where are you going? Mm -hmm. Wait, I actually yeah, I can go there over there to yeah, yeah, I can go over there. Okay, Pastra, you love gothic shit. Do you like I this do. style in movies? Yes. Okay, Pastra. I can le leans forward in my chair. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen Crawl with a Movie? I have not. We That's have not really to watch... gothic. It's edgy as fuck. It's edgy as fuck, though, yes. It's edgy as fuck. It have, like, fucking, like, you know, like. Oh, yeah, do not. Yeah, this child, you should. Yeah, the yeah, child help. kills the mantises. Little shit. Yeah. Little shit. By the way, by the way, my advice: stick to the wall here and dash to the left. No, up, 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 mo, mo, no, no, up, up here. Break the wall. Oh. Holy shit! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was just. That's memory. Incredible. No, memory. I... Dude. I cannot remember my own birthday, but I remember every single pixel of this game. <gasps> I legitimately cannot remember my own birthday. Anyway. No, 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 you're not getting this this way. No, 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 no. I have to get it there from another way. But you actually missed, but anyway. Okay. Basha, you have to see a crow the movie. If you like edgy shit and like if we share that in common, you will like crow. It's like fuck it's like uh like it's a really old movie and it's really fucking edgy. Basra? Mm -hmm. Do not listen to her. Look at Rotten Tomato score for that movie. It is awful! Dude, I'm telling you, this is awful but edgy as fuck, like I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, never listen to my tra uh, never listen to my taste in music. I'm a trash gambling. I love... I love somebody confidently saying, Oh yeah, it's garbage. You should watch it. I love it. <laughs> because that is... That is... I do that so frequently. Okay, no, no. Feel go done. You Thank missed out. You. you have to go from another way for another second. I may need a second. Who knows? Oh, I have to leave this place. What? Show me the map again. Yeah, I have this to leave this not place. not that bad. Dude, I'm telling you, this is garbage, but if you like- Okay, if we share- Okay, dude. If we mm. share that much in common, you will love this. This is like a super fucking edge, super fucking uh? like... Okay, uh, um, go back. Go, go up. No, mm -hmm. go, go like, go in Mantis Village. Leave the Mantis Village to the up. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not usually too concerned about, like, critic ratings for things I like. I like so much stuff that's generally considered shit that usually I just... ...try it anyway. Will you tell him about the actor of that movie? Oh, yeah, uh, do you, I'm not sure if you know Brandon Lee. The name rings a bell. Hmm. Uh, but... I don't know from what. Uh, okay. The only thing that I kind of consider cool but literally fucking sad... The actor died recording this movie. Oh! Oh no! I've heard of this you, now! You, okay, there oh we go. my god, now I know this movie! <laughs> now I know this movie! There we go. You seen it? Now I know. I haven't seen it, but now I know where I heard of it from. The entire time where? I'm like, I swear I've heard of this movie from somewhere. That's where. Where? Wait, what? You have to go up from there. Like, where you heard this movie from? 
I I used to watch a lot of videos that went down rabbit holes of movies that were supposedly cursed or whatever. And that was a movie that got brought up because of that. <laughs> it always got brought up alongside got Poltergeist. Honestly, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's actually so fucking... Okay, fuck, Buster, you have to watch it and say how much garbage it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 this is not... A, it's not the good movie. I love how this. this is how you're trying to sell me on it. It's like, you'll love it. It's so shit. It's so, so bad. fucking bad. Shut up. You have to say that. No, I mean like, no, no. I mean like, Pastor, you have to watch this. It's so fucking bad. Okay, hear Which, me like, out. Honestly, that's fair. I like the original Bendy. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, okay, you know, Pastor, like, I'm telling you, this is like, bad shit, fucking gothic shit. But like, you know, like, like, with like, you know, like, old city full of crime, like, the main character dressed up in all black. Honestly, yeah, I'm curious about it. Like, please, it's so fucking hard to sell people on this shit, I'm telling you. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, this movie is, is shit, like... Wow. But some okay, okay, I will kind of spoil this. One character got killed by fucking drug needles, like a shit on drug needles on his heart. Oh shit! Okay, so it's like, that kind of edgy. Uh, it's uh, I feel you skip it. It's yeah. Now I have to go back. Got him. Oh, I gotta turn the lights on in my room. I realize how fucking dark it is in here. I'm like sitting in like a pitch black like room, just staring at my computer. <laughs> I mean, it's like 3 a.m. and doing the same. You cannot go there. That's why I'm just well, telling you to stop. You ah, have to go fuck. all the way back. Ah, oh, fuck. But now, Pasha, watch this. This is so bullshit. There we go. My lights are on now. It feels a little bit less moody in here. Come, child, come on. Little brat can't be taken anywhere. Also, wait, okay. Also, okay, try for me to recommend so, a, a lot of shit that I like. <laughs> a, a lot of actually gory bullshit that I actually really fucking like. Try to close your ears. Okay, do you know, okay, do you like musicals? I really like musicals. Okay, great. Do you like musicals where, like, everyone gets brutally killed? Yeah. Well, um... If it's a good musical? It's that's not, not really one of my criteria. But, you know, like... Okay, uh... Yeah! Okay, have you ever heard about... A Repo the gen a Genetic Opera? I have not heard of that. This is... Base... Like, this is basically... As, like, also another... Algenetic bullshit. <laughs> where people... Where people can, like, replace each other's faces... Where, like, a lot what of shit going on. Whoop. Like... Uh, like people like, oh, okay, one character, okay, one character sings, and then rips her eyes off. Ew. Oh my god. <laughs> this is stuff I like, and this Peak is edge. not even that good. Like, shut up, Phil. <laughs> I like edgy shit, this is fine. <laughs> like, like, this is some stuff that, like, not many people actually know. Sounds metal as hell, my god. <laughs> I usually love to play dress like this and just enjoy this. I think like the thing that got me into musicals is fucking Phantom of the Opera. I'm obsessed with Phantom of the Opera. <gasps> oh my fucking god, I was trying to watch it, but oh like I, I never got into that. Maybe I should. <laughs> I listen to the Phantom of the Opera soundtrack sometimes when I'm working on videos and I feel like a vampire in my dungeon, like... Where? Uh... Oh! oh my god. Yep, just... Oh, thank you, Grim oh, Child! Nice. Good job! Oh my god! Good shit! He was good for something. Finally. Finally. Finally got some worth. All right. Now we have to do... Ooh... No hive, right? So uh, that hive. is in the hive. Now we actually, go no. into Ancient Basin. Yeah, we actually will acquire the key there. Okay, okay, Basha. 
flash job. <gasps> Who the fuck? Whoa. Read the mind. This is also like a uh, god. Pell worm. What mm. god to foresee a demise unavoidable? Wait, actually, actually, hold on. Do I still remember? Like, okay, I'll go back to the Queen Station. Whatever the fuck that is, let's go. A little adventure. Okay, Basha? Mm hmm. Helsing. Oh, this really? Is also... Come on, Helsing is also a real fucking magic if you think about this. Mm. Helsing is pure edge. I uh, tried watching what? Helsing and I actually couldn't get into it. Really? Actually, yeah, surprisingly. Huh. Um, Not. I just know. I just know that. Maybe maybe it's because I was like what? Maybe it was like the people I was watching it with because I was watching it in a group and I I might have been like watching it with the wrong crowd. Okay, but... question. Helsing mm. or Helsing Ultimate? Helsing. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So no, Helsing Ultimate is better. Oh, okay. Is this like is this like a Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood type of thing? Yes, exactly. It's uh, just okay. a better adaptation. That uh, probably explains it then. Uh, there's also Helsing Ultimate Abridged, which most people fucking know about. Uh, and that was just like the the Edge plus like fucking Team Four Star comedy. If you've seen like uh, Dragon Ball C Abridged, the whole thing. Yes. Okay. So you would love Helsing Ultimate Abridged. S has I... the same amount of edge to it, uh, but also they just do some choices for the characters that legitimately bring up and like legitimately improve the source material. Okay, Flash Did you know Dragon the... Ball too. Flash this. Hmm? Bitches love cannons. Yeah, the fucking endlessly quotable too. And the Whoa. thing is, not only not only is it good, but also it was made during the time where like Team Four Star actually. Wait, 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 wait Phil. I, sorry, I, I just look away for a second to lure Pesterine. Where the fuck are you? I don't fucking know. I'm just I'm just walking. Okay, let's try, uh, I'll I'll find a station eventually. Just calm down. But yeah, like Helsing Ultimate Bridge is that kind of thing where. Okay, Just like I Dragon Ball Z, you are. Okay, Phil, go left. You like, right. you actually, you're going so much fucking wrong way. Helsing Ultimate Abridged, just like Dragon Ball Z Abridged, legitimately makes the, like, improves the characters and the relationships and, like, the little subplots that they have. And it was made during the time where Team Fortress was, uh, I mean, Team uh, Four Star was actually <laughs> properly established as, like, a dub group. So it doesn't have, like, the awkwardness of, of like, Original, like first few episode Dragon Ball Z abridged. It just has go all down, the good go stuff. Down. Right. Go, it's it's like you started down. from late Dragon Ball Z abridged. Left. Yes. Left. I have to watch. I might have to watch Helsing Ultimate then, because yeah, I, I I watched the like original Helsing. Like okay, uh, and, and they, they do the thing that obviously like the like the original anime can't do. They use like proper like fucking Western like rock and metal songs. This way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, is it? Yes, I think it is. So, like, like, get ready for one episode, for one episode's, like, cool, amazing, uh, animated moment. Get set to, are you, like, no. uh, like... Down. Get ready to die, you know? Ooh. Down. Down. That actually sounds fucking sick. Like, yes, uh, I'm telling like an amazing anime, housing. yeah, an amazing anime episode with like all the fucking war and destruction. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I guess okay. Go up in that room. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, more up. And then wait, go left where Cornifer sits. Corny. <gasps> what? <gasps> <laughs> Worms pull bugs into their thrall. Tell ages pass and kingdoms fall. Caps and shells may fall to dust, but Mr. Mushroom readjusts. I really think that he actually drops the word, like. Do I kill him? Talk to him. No, you can talk to him. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, uh, do you, okay, we have to talk to him. Okay, return to station, then, okay, go up and go left. Return to station, a queue of the specific child that I want you to kill. Alright. And then we'll return. 
But yeah, no, uh, fucking, yeah, watch Helsing, like, I'm telling you. Or if like, you can't get into it, Helsing Ultimate Abridged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If, you, nice if you're more into, like, a comedic, like, take on it. I'll try, I'll try watching, like, the actual original one, because no. I, I didn't even realize, like, you know, it was that sort of ordeal. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, like, obviously, no, if you, if you, if, it, it's only if you don't get into it, because obviously, like, if you watch the parody version, can't really go back to watching the original version. Yeah, no. Okay, uh, charms. Okay, charms, uh, you have to unequal, uh, okay, unequal long nail, it will not give you much. Long nail. Okay, then equal spores, second from, uh, spores, uh, like, the second, um, on the last roll... Spore Shroom. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now go talk to that fucker. Got it. Also, wh what else I love that I'm fuck? talking about Helsing on the... Uh, like, we're talking about Helsing, and then just I just see, like, everybody on the chat, like, quoting random, like, Helsing Ultimate Abridge quotes. Fucking amazing. Dude, me and me and my friend um, who I stream with very frequently, him and I are both huge Dragon Ball fans. And every single time the two of us are on a stream together, it just devolves into like Dragon Ball Abridge quotes. Yeah. Every single time without fail, because I find that series so fucking funny. Huh? Uh, you find a second dream now again? Try swatting him. <laughs> oh! Oh, hello! <laughs> hello, Ghibli movie character. Mr. Mushroom. Uh, it's nice to see that you were able to help your friend. So you're not hungry anymore? Yes, that was quite the appetite. I was impressed. Still, we all move on son sooner or later. To greater things, perhaps. So much can be achieved in such a short time. Oh, excuse me. Ah! And now, for now, he is gone. For now. For right. now. I don't know what the fuck. Okay. Mr. Mushroom. Hmm. Let me see where to go. You. Okay, yeah, return back to the station. I remember so I, I said I'm in, onto some, into something, but really, you said this is Azure as fuck. Mm -hmm. What was it? Was it Crow? Definitely Crow. Really? Hmm. I, I, I remember I was into something like more Azure than this. No, no leave, leave the charm be. Leave, leave the charm be. Alright. Okay. King Station, I guess. We'll guide you from there. Okay, we'll get the last pub. Uh -huh. we'll last get grub. The last... Okay, then we go there. That's okay. <laughs> yes, yes, I know where to go. I know where to go. Do not worry. Last grub is right underneath King State. I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know where to guide you. Okay, go down. Okay, go to Kingdom Search. Like, uh, go station down and to the right and under water. All right. Oh, yeah, by the way, if, uh, that's mm -hmm. If you're gonna watch crow, do not watch other crows. What? Okay. I'll watch them if you love, love like, stupid edgy shit. That was the point, wasn't it? Okay, the first move is like stupid, but like uh, when you know that actor died, and like no, 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 go to the left, yeah. Like when you know, okay. The thing is, um, this movie is about like married couple. Uh, where I will kind of spoil this, but it's like the first scene in the movie. Um, it's like couple that actually tried to get married on Halloween, and they die, like uh, like. She died? Oh, uh, stop there, there's a grub. Yeah. Like, the woman died just before Emu! the match, like... We got nice. all of them. Yeah. And like, the 
Uh, the woman died just before that. Okay, now go back to the right. Um, and the woman died just before marriage. And the thing is that Akshuf was actually engaged and he actually died before his marriage. A hundred percent Mimu. Left. Oh. Left. Oh yeah, this, this is why the movie, the first movie, that, like in the end, it actually says like uh, in like in memory of Brandon Lee, like you know, like the first movie actually oh. tell like you know, yeah yeah, talk to him. Oh, <laughs> the way he just turns around like yeah. fuck. <laughs> Shit, it does the eye they gave you. Rely on your own instincts. If you got a keen nose, use it. And while you're hunting for secrets, beware those who are hunting you! What the f- Oh, excuse me. What? Bye. Bye-bye. I can even guide you to every single location of his. We need to get to... Yeah, I know, okay. I, I know, I'm guiding you to the, to there. Go down. Go down, leave the location. We're not going to hive. Hive is just annoying. Plus, we need something nice and base and all. Alright. Down left to the train pass. <sighs> How? This has been like, what? Fucking five hours? Five hours and 35 minutes. Hmm. I think. Do we have to die? I mean, after doing Grim Troop, we are doing the final boss, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Blast, that would be your... next. Yeah. All right. Yeah, blast your leg back. We're gonna have both of pain time. <laughs> I cannot wait. Okay, can you open the full map? Okay, yeah, it's up there, and then I will guide you to another place. Yeah, up there. Go up there. All right, Finish got it. The... Finish the ritual, like, um, we will go, you have to go back to train pass after that. Got it. This is efficient, I think. Mm? One, oh, 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 one last thing, I guess. We are mm? missing one more, two more charms? No, I know where to get them. One, you get them from the ground, so you, like, will go and get the ground. Yes. Uh, and second, of, and second of, we will, we can actually get it before. Like, yeah, we'll actually guide you. Can you know, we finish all the charms and shit? Nice. Astra? Huh? Sorry? What? Can we finish all the charms? No, we like, should be able to. Like, I don't remember how much hearts we need for the door. Ooh! I Yay. forget, but you should just. Oh my god. Did not expect him to fucking kick my ass so hard. Good thing that I saved right here. They put him in a really mean spot. All right, back to it. Well, we should we should just be able to with the with like the charm that gives us the extra hearts. Nah, I mean, um, how much hearts we need? This is the fucking point. I do not remember. I can check. You mean blue hearts or white hearts or blue, both? Blue, 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 blue. We need to go to Abyss for that. Yeah. yeah. Not really. I mean, we need that to go to Abyss. You need 14 lifeblood masks. Where the fuck is my spirit? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the right. Oh! Not again! Give me that! Nice, okay. Yeah, you're gonna fight him here. <laughs> Phil, don't give me an excited like that. <laughs> I. Oh, the puzzle of pain is gonna. Pasha, you better prepare your dinner. The puzzle of pain is gonna be long. Oh yeah, five minutes until my Wendy's arrives. Fuck yeah. Really? I'll, I'll manage for Path of Pain, I'm excited to watch that. <laughs> okay, wait, opinion on Boba Tea. Ooh, I like it a lot. Nice, good taste. 
Caramel and chocolate? Oh, yeah. I, nice. I always I always really enjoyed, um, I always really enjoyed, like, tea over coffee. Dude. We have okay. finished. Okay, go left, to go to... Okay, do you remember? Okay, fuck, I have to guide you all the way through because you do not remember. Down. Okay, down. Uh, even more down. Yes, here. Um, hold on a second. Yes, save. That would be nice. Dude, when I tried bubble tea, I was fucking obsessed with that. I've Just never around. tried bubble tea. You should. Like, fuck, dude. I'm trying to, like, like I. It doesn't I get wish... sold here. That's lame. I have like, to, there's really like good. one specific store left. that has it. Left, left. Like, dude, bubble tea is actually fucking good. I mean, I don't, I, the, the weird balls is like interesting looking, what? but I don't see what the dude, deal is. Balls are good, man. Good balls. They're really good. Yeah. Chris right. Crystal Dash to left. No other charms to equip? No, we just need to equip or something. We'll have to just need one item, yeah. Okay, you don't understand, Phil. The ball. Fuck. Every single time it gets you. Okay. <laughs> That's Phil, mean. The, the balls, though. <laughs> like, hear me out. What are tapioca balls so good for? I don't even know what tapioca is. Oh. Okay, now go down. Go left, I oh got. Just into abyss, like, right? It's it's really it's really fucking good. Like I I, I, I will, right. Like it's really fucking good. I will just tell you that. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm gonna try it out. Like I'm not I'm not gonna say no. Oh, <gasps> mm. you know what? Both of you should try. Yeah. Hmm. Matcha fucking tiramisu. It's really fucking good. Wait, I've never left. had that. Oh, it's really good. It's like super fucking like uh tasty and like super fucking soft. Like, mmm. Almost there. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to always... down. Me. Eh? Inside. Me. Eh, Me. Eh, eh. Ew, 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 ew. Mine. Simple key. Okay. All right, that's the last simple key then. Yeah, it's the last simple key that we need. Um, now you can finally leave this location. Great. Oh god, now we. There's a we... thing there. Okay, let me. Grimchild going nuts. He's going crazy. Actually, I was showing on his final form. He's actually pretty decent, yeah. How much he does? Okay, now go to the right. Okay, like, I mean, okay, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yay, all the way to the right. We have to go back to the front of a second track, but we're going back. Mm. Should probably, I'll probably also go to Grubfather at some point. Yeah, it would be actually low. Actually, fuck, let me think. I'm trying to go. You're still going? Christ, man. Dude, we haven't even got into, like, the hardest thing in the game. Yeah, Hello, we're Gaga. not even close. Dude, which, we're doing, like, basic shit. We haven't even done, the, like, the optional shit, which is fucking flower quest. I don't think we are gonna be able to do that. Actually, actually, go there. So you'll mine here. All of it? Yep. I don't need to buy anything else? I will get money eventually. All right. Thank you. That person drawing uh, for the four months. You can order tapioca used in boba and cook it yourself, along with instant mix coffee, uh, instant mix online. If if you live in an area without it, like me. Ooh. All the geo. It's seven thousand, man. Yes. All right. Mhm. Mm I have no idea what this does. Oh. oh. That was worth it. Yeah, it only took 3,000, so. Mm. Oh, it's oh, actually just my food arrived, I'll be back. Alright. Look at how Wait, pale actually... Look how Pale King looks, like so fucking like self-important and spiky and giant. Fucking prick. 
looking good, Phil. Anyway, go up. <sighs> Let me think where best to go. What are we looking to do right now? Okay, actually, actually, okay, go up. I guess we're going through the King's Pass. Actually, mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. <gasps> actually, no, I'm so stupid. Go down. Uh huh. We're, we're, we're gonna go through here in station. Isn't that like all? Oh no, yeah, okay, that's fairly close, actually. Yeah, sorry, I just do not remember. No, 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 not here. No, not here. Yep, there we go. First of all, good. Okay, yeah, 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 we're going there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this location seems much more worse, right? Yeah. No, no, it actually makes sense as to why it's so empty. Okay, okay, actually, sit on the bench. I'm gonna kill all your charms. Okay, put all blood life charms. Like, all the, like, this, this, right? Um, I mean, like, go outside, like. Fragile Horn? Yeah, 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 actually, yeah, yeah, put it. Holy fucking shit! Alright! Okay, hold on, hold on, let me get three, 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 ten. Yeah, great, we have enough. Okay. Okay. Follow me, go to the left and go to Abyss. Abyss time, boss. Let's be really fucking careful. <laughs> I'll try. I don't have any of my nail abilities, so I'm pretty much defenseless right now. Ah, still, still damaging enough. Down, 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 down. Be careful with those fucking thingies on the walls. Yeah, we we lose these permanently if we get mm -hmm. damaged. Okay, um, my advice, just fucking dash, crystal dash, to the left, and just stick to the left. <laughs> Not as much. <laughs> A little bit less than that. A little bit less left. Stop! Be careful. Oh! I... Okay, uh, how but many, how many do we need? This much. Okay, no, no more hit. Okay, got, got it. You can look down, by the way. You're still good. All right. Look down. Never mind. <laughs> Continue the game. <laughs> I'm back. Why are we restarting the game? Cause we're doing the blue heart thingy. And... Uh, oh, yeah, did you yep. get hit? Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Don't mm, worry. How nice meal, by the way. What do you Thank get? You. I got myself a baconator from Wendy's. Uh, what is Azzy? It? It's what? a it's, it's a burger. It's a really good burger, actually. I never tried burgers. Are they good? Fucking should, yeah. Yeah, really good. Okay, Assy, are you sure you don't want to go make yourself something to eat right now? Because, like, I'm pretty sure this is, like, the halfway point of the stream, and, you know, you should probably eat. <laughs> ah, I'm good. You sure? I mean, I mean, I drank my fucking lemon juice with strawberries soaked in it. That's still not good enough for your body. You need some kind of, like, sustenance. Dude, dude I my size Ice cream, maybe? Dude, you... Yeah, sure, this is so delicious. <laughs> Maybe, at least? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get some good sustenance, like ice cream. Well, she doesn't have much aside from that. I mean, okay, bus room? She's never eaten want... a burger. Yeah, I know. Like, you have to go to the left, by the way, not right. I know, I'm just trying not to get killed by the spikes. Bus if you want to know, like, the exact uh, scale, I'm smaller than a cat, technically. No, you're not. You Okay, you send me compared to a cat. Yeah. Like, I'm not smaller than a cat, but, uh, like... Calling bullshit. <laughs> okay, not uh, smaller than a cat. Uh, okay, how do I say, like, how much cats say How much cats am I? I'd say, like, you're, like, two and a half cats. Man, two and a half cats. Like, this is... Horizontally, I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
not vertical. <laughs> I was about to say, what the hell? <laughs> You're puss in boots? Like... <laughs> Alright. Wow, okay. Okay, be careful in my... Oh, uh, yeah, be fucking careful. Is this lifeblood? Yeah. Why the fuck? Oh, it's really beautiful music, by the way. Oh my god, okay. My advice, yeah, go left. I thought Sack's chair was part of the ambience of the game for a second. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's alright. <laughs> uh... Yeah, go left, yeah. Go down. You can pull on spikes. I know. Still risky. Especially because my long nail doesn't exactly exist right now. Oh! There we go. The only part of the game where I actually probably have to use the look down feature. Left. Oh. <laughs> you weren't wrong. Oh. oh my god. Chris Coast Dash. Be be ready to stop. Alright. Oh, uh, what did you All just right? call Pastor? He called me my name, chat. <laughs> right. Arcane Egg! That's the last oh. one! Yeah, the last uh, one in the game. I still remember. Oh, I'm so good. Oh, left and up. I'm so good, I still remember. Okay, uh, good, uh, up, good. right. And do not pick the thing I want you to see. Look at the creature I'm behind. Mm -hmm. look, look, look at the <gasps> creature. What the fuck? Do you see that? Wait. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, I Look just thought it for the first time. Look how big the fucking thing is! How have I never noticed that? Wait, really? Look at that! It mm -hmm. has so many eyes! It's, it's, it's literally called either Abyss Creature or like Life Blood Creature. I've never seen that and I've been here multiple times. Life Blood Core. Dude, I fucking right. wish... Like, I fucking wish I knew this game less. Because it cannot <laughs> open anything new for me. I've like, been seeing literally. so many new things during this stream and that's insane. You know what they say. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to <laughs> hear it. I don't want to fucking hear life it. Lifeblood core contains a living core that bleeds precious lifeblood. When resting, the bearer will gain a coating of lifeblood that protects from large amounts of damage. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, now you can wizard drop father. <laughs> But yeah, no, like I, I've, I'm, I actually is kind of sad that I know this game by Big Sauce, because I cannot open anything new for myself. <laughs> Fucking Looney Tunes, like like screeching tire sound effect. Oh, yeah, literally screeching tires like Bugs Bunny stopping right <laughs> in his trash. It's like, wow, did you see that? I was almost a goner. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, look at what's it. Okay, how do we go? Mm, okay, let's do an um, epic shit first. We need to visit uh, Grubfather. We need to okay. sell the last uh, egg. No. Grubfather. Okay, mmm. Mmm. Sure. Grubfather mm -hmm. or. Okay, with Grubfather, we have to visit Celebro. There's no shit, no way. Um. Mm hmm. We can- we have to sell the Asian egg. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have, sp have- always have spores on. We need this. Fucking spore mushroom. Dude, I- we're getting this ending. Alright. I know. I know. Dirt mouth? Uh, uh, yeah. Because this ending is so you ending, like... I, I don't know what this help. means. You'll understand. All right. You'll understand. You will see. You will see. You will know. Uh, back to Grim Troop or Grubfather? 
Let's do grab father because his green troop is like. Bored as fuck. Oh my gosh, oh my, oh my gosh, me for real. This is me listening to you talking about Hollow Knight lore. Oh my fucking FNAF lore. Oh my gosh. Dude, I was gonna say, what do you mean talking about Hollow Knight lore? You'd want that. Yeah, I want that. But I, I don't want to listen. You're not like, ready. I'm not. I know. This. I don't want to listen to that. So then we get into this remnant shit, and this is a can of worms. All right. Grub father, I have rescued all their children. Thank you. Thank you. I sa saved all your children, and now nothing bad will ever happen to them again. Ever again. Ever again. Rubber flies elegy. I mean, I mean, what it does is basically how like a like king saw the fact at home, right? I will you saw. All right, so what do we do to get the thing? Uh, go outside the room and come back. All right. Oh, Chucky, Beep. I think I guess, I guess we forgot something. Oh no, worry. can you can you come back? I I think I think I forgot something. Oh wait, do I actually? Huh. Huh. Anyway. Happy ending. Happy ending. Happy ending. What ending, Chad? Uh, Contains okay. the gratitude oh. of grubs who will move to the next stage of their li- Ah, to the- move to the next stage of their lives. Imbues weapons with a holy strength. When the bearer is at full health, they will fire beams of hot- white hot energy from their nail. Ooh, oh, you're right. Zelda bullshit. Yeah, but it does less damage. Oh. Okay. Well, happy we avoided that cannon event. We Down. we will come back after Down. troop. Down. Opa. Where? Okay, actually, actually no. Go right. Like, actually, it will be must be shorter. If I'm not stupid, I think it's stupid actually. It's okay. We have patience. I don't. I think that's been demonstrated. <laughs> I mean, you're the one who don't have, uh, who doesn't have patience. Not my fault. Oh yeah, right. We can just finish the game right here. <laughs> yeah, we can just beat the game right now if we wanted to. Not yet. Not yet. How long is good? How long Can wait. Okay. Okay. Down in that room. And to the left. Pastra, since Phil has absolutely no in- oh, What the fuck? Okay, I was fucking ready to chat! You don't- What was the question? Phil, since Pastra- uh, I mean, Pastra, since Phil has absolutely no intention of playing it yet, have you played Tears of the Kingdom yet? It's amazing. I have literally only ever beaten one Zelda game Is it Majora's ever. Mask? It was Majora's Mask, Fuck right. you! <laughs> It's the only Brother. one I've ever beaten. Brother! Down. Down. My god, fuck yeah! Somebody understands! That's the I, I only just, good one! It's the only one uh, I care for! I'm just not yes. a Zelda person! Yes! Right. Holy shit! Oh my god, you're so base! Frost are predictable, fuck off! That's the only <laughs> Zelda worth a damn! The fucking it's time mechanic and the fucking four like like areas and like all the side stories and like <laughs> fucking if I will play a Zelda game on stream, it will only be Majora's Mask. Yeah, literally, same. It's the only <laughs> one I really care for. I don't care for any other Zelda game. It could be the only one for all I care. Ah, uh, fuck yeah. All right, I just Where? fucking love that game. Down. Twilight okay. Princess is the best one. Fight me. Twilight Princess is made for edgy boys that think that Majora's Mask only quality is the fucking color palette. Fuck off. I played Twilight Princess when I was, like, younger on the Wii, and I got so bored I stopped. Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit. So fucking lead. <laughs> I'm so happy. By the charm notch. Ooh, my blessing. A special blessing Bye. from... From me to you. You've earned it. My dear, a blessing for you. With your ex excessive patronage and those startling good looks, you've more than earned it. Mm. Ah! 
No, get away! No, get away! <laughs> Salubra's <laughs> blessing. A boon bestowed by charm lover Salubra. Those blessed are followed by beauty and love. Mmm, yes. I hope my blessings bring you everything you desire. Don't be a stranger, sweetums. Okay, go outside. Um, go outside. Okay. Okay, go outside and use every single spell. Like, just use everything. More? It's not a spell I did. It's not a spell I did. Use a spell. Just burn through all your soul. Okay, now sit on the bench and wait. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Worth it. Worth it. I mean, it regains your soul. I guess. All right. Time for the Tumblr sex man. Yeah. It's the moment everybody's been waiting for. Ooh. Mostly pasta. Me, me exclusively. Happy birthday, Pasta. Happy birthday. <laughs> My birthday's in February, but I do not care. Oh, shit, 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 shit. We, we, we tell on your birthday. I can't believe... Sorry, back to Majora's Mask. Can't believe <laughs> that Majora's Mask is basically just like... The N64 version of like a DLC for Ocarina of Time. Like, okay, if Majora's Mask was made today, down, it would be down, DLC, down. right? Down. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But but back then they didn't have like a concept of that, so they just took down. the assets, the assets of Ocarina of Time, and just made it into its own thing. But like, 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 like that game. Hello. Ah, pale thing. You use these old lines? Pathetic. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. He died. Pathetic. A real warrior carries himself to combat. He has no need for such convenience. Now I'm just imagining, like, Tiso sitting on this bench, eating a fucking Wendy Wendy's bacon burger. <laughs> just fucking, like, <laughs> You're we'll talk fucking pathetic. <laughs> we'll talk to the Hollow Knight. <laughs> he's trying to talk shit, but he starts choking. The Hollow Knight does not help him. All right. All right, we're going to Jerthna. Oh my god. So Red says, Phil, I think you should play Hotline Miami. I have not, but that game <gasps> does sound appealing to me. They, it looks right? okay. pretty good. Dude, okay, but wait, both of you don't know what Hotline Miami is? Nope. Well, I know okay, what the, I know okay. what it is. I know how important it is to the indie game community, but I haven't played it myself. Okay, fuckers, both of you play Hotline Miami and then play Katana Zero. Alright. Uh, okay, how dude Katana Zero need more support. It came out like so kinda of far of, like it came out a few years ago, but like people like had a hype for that and then everybody just forgot. Like Hmm. You have second. to have a child. You have to have a child in you. Ew. No, to the people in chat who are asking, it's not actually my birthday. Who knows? No, it is. It is your birthday. It is your birthday, Pastra. She loves to do this bit. It just feels like my birthday. That's All right, here we go. My huh? <laughs> the door's Pastra, open Pastra. now. Pastra, it's your birthday. Pastra, Pastra, Pastra. It's my birthday. Oh, I love that it sounds like a beating heart. Hello? What is this? Finding of Isaac bullshit. Pasha! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Don't for the best music in the game. What the fuck? I really hope I don't fuck this up. What? 
What? Uh. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my favorite boss fight from any game ever made. All right. <gasps> oh, okay. oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Dude, the music goes so high. I'm sorry. Okay, I have to break the bus <laughs> Wait, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> oh, it will. It will. It will. It absolutely will. Not really, actually. Like, the button's pretty clear. Just... Phil's gonna get fucked up. Alright, well, you know what? Time Whoa! it is! This is this is legitimately my favorite boss fight from any game. Welcome to the nightmare. Thank you, De Delta. <laughs> And I'm really glad they gave him like a full screen because like not so many characters have like a full screen like introduction. Mm -hmm. Like, like so everything is so good. <laughs> like he is hard. The music goes hard. And like actually, it's the second time. This is Buster's and my birthday. Mm. Also. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm learning. Yeah, I'm learning, 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 learning. Fuck, no! Dude, everything about this guy is perfect. All right, need to form new strategies for that. Maybe I oh, you will. A meal. Yeah, go grab yourself a meal. Uh, we'll be I here for a while. How long it will, how long it will take him? How much HP ha ha he has? A fuck ton. Oof. No. And I can barely get any hits in. He moves really fast. You can only really get one hit in at a time. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, this fucker how? Oh, just he can hundred HP. Fifteen. <laughs> I just have two HP though. Oh, come on! Wait, does he have another new, like... If I think he doesn't have another, like... Theme in... Fucking... What is it? In Bad Dance? No, they just use this one. Really? Shh. Well, there is, there is an alternate theme for him in the Pantheons, but like... I don't think it's specific to him. <laughs> that is so neat. Yeah, I have an fun. idea. Uh, no, I don't okay. have enough notches for that. Uh... Uh-huh, yeah. When a fucking... When a fucking jerk him with fucking flick mother, uh-huh. Fucking wants to jerk him with a flick mother. I have a little bit of an idea, just give me a chance. I mean, if you're gonna throw the flick mother, you have no fucking balls. So, can I can I flex real quick? Yeah? Mm-hmm. There's a video on my channel of me beating him hitless. Oh my god. Wait, wait, okay, wait, wait, in Pantheon trainer fucking range? Yeah, in the, uh, in the, in the Pantheon. Um, it's, it's unlisted on my channel now, but I have it as a public playlist of me beating Hollow Knight bosses hitless. I beat Nightmare King Grim hitless. Oh, fucking, fucking congrats. Because right, I love, uh, I love that fight so much. Got some questions. Does, uh, uh Azzy, <laughs> help me out here. Yeah? Unbreakable mm -hmm. strength, does that... Is okay, not, not, no, no, okay, not, na that's, that's a nail ability. Okay. Um, what is the charm to recharge your... that gives you soul? Like, just over time. Is there one? It was a king, so... Okay, this this actually heals you with time, but... I need a charm... For, okay, maybe quick focus. Drain soul from the surrounding air. Hmm... No, 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 uh, that's this, not how it works. You, 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 no. Quick focus. You this, you this, like, so, suddenly none of those will give you soul with time. It was yeah. a king soul, it will, it, it was a king soul passive. Uh, 
do you want do you want a recommendation from me for this fight? Yes. Um, one of his attacks, the one where he like lunges forward uh, mm -hmm. and he does the uppercut, you can dodge through him with your uh, void dash. So I recommend Sharp Shadow. Yeah. Because it counts as a hit whenever you go through him. There's a yeah, but... spell. That's just... hmm. But I mean, he leaves a tray behind him. Is iframes enough to? Go well, he, he he doesn't leave a trail whenever he does the uppercut. He only leaves the oh, trail yeah. whenever he does the one where he jumps down and then he does the kick. Oh yeah, right. When he does the drill, right. Maybe uh, this will be good. Okay, I'm not sure if quick focus will help you much. Okay, my advice, okay, my advice maybe shaman stone because it will help you to shriek him, especially when he does the fire from the be uh, below attack. So this is my my strategy here is that since he's so fucking mobile, my strategy is actually using souls, like uh, using spells for this fight, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually advice. and 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 just focus on maybe regaining health through time. If I just avoid his attacks for like long enough, let's see how that goes. Oh, I mean. For me, Buster, it's just another time. For me, Buster, just another, you know, reason to celebrate really the birthday. You get something. I mean, I will, maybe. All right, all right, 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 right. Let's try. Come here, motherfucker. That one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. That one is not that difficult. Oh, right. Yeah, my advice is shrink him while you can. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. The fact that you have to do this boss fight with the Grim Child as one of your charms hurts. Yeah. It doesn't even he doesn't even even appear in the battle. No, he doesn't yeah, even help you, but you need him to access it, so he just takes up a charm slot. The hard part yeah. is damaging you. Yeah, that's the thing. I can avoid the yeah. attacks, it's just trying to find the that, that. Okay. Fuck. But I really want you to go to Bad Dance because Bad Dance is something that will actually us. It, it, somewhere in my penthouse, you're just gonna say, Hey, hey, as I go, can I call your therapist number? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. Even though I, I don't, need, I don't think I even have enough time to be able to heal with the lifeblood charm. Oh. Mm, it's not lifeblood, it's high blood. But no, dude, just fucking survive and try to do damage. Like, my advice. Do not heal. Yeah, do not heal. Okay. Just Fuck. be more passionate about his attack. I really like, love when he does like. Mhm. Mm like, people, uh, because of fucking, shh, people been assuming that he is a spider. I need the length. Oh, the nail length is fucking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm way too used to that nail length. No, 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 no. Nail length. Ugh, I need that. Nail length is great for him anyway. I I cannot even reach him. Oh, the shit, the sun is rising. Get this off. It's off. No, okay. Uh, get. So. I think I think nail length, and then I'd say unbreakable strength as well, because you you get to hit him so little, you want to get the most out of each nail strike as you can. Yeah, sharp shadow, nah. How much sharp shadow? Does? Not much. Yeah, my advice: do not use sharp shadow. Maybe. Uh, maybe actually. Okay. Do you? Okay. 
<gasps> Might be actually Thrones of Agony? Quick slash? I... No, quick slash, because I cannot only hit him like a few times. Okay, 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 Basha? Okay, mm -hmm. Dark Defender or all the fucking, all the Thorns of Agony? Uh, I think Thorns of Agony because how often is he going to be able to use the damage from the Dung Defender's charm? Yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah, this is your build. Just go with it. All right. I will only heal once in the Spikes Up attack. That is yeah. literally the only chance to heal for this. Only only go for the big heals when he turns into the Swarm of Bats. All right. Shit, I haven't even gotten to that point. No. Oh, no, you boy. haven't gotten far enough. He also hasn't used his uh, balloon attack yet. Oh, yeah, oh my right. god. All right. Focus, 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 focus. Do you remember the part where he took like the fucking audience and turned them into like big fucking machine gun with souls? Do you remember when he lights the whole arena on fire? Yeah, and then you'll basically have to escape his burning mind while he's chasing you. Remember, remember when just fan fiction? Just... Remember when he no, just blows right. up the entire arena and you instantly die and the boss is actually impossible? Yeah. Really weird decision on Team Cherry's part. Remember when Sans walks in? I remember. He's like, hey guys, I'm Sans. Uh Alright. Not bad at all, actually. Yeah, it it's not so hard. He moves a little bit faster than his regular version. Fuck it, like... forget about <gasps> uppercut. Dead. <laughs> you move so much. I think I'm getting it though. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm actually getting it. Just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't get should greedy. I... Okay, should I tell him about background? But disappoint him? Ah! Uh... Mm. I don't think so. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, he's so not ready. What the fuck? What the oh! fire lingers? <laughs> oh my god! Are you sure you're ready? Bumble combo. Yen! Alright. That's where I get the oh, I most. Haven't... That's where I get the most damage. Yeah. Okay, nice. Ah, uh, still one I mean... away from death though. Balls. Balls. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> Balls. Famous last words. Maybe the the real nightmare is the fries that would have made all the way. <laughs> Oh boy, Maybe. this, and I'm... the Fragile Flower, and the final boss, and... Uh, I'm not sure about Fragile Flower, though. Yeah, I'm not sure about Fragile Flower, I'm being so real. Yeah. I'm sorry, well, like, me 
everybody should believe in you. Don't let believe in you. This quest is just not as cool, you know, for you to complete it. Like, you know. <laughs> but should we? I'm not sure if 357 is oh. a good idea. Mm. I mean, which is like good. It's not that hard to get there. Oh my god! Should we actually leave him to 57? Could. To think okay. about that after we see how long this takes. Now, okay, let's see. Okay, four tries, maybe uh, four, five? Yeah, I think five is kind of like a fast one. How much feel old are from Grandma Hospice? Is it 41? Oh, sorry? Uh, how much, uh, how much feel old us uh, from Grandma Hospice? Well, I, I don't remember the number, let's see chat. <laughs> chat, is it 41? 55? Like 55 for real? Okay, wait, it's been eight dollars and six, uh, wait, it's been eight dollars and on the last stream it was 40... What was it? Ah, just, just, let's, let's make it 55. The real, the real, uh, answer is 50. Okay, yeah, 50. Oh shit, I'm like five dollars away from Buster Blushing. <laughs> Let's go! He really likes doing that one, my god. Ah, uh, I can't... I need to find the exact amount of flames? He does. Nice. He does five. Five flames and then go away. This- this boss is the one part of the game I know, like, the back of my hand. What? Four? Oh, that was four! That was four! That was four! I misspoke. Never mind, I don't know him as well as I say. <laughs> Yo, boss, boss, you're fake fan, fake fan? I'm a fake fan. I'm a fake fan. I'll never yeah, recover. Yeah. I thought you were too, too fucking green fan, damn. I have the footage of me beating him hitless! Oh yeah, yeah, I know, anyway. With words, you lose to fucking the address of Kako. Uh, congratulations, oh. Kako, you lost your position, of course, co host. And this is just true to it to my post. Great. I will take I will take this name of course co host as an honor. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Okay. What? What? Okay. <laughs> I... Uh, I guess... Hmm, how, how can I wraith him in there without taking so much damage? Can I even do that? So, he... When he goes for those four pillars, um, I would not recommend, like... I would recommend, like, when he starts doing that, getting really far from him and slowly walking towards him as each pillar comes up. Because that way you can do all four without them being, like, directly under him. Yeah. Like, you know... Like, <laughs> even further than that. Yeah. You have to basically, like, just fucking dash to it turn out the corner of the... his path. And, uh... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 
I'm having I'm having so much fun watching this because this is how it went when I first fought him too. Yeah, dude. Like I was about to say this, even though I cannot open anything neutral for myself in this game, like absolutely nothing. Watching somebody play this for the first time, like just me, just fucking you know, watching my memories back then. It's such it's such a wonderful fight because the first time you fight him, he's so overwhelming. Mm. But none of his fight is random. There's a pattern to everything, so you can get it down so well and effectively like not get hit by him at all. It feels amazing to get good at. It took a while. Oh. I believe in you. I believe in you. I have faith. Oh, I still gosh. believe in you. I still believe Wait. in you. We believe in you, kinda. It's only a few attacks too. It's just they're all so fast. And they're they all hit so, so fast. hard. They hit really hard, they come out really fast, and, and you like... can't gain soul because of how fast he is, so you can't get like a hit in. That's all the right, thing, right. like there's oh, a pattern, oh. but it's really overwhelming. Should we tell him the boy background now? Uh, it will, will kind of make him sad. I think I think we just let him focus on the fight. Yeah. It was all. Wait, Pasha, I just saw your twin with green blusher. Who's <laughs> you your favorite my, character? You Who's your favorite character from Abyss? Uh, <laughs> I wonder why you're asking. Take a guess who my favorite character is. <laughs> Dude, when I watched the Abyss for the first time, it was such a fucking roller coaster. I, I kept track. When I watched Maiden Abyss, I cried seven times. Dude, I love the both of us into fucking game slash anime where your father's being fucking, like, basically kills their favorite child. Anyway. Yeah, Maiden Abyss emotionally ruined me. Dude, when I watched the movie with, like, the girl from, like, uh, from the... from the base? Like, you know? What was mm -hmm. her name again? But, I'm um, sorry, I, I'm not Usha. familiar with... Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, Oh my god, she's a nice character! I really like her! We'll just stay, we'll like... I was like, oh yeah, she'll join the team and they're gonna, like, tra travel together and, like, they're gonna be besties, right? And then yeah. the second... The second part of the movie, it was like... Oh. The ending to that movie is the hardest I've ever cried watching something. Dude, the not even the ending, like, like, dude, the ending is so fucking dumb. They try to like, oh my gosh, yay, we're traveling, gay. But I still remember the scene with like white, what, like whistle. I was sitting there, like, I, I was like, I was thinking like, yeah, it's like, I was thinking like, yeah, this is just me like having imagined it in my head, you know, like, like this is not real. Mm -hmm. That show like, too, like, when you start watching it, it's like, oh, this is fun, and then there's just one episode where it takes a fucking turn, and you are not ready, and it just fucking ruins you. No, dude, like, when it starts, like, it's like, oh my gosh, like, we can't leave, that's so cute, that's so nice. And then the bullshit starts, and you're just there, and you're like, such a thing, you're like, wait. Wait, it is such it is such a cutesy show at first, but when it turns, it turns so fucking bad that it haunts you. Oh my god, that show. Dude, okay, okay, what is what oh, dude the elevator? I never in my life did I think I'd find an elevator like the most horrifying thing on the planet. Dude, I was like I was like every single time. Okay, what is your most like Okay. Oh yeah, alright, right, feels here. Um... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, what is your most terrifying experience? Okay, most terrifying scene slash character. We're not talking about father. Uh, the most terrifying scene was in the movie. Like, 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 mm, like the one with, um... Mm, how do I say this? Uh... Let's let's just say the cooking video, like, like you know, just 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 a normal cooking video. Mm. Uh, for for me, it was like just the entirety of that ending. Mm. 
Bro, I don't know, the elevator is still like, like, maybe like a strong... Like, uh... Like, no, the ending is so fucking hard. Uh, dude, you know what's the worst part? She was conscious. I know, I know, and that's what hurts! Like, I was sitting there, like, I was sitting like, hell, something. I know, it's so fucking horrible. Like, oh my god. Like, and when, and when they found out, oh my god, bro. Like, dude, I, I still really like, oh, mm, remember, remember, like, when they actually, like, Wait, okay, remember when the cooking video with the father happened? Like, I, I know how we ha have to speak in terms that, like, you know, all the, like, fans will understand. We have, we have to speak, like, friggin' cryptic, like, uh, I guess, crypt keepers, like... <laughs> remember on the <laughs> night of November 11th, when the elevator incident happened? Dude, the elevator, though, oh my fucking god. Like, oh no, you know what made me cry? Mm -hmm. When they have to... How do you... <laughs> he's, try he's trying to figure out a cryptic way to say it, even. Yeah, dude, because it's really fucking hard. Okay, I when know, to... I know. Okay, when, okay, when do you have to put a mid pie in the oven? Like, by the end of, like, what, first season or something like this? When they have to leave the... When they have to leave the furry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> It's so like so sorry. It sounds so bullshit. Describing the most traumatizing shit on the planet in the dumbest way possible. Dude, I was so f I was like, no, no. <gasps> Have you seen the trailer? Or like new season? Mm-hmm. It, it's it's my favorite anime of all time. Dude. I, mean, I have oh, a manga. Dude. dude, I read manga. Manga is terrifying. Like I know how, but they made it even worse. Also, you've got the pattern down perfectly for the flame pillars. Mm -hmm. Actually, learning why we're doing the podcast. <laughs> okay, okay, no, okay. Remember when the cooking video happened with father, and then the father assistant had to came here to, uh, how do I say this? Clear up the ha head full of thoughts. Yep. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Reliving that and like thinking about it, it's making me emotional. <laughs> I love how I love how people do like if people if people know what they know, if not, like they like just what the fuck I'm little talking to. Yeah, the people who don't know are like, what are they talking about? The people who do know are like they look like uncanny Mr. Incredible right now. <laughs> no, but like oh my fucking god, when this happened, like I was like Wait, wait, what do you mean? Wait. Like, I mean, the father is still one of the best, like, fucking anime characters, in my fucking opinion. Like, like I'm sure you kind of like his. <gasps> Dude, if there was, like, a big fucking statue, like, actually, like, a big statue of him, like, with little small details and stuff. Wait, is that any statue actually of him? I believe so. Well, let me actually go to it. Also, I like the person in chat who was trying to guess what Maiden Abyss is, and they were guessing if it was something directed by James Cameron. I mean, I mean, oh my. Wait, is this real? Oh my gosh, Master, wait. Phil, have you seen the Maiden Abyss? I don't say it. Sorry. Okay, Master, you check your DMs. Okay. Like, duh. This figurine! Oh. oh, I almost bought that figure, deadass. Almost? What, what, I almost. What's that, what's, what's that for you? I bought the Nendoroid, and it's also quite expensive. I was trying to be like, uh, should I spend this much money on a Bondru figure? I mean, dude, you should. I mean, look at that. Like, this. How much I already cost? bought the Nendoroid, and the Nendoroid was quite a bit. How much this fucker cost? Oh my what? fucker. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I... 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 Oh, I'm not sure they also sell this. But this is evil. I have that. 
It came it came with the figure I have. Wait, I, oh my god. This should let me my final goal. I want that. Okay, okay, but okay, another question. Who is your favorite outside of playing the uh, big big fucking daddy show? Uh Nana, she's probably my favorite. No, you mean Nanachi? Yeah. Dude, she's cute. Dude, like, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, she's kinda annoying. And then, like, then I knew her breast turn, and I was like, oh. Oh. Wait, wait. Wait. Pasha? What? Look at the screen. Yeah? Do you think here? I'm not gonna say anything. No! 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 Okay, oh, <laughs> so close! Alright, you two? Mm -hmm. Talk about whatever the fuck you're talking about. I am not even listening to you. <laughs> I know. Just, sh we just, just, I'm gonna shut up. Continue. <laughs> Sounds good. I didn't say anything, chat. Don't pin this on me, jinxing it. Hello. Can I just say this? Okay. By the way, oh, let's not tell him about background. Can I just say? I think it's hilarious. I didn't say anything, chat. Come on. I just, oh, I just think it's fucking hilarious how like every single like cohosh and like chat bullies you. <laughs> It's just a thing. It's just a thing. Oh, I'm I, haven't most, uh, I guess I'm I haven't the most you yet. Co -host. Hey, I haven't bullied you yet. You kinda have. What no? Yeah, you have. Okay, well, you oh, listen, absolutely should... has. You said you said you have you have to listen to all the show. Let, let's just forget about the time you brought up League of Legends, sure. Okay, listen. Let's just wipe you, that from our memory listen, real quick. I mean, I mean, okay, I mean, I mean, okay, listen. You play I'm League, listening. I play. Listening. Okay, listen. We're, we're we're from the same bit. We're in the same elevator. Like. So you do you play. play... Okay, no, no. I I so play you Valorant. Admit it. Okay, listen. You play admit League. It. I play. He didn't say no. You don't have, you don't play. You don't have play. You 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 play the game. You don't even listen to the show. It's oh, it's my podcast. But you know, I play Valorant. You play League. Both are Riot. I mean, we're not. Look. We're listen. I'm aware of the fact that you're just as bad as me, but the argument here was that you have made fun of me, which you did. I was not saying, I was not saying that you are better than me when it comes to this, because you're just as bad, if not worse. Listen, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Homestuck, 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 homestuck. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Just cut out, like, need to cut out the conversation from my head, sorry. Just. <laughs> The moment that I start speaking, I get so much worse. The right. moment you start partaking in the conversation. All right, just block okay, it out listen. from my mind. Okay, let's go. Listen, both of, both of us have our flaws, but let's be honest. Like, okay, listen. As a Valorant player, it's my duty to hate League players, you know? Is it? <laughs> Is that a thing? Yes. Wait, wait, you don't not... Oh, yeah, you're probably like a pure one. Okay, so... A pure uh, one? Oh yeah, you do not know. Okay, so there's a thing. What does that mean? So there's a thing, right? Okay, right? Both of them they created like fucking League and Valorant, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for some reason, it was in an ongoing meme for Valorant players to have League players, and League players for some reason hate us. Valorant players. I've played Valorant. Wait, you played? I played Valorant, yeah. Yeah, hey, do you want to hey, play comp? I'm solo too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been a long time since I've played and I'm probably really bad at it now, but I mean... Oh, like... dude. Dude, I, have, I took a little, a big actual break since I joined this community. Dude, I joined this community in February. Like, yeah, I, 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 playing, I have no idea. I... I got access to the game when it was early access and I played it during that, oh, but then no. after it left early access, I stopped playing it. I became, I would say, better. I've been playing for like over a year now, and it's actually been improving a lot. I saw but, like a lot of the characters they added. They look alright. 
I need the only character I cared to play as was Viper. Viper, of course. Okay, then you will like an. I, I will not comment on that. But they added another character that you might like. Oh. Like no. yeah, she's like she's like a fucking okay. She's literally fucking goth cutie chef. Oh my god. <laughs> like, dude, I'm telling you. Oh wait, she actually like. Okay, dude, I will fucking okay. She actually like associ associated with nightmares and like fucking killing people with their nightmares. Sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, I also haven't played since I joined this community. Like, uh, I've been healing, you know. You've been yeah, you've been recovering just like me with League. <laughs> just like me with League. I mean, you know, it's some somewhat a guilty pleasure sometimes to just you know return and just listen to like 15 million new slayers. On the fucking chart. Every now and then I return to League and my mental health takes a serious decline and I have to step away again. I know, right? Do it. Okay, sometimes I do get salty and not like toxic. I do get salty, but I try not to like put it in game, you know? Like, sometimes you can like just slap my table or like squeeze my blushy, but I know, like, you know, I get like super toxic to just say like people to just call themselves. But yeah, like, I I never say anything to people in like the chat and whatnot when I play League, but yeah. my god, do I get angry? Do it. Okay, how many? Uh, okay, how much your tables? How many? How much fucking slaps your table survived? Okay, mine survived enough, but I've got a funny story about one of my friends. Um, mm -hmm. I've I've got a friend who I uh, used to play League with a lot. Fortunately, she stopped playing League. Um, because after this incident, she really uh yeah, it was really for the better. She used to play League with me on a laptop, and oh, um, there was one time where she was playing and she kept getting killed. And there was a point where she got so mad that we heard, like, we audibly heard her slam her fist down on her laptop. And then suddenly she goes, oh my god, guys, my computer's, uh, my computer's crashing, I'll be back in a minute. We didn't see her for five months, because she punched her laptop so hard, it broke one of the pieces of it. Like, from the oh inside. My god. And she and she had to buy a new computer because she punched it so hard it snapped in half. Oh, okay. I, I, good for them. They left fucking Valorant. <laughs> good for them. They left fucking Lee and never played Valorant. Right. Jesus. Okay, now I don't have another story where I broke. I, I think it's a standard thing for gamer to break a keyboard, right? Mm -hmm. I. I broke like several keys. I actually broke several keys while I was playing Hollow Knight. <laughs> you, I remember you talking about this. I remember you talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> but, I've never, mm. I've never broken anything over Hollow Knight. Although Hollow Knight, doing Pantheon Five hurt my mental health worse than any League of Legends match. Oh yeah, no, no, I can relate to that. I can relate to that so fucking hard, dude. Like, okay, okay, you know, I'll only, okay. Wanna hear my dumb reason why I still keep, still keep playing fucking Valorant? Sure, go even, for it. It's not, it's, it's not even gameplay because gameplay is actually fucking boring as hell. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. The reason is mostly like people like, have you seen the thing like, don't do this to me, I'm an own binary? Yep, I saw the screenshot. Dude, I'm having so much fucking fun just like, just seeing different people from different like, groups and drugs. Like, I don't know, I'm having my fun, you know? I... Like, Riot Games just attracts the most, like, weirdly toxic people, and no matter what yeah, game they I make... Know. I know, right? Like, this is so fucking dumb that Riot community is so fucking toxic. But, okay, but you know what's hilarious? Hmm. Riot community is toxic as fuck, especially League and Valorant. Like, those two have, like, the most... Like, dude, I heard so many racial slurs. Like, dude, mm -hmm. my second my second game ever, I met the two most misogyny people ever. Like... I, 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 I was like, <laughs> but you know what's hilarious? What's that? First of all, they actually make good fucking animations. Mm -hmm. Like, and they go make good fucking music. Can I just give you the music that I really wanted Phil to put in um, in the video, but this probably will get copyrighted. Sure, yeah. Depending on what it is, I may have already heard it because I've listened to Riot's <laughs> music a lot. Okay, do it. But, this um... music. Dude, I was just thinking this music is so fucking good, especially if, like, 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 okay, hear me out. Okay. Like, okay, where is it? 
like... Okay, it's really hilarious that fucking, uh... Okay, this. Have you heard this music? If Chad doesn't know what we're talking about, we talk about Visions uh, for Mother. Yes, I have listened to Visions. It's really fucking good. It's really fucking good. And I was thinking it actually fits perfectly. Like, dude, listen. Like, 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 I have dreams, lens like this, you know? There's nothing that holds me back from you, you know? Mm hmm. I was thinking it's gonna fit so perfectly. And I made the. Like, I was listening to this music and making the. Starting so screen, you know? Like, ah! Uh... It would be really good for that. No, but like, I know, right? I remember, um, like, I've had a, I've had a lot of crazy like experiences just with like the League of Legends community when it comes to toxicity. And I'm telling you, but... anyone in chat, anyone in chat who's ever played a competitive game, there is one specific sentence where if you read it in a chat, you mute the person or block them or whatever before they start going again. And that because anytime I played a League of Legends match. The most vile, rancid shit I have ever seen people say always comes before somebody says, Well, I've got nothing left to lose. Oh when you God. hear someone say that in a chat, you mute them, you block them, you report them. Because when someone says that shit in a chat, they are about to, like, say the most horrible thing you will ever read. <laughs> I've had, I've had league matches where that happens, where I'll be like playing against some people and someone on my team will be playing a little bit badly and some people will be like, hey dude, could you like, could you like help us with this? And he just goes, well, I've got nothing left to lose. And it all goes downhill. It always goes downhill. Okay, dude, I have another thing, but I guess this is just my side. Like, I know that Link doesn't have a uh, voice chat, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, it does, Good. it does. It does? Okay, 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 okay. How many, how many times have you been mis mistaken with a child or an or girl? I often get mistaken for being a minor. Like, very often. Even in my own YouTube channel. Um, and I have also been mistaken before for a girl in uh, in those voice chats. But the boy that I got mistaken for a girl, this is so chover. The moment, the moment someone thinks, the moment someone thinks you're a girl, like, <laughs> I, I remember that happened once in an Overwatch, uh, lobby I was in, where I was using voice chat in Overwatch competitive, and I was healing a friend of mine I was playing with, and they kept calling me this person's heal girlfriend because I played Mercy, oh and my they gosh, heard me in voice chat and thought I was a girl. Pocket healer, pocket healer. <laughs> yeah, they... Dude, the moment when you pocket heal somebody, Entire fucking lobby will just fucking kill you the moment when you they have ability to do that. Like, dude, be, being a pocket healer, like top frag, is such a fucking like, like you want to help, right? You want to heal, like you want to keep the best player alive, right? Right? Mm -hmm. No, you're basically ma making fucking nemesis for life with that. Are you gonna change your build? Yep. I love how I've been doing the podcast. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, so yeah, I feel like I just casually die. Man is just like experiencing Doom Eternal while we're over here just chatting about Overwatch and League competitive. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, do you still, wait? Are you playing on an A of all right? Sorry? Are you playing on an A server because there's like three servers? Yeah, I play on NA servers. Uh, hey, you wanna play? <laughs> play on Overwatch? No, what? Or play on Valorant? Or Valorant, okay. Uh, I'd have to reinstall it, but yeah. I, I, I'd be down sometime. <laughs> Just warn you, I'd be shit at it. Like, really shit at it. Dude, I haven't played since February. Okay, like, I kinda lie, I played like a few months ago, but I play like usually like few, like, I, feel like I, I just ask my fucking. You know, let's have this one friend, you know? That, like, like I do, like, fucking top 500 of the, like, best lobbies, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you always have this one friend. Like, you always ask them to play with you. And, like, they I've... just scare you and they just leave. I've got a friend. The, 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 same, the same friend who I was talking about earlier who said, uh, I hope you die and get reborn as Snake. Um, <laughs> me and my friend group were all gold, but he's a diamond player. <laughs> oh so God. he's like the best player in our group. 
but he actively says stuff like that to people and gets banned frequently. Okay, dude, this is for some reason I didn't like. Okay, okay, there's always like, okay, there's always this one friend who always like the highest rank and he has all this nice and like chill, you know, or like have the fucking e boy girl voice, you know? Mm -hmm. Or it's a fucking diamond player who always like either talks or have like 50 fucking alternative accounts. <laughs> because they get that, like, okay, they will always get at like, least like fucking chat muted for like saying stuff every single time. My my friend, my friend who was really toxic, him getting banned got so bad. There was a point in time where he made an account. Um, he made an account called like his username reformed, and his profile <laughs> picture, his profile picture was a growing sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> and he would join lobbies, and he'd just go, Wow, guys, that was a good kill. Let's do more of that. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> he would join lobbies, and he would just start going, Wow, guys, that was a really good team fight. We were great as a team. Okay, okay, no, 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 you know what? You know what are those people gonna try? They're gonna fucking uh, type and chat NTNT. <laughs> but, but, okay. They're gonna type in TNT, but the is uh, really like the same. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! <laughs> he, he called himself he, his, his username. His username was pretty lame. And he and he, you know normally he'd run up with his lane account, but then one day we join in, and it's like, oh hey, you gonna join us? And he goes, hold on one minute, I'm joining my new account. And we just see Lane Reform join the lobby with his little growing sprout with like a little ray of sunshine on it as his icon. Oh my fucking god! But then, but then the thing is, right? There was one game. I, I, I play supports in like every multiplayer game I play with friends. Um, and I was playing support in one match of League, and, I, and like there was one match where he was like struggling a lot, and I jokingly said, "Wow, Lane, um, you uh, oh you were a good support that round." And he just went in the VC. In the VC, we were. He went what? And then suddenly he mutes himself. And then in the next match we play, he would purposely start running towards the enemy spawn, killing himself. And he would go and chat, he goes, I hope you're happy, Sam! You ruined my life! You ruined my life! Are you happy now, Zach? Are you happy now? Am I a good support, Zach? You fucking unhinged! I, I ruined his day by saying that we lost that match, surprisingly. Um, I fucking can't. Oh my fucking god. And then I think that account got banned because he didn't get reported for throwing. <laughs> so then that account got banned too. <laughs> so, so that was the end of lane reforms. Uh... <laughs> he relapsed. <laughs> He, he played with, um, he, he like, there, there was one time he friended somebody after a match we played with him. And, um, after that match was over, um, he was playing with another one of my friends. And he friended this guy who he was getting along with in the match. And, like, quite a while later, he went to this person and he was like, Hey, do you remember, like, our friend that was playing with you? And he just went, oh, no, no, I don't. And for some fucking reason, he was feeling oddly malicious that day. So he started stringing together this whole narrative about how this friend of ours was talking about him constantly, about how he couldn't wait to talk to him again. And he realized that this bit was going too far because the guy actually started to feel really fucking bad. And he's like, I'm so sorry I forgot this guy. I didn't mean to. He seems like such a nice person. <laughs> And he just like, he, he realized halfway through that he's like, oh, I'm an asshole, but he was committed to the bit now. <laughs> so he just kept going. He's like, nah, nah, I'm, I'm sure he understands. He's like, no, no, this guy, this guy was such a good person. He's so nice to me. How could I forget about him? He's like, no, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Really, it's fine. It's, it's fine, man. 
Thank you. Yeah. Dude, right. th this is the sanest fucking League player. Can I have his card, yes. please? There was also this one time where he met, like, Absolute he met somebody. Absolute motherfucker. <laughs> he met somebody through League once, too. Like, he met this girl through League. Oh, no. Like, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no. You know where this one's going. You know where this one's going. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> He oh, met this no. girl through League, right? And at first he was like talking to us in chat. He's like, yo, guys, you'll never believe it. I just met this girl <laughs> in the League of Legends lobby. We're friends on we're friends on Riot now. It's going great. Two oh, days God. later, we get a message from him. Guys, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, what's wrong, dude? And he's like, this oh. woman terrifies me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, because he sent us screenshots, right? He was talking to this girl, and he's like, "Look, man, she seemed nice at first, but now she's really fucking scaring me." Because we were getting screenshots of his conversation. She was saying stuff like, "I want your love, Lane. Why aren't you playing with me? Why aren't you playing with me, Lane? I want your love." And he's like, "I don't know what to do. She's terrifying, man. She, I'm so scared. So, Why did I do this? Did, did she like Hello Kitty by any chance?" Oh my fucking I God, wouldn't be surprised. Up. Her user, her username on League was just serotonin. That was like. Okay. 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 First of all, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway. First, who is your favorite from Hello Kitty? Karomi. Yeah. Of course. Okay. I just kind of. I have. I have three plushies of her. Wait. You have plushies of her? Me too. Yeah. I really like Sanrio stuff. Do it. Okay, wait, okay, I'm actually taking a photo of my fucking keychain collection for I've got, um, I've got three pins of Chromie and I've got three stuffed animals over. I have, like, okay, do you know who my sweet piano is? Yes. Dude, I love her. Like, I think she's so fucking underrated. Oh no, Pasha's a Hello, Hello Kitty, Kitty girl. <laughs> immediately Pasha. starts going off. <laughs> Pastor's a Hello Kitty girl. No, 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 no. It, it's not like that. It's not like that. Is that my biggest red flag? Is the fact that I like Sanrio stuff? Is that a red flag? League and Sanrio yeah. don't mix well together. Shut up. League and Sanrio, my two biggest red flags. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, look at that, Pastor. This is my fucking uh, Hello Kitty uh, fucking keychain. Okay, and you know what's the dumb part? I have them clipped to like a piece of cardboard, right? Mm hmm I bought a fucking, like, ceramic pumpkin to hold them. <laughs> because there's nothing but... Okay, there's nothing that heavy that can hold this. Oh, I love, I love, I love all the stuffed animals of the Sanrio characters. I've been tempted to do it. more. Dude, I legitimately have a fucking Hello Kitty badges right now on. <laughs> Got, uh, okay, I'm wait, okay. I don't know where my, I don't know where my pin bag is. There it is, there it is, I found it. Okay, wait, Bastra, Bastra, okay, okay. Yeah. Bastra, do you notice how this one particular bag, like, th there's all this dish on that, which basically, which basically is more like, like, 90% pins and 10% bag. Yep, I have a, I have a bag like that. It's, it's one of those, like, it's one of those, like, black, uh, like, uh, Dude, like, like, a fake leather. Black, that has, like, a little, like, black blade. Black blade. Yep, yep. I also have this. You have the same pin bag? Dude, I have, like, okay, I have, like, this fucking, um, backpack. It's, like, plain black. And it's truly covered in fucking, like, fucking Sonic pins, fucking Sanrio pins, fucking cute bullshit. Like, got, it's like... My, um, my, my pin bag, it is, like, 90% Undertale and Deltarune characters, because I bought all the fan gamer Undertale and Deltarune pins. Um, to put on my bag. It's got, I've got a Salad Fingers pin, I've got a Grim pin, um, I've got one of, uh, my, my favorite one I have is this non-binary pride flag one that looks like a ghost, that's in the colors. Oh, this um, is so cool! So I wish cute. I had some... I wish I had something to my red flag, but my my sexuality is so like not popular like at all, like well technically. So like I have I cannot find any merch. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, the like, fucking demisexual, so like like people usually like when they hear that they usually like okay, what is that again? Yeah. Not too many people are familiar. 
Oh yeah, so I just say like I'm asexual so to make it easier. I've got, I've just got some like random like uh, merch from artists I like. Like I know um, one of my favorite artists on Twitter is Draw Kill, and I've got one of her pins. I've got one of her pins that just says Monster Girl on it. Oh my god! <laughs> can somebody, can somebody actually draw Clyde with my bag with like fucking Monster Girl in it? <laughs> Clyde with a Monster Girl pin bag. I have like, I have like. Dude, I can have some, like, okay, uh, this is something that they hide, but, okay, so do you know what's, like, Bushin? Uh, no, no, not as much. Not as simple, I had to stroke your finger inside a lot when I was buying my little, okay, okay, question? A question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you also ha had your lolly pop addiction, like, part of life? Yep, mm-hmm. Oh my fucking god. Mm-hmm. Like, I specifically got those two figures because I was buying so much fucking lollipops that like, I have to buy a huge box of them. Wait, I actually got those two figures. I, um, like, down at, like, my local, like, uh, dollar store where I live, they have, like, this little rack that had, like, a bunch of these different, like, um, like, like, really, like, weirdly flavored lollipops and I used to buy them constantly. Dude. Okay, okay. Okay, I thought I got a question. Do you know someone's playing League and actually having lollipops next to you for like for some ungodly reason? I used to like I used to have like a little bag of like the Halloween ones next to me at one point when I played League and I just friggin' like I didn't forget like eat like Dude. five of them. Do it, I have like okay, remember this of uh, looking through the pumpkin I mentioned? Mm-hmm. It's always full of lollipops. I have, another, <laughs> I, have, I have another one. It's like uh, it's just a thing, like just a ball of candies. It's also full of lollipops. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I just have them on my table. I, like, every single time, like, the time of year rolls around, and I know this is gonna be very surprising to the people in chat who are learning about this, but during, like, Halloween time, I go and I friggin' buy so much Halloween candy. So, so much, and I, like, stock up on it and then, like, get, like, the big bags, and I usually just have, like, some big container of Halloween candy in my room for when I'm doing this shit. Fucking awesome. Dude. Okay, wanna, okay, wanna hear something sad yet kinda cool, I would say? Hmm. My family is really religious, and they don't like Halloween, and we don't celebrate oh, nice Halloween one. at all. We don't celebrate it at all. But I'm such a fucking huge of Halloween, like, dude, genuinely, okay, Christmas is cool, but fuck Christmas. I love Halloween. Yup, no, my, my family was the same way for a while, but I'm stubborn. Um... So no, literally, literally, like, the way it was was that my family was like, no, we can't do Halloween, we can't do Halloween. But then I got my own income, and then I started buying Halloween stuff. Constantly. I mean, and eventually they had to live with it. I mean, dude, I wish you could celebrate Halloween, like, legitimately. Like, I want, I want children to just dress up as spooky as shit, and I can go outside, like, like, you know, drag a body, and everybody's gonna think, wow, nice cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know how- Dude, I never celebrate Halloween, but like, you know, like if, I, if I'm gonna be 80, and if I'm gonna move outside of my country, I'm gonna celebrate Halloween. I, I have a tradition I do on Halloween, where every single time Halloween rolls around, I always put together some kind of costume of like, a comic book character, because I'm a freaking huge comic book nerd. Um, and like, like la like this this year I put together one of like, uh, Paul Dano's Riddler from the Batman. Um, but like I, 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 I do like a bunch of those like really intricate like comic book uh, character costumes. So they just kind of my family just kind of had to put up with the fact that I am like way too into Halloween. It, also the fact that like you know my entire branding is Halloween and that's how I make money. So you know can't really complain too much about the holiday anymore. That's kind of my whole job now. I mean yeah, when Halloween is your job, it's like no. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, though. Okay, you know, like, you know what I'm excited for this Halloween, actually. Hmm. I want to see how many people dressed up in orange will go outside after 6 p.m. <laughs> how many people pull out the freaking Clyde cosplays? I mean, I saw, I saw some good ones. That's like, like, oh fuck. 
I, I know, like, for some reason, cosplay quiet is really fucking hard, mostly because of, like, um, uh, I guess it's stale and proportions. Like, you know, if you're not doing the right proportions, it doesn't look as good. Like, okay, a person glides just walking outside to hunt and chilling, and there's just like shit on versions of him. <laughs> like, fucking bootleg. Oh, imagine, imagine that, like, in the DOAI universe, Clyde goes outside on Halloween, he sees a bunch of people dressed up, and he's just like, what the fuck? It's like, are you okay? And then, and then, and then kids, like, run to him and be like, oh my gosh, Clyde, you be! <laughs> it's the YouTube guy! <laughs> oh my gosh, Foster! <laughs> Tell me more about Bendy and the Ink Machine! Rant again about a random niche thing from Resident Evil! Come on! Do it! I'm glad it's just fucking crying in the corner! I was like crying in the corner? No, I don't want to talk about Nemesis again! <laughs> well, I'm excited for this Halloween. I can't wait. I'm, I'm trying to figure out because I know, um, there's a, there's a convention that's happening down by where I live that's like really close to Halloween. And I was putting together a cosplay for that. Part of me, part of me really wanted to put together like some kind of costume of like fucking Heisenberg from Resident Evil. I was really considering doing that, but I also have one I already made of like, um, of like a mind flayer from D&D. Because uh -huh. me and my, me and my friends are going to the convention with a D&D uh, like fantasy theme to our cosplays. I want to cosplay him really bad. Dude, if I could, I would cosplay fucking uh, Luis. Like, sorry, like, like, okay, you know what's funny? Okay, uh, mm. when I first, like, okay, I'm not familiar with the Resident Evil, like, at all. I was avoiding them because I knew this, like, a big franchise, and me considering, like, this amount of fun, it was, like, no, like, uh, why would do that, right? <laughs> like, right. But, uh, since Phil didn't really excited about Resident Evil 4 remake, I was like, okay, I guess I can take a little look, you know? It's, it's gonna be that good. And then I actually was like, waiting for every single stream. This, this became like, one of my favorite games. And you know what? I, I know, I never, I never seen the, the, I never seen the original, right? Oh, you never uh, seen the original? No, I, dude, I never seen all the games. Like, I know, okay, I know about Resident Evil 8, mostly, you know why, like, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, but I never seen other games, like, was it only, um, like, um, what is it, so I saw Resident Evil 4, and then, and then, the game got to the part with, fucking, Luis, oh my fucking god, okay, what's your build, maybe you can do something with it, Oh, that one hurt. That one hurt so bad. Yeah. Should we tell him about background? Yeah, we can talk about the background now, I think. Fail. Buster, tell him then yes. As as the fight's going on, that heart is beginning to get like more and more intense in the background. It's beginning to glow for something. I'm not sure he can listen. Anyway. No, man, man is man is keyed in, and I do not even blame him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not being so funny. Oh, it'll be great. It'll be great. Yeah, but okay. What oh, you, you just gave up. Phil, are you okay? Phil, Phil, I'm kind of worried actually. <laughs> Phil. You can do it, man. You got this. <laughs> you kick his ass. Oh, oh god. <laughs> okay, I'm just sucking the gun. I'm not sure if I want him to do bad things. Hey, I mean... I mean... Pantheons would make good content, right? Do it. Pantheons might actually... Might, uh, might actually not see him after the end of, like... Final weeks. The Pantheon's got to meet real bad. No, I, I actually, Chad, I think we were recording Pantheon's. Oh god. <laughs> Pantheon's don't sound fun anymore. I mean, the early Pantheon's are fun. 
know, you know him. He's gonna, he's gonna do the one, two, and then he's just gonna do this for the sake of doing that. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm no, we're not doing pantheons today. That was never even part of the plan originally. Are you insane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like this. I'm doing puzzles, but I know you're gonna end him. God, the thought of making this poor man go through that after everything else? No, no. No, we'd be here like, all day. Yeah. I mean, we we are pretty wild indoors here, but sometimes him and I have a so tired. Yeah. Like, yeah, he doesn't pay us, yeah, and probably he holds my family hostage, but, you know... Never resented him for that, you know? You know. I'm not sure about Brother Bay, actually. Okay, oh, fuck, what, what about Mr. Mushroom? Yeah, Mr. Mushroom would be a nice little piece of relief, I think. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's actually do... Yeah, actually, yeah, it could be a little bit for it. But I think actually, um, Mr. Mushroom will give him a few things. Yeah, that'll be like a nice little refreshing thing after everything. But, uh, okay, can I continue my knees talk? Go for it. Okay, uh, okay, we gotta do the fucking, I don't say bagel cutscene, you understand, right? Mm-hmm. And... I was like, I was thinking like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know much about Louise, but he might be my favorite kid. Oh. Like, oh, no. I, did, I remember this, I was typing this, like, word to word, and it stopped. No. And I have to, and I have to erase it. I was like, no. no, 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 no. If it makes you feel any better, um, when my sister, my sister's been playing through RE4, um, and she, she uh, really likes Leon and Luis specifically, like she loves them. And I remember there was a point where she made a post when she was going through the underground mines area with Luis. She took a picture of her, of him and Leon and said, wow, there's too many cute guys in this game. Oh, that's what happened immediately after. Oh, I did. Immediately after. Oh, oh. Oh my god, oh my god. It's a sorry, it's a sorry, you poor child. She was in a bad mood for the rest of the night. Like, we're talking like pissed at everything. Dude, I can relate to that. Like, after the stream, I was like, I was not there. Like, I'm telling you. Like, I understand her, like, props to her now. Like, I remember too, like, okay, my sister's had a lot of really goofy experiences in her Resident Evil 4 playthrough. Cause, okay, here's the thing, right? My sister uh, knew nothing about Resident Evil before I got her on this big Resident Evil kick, right? Now she's played through 2, 3, she's playing through 4, she's played through 7, she's played through 8. Um, she watched Phil's whole playthrough of RE1 because her and my brother don't like tank controls very much, but still wants to see the game. Um, and the thing is, she's experienced everything blind. And last night, she never saw a regenerator before. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, Chow Marie coming. Oh my god. She never saw a regenerator before. She had no idea what they were. All she knew was that there was a monster called Regenerator and that a lot of people were scared of him. Um, so she she gets to the lab last uh, last time, no, last night when her and I were playing while you guys were doing the Hollow Knight stream. And the thing is, right... <laughs> She goes into that one room where there's the corpse with the parasite on its back, and she convinced herself, like wholeheartedly, that that was a regenerator and it was gonna start moving. Convinced herself. So she's sitting there like, no, no, no. Oh! oh my God! Congratulations! Holy crap, man! Thirty-five lives. Let's go. Let's. Fucking go. You Dude, did it! It's, it's, that was an amazing like, fight! Holy shit, I love this guy! It's, it's Isn't it so was... good? I love this guy! Oh my god, that, is, that, that was my favorite boss fight from any game. Oh. Any game ever made. It's so satisfying. It and feels so good! Hello, and little was... child! Hello? Oh. Oh my oh. god. Dude! Oh, he's, yeah, she, she still remains. Yeah, she, she haven't gotten any charms from her. 
Yeah, should, if I'm saying oh. it should permanently just be there for some reason. Yeah, at Grim least until you get all the charms. Yeah, because Grim didn't have a use anymore. I can talk about Grimlore now. I can talk about Grimlore now. Okay. Go on! Okay. Okay. I feel okay. so okay. fucking good. I okay. know, so, it feels amazing. So, so drink water, drink water. Yeah. Me, and Pasha, me and Pasha are gonna talk more. So, okay. I'm gonna go so. get some water. You fuckers just keep talking. Okay, yeah, fuck you, sounds fuck good. Feel, I'm gonna actually. get some water. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself, Phil. But Where was I with that story I was telling, actually? I want to wait till he's back before I can talk about Grimlore. Uh, um, your sister convinced himself that was- Right! Oh. Right. Um, my sister, right? She goes into that room. She convinces herself that that corpse- She gaslights herself into believing that corpse was a regenerator. Because she never saw mm -hmm. one, and the note telling you what a regenerator is was right in that room. And she's like, it's gonna get- So you start moving. She starts hearing the regenerator breathing. And she convinces herself the breathing's coming from the corpse. So, like, so not only not only was she convinced of that, but she kept gaslighting herself into thinking everything that was warning her that a regenerator was close by was the corpse. Mm -hmm. Until she walked out of the room, and an actual regenerator grabbed her and killed her! Oh my god. Yeah, no, so this is like, this is fucking drama. <laughs> So she's like, she was like slowly, she was looking behind her and she was slowly backing out of the room because she was like, oh, that's gonna, it's gonna start moving. She steps out of the door. She didn't even react in time as the actual regenerator came over and fucking murdered her. <laughs> and the entire time I was just sitting there shrugging. And okay, other thing, she went through the entire, she went through the entire game without taking a rifle and she didn't know about the uh, infrared lens. So she couldn't kill any of them. <laughs> they were all invincible. Every single one. They were unkillable, because anyone in chat who doesn't know, in order to kill regenerators in RE4, you need a very specific scope for a very specific weapon. And if you don't have it, they can't die. They're invincible. They are completely and totally unkillable. <laughs> oh my fucking god. So she had the worst possible experience with those things. Because not only did she gaslight herself into thinking that they were something completely different when she actually did see them, she had to go through that section without the weapon she needed to kill them. Yeah, no, this is like absolute fucking trauma. Like, like, can, can I, can I know how, can, can I know how much you paid for the therapist? Uh, not enough. Yeah, fair. Not enough. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, okay, anyway, Grim Lore, Grim Lore. It's the Lord. best. It's so good! Okay. So okay, good! That fight it's, it's get, get... is so goddamn overwhelming at first, but then you just realize, oh wait, it's just like five attacks over and over and over and over again, and you just need to learn them, and like, like, it's not unfair, it's like, it's just mwah, perfect! Do, do, perfect! Do, do, okay. Okay, time for the lore because lore makes it so much fucking better. Yeah, the lore, okay, the lore okay, okay. grim. Phil, Phil, why not? Okay, you start. Laura says right? it's an actual fucking dance. Like, you know, it feels like when, when you're like when you are doing the, his attacks, right? Like moving around for the for, for the flame balls and like the 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 flame pillars and stuff like that. Like that, it just feels like you're playing along with his whole thing. It's fucking amazing. I think the only thing that I, the only part that I didn't like about the the fight, and the thing that I fucked me up the most, was when he went to the uppercut, went up, and the flames, like always, managed to hit me. Like I was really, really nervous of the flame attack because every time, like I didn't know where the arc of the flames came down to. Like they were way too fast, so I was just I felt like I needed to be placed in the right spot, and he never knew if he was gonna do like one version of the attack and or or the other one and like that was really that really fucked me up a lot but the rest of the fight was just perfect it's, sorry i know okay Phil. yes you know what makes it okay uh, the lore will make it even fucking better because mm -hmm. uh symbol of complaints ritual okay you said the ritual right mm -hmm. do you want like do you want to know what the fuck is this ritual is from what I understand of what I just played, uh, Grimm and his troop are like a wandering circus that go around the lands trying to reproduce by doing this weird ass ritual where one of the servants goes around, collects flames, and like, like, because like this feels like a tiny version of Grimm, right? Yeah, that's yeah. a Grimm child. Okay. 
Okay, so okay. Flash of the... that's the way that the species reproduces, I guess? So, Grim, Grim and his troop present themselves as a traveling circus, when in actuality, Grim himself and the Grim children are spawn of a god similar to something like the Pale uh... King called the Nightmare Heart. Uh... And the entire thing is that Grim and all of the people who are serving him are eternally bound to the Nightmare Heart, and the ritual is them being summoned by their servants through a lantern, collecting the flames through the Grim Child, feeding those flames to the Nightmare Heart to sustain it, and then facing off against the, the Nightmare King so that the ritual can be complete, and then it can start over again through the next Grim Child. Ah. So the Grim Child, um, the Grim Child basically, um, by defeating the Nightmare King and completing the ritual, he's reborn through the Grim Child that now follows you around, and the Nightmare <laughs> Heart can travel somewhere else to sustain to sustain itself once again. That's the basically, best. Basically, it's, it's like parasite, like you know, pushing your sis. Like you know how like uh, animals like eat something and they're like like but in sis of this fruit, like basically travel with that animal. Basically this. Uh, Looney yeah. Basis says, so now the Grim Child is now Grim. Yeah, that Grim Child will now grow up, and once it becomes like a fully matured adult, it will it will do another ritual and oh. feed the Nightmare Heart. Um, and the it. whole thing, the whole thing with um, what's his name, Brum, the guy you could have you could have done that with. Yes. He is a servant who's eternally bound to the Nightmare Heart and is unable to stop his service. So in the ending where you extinguish the flame you are essentially banishing away the Nightmare Heart and making it so the ritual can't be complete. Mm, and because mm, the mm, ritual mm. can't be complete, the Nightmare Heart is forced to go somewhere else to sustain itself alongside Grimm, and Brum is free from his servitude. Aww. Yeah, so, and, and then, uh, Brum... Uh, br br Brum, yeah, sure. Brum Brim, Yeah, Brum uh, will actually play as... Uh, what he called when he actually got fucking, um... When he leaves the turtle... What he called again? He he plays the accordion. Yeah, he plays like your accordion, but his name also changes. Yeah, he becomes like a different character that you can actually meet and talk to after the Grim Troop ends. The reason I wanted you to complete the ritual is because if you do Brum's ending, you don't get to fight Nightmare King. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I figured as much. I figured as much. I mean, technically, uh, you still can fight him, give up little somewhere like mid mid fight, and just go and do the other ending. Nah. True. You can also yeah, um also when you do Brum's ending. The Grim Child charm changes into a completely different charm that you wouldn't get um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by doing the ritual ending. Yeah. All right, Assy. Yeah. yeah. Mushroom ending. All right. Oh fuck! Let me guide you again. Jesus. Shish. And yes, yes. Uh, the Pantheon does let you fight Nightmare King Grim if you do Brum's ending. But you know, I was talking about like main game stuff, not Pantheon. Yeah. By the way, I sent a really cool animation that's been done by fans. Fucking. Fucking dude, I love fans of this game. It's just, anyway. it's just so mm. fucking cool that you have a character that represents nightmares in a game that's so focused on dreams. Yeah. Okay, uh, go to sex station, go to... Okay, mm, this fucker might actually screw you up. Yeah, it does damage, but... Mm. Queen's Garden. Queen's Garden. I'm not sure if uh, this fucker flying around. It does damage, but... Hey, I went through a fucking Nightmare King. Like, uh, anything anything that the game will throw, right, throw at me right, will feel yeah, easy, aside okay. from the Pantheons. Go down, go left. Alright. Down, left. I mean, like, le like right, leave this room, man. Yeah. Oh, I also, still can't get over how fucking cool that fight is. It's so uh, good! It is so good! It's fucking good! Yes, literally, so like, like I said, like I, I said it so many times, that boss fight is literally the reason I played Hollow Knight. Without that boss fight, I never would have experienced this game. Like, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. I heard the music, and I was like, I want to see what this music is. And I saw that boss fight, I'm like, that is the coolest looking boss fight I've ever seen. Okay, left. Okay, you might actually want to save there. I'm not sure. We're going, yeah, I want to go through the Mask Maker. Mostly because Buster's here. Yeah, we do need to meet the Mask Maker, actually. <laughs> He's one of my other favorite characters. Of course. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, I'm gonna go right. Okay, go right, go down. Okay, down in this room, and from this room, you have no other way than down, so. Let's go. I already miss Grim. 
Man, She's that right there. I wish I could have talked to him just a little bit more. Right? Yeah, I, I really like the way he speaks. Like, nobody speaks like this, and this is so fucking dumb. I oh, really like... wish that he could have talked to us before the fight, or like afterwards, you know? I mean, if yeah. he can you still still do him, I guess you can, no? As for the other two, like, ha, ha, uh, ha, the ha, child? Ha, 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 ha. No, you the can... fucking... No, you can no, dream nail no. him in like his pantheon fights, and you can also dream oh, yeah. nail him during his boss fight, but good luck trying to do that. Hmm. Yeah. You know, like I, I just there's something cool to me about like he's this he's this like spawn of a god that exists to like perpetually feed this god, but like he's so passionate about it and <gasps> treats his like thing like an art. Also, speaking of art, I fucking love this guy. <laughs> Uh, whom? Gash? Hmm? Oh, okay. Is it mask or face upon the creature? In Hollow Nest, a difficult thing it can be to decipher. Perfect. Okay, you can actually leave the room and come back. Do it now. For this kingdom's faceless, I shall provide. Off oh, my mask! A face! Does it need one? Does it not? To define! To focus! To exist! Okay, leave the room- No, leave the room and come- Does it know of the face that hides beneath? Such remarkable contrast to the worm conceived! <laughs> Love that guy so much. Sounds like an Injago character. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> New mask. A mask. You can, you can check all the masks if you want. Oh. Okay, shriek. At him, yeah. No, shriek. Huh. Okay, try to ground pound. Ground pound. Oh. <laughs> Has it witnessed the, that truth most tragic? The worm's great shame sealed away. Now this kingdom stasis becomes the worm's legacy. <laughs> I see another takes the mantle of king. Then, then grim responsibility that shall bestow. Grim, you said it. It's you said it. You said it. I miss him. No bug has ever laid claim to this hole. Even the beasts knew their limits and bound their realm and nest edge. It is the ancient caste that made attempt at such vast rule. Hollowness ruin reflects well those far attempts, fair, fair attempts. I meant that. <laughs> Uh, can I? Is that his actual face? Yeah, I mean, nobody knows, maybe. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyway, uh, okay, Jesus Christ. I love how you have like three tabs open just to guide you. Go down. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, not have three tabs, three windows open just to guide you. Okay, leave this location. Fuck, I. Do you have. Oh yeah, no mind. It's, it's it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, you have spore secured, right? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, uh, we have to leave the room at the bottom of this room. Oh. Okay. Ha. Question. 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 Mm -hmm. For those that okay. Because, you know, obviously the people here on this stream right now are different from the ones that uh, heard these words when we started this whole thing. I will mm -hmm. say it again. I do not know what the radiance is. Yeah, chat. you never seen this fucker. This is why but you have to change. I have, an, I have a feeling that there's more than just the Hollow Knight as a final boss. So... Okay. Okay, chat. Okay, I'll have to go to the bottom of this room and to the right. Right. So, my question is... Whatever lies and to the true ending of this game, is it harder than Grim? 
Wow, okay. I mean, uh, okay, uh, so I, Up to interpretation? Uh, uh, it depends on skill. Subjective? Optional? I do not understand. No, uh, you don't, and that's make it really hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it even like a boss? Okay, never mind. Uh, no, no, it's just that scene that. you... You talk, you kiss, and everything is good, of course. Sure. Yeah, well, you, just, you just talk it out. You just, you just, you know, just change the mind. Okay, go down. No, 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 no. Is it like I'll a go. platforming challenge? Uh... All right, all right. No, uh... no. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, talk about more Grimlore then. Yeah, you can't talk yeah. about that. Grimlore, yeah, we'll Grimlore. Have... I mean, yeah, we we'll kind of have to be silent because Mod's been purging chat as fuck. All right, all right, all right. Okay, go to the right. Yeah, I'm really Y'all trying. Grim's really cool. I think I'm taking from up cool. from here, up, up from some here, somewhere here, right? Yeah, okay, good. Up. Up. Up, 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 up. Okay, uh, try to hold to the left. I'm actually gonna find the last rumor. Jesus. Someone in chat said Radiance is what is in the FNAF animatronics. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck, shut the fuck off, come on. The fuck does uh, that even mean? Okay, I, I don't know what I think. Okay, first of all, this is the last guy that you prefer to shriek. Do not fight him yet. We'll go to the left. Oh, you hear him? The motherfucker. <laughs> mm-hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the dead can't make use of wealth in any case. What would they spend it on? Yes? A big brood like that. They need food and shelter and toys. If you keep some for yourself, well, I think you deserve it, yes. Ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, okay, go up. Okay, chat, I'm fighting Gillian. Like, I mean... Do you really want to fight Gillian? I mean, uh, Gillian? it's an ending, right? So wouldn't I get sent back if I didn't fight the guy right now? It's not... Mm, we have to go other locations. All right, all right, close, all right. But we can fight... We can fight this... No, this... Collect the cards here. Yeah, that would be useful. Chat? Actually, yeah, fuck this. This is literally the last stream guy you have yeah, to... Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, be careful. My my advice: shriek him, shriek him a lot. All right. Oh, a fellow warrior out here. I thought I was the only one brave enough and strong enough to survive in this foul, forgotten pit. Ha <laughs> ha! About that. <laughs> I'm Galen, the strongest warrior in Hollow Nest. I came to this monstrous place to test my strength. <laughs> no doubt you wish to test your might as well, huh? Oh, does he know, Chad? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you and I are a rare breed. Quite unlike this poor fellow who has fallen before us. <laughs> the world is not kind to the weak, I fear. Galien, bro, bro, bro. Uh, well, we can fix him, Chad. So then, shall we do battle? Let us test our strength in joyful combat. Shriek this fucker like you never shrieked anyone before. Uh... Ah. Yeah. Oh, God. Got it. Oh, oh, that's Grimm's interesting! Out. Shriek a lot. That's interesting! I like that! Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, I told you, Shriek will help a lot. After Grim, oh, that similar. seemed over underwhelming. Yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! I'm defeated at last! So this is what it feels like to be bested. Still, though, I am strong, am I not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Galien. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe like an hour ago, you would have been a little bit challenging, but now, when you see our king, surely you'll tell him of my valor. I'm so ooh. sorry. I'm ooh, ooh. awkward, oh. awkward. Could you could you just quickly die already? This is getting real awkward. <laughs> yes, he sent you to te here to test me, didn't he? I knew he had not forgotten, brave Galleon. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so much worse, like, after, after Grimm. I am ready to join you now, brothers. You and I, let us leave this place. Together. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I really wish his only last words were, that dead guy's me, isn't it? And then he just disappears. Body of a fallen warrior. Rest in peace, buddy. Go right, go down, until you leave the room. Be careful with oh. spikes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, now go to the left. Man, I'm so sorry, leave. alien. <laughs> Do this bit. I love how this game throws you to battle, and then when you get away, you just remember how depressing this game is. Man. Up from here. Okay, left, and then... I'll have to reach the top of this room and go up. I guess we're able to go here. Like, I'm sorry, Chad. I'm sure I'm trying to remember the entire fucking map from here. It's completely understandable. You can dash through them, by the way, if I'm mistaken. Can you? I'm pushing in here. There you go. Up. Mm. Pastor, try to explain hollowness lore, but in Ma a simple way. The bugs were smart, and then they weren't. Bugs were smart. No, uh, no actually, bu bugs were not smart, then smart, then way too smart, and then they died. Yeah, you know, that's better. Yeah. Something, something, void. Something, something, Actually, plague. no, yeah, actually, actually, yeah, go to the left. I'm so stupid. Left, 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 this right. The bugs got a bad cough. The bugs Nahon didn't use masks. The bugs didn't wear masks. Shut the fuck up, oh my god. Well, they technically did wear masks. I mean, Pale King was yeah. an anti vaxxer <laughs> 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 Sorry, buddy. Okay, Hail King, you need to get this vaccine! I'm taking my castle and leaving! <laughs> Wait, he took, he took the keys and left. The entire they had a fucking solution castle. To, they had a solution to the plague, he just didn't want to do it. So he's just like, you know what? Fuck you! Actually, according to my path, he actually did. Ugh. Like, dude. Legitimately, I still have my beer, like, stored. Like, it's fresh cold with some ice cubes. Okay, now go to the station. By the way, Mute Wife will have unique dialogues based on you having this, this fucking bastard next to you. Should... No, no, no. Okay. no. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, uh, and go to Stagnast. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, we'll have to go to Stagnast. We need oh. to watch that video. We will, after the ending of the game. <laughs> They're like, okay, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, we're not gonna do Fragile Flower. At this point, it's way too late. Uh, yeah, fair no. enough. We are no, going pressure. we are going to do the mushroom ending, we're gonna do the final boss, we're gonna see the ending, we're gonna watch that MatPat video, and the rest of the stream, it's just gonna be Path of Pain. Okay, yeah, okay, another question. I think Path of Pain is gonna be way too much. Should we choose just 57? I'd still like to see Path of Pain if we have the time. Path of Pain. Okay, yeah, actually, okay, yeah. Okay, we actually have a, okay, actually 57 is gonna be stored for... Like, okay, if you will be good on both of them, Stagnas, I told you. Like, if both of them is gonna go well, which I don't know, which I'm fine I'm really actually prepared to join a second part of our podcast. No, yeah, probably. <laughs> Chad, how do you, how do you enjoy our podcast? <laughs> no, yeah, like, no, I need that. Like, thing is, when I get fucking into the zone, like, I cannot talk. That's the problem yeah. with, like, moments with, like, co-hosts where, like, they don't know how to talk to the chat while I'm doing that. So I really appreciate having right. you two. Having right. You two can talk about this kind of stuff while I'm focusing doing the thing. I fucking loved the League player story. Holy shit. That was gold. <laughs> no, yeah, this, I have so many stories highlight. like that. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh my fucking god. Okay, right, and then down. Down. To the- a little bit left. Yeah, uh huh. Right. Right from the nails. Right from the nails. Somewhere here. 
according to the map, I mean. Hello there. Yep, yeah, no, right. The nail art, the dash slash. Learned from my brother Oro, was it not? So he is still alive then? Hmm. I still haven't forgotten what he owes me, and I never will. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with such things. I'm happy that you were able to train under another nail master and grow stronger, my pupil. Aww. My brother Shio, how fair you in that green kingdom of thorns you call home. I think of you every time I raise my nail. Do you ever close your eyes and remember the time we spent together with Oro and our master? <laughs> I like the thing that you do. Oh, wait! Who's got a mushroom? It's right there! Yo, buddy, you got an infestation a little bit! Who's the infestation? Oh, what was called a hero in this moment may be called something very different after time has passed. The crimes and triumphs of our predecessors echo all around those, don't they? Chains of fate that bind us all together. Do you really want to break them? Oh! Fuck, excuse me! Oh fuck, I did it again! Okay, uh. I talk about my hyperfixations in public! <laughs> Just to myself, you know? Okay, then leave going on top of the pig's dash, go to the. Go to the dirt mall, go to. Stack station, go to. Go to hidden station, then we're going to the ancient base, and then we're going to the place where we find lost kin. Do you remember? Him? Yes, I actually do. Great. Actually, really do. But, I'm getting used to this. Yeah, yeah, no, great. Buster, grade him. Grade him? Guide him. Oh, guide him. Sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm still learning English. I've been talking English just for a year. No, no, I totally understand. impressive, actually, considering you've been managing to talk, like, for hours upon hours of, like, co-hosting. Like, that's fucking impressive, dude. Yeah, that's I mean, all like, your been, sword. We have been going for seven and a half hours, and that's the first time I've like misheard something you said. Yep. Like that is that is really impressive. Like, so I've been, I know I've learned English like more than over a decade ago. Like, Sack is like you know native English speaker. Like, Ew. no, like don't fucking sell yourself short. Like, good job. Almost there. Okay. Oh. I mean. Wow. Didn't do Thank it that you. time. Wow. You're, you're learning. 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 Fifth time. Go left. He's growing so fast. Yeah. I I I would actually question. He's that. growing. Growing. He's grow okay, yeah, he's God, growing. Without you two, like these streams would have taken so Stop. much longer. <laughs> What? Left. Left. Left or I'll bite your fucking knees off. I will shave your fucking leg bones up your fucking ass. Just fucking move. Do you hear that? We have a bath of petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if things are getting too dangerous down there, maybe it's time to take a break. Come back up and spend some time hunting, gathering, or wandering aimlessly. No, not too much longer now. Oh, excuse me. What the fuck? Mr. Mushroom must be so confused why this random person's running around and harassing them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is just... Oh my gosh, this is just me and Fear, for real, for real. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, go back to the station. You know the bus, you know the bus. You're a good boy. Anyway. Call me a good boy. <laughs> okay then, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> go hug yourself now. Don't fucking call me a good boy. <laughs> you guys are so nice to stream with. <laughs> <laughs> Silence, Pastra. <laughs> I'll fucking end you. <laughs> I will skin you alive. I have such a good time over here, guys. I will fucking hang you in a froggy chair, motherfucker. <gasps> Pass through a forest. <laughs> <laughs> yo, wow, yo. guys. What a good job. <laughs> wow. I just have, this, more I just like have this mental image of like, 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 like. What, like one of us like playing fucking multiplayer game like like Phi Phil reformed Azazel reformed. <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> okay, okay, guys, if we all okay, guys, if we all have an esports team, can we just call our just can our team be reformed? <laughs> Reform. Where are we going? Yeah, bitch? please. Uh, Queen Car Garden. Yes, Garden. Our whole just, our whole gimmick okay. will be the. Sorry. Can somebody draw all of our characters with like sprouts on the cardboard? <laughs> our whole gimmick will be us just like saying the nicest things to everyone else. Hey, thank you for the match. You're so good. Thank and you then, so okay. much for this match. I, I really enjoyed it. I really hope that nothing bad happens to you. And then at like some point, if any of us ever snaps or breaks character, we have to throw the match. <laughs> like, Black if profile one picture. Where, like, if there's ever a moment where like, Phil, you get fed up, you're just like, fuck you, what the <laughs> fuck was that? It's like, well, great job, Phil. Now we've thrown the game. And then all of us are yelling at each other because we're all pissed because now the game's over. Wait, oh yeah, we had a good lead, but you just had to uh, go and start cursing him out, you motherfucker. Upright. Like, right. I, I I just want to believe this, like, just, you know, just, like, oh, it's just so I have, like... Fist <laughs> number reformed. Okay, uh, from here, you have to go down to the right. Any specific location that I could remember? Uh, fucking... Shri Shama Shrine? Nah, yeah, I don't know that. Uh-huh, this way. Well, this way I'm here. Yes. Thank and from you. here, from here up, up and to the left. Next April Fool stream. Next <laughs> April Fool stream. I, I, I read it at the same time. Yes. <laughs> Holy okay. shit! Wow, what you game? guys are okay. really good at this game. Congrats! Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. You're so nice. Thank you. Not nice try, nice try, Buster. You did it. Don't worry, that's a nice try, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Cecil, I hope you have a really good day after this match. Oh my gosh, no, I wish you had a better day than me. <laughs> well, that was quite an oopsie daisy, Phil, but we can all get better. <laughs> Haven't seen her now. I'm sure you'll remember why you left her eventually. Trust the moon, or yourself, or trust her. You need to trust something, that's my point. Hmm? Not him. No, absolutely not. Oh, cesspit. excuse me. <laughs> um, I think. Hmm? Um, sorry, I'm trying to guide my own fucking cell through. Okay, now go down. Wait, just go back to the station. You remember the buff. Yeah, yeah smart one. Right, right. All right. Okay, wait, but what game could bring that into us? Like, what game is multiplayer and makes everyone evil? Kind of okay, like you King know, 360 says, have you seen MatPat debunked by Mossbag? Yeah, MatPat okay. theory gets debunked really hard. Up, 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 up. Okay, you know what would be a fun game to do that with? Mm -hmm. Fucking any Mario Party game. <laughs> I... Don't you have to... Phil, you just get... You, you remember... Yeah, I... Mario Party I... stream. I mean... Wow, you stole my you star. Have... Congrats! <laughs> Congrats, Phil! I'm so happy for you! Oh, and Azazel! Are you going and putting me on the unlucky space? Ooh, wow, that was a really good move on your part, guys! Ooh, that would get toxic super hard! Oh, oh my yeah. gosh! Oh my gosh! You're such a superstar! Oh my gosh! It's it's a whole stream where you have to be as positive as um, possible, and there's some kind of repercussion if you say anything remotely negative. Oh, uh, fucking... Dirt math. And then go to the fucking place where you came from. Just fucking, just fucking tutorial location. <laughs> but why do you have to have Switch for that? Um, no. there's some, there are some Mario Party games you can straight up, uh, like, play online with, um, like, emulation. Oh, it's gonna be such a pain in this. I we got... still want to have Switch just to put shit on stickers on it and just, you know, just fucking customize this as Hello Kitty. <laughs> Man, Mario Party Salt Stream. Mario Party Salt Stream. There's, <laughs> everyone has to try and be as nice as possible. I just, I think, I think what I like about that is Crystal I could totally see it being like, I could totally see it devolving into people trying their hardest to insult each yes! other in the most passive yes! way possible. Yes. <laughs> oh, I would live for that. Oh. Okay. I what? guess. Yeah. I, I guess we'll have 
to fucking stream schedule with the April Fools next year. Wow, um, Azazel, congrats on getting a new star. It, it's kind of funny that the only stars you've ever been able to get were ones you stole from me, but, you, like, honestly, I'm really happy for you anyway. Like, that's crazy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, Azazel, I... Oh, say so you're so lucky. I'm so glad the game is going easy on you. Oh man, I'm so oh, wow. happy that the game's being super nice to you. Wow. wow, you know, like I mean, I didn't it really must be your anyway. charming personality, right? Anyway, wait, hold on. First of all, can we just watch the costume? All right. <laughs> Talk to him. This is the last time. <laughs> It's not by tools that you'll triumph. It's through your smarts, your speed, your determination. Oh, I see. So you've been following me around then. I hope my travels haven't confused your own, distracted you. Then again, a meander journey still has meaning. It is, after all, journey we find our purpose. Though a stop is more than just a stop. And my if those stops can be lovely things, what did you say? Transcendent plateaus, distant sandy lands, vast ancient kingdoms. Yours was not the first, nor will it be the last, but it's a unique and special thing nonetheless. Now, with my duties here finished, it's time I made a graceful departure. Till next time, my friend. It's a long road we tread for a joyous one. Ah. Uh... Until the our fight. paths crossed again! The fade been sealed. Claim left up because of Caesar. Team Rocket blasting off again! <laughs> Alright. Okay, wait, okay. Mm, okay, can I just say, I never seen Pokemon. I have no fucking idea what is going on in Pokemon. But, are we, I will fucking kill a person for fucking Mimikyu Blush here. Oh, Mimikyu's so cute. Mimikyu cute. I know, right? Like, I have no idea what is going on with Mimikyu. Crystal Dash. I have no idea what is going on with Mimikyu and, like, what the fuck is Mimikyu? It's like, I, I guess it's a costume and, like, the real things under. But... It's... Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's basically just a little ghost that uh, wants to be loved by people, so it dresses up like Pikachu because Pikachu is the most popular Pokemon. <laughs> In canon, too. Uh, Wait! Yeah. Wait, guys! It's time for the ending! Mm -hmm. We fight! It's time! Go to the Black Hag! Oh, really? Yeah! It is time! The ending build sealed! Okay. Chat, it's something that all of you have been waiting for. Let's go! Oh, boy! <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Grim Grimshell's part of the, the, the part of the gang now. He's part of he's part of the trio. Bro, Dr. I think he's her. part of the team. <laughs> Wait, talk to her. Oh shit! Right. Damn, your your ability to ignore female is. Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, so whatever the fuck, Pastra, you go. <laughs> <laughs> the path is open. One way or another, an end awaits inside. I won't be joining you in this. That space is built to sustain your own likes. Its binding would drain me were I to join. Don't be surprised. I'll not risk my own life in your attempt. Though if the moment presents, I'll aid as I'm able. Hmm. Nail. Ghost of Hollow Nest, you possess the strength to enact an end of your choosing. Would you supplant our birth cursed sibling, or would you transcend it? <laughs> oh. Nail, nail, nail. Arcade Holy Punk, hell, uh, I just popped out of work in still streaming. Jesus. <laughs> At least you're having fun with this Thank one, you. unlike a certain speedrun. Thank you, Arcade Punk. Could it achieve that impossible thing? Should it? Check. Right. We're going in. 
Uh, people asking which ending we're going towards. Um, like Pastra. Uh... Should, should, okay, should I guide him through the easy one and then time to make the big ditty? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking kill. Yeah. yeah about that. <laughs> about that. I just say we let him go for like you know what happens. Is he smart enough? I think he'll figure it out. Hmm? Vessel, though bound, you shall know the state of the world. Hollow Nest will be whole again. Completion percentage viewable in inventory. Hundred and four percent. Bottom right. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Oh, chat, it's time. Do you want to check your charm build? Do you want to play it? Wait, child did not appear in the final boss. Okay, wait, actually, my my advice, take the child off. It will, uh, like, if enemy is stunned, you will be... And you can take the off the spores. Shaman? Shaman stuff, maybe, for the spells? Okay, actually, yeah, good. Chat, we're going in. Hold on a second. Uh, Neon the Cartoon has been in for nine months and says, I'll make a primal aspid plush if you beat the final <gasps> boss first try. Oh, oh yeah, we're not getting the fucking primal aspid plush. <laughs> I can just throw it. I can just <laughs> throw the fight. Nyan, I will commission you on my from primal aspid. Hello, bitch. Fancy oh. seeing you here. Been a oh, while. Hello, Hollow Knight. My baby. He looks at you. Look at look at him. He's looking at you. Looking at He's you. He's watching you. Looking at you. This, oh, this fight makes me so emotional. Oh. Yeah, good luck. That's not how it works. We'll have to go for a long while, so. Motherfucker! Race your nail. Should we get ready for podcast, Pastra? The B. Uh, I don't think for this attempt, but. I mean, you know, let, let's, let's be supportive friends for a bit. <laughs> and, just, and then just fucking forget it. Chat, is this is the name, it's the whole night, it's the game, the standing, as I shall the credit. Haha, <laughs> he said it! Like, dude, when mid fight, like, I. <sighs> dude, after. Oh. Let's go. Actually, like the fourth pantheon, this fight is so fucking hurts hard. Oh, like this. Oh. Oh boy. My baby. This shit hurts. This Poor also guy. hurts. Oh. My baby, do not try to hit him. Ugh. This way. Oh my poor baby. Oh man. Ooh, you might. Nice. Come on, you, you need this. Oh my poor baby, dude. Oh my fucking god. Even just this music makes me look sad. At it, look at this, like, shambling corpse of a fucking creature. He's just. Like, there's barely anything left of him. Fucking done with it. His can body can barely hold itself together, and when he finally, like, is able to regain some form of control, he's trying to kill himself. Yeah. Like, this game is so fucking... This was when I was like when I was getting into that game. I was like, yeah, this is a stupid bug game. Like, this looks cute. I guess I will have fun. I'll maybe suffer. Sorry, buddy. And then, 
I think it gets some. It has suffered mentally and physically. Oh, the music is beautiful. Dude, the music is, uh, this music actually also plays in Path of Pain, like... Sorry, buddy. Oh, <laughs> oh I put it again. My poor baby. Oh! Ah! Get the... What? Yeah, good! Three nail him! Three nail him! Third! Oh, oh, shit! Oh, 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 Basha! 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 She literally said get good! This didn't happen on my playthrough. I know. Oh my, oh my god. I know. I know it didn't happen. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Huh? What the fuck does the inside of his head look like? What? <gasps> huh? Get ready to Jack. fight the sun, motherfucker! What? Oh, that! Oh, the intro to the stream makes sense now. I. Oh, radiance! It's time, everybody. Okay. okay. Basically, this is uh, this is local communism. Oh. Ooh. Oh, another two-hit boss. Okay. Oh yeah, she's she's like like every single thing this bitch do is like. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, do I have to go through all of Hollow Knight again? <gasps> yes! I see now! I guess now I have to get ready for podcast. Alright! Okay, well, the, the this fight is not that difficult, but holy shit, okay. <laughs> Oh, does he know? Oh, oh that explains. Yeah. Okay, it's not just Do one it. fight; it's two. Yeah. It's like but... it's like multiple phases. Oh yeah. shit. It's it's it get it will. Sorry, Pantheon is still the cat hunts me down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, by the way, fucking time to tweet this fucking art that I've been holding to me. No close to great, Chad. No close to great. Mental. This game makes me mentally unstable, and I'm totally there for that. When he attacks himself, is that actual real damage that he receives? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's fucking cool. That's cool, and this is so fucking top top, like. Fucking speed run. Get the Get good! Get good! Dude, the fact that he actually <sighs> says like yeah bitch scale. Alright, so Well, right away. Yeah. Ooh, what the fuck? Oh yeah, she's painful. She's really painful. Not really else. Also, by the way, this thing called communism in the whole name community. Have you, Buster, have you seen the communism? I have. Of course, ever. <laughs> Is there any difference between communism and this version? I am not sure. Oh my god. Yeah, no chance to heal, huh? No chance to heal, okay. Yeah, you thought Grim was bad for that? Ooh. Oh yeah. Dude, this Grim? Okay. okay, imagine this boss, but there's like 42 of them. Imagine any Radiance. <laughs> you, you, uh, like, duh, please do not. Like, I'm getting, like, I'm getting a fucking seizure. <laughs> Just watching someone beat any radiance. Oh my god. Dude, I I don't know, for some reason I feel seizures. For some reason I have a strong urge to fucking bite my keyboard. <laughs> like legitimately? Oh, oh, oh fuck my head hurts. I just just thinking about radius, I feel bad. Oh 
Oh, my baby girl. This is just like... Like, I hate how this game, like... Like, shows... The pain of the night and like the... The relationship between him and... Well... Relationship between it... I'm sorry. Relationship between it and... Fucking Pale King. Like... This is so like fuck, fucked up. Do we get killed if we? If I'm yeah. yes. All right, you do. Good. Yeah, we do. Okay. Oh yeah, the Hollow Knight mods. Okay, Bust Robot is your favorite Hollow Knight mod. Um. Absolute Inferno King Grim. Oh my. Makes sense. Outside of Grim Troop. That's not fair. <laughs> um, I forget which one it is, but there's a really good mod for the uh, Lost Kin boss fight that like adds a whole new mechanic to it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I guess, I guess I saw that guy. This is actually not that difficult. Gets hurt immediately. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really hey, is it, is it? No, no, no. Like, you... <clears throat> I, I need to, I need to get some more time with the patterns, but. Oh yeah, it's it's actually not that bad. Yeah. Mm. Okay, radiance is not compared that bad. to grim. It's very slow. Yeah, no, that's that's what I was gonna say. Like. Okay, the problem is it's really slow, mm -hmm. but second phase. Oh, oh my god, this second phase. Okay. Dude, it's a final boss. Yeah, fair enough. What? Well, I mean, I, I'm surprised this thing is not insta shot you yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, my PTSD trauma just shining through. <laughs> She's so normal about this game. So normal. <laughs> Shut the fuck. But, but you, 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 we're in the same boat. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, we're sharing the same therapist. Oh my gosh. I never, I never said I was any better because I am not. Of course. I've played through this game so many times. I've played through all my favorite games an unhealthy amount of times. Like, even even yeah. if those games have no replay value. Yeah, like, dude, Hollow Knight does not even offer, like, new, like, endings and shit. Hollow Knight has, has some decent replay value, but, like, I played the original Bendy so many times. Why? I wanted to get all the achievements before Dark Revival came out. Of course. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah I'm It was almost a 10 hour game. stream. Wait, are you also on the achievement uh, hunter? Uh, for games I really like, yes. I have. I only have all the achievements in. I I almost have all the achievements in this, but Pantheon Five is an achievement. Um, so yeah, I haven't gotten them all. But I got yeah. them all in RE8, and I got them all in the Bendy games. Yeah, for like, will you stream the Pantheon Five? Okay, I um I did a stream of me doing um like you know Hitless Absolute Radiance. Um, to prepare myself to do Pantheon 5, but I was dreading it so much that I didn't stream it yet, but I was planning on trying to stream Pantheon 5 at some point on my channel. Oh my fucking god, I will be there. It just, yeah, absolutely, if you want to be like 100%. It's just, I need to like mentally prepare myself, you know? Dude, this is like, like, I don't know, so, uh, I don't know, like, just thinking about doing that is like, me like, it makes me, like, it actually makes me physically hurt. It, it hurts so much, even just thinking about those attempts I had. Dude... Uh, uh. Yeah, this... this doesn't have eye frames. You know what hurts more than this? Hmm. Pet's video. Yeah. The hurt yeah. for me is here, the hurt for you guys is coming. Oh, oh! Okay, you're actually moving, you actually... Okay, just start wailing on her. If this is not that I should proceed. Okay. okay. Good. Heal. I can't heal more than that. The oh, void? Yeah. Yep. You brought oh. the void into her oh. world. Welcome to phase two. Ah, fuck. This makes it much more difficult. Anyway, time for podcast, I guess. Anyway, Pastra, your top three uh, Sunray characters. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. yep, you will... So is there Actually... any other different attack or is it literally just the background like the, the, the arena changing? Her attacks arena. are the exact same, it's just the arena that changes. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, I think I got this. I'm yeah, learning this yeah. way faster than Grim. I mean yeah, yeah she, she didn't have Sorry? Ah, uh, she did like most most of those like you all just saw other attacks from like Grim and other like bosses, so yeah. We believe in you. Yeah, she's um, she, she's a difficult boss fight, definitely. But like, nowhere near as bad as Grim when you've gotten his attack patterns down. Yeah, like, like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna say you, that you were right, but definitely this game is all about learning the patterns. That's it. Told yeah. you. And still, fuck you. Anyway. I mean, yeah, this entire game was built with a design philosophy of, like, trial and error, you know? You die, but then you you think to yourself, okay, well, what killed me? Oh now my god, it's just like Dark Souls. Oh my god, it's just like Dark Souls. Dark Souls has a Good similar design philosophy, but I was holding my back myself back from saying that. Sure. Okay, listen to Phil, I use game journalist. Oh my god, it's this just like indie like Dark Souls. Oh my god, it's, it's like... the Dark Souls of the Metroidvania genre. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is it Just like dark Cuphead is the, is the Dark Souls of the, of the fucking platformer genre. Alright, bring it, bitch. Or was it Crash Bandicoot that was called the Dark Souls of the platforming <laughs> genre? Oh, uh, yeah, that, it was that. It was that. Oh my god. Oh. I fucking hate, hate game journalism. I do too. Fucking game journalists. Uh, fun fact for this fight, by the way, that might help you. Yeah. If you do descending spark, if you do descending dark on the spikes, they disappear. Really? Yeah. Oh my! Whoa, what? Because <laughs> um, okay, I had to learn this fight a lot because I had to do a harder version of it hitless. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Basically, the way that the way those spikes work is that they're supposed to disappear once they register. They hit the player, but because but you have dark eye gives you eye frames, frames, it registers as being hit, so they disappear. Oh! Okay. Saved my life trying to do that as shit hitless. Saved me so many times. Yeah, do it. Does that remind me of fucking like? Uh... Yo, the fucking the shit they made is an achievement. Like, I'm wow, also an now I'm help. realizing how bad it was for me to not actually get to this. Like, like for those that weren't here before, I will repeat again. I didn't get radiance on my first playthrough. I, I just did this guy. You know? You missed yeah. out on like literally a more complex boss fight that immediately. Yeah, because like after like this guy felt anticlimactic after all the shit that I went through in this game. It yeah, felt that something a lot of missing. Sense. You were literally fighting one half of a boss fight. Yep. Not even a half, like one third, I guess. You're yeah, fighting one third. one third of a boss. That makes complete like, sense. Plus, this boss is killing himself, like... Yeah, bro's literally killing himself for you. Alright, let's go. Bro, but like, okay, sit, Learn okay, sit down, I'll do myself. Learn the pattern. Ow. <laughs> like, dude, I really hate. Okay, I'm also an achievement hunter. Like, uh, like the, if I like the game, I usually either grind it to death or like, like to do all achievements. The fact they made a fucking, the fact they made a fucking fifth pantheon as an achievement. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, sh you should totally get something for doing that. But oh my god. Mean. It is cruel. I want to get all the achievements in Hollow Knight so badly, but every single time I consider it, I like dread the fact that I'd have to beat Pantheon 5. Ugh. Yikes. I know I can. Oh, this is so. F I love this. Oh, you. So fucking cool. Okay, boss, try th Should we. I'm actually like kind of questioning the Pantheons. Like on the uh, members only. Like whether or not we should do them. Dude. Oh well, yeah, they'll his... take more than one stream. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
And there's there's wait, boss wait, fights oh. that are Pantheon exclusive that I think Phil would love to see. Oh yeah, right. There's Pantheon exclusive like shit of them actually. There's so many Pantheon exclusive boss fights that are so good. Just fucking okay, for his three Pantheon's like bosses from there, I'm so glad you made them! Like I, I was so too. fucking high, like I was like, oh my gosh! Like, dude, when I saw the fucking uh, reveal, like, of the um, Godmaster, I was like, oh, no shit, no way, for real? And again, the fourth Pantheon made me cry. Dude, the fourth Pantheon? I mm -hmm. fucking. I, I fucking. What? I actually do not, oh my god. Yeah, okay. You get so fast now. I have enough. Yeah. I have enough health to just not worry about Hollow Knight. It's literally just waiting until this this one shows up. Right. Because now that you know it doesn't carry over. Yes. It's, I, I'm so glad they like actually didn't carry it over. Oh. Is this just God? Yeah, uh, yes. Can we just talk, just talk, just talk, so, lore. Just, just talk, okay, I can actually talk about Radiance lore now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. This is okay. the infection. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Okay, okay, basically, the uh, way that, okay, if I'm not mistaken, the way she appears is, like, the way she, like, um, kind of, the way that people believe in this creature is basically an infection. Like, uh, you know how, like, believing in, like, basically believing into, believing in Bail King gave them mind? This thing basically a fucking plague. Oh. Yeah, so the the Radiance was a god that was worshipped by the Moth tribe before the Pale King showed up. What the fuck and is just the Moth like, tribe? You know, you know, okay, the, you know okay. the crazy old lady that gave you your dream nail? Yeah. This oh year. my god. There so, was a Moth. Okay, dude. There was a Moth nation. So yeah, there was a whole Moth tribe that worshipped the Radiance as their god, but when the Pale King showed up. A god who was also known for, you know, his light. All of the Moth tribe abandoned the Radiance and started worshipping him, just like many of the other gods. But unlike the other gods that kind of heal, just disappeared, heal. the Kill. Radiance... The Radiance was having none of it. Fuck and, the Pale King! And because of the Pale King taking away the Radiance's worshippers, she began invading the dreams of worshippers of the Pale King. She would latch onto their emotions and use their emotions to then take control of her body to take back her worshippers by force. Fuck the Pale King! So the entirety of the infection, the only reason the infection happened was because the Radiance is obsessed with getting back her worshippers that the Pale King stole from her by turning them into a hive mind that can't think for themselves anymore. Yeah, you know how Myla got corrupted? This thing did it to her. Oh. Yeah. And any anytime you hear that scream come from any of the infected monsters, that's the Radiance screaming from their body. It's always the same scream. Yeah. Oh. And that's why, that's why the vessels were the way that the, that the... Oh my god, wait. Oh my god. No, start, <gasps> start, start jumping on the platforms. Start climbing, start climbing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Chad. The music. Oh my god, be careful, be real fucking careful. The here. voice! Oh my gosh! The voice! Oh my fucking god, no shit, no way. You're doing that. You're so you're so real for that. Hit her. Fuck you! Hit her. One, just hit her. Yeah! Chat, chat! There's the Hollow Knight! That shit! Kick her ass! Kick her ass! Kick yeah. Drag that bitch to the dark! Fuck all y'all shits! Drag that Chad. bitch to the void! Chad, we fucking did it. I killed God! I killed Moth God! And oh, now the, the infection is truly destroyed. Yeah, Pale King, it. you dumb motherfucker! <laughs> now, watch the best cuts in the game. Oh my god, that's why. That... Okay, 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 okay.
Oh, he, they're just gone. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Good job, boy. Is that it? And now they can rest. Oh. <laughs> oh, this was so emotional. So, hope some nothing weird happened. <laughs> anyway, dream no more. <laughs> okay, 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 we'll have to watch the credit, we'll have to watch the credit. Oh yeah, no, mm -hmm. can, we, can we just talk while this is, mm -hmm. like... But yeah, okay, thank you. Ari, Ari, Ari Gibson, Ari Gibson went up. No lie, a massive thunder strike uh, happened for me right so, as soon as the So, that was the thing, though. Died. Mm. The Radiance, in order to take control of the minds of those it wanted to force into worshipping her, the thing it latched onto was their emotion, the things mm. they cared about, their love, so that's why the Pale King created vessels in the Hollow Knight. He needed a With body that that she could like that um the Radiance could try to infect, but because they had no emotion, she couldn't affect them. So she was effectively trapped in this one vessel that she tried to ah. infect. But that was the whole probably, point. But you probably would ask, what happened? Why the fuck Wesel didn't wait? It was perfectly hollow. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, the Hollow Knight the Hollow Knight was perfect in every single way to be the vessel, but there was one really bad mistake that happened that caused him to be a horrible oh. failure. The uh, do you want to guess? Cut scene. Yep. Mm. When, 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 the, when the Hollow Knight looked back at his brother falling down into the abyss. Right? You're close. You're close. That's not You're it, really... though. I mean, uh, you haven't seen this cut scene, but we can explain it as, you know, like, you know, uh... Yeah. Uh, fucking Path right. of Pain okay. will explain it all. Oh. Okay, yeah, it should we explain it now? Path of Pain has a cutscene that insinuates it, but it never confirms anything. Hmm. Yeah. So oh, it's I like, it, it, it would be entirely up to you to like want to talk about it or wait till Path of Pain. Uh, yeah, we will be okay, too tired by the time that we reach the end of Path of Pain. I mean, yeah. Okay, should we say it now? Yeah, say it now because Matt Pat video will probably also spoil it, so fuck it. My pet, dude, my pet doesn't spoil So, shit. um, I could imagine that the 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 one thing that the Hollow Knight had was an actual kinship with either with the people of the abyss, the the the, the people that he saw Gross. falling down. Ooh. You wait, hold on, one second. We actually, uh, Buster, it's the ending. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, watch. Okay. Oh my fucking god. I cannot believe we did that. But just Congratulations! Did. Well done on achieving this great feat. You've preserved and you triumphed. We hope that you enjoyed yourself in the world of Hollow Knight. We'll meet again soon on the road ahead. And now we... Huh? <laughs> what? Is that the fucking mushroom? Ho <laughs> ho! Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Game completion. Wait, wait. Dude, dude, to be continued appears only in that cutscene. <laughs> yeah, it only appears in that cutscene. It's the only one. Canon! Canon to Silk Song. <laughs> That motherfucker Shut is the up. only reason as to why something happens. Calling it right now. Oh my gosh! Th thank you, Mr. Marshall. <laughs> but um, one hundred and four percent, not one hundred twelve percent, but close to it. And yeah, um, back to serious lore talk. The reason why also you want <gasps> Steel Soul. No fucking way! I'm gonna do that. But um, the reason why the Hollow Knight ended up being a failure was because in the time that the Pale King had to raise the Hollow Knight. He began to love the Hollow Knight like a son, oh. and thus the Hollow Knight began to love him like a father. Oh. So the Radiance latched on. Whenever he was sealed away, the Radiance latched on to his love for his father. Oh, okay. And 
If you hear Tolonite while you're fighting him, he will say father. He still he thinks about like oh! when he gets enough to he thinks about uh, he thinks about Pale King. That you remember, bitch! You remember yep. back in the White Palace there was that crib with the music box that played? Oh he raised his son too well. They began to genuinely love each other, and he ended up going from a hollow being to somebody who actually had emotion because he loved his father so much, and the radiance, that was enough for her to latch on. Oh, you bitch! Ah. So the one time he decides to be a good dad, he's the a bad one dad time. <laughs> the one time he's a good dad! And then, and then, and then, when the fucking candle crumbles, he didn't help his son. He just escaped. Yeah, well, and that, uh, obviously, that's actually, though, like... you know, the true story now is that you know, actually, the oh. the, the, the king was actually the, the the Hollow Knight that we're playing right now, though. So obviously, <sighs> what it, what it really mean what it really means, you know, is that. <laughs> uh, you know I actually somehow I actually somehow repressed this. You know what time I, it I is? I repressed the fact that we were going to be doing this. You know what time it is? Is it time for us to stop this heartfelt, passionate discussion about a game we love and start watching this motherfucker? <sighs> okay, both of you call me. I'm about to kill a man. A we more. don't have enough time to talk until we finish this. Okay. Sounds okay. good. I've we're already truck, I've ride. already had my pain, motherfuckers. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, should I should I actually take a shot every single time? No. No. Yes, okay, wait for me, please. <laughs> I'm taking a shot. I'm taking a shot, guys. Oh, uh, you're gonna die. You're gonna drop. Sack. Yeah. This game is fucking awesome. It's so good. <laughs> I literally so only good. saw. I I I didn't see the best parts about this game. You missed the best parts of the game. <laughs> you missed literally the best content. The fucking white palace, like the the the, the, the fucking the fucking radiance, the fucking like cutscenes, like every single thing that I like all the new shit in this. It was totally fucking worth it to replay this for a stream. Holy fuck! It's 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 funny because you made the comparison to Azazel about true pacifist, but now it can apply to you. It's oh. literally like you played Undertale and ended it at Omega Flowey instead of I doing true pacifist. I ended it at Omega Flowey instead of doing fucking like like, like God of Hyper Death. Yeah, like oh, you, you missed out all that. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back. I heard you screaming from my kitchen. What happened? I would just say oh, this fucking game's amazing, though. <laughs> yeah, we, we were just geeking okay, out real okay, quick. Okay, let's let's start. Let's start. You have to suffer more. Are you ready for your like excitedness to turn to rage? Oh my gosh, yes! I want to kill Mad Bad. Do we have a subtitles? Yes, we do. That is just all of our time Spiders are coming from Eat aerosol, you eight legged freaks. Of course. Why the, why the dream nail sound effect? I don't know. Because this fucker saw the, saw the game. Hello, uh, internet. Welcome uh, to game uh, theory. We may not be insects, but we sure do bug a lot of people. Now. Say this up front right now. You should play Hollow Knight. Yes. This game is long. True. You, Matt Pat, you should have played Hollow Knight before making this. Polished games yeah, were released over the last few years, and yet it's mostly gone under the radar here on YouTube, overshadowed by large oh, releases or bigger indie hits like Cuphead. But let me oh. tell you, if you're a fan oh. of Metroidvania style sure games where you uncover happened. new powers and secrets over sprawling maps, all oh, while proving your mastery over tight like, gameplay and massive fish. boss battles, then this game is a must play. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. it Agreed. so much. I played Agreed. every inch mm -hmm. of this thing. From Did the you? Side missions sure, to buddy. Really difficult boss rushes. It uh -huh. was so, so good. And when I finally got to the end of the game, I had literally no idea what the story was about. Okay. But yeah, yeah. 
I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. I believe this. I believe this. This is actually true, guys. This is actually true. This is a bell. I think most people get to the end of this thing, see the final boss's title card come up as the Hollow Knight, and have a moment of surprised realization as it dawns on them. Oh, I guess I'm not playing as the Hollow Knight. Dude, the statue and City of Tears. Why? This thing is like interpreting Shakespeare. Warily shall we accept the will of the worm. Its prescience shields us. Who knew bugs could speak all fancy like? And that is the easy mode for the game's dialogue. If you're looking for god-tier difficulty, then you've also got stuff like this. Their yoke abba absence outer shell. I mean, yeah, that's the uh, that's the fucking archives though. That um, sealed <sighs> within dreamer in twixt a twixt. Seriously, who wrote this in-game dialogue? Yeah, it's Chaucer? just it's just archive. Yeah. It's just the archive data, dude. Why he looks why he looks like AI generated? I'm theorists. sorry. We're culture. He doesn't look but real. No seriousness, this game hides even its most basic story behind secret lore tablets and a layer mm. of literary analysis. It's like the Dark Souls of story. <gasps> 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 That said, by the final boss, I had been. Yeah, okay, thank God that we didn't watch this at the, <laughs> the, the first few minutes of the stream. Together a lot yeah, of right. Just from my casual playthrough. This is what you need to know to start off with. The insect filled kingdom of Hallow Nest gets plagued. Oh by some brain-melting infection, and a ruler named the Pale King so sacrifices small. one of his sons to contain it. This is the Hollow Knight, who then gets himself sealed away with the help of three guardians called Dreamers. But mm. the Hollow Knight wasn't quite as hollow as intended. It was, as the game says, tarnished by an idea instilled, Aww. which in turn allowed the infection he was meant to contain to start leaking out. Our job then, as the Knight, not to be confused with the Hollow Knight, can't see how that would have been confusing, is to return to Hollow Nest the and point, the Matt. I'm, I'm taking, That's I'm the taking fucking that. point, Matt. I'm, I'm taking the shot, guys. I'm sorry. That's the point, Matt. The point is that they were supposed to be the same. You're the Hollow Knight. He's the Hollow Knight. That's the point. I, I. Infection once I mean, there's not all. even five nights at Fred. Is this more? Either by absorbing it into ourselves, replacing the Hollow Knight, or, in the game's true ending, entering mm. the mind of the Hollow Knight and actually killing the source of the infection, mm. a giant mm. moth god named the Radiance. Mm. There's a lot more to it, a lot, and we'll be mm. digging a bit deeper as this theory goes on, but suffice it to say, the channel Mossbag did an excellent 45-minute video on Hollow Knight's lore, oh, uh, and okay, it's- you know what's kind of stupid? This guy actually did an essay of two fucking hours explaining the lore piece by piece actually fucking awkward with like shit of evidence in game by the way he wrote his name incorrect by the way okay i'm taking i'm taking a shot just for us back buddy keep it up <laughs> Still didn't oh, cover fuck. everything long story short this game is dense kind of mm. like the works of chaucer well, excuse me oh. for taking a break from video games to take a minute to appreciate the Middle English heroics of the 14th oh. century peasantry. Should have paid more attention to the game, as Matt. As we all should do from time to time. If I was thinking he actually says... Okay, oh, fuck. Okay, can I pause? Okay. Back in days Perfect when this... On. <laughs> this... When this video came out, if I'm not mistaken, he actually... If there was actually a pin comment. Can we check the pin comment right now? No. <laughs> Okay, 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 we'll go check it out after, but the pink comment was, like, sorry, we have to cut off some parts to make this, like, into a video. He actually cut off some parts of floor. Like, it's actually a show, actually. In fact, no one would read this effing thing if it wasn't for English class. Look at how huge it is! So then, what's the theory here? Well, mm -hmm. the game would have us believe that we're playing as just this random knight. The infection causes bugs to lose their will and become part of this greater hive mind. So to defeat it, the Pale King needed to create a completely empty vessel. Something with no will, no desire, no nothing that could right. be corrupted by this infection. But as you can imagine, that's gonna be pretty hard to do. And so in his attempts to give rise to a true...
truly empty vessel, the Hollow Knight from the game's title, thousands of other failures are made in the process. Something that we see as we fight our way through the section of the game called the Abyss. We hmm. are supposedly just another one of those failed experiments, except the video. I don't think that's the case here. If you stop and <laughs> dig through uh -huh. the massive amounts of secret lore hidden throughout this game, it's my belief that we're not just some random nobody. We are, in fact, royalty. The king. I mean, the king. I mean, what? It's my okay, belief. Okay, yeah. It's a shot. Chad, take a shot of me. Bear with me. Uh, a, you, you literally said that the point of these creatures was that they were hollow. Why, if, if they were special, then wouldn't that kind of... Would that kind of take away... Of the, why would... Wouldn't, wouldn't that... Wouldn't that not destroy the whole point of them? Hollow Knight, we're playing as the Pale King himself. A... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why the shot... <laughs> whose memory has vanished and who is drawn back to Hollow Nest to release his trapped son, all in an attempt to atone for the mistakes that he made in dealing with okay, the infection how? the first time around. How? If this is true, it would oh, have huge you. ramifications for the story of this game. And mm. so stick around, ladies and gentlemen. We've got ourselves a chitinous case of secret identity to crack. The first. Okay, so it's mm -hmm. so fucking funny that he and does this because, like. Got ourselves the, the, he's saying this, and the graphic that he's using to show the, the king being the Hollow Knight is the graphic of his literal dead body inside of the palace. His dead corpse <laughs> sitting on the throne of the palace. He's using that graphic to show that he's actually the Hollow Knight? Chill, chill, chill. Okay. You know how, like, usually people say, Oh, have you seen those two people in the same room? Yeah. Actually, <laughs> we're actually fucking seeing King and Night in the same fucking room. But you know what? The, this fucker, this fucker, this fucker, this fucker actually, actually, actually seen the scene. And he actually yeah. explained why this scene is wrong. You're wrong, like, that's wrong, case, everyone is wrong. Like, yeah, the, like, the, yeah. <laughs> identity to crack. The All first right. clue that our knight might be special happens immediately. Throughout mm. the game, we're presented with lore tablets, each one beginning with the words, higher beings, these words are for you alone. <laughs> now, uh -huh. what is a higher being in Hollow Knight? Well, it's a term reserved only for gods or creatures coming close to being gods. According to a Reddit AMA with the developers of the game Team Cherry, they exist above all others in this world. For instance, one of the most important items in the game is the King's Soul Charm, which is needed to unlock the game's true ending. Its description reads, Holy Charm symbolizing a union between higher beings. The union it's referencing is between the Pale King and his queen, the White Lady. So the fact that we're okay. able to read words that are specifically set aside for higher beings alone certainly makes it seem like we too might be in the ranks of a higher uh, being. But I mean, it's no, not just our ability. No, I mean, you, you can read it, but like, like, just because you can read it, it doesn't mean that you're a higher being. If I okay. if I were to watch a like confiscated tape yeah. that was meant to only be watched by employees of a company, that does not make me an employee of a company by default. If I've stolen the tape, if I, I if I if I if I if I gave you a police training manual that says this is only made for police officers, yeah, sure, okay, Zach, officially you're now a police officer. Congratulations, my dude. Oh my gosh, uh, you damn, I must be special. Anyway. <laughs> okay, anyway, okay, wait. Also, there's two things. Okay, first of all, Rudney pointed out we literally like a child of God. Like, literal fucking God. So, like, we also hide being, yes. And then he said we're all just, like, technically we're like prince slash princess slash. Yeah, but there's like billion of brain us. So brain sona. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or, like, there's another theory that being in a community that. Kinda of kind of faded away because like nobody fucking cared. Let like remember like we got to a third kingdom pass and actually it was like a way to Hollow Nest or, like before the like fun fucking thing crashed. Mm -hmm. Um since outside of Hollow Nest they're basically like no mind and only King gave them the mind. Going through the fucking path like going through King's pass Basically, I was giving you the mind, and so saying like, "Oh, high being." So it's basically being. It's basically a message for people that are actually sentient, as opposed to all the other bugs outside of Hollowness that are not sentient. That was not giving sentience yes. to the king. Yeah, it's yeah. also a theory, like 
like, I, I'm not gonna say, like, oh, yeah, this is 100% true, but the, well, the fuck he's saying? I take it a shot. Mm -hmm. ...to read these tablets that matters. The first tablet of the game teaches the higher beings how to use soul energy, a special ability that they apparently have. A special uh -huh. ability which also happens to be a primary gameplay mechanic for our lowly knight throughout his quest. Okay. The tablet even says, quote, you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Again, okay. setting apart soul users like our knight from pretty much every other creature that we encounter throughout this game. So not only are the we Mantis reading are tablets reserved for higher beings, but we're also using skills reserved for the godlike creatures of the world on par with the Pale King. Which uh, is not actually uh, fucking true. Uh, because yes, soul fucking, Master? Yes, 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 yes. The motherfuckers in the because, Soul Tower? Because, because Baz actually learned how to use a fucking soul and it drives them crazy. And like this fucker fucking ignores the entire fucking location. The entire There's an entire... The entire fucking... The entire fucking race that we're fucking... There's insane. an entire There's tower so in City of bodies. Tears about the souls. Fucking bodies. <laughs> they tortured oh, a fucking shaman for fucking... <sighs> Someone the shaman fact, um, the shaman literally gives us a spell for this shit. Basha? <laughs> someone someone in chat someone in chat uh misunderstood what I said when I brought up the mantis lords. No, they don't use soul, but they're higher beings of the mantis tribe and they don't use soul, which means no, not reserved for higher beings. Yeah. Yeah, like also also there's like there's own that's like definitely like if I'm not saying it own doesn't even use the soul. There's um fucking mushroom. Like mushroom that we met, like not the one that flew, but the one big one. It's also a god. Like fucking Grim is a god. Like and he, and he <sighs> fucking fucked this fucking soul. He he hates fucking Bale King. There's a black worm, the black worm. <sighs> There's so many other ones that use spells and soul stuff in the game. If you just went into the city of t you've my favorite, one of my favorite bosses in this game is called the fucking Soul Master. <laughs> like, come on! And, and, and the Soul Master. <laughs> is he a god? Is no, that motherfucker a god? He was trying to be. <laughs> no, he was. He was a normal bug. This is the point. He, he learned. They learned. They've been experimented on bodies. They made so many mistakes. The fact that it's called the Soul Master. Yeah, that's that's why I'm so insistent on this, Looney. Like, come on! We're only seven minutes in the video, please. Okay, right. if you, okay, dude, around like, I know, like 15 minutes, my bottle will be empty. It's like two liters. All right, let's go. Does it really sound like we'd just be some failed experiment cast into the depths of- The Soul yes! Master was a failed experiment! world, but let's rewind even further back, <laughs> even before the tutorial section of this game, because the clues as to your true identity start at the I'm so mad. Of a button. Hollow Knight is a long game. Hold on, the donation. Thank you, McNova, for the $10. Have you guys ever seen the video of the brand so dilution mad. of game theory? Uh, thank you so it's much. It's a great yeah. video that talks well, about I, the rise I, I, and wait, fall wait, of game I'm theory. I'm already like Irish thoughts. <laughs> I, I have to, I have to reveal. Uh, Does it seem like we're just some random bug that got thrown into the abyss? Yes, and you can literally fucking see it! You see a cutscene so of your origin! You get the things that start off your quest. But it's worth noting that when you start a new game, the very first thing that you see, the thing the developers thought was most important for anyone starting their quest, wasn't a cutscene, mm. wasn't a tutorial, mm. it was a poem. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage soul. Souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. You don't know it when you start the game, but this poem is about the Pale King. Yeah, Let's makes break sense. it down 11th grade English style, Ugh. shall we? Under Palest Watch is the most obvious. Pale King, Pale Watch, duh. But what's <sighs> about taming savage souls and redeeming base instincts? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a reference to how the Pale King was able to give bugs that. a mind of their own. In the beginning of the game's lore, all bugs were basically a hive mind controlled by the moth god Radiance. Not true! No, that's not, not true! <laughs> It was one tribe! The bugs were just dumb! It's not Some true! Bugs. 
I love how he, I love he shows like every single fucking like possible bug, but he doesn't show moths. Like only moths been fucking a second on this leg drug. That's if, it. If this if this was true, then wouldn't every single fucking wild bug in like deepness or anything be like bursting with like orange pus energy? Like no. Yeah, and that would also all the other gods wouldn't exist in this case because the other gods were also like sent away by the pale king when he started dominating like all the species. It's yeah, not... the fucking Oon, the fucking mushroom god, absolutely fucking unbelievable. If I'm mistaken, the thing, like, the one that just fucking wants to breed, it also feels like some sort of god, but, like, the small one. Like, dude, everyone got fucking casted away, like, ugh. She's, minds above, she's a moth, she's a moth them god! Individuality and sapience, showing them, as the poem says, a world that they had never dreamed. It's important to note, too, that this isn't just a poem about the Pale King, oh, no. but it's directed to the Pale King. Your name, oh, you no. the challenge men. Yeah. And then, what do we see appear on screen just moments later? Are not. <sighs> it would be one thing if the poem was just about the Pale King, but the fact that it's directed at him just seconds before we actually see our character makes it seem like the designers are drawing a parallel between this king of legend and our first appearance on screen no you know it's literally it's literally the most important thing because that is just explains the setting that you're going into it's yeah. explaining how the pale yeah. king created hollow nest and everything that happened inside of it like it, the cutscene is literally about the knight going to hollow nest like that's right. the point it sets up the world and then shows this little insignificant guy jumping into a world that grand and ruined. The end of that cutscene is the knight go like jumping into the hollow nest. Like it's about yeah. hollow nest and how the pale king created it. It's about it's it's, it's like it's okay. It's literally says the world that you never dreamed. It's literally just said like it literally says like oh hey guys we have like this great place anyway this place is not really so great this place is actually really depressing good luck like <sighs> <laughs> well, I mean I I guess okay I guess you could maybe interpret it as directed at the night maybe okay let's see but what else what else what else we no, no, are no, okay the... listen the, 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 the thing also is this is not like it doesn't say that this is do fucking and this is not okay. Just, just give me, just give me like the smoking gun. Just give me the smoking gun. Come on. In that poem. Like that. This is just a loose connection. Text, the first is just a loose connection. The game is Elderbug, the lone resident of a fading town named Dirtmouth, which basically serves as your primary hub for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Elderbug starts the game alone, sadly lamenting the fact that everyone he once knew has descended. Bill. The cutscene after the poem is the Hollow Knight in chains. Is not even. <gasps> It's not even the little knight going into Hollow Nest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, wait. Wait, no, you're right. Is that right? Wait, let me rewatch the opening of the game. Holy shit. Is that shit. not even... Is, uh, is that not even the cutscene? Is that not even the cutscene? No, 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 guys, guys, it's true, it's true. It is. So, like, the, I'm telling after you, the like, poem, you, it's me. the... it's After the poem, it's the cutscene of the Hollow Knight cracking... Yeah, okay, so it goes like this. Oh. We see the cutscene, screen goes black. We see the uh we see the night screaming, screen goes black oh. for like ten seconds, and then we see the night. Oh no, yeah, it literally I just watched I just yeah. watched the opening again. Yeah, it, it cuts to the hollow knight breaking free from his chains, oh, and then it cuts so to the knight jumping down. Oh, so he this is just part. bullshit. He straight up is lying. This oh, is straight this up This is lie. just then, bullshit. Screen just moments later, our night. Oh! Oh, no, 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 he literally lied about this. Okay, no, actually, actually, like, guys, he's not lying. He's saying moments later. But you know what? Also, also we see moments later? We see Grey Prince Hot, which means Grey Prince Hot <laughs> is actually the initial pale king. One thing if the poem was... And actually, right. Breda is the rest of the mind from Fight Lady. Hear me out, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the fact that it's directed at him oh, just seconds no. before we actually actually see our character makes it seem like the designers are drawing oh a God. parallel I, uh, between uh, this king of, of legend and our well, first let me appearance on it. screen. We are the you in <sighs> the poem. Speaking of overanalyzing text, the first NPC you meet in the game is Elderbug, mm. the lone resident of a fading you ready for this shit. dirt mouth, which basically serves as your primary hub for the rest of the game. Elderbug starts the game Good. alone, sadly lamenting the fact that everyone he once knew has descended down into Hallow Nest and never Returned, either dead or with their minds consumed by the infection. He says, quote, Well, glory, 
Enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. The reason I call this out is that it's a really clever play on words. The usage mm. of the word dreams is important. Since at the beginning of the game, not knowing the lore of this world, we all assume oh, just it's like just you. our knight pursuing the dream of wealth or fame just like the elder bug says, but late in the game, we get ourselves an item called the dream nail, which is how we unlock memories of the past and ultimately defeat the radiance yeah, okay. inside the mind of Hollow Knight. It's also yeah. the tool that allows us to find the Pale King's white palace. Okay. It's it is a about place, this place that is literally hidden in dreams. So like elder bug says, we are seeking our dreams in perhaps a very literal sense, which is especially uh -huh. true if we are playing as the Pale King. Why? Elder bug no. No, 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 why, why, why would that matter? Why would like, that matter? No, this is, like, the part, like, the stuff he's talking about is the stuff that you dress, like, since, you know, like, shit all bugs went through this place and go, went down because, oh, wholeness is so cool, people, like, bugs been hearing that wholeness is so fucking epic, like, basically a fucking Las Vegas, okay, let's talk about this as Las Vegas. People heard about Las Vegas, thought they're gonna get rich, they went there for their dreams, they fucking got ruined by Las Vegas and they died in Las Vegas. This is what happened basically. This is why Elder Bugs says, Oh yeah, those peop uh, those bitches went for Las Vegas. Yeah. No, it's not about us. He doesn't even know us. us well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 he, what he's talking about more is that he's talking about like your dreams. Like he, he is, it, it's, it, it, he's trying to say that the game is like pointing towards your literal dreams being the thing that you seek in the game. But no, like, yeah, sure, it's valid, but it's not valid about being like the the leap the leap in logic between getting the dream nail and looking into people's dreams is so big to just yeah that means that you're the the, the king like what. What connection is there between those two ideas? We're playing as the pale Gosh, king. Are you okay? Elder Bug also <laughs> I'm just, I'm just letting you go off. Triggers if you don't speak. I'm sorry, like maybe I shot him. By the way, that a shot. And only speak to him after you've already started your quest. He'll say this. Oh, you're back. You walked straight past me and descended down into the ruins without even saying hello. I thought maybe I'd seen a ghost. Aww. If we are indeed the pale king, returning to a land that we once lived in, we would Fuck indeed off. be a ghost. So may give me a count of my. Fuck off. Anyway, <laughs> really clever play on words that I Yeah, that's the reason they refer to you as a ghost in this game. Not the fact <sighs> that you are literally a dead child. Fucking ghost of hollow nest, like fucking he's gonna bring up fucking hornets saying ghost of hollow nest. Dude. I'm gonna Dude, fucking fuck cry. It. Maybe, but again, this is clearly Ghost a team who has used like nine player. times in this game. like to make you really think about the words that they're using. But even Shakespeare had to get explicit sometimes and just spell out what he was trying to say. Same here with oh, Team no. Cherry. Oh, While no. the poems and Elder oh, Bug no. dialogue are a bit vague oh, no. and open to interpretation, oh, no. other characters are definitely a bit more explicit. During one of your interactions with the White Lady, aka the Queen, she outright says to the knight, Is it more than just a vessel? I feel like once again I'm in the presence of my beloved worm. Worm being another name. Because, for the because, because, the, no, no, stop. Because this dialogue the charm. Is the charm was equipped. This, <laughs> this, this dialogue specifically appears if you equip the fucking king's soul. <laughs> Only if you wear the king's soul. She never says it if you don't have the king's soul equipped. Like, because dude, she no, senses okay. the charm. <laughs> Dude, dude, you know no, okay, you know not what? only that, but we went on our playthrough when we went to visit the, the the white lady, we equipped the fucking dung defender shit charm, and then we went to talk to her, and then she thought that either we or like we were we had next to us was the fucking dung defender. It's almost so like I guess you're also the dung defender. It's almost <laughs> okay, fucking, okay. and you know what the worst part about this is. White Lady actually, if I'm not sticking somewhere, she actually says, oh, yeah, like, something, something might spawn. Like, she acknowledged us as, like, her, like, child. Like, mm. her dead child. By the way, that's a shot. <laughs> oh, yes, my child. Blind. Oh, my child, but also my husband? <laughs> but also some guy who worked for my husband who smells like shit? <laughs> also, also Grim Hollow Knight? Oh, the night yes, is Dama Dama confirmed. Also, if you queue the Grim Shot and actually go there, she actually will say, like, oh, fuck. Thank you, Arcade Avian, for the $2. When I'm making shit up and 
competition and my opponent is mad pad only one gets kingly vibes from the player character the white defender one of the pale king's five main knights also has interesting dialogue oh. quote your noble bearing reminds me of our dear king so that's two of the your king's son. closest relations yes, being yes, reminded yes, of their dearly departed because when i see a child i think oh yeah i know this parent's child it doesn't mean oh yeah hello but you know fucking Interact with us. But you know what they say? Actions that's speak shot. louder than words. And if that's the case, then these bugs hanging out in the remains of the Pale King's castle, flat out bowing to you when you approach them. They're scared. Just you look like his that son. You're the king. It's also worth pointing out the description for these royal retainers in the hunting log that says that they are the most loyal and devout servants of the king. Ten out of ten yes, royal yes. retainers can't be because wrong. You are royal. <laughs> I would I was not arguing. You have this. the king's okay. brand, asshole. Thank you, weird name. Okay, the thing is, I will not even fucking argue about your royalty because technically we technically are we're like dead prince as prince Sona. Like I'm not sure if it's a word, but like Like pe like is, after you get the king's brand Characters in the game start talking to you as like, oh yeah, you're going to take up the mantle as the new king because you get the fucking king's brand. Like you're supposed to surpass him. Like, 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 tr like. Oh like, wait, wait, Buster, isn't he talks about that actually in the video? I forget. I repressed the other Let's half. See. Plain and oh yeah, simple. me too. Which means that it's like you're supposed to be a new, the new guy that's gonna replace the king. It doesn't mean that you're literally him. Talk about the pale king himself. For <laughs> literally years, might... showing the two of them in the same room. Okay, is clearly established in the lore that the king has the ability to transform. In uh -huh. fact, the pale king form is actually his version 2.0. To see his first no, form, he's not transformed, the she's getting reborn. The kingdom's edge. You see mm. that? That's not a cave. That's the remains of the king 1.0, a uh -huh. giant ancient worm creature. And all that snow in kingdom's edge? It's actually his body just flaking away as it decays. But it'd be one thing uh -huh. to just establish that yeah, the worm became true. the Pale King. Mm -hmm. It's another thing entirely to allude to there potentially being a third form of him. And yet, here it is in a line from the character oh. Bardu. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Actually, okay, I will, like, completely fucking... Okay, if you read, like, bro, if you actually read, like, any of, like, line, like, one fucking line from fucking Hollow Knight lore, he does not transform. King reborns. We mm. can see a little fucking egg inside where we pick up the brand, right? I remember that, yes. So, fucker dies, basically gives birth to himself, and then he moves as a new body. How the fuck? Like, we can unplug. <laughs> you would have to like he would have to grow and become that big again to then get reborn again into the same process. I... And especially, okay, you know, just let's... have his like tiny little corpse hanging around on the okay, on the let's... palace. Let's listen to him. In uh, places uh, great hold me. Worm. Once told, it came to die. But what is death for that ancient being? Or transformation, methinks. This failed kingdom is product of the being spawned nice voice. in that event. So Bardoon knows the Pale King spawned out of the worm, he clearly says that the kingdom is his doing, but this line of more transformation seems to imply that the Pale King's <sighs> death would only lead to yet another form. Do we think that Team Cherry put this no, line in- No, it's literally just telling you how the big worm became the small guy. Yeah, it's explaining it, that. <laughs> it's explaining that. It's exp Like, he came to die to- Once told, it came to die to this place. And then it transformed into the Pale King. That's the point of that line. It's That's... a where you find the corpse. Dude, 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 the entire fucking thing, actually, like, like, <laughs> like I would actually kind of, like, say, like, oh, hey, <sighs> like, it's actually kind of might be a reference to, like, many other things. Like, for example, if we die, the shade appears. Some other worms die, then something else appears. Some fucking enemies die, and something else appears. Like, 
in here for no reason? I think not. Oh, that's speaking of Professor Shogun. Professor Shogun, actually, somebody give me a call, please. We also know that he was experimenting with the substance known as Void before he died. Now, a quick note here. Void is the liquid embodiment of darkness in Hollow Knight. It's an ancient force that opposes the blinding light of Mothra over here, and is primarily found in the dark reaches of the Abyss. So, it's some ancient, powerful, magical stuff. Stuff that the Pale King was starting to unlock the potential of. In his hidden workroom in the White Palace, there's a lore tablet that reads, quote, Void, yours is the power opposed, but yours is potential, eternity potential, force that could deny time, void, harness shall be placed upon you. This quote is interesting. Based on the clues in that workroom, as well as the game's bestiary, we know that the Pale King was using void to create soldiers, the King's Molds and Wing's Molds that populate his White Palace. Mm. We also know that he was using void to create the vessels intended to trap the infection, vessels like the Hollow Knight, which would True. also include mm -hmm. our character. But this mm -hmm. quote is referencing him using the Void for yet another purpose. A third purpose. Eh? Not fighting the Radiance, not protecting his castle, but instead fighting time itself. Yeah. He wants to use the because Void to achieve the Radiance forever. Yes, he wanted to create internal canon that will stand for its leaders, if not a second, in the first cutscene, like first tablet. He says, wholeness stands forever. He was thinking, this fucker was thinking that he is so fucking cool and fucking hot, that will, he will create the fucking Las Vegas that will stand forever. Like, every single fucking kingdom will die, and all the higher beings that will visit this fucking Las Vegas will be... Like, he thought Hollowness will stand for eternal. He was so fucking sure in Hollow Knight, like, actual fucking his son, that he said, yeah, like, like, this was the denial of time. By the way, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the, the entire fucking, uh, Hollow Knight mm. event goes in the sake of one long night told by developers, but this is, like, semi-canon. Hmm time itself. He wants to use the void to achieve eternal life for himself, for his kingdom. It's unclear, yes. but it once well, again yes, gives credence to the idea that in his next life, he would choose to rebirth himself as a void-based creature, uh -huh. one not bound by the restrictions of time, one just like our knight. Making this all, connection even can more be reborn are the eggs. Himself. Just outside the Pale King's he throne room is a lore tablet the end house inside to do of that? a black egg. A tablet that's speaks of the ancient worm becoming the Pale King. It seems eh. to suggest that this egg here is where version 1.0 of the Pale King hatched into its upgraded form, as it were. And now look at the birthplace of our knight down in the abyss, a similar black egg. Could it be where version 2.0 transformed <laughs> yet again? Further linking the two is the fact that elsewhere in the White mm. Palace, there's a nursery playing this song on the music box. Aww. Thank you for the moment Which of Which just so happens to be the same song that Bucks plays when you die and stand next to the shade from your former life. Oh, maybe oh, it's the song that played when he raised his child, which you are. Yes. Yes, it's basically yes. this game's version of Blood Bless you, thank Here's the you. interesting about thing about that explode. detail. The description of these shadows reads, Echo of a previous life. Each of us leaves oh, an off. imprint of something when we die. A stain yes, of the world. It's so the sound that accompanies children. our knight's past life coincides with the same sound from a nursery housed inside the Pale King's palace? The existence of a connection between eh? our knight and the Pale King seems undeniable. Eh? It's yeah, it's almost like you're his child or something. For him to be <laughs> Oh, born as void, oh, oh, died, oh was That's hatched of void from the black egg in the abyss, was taken back to the palace to be raised, and was eventually sent away from the kingdom to avoid succumbing to the infection, only to be called okay, back okay, no, when okay, he was actually, older. Actually, fuck this. Fuck, blah, blah, blah. My dad says uh, that only king have a power to cut all, like, like, he said that, like, earlier in the video he says something, something, only, like, Pale King had a power to like free the bugs from fucking infection that came from Radiance, right? Yeah. Why the fuck he have to be sent from Hollow fucking Nest to not get affected if he have Actually... a power of fucking Jesus fucking Christ to save everyone? No, he will just leave because he's not. It, it's being. It's like being fucking waxed. And instead of helping your family, you just leave and just Actually, leave them die to COVID. Like, bitch, what's your fucking? Fuck Actually, yeah. Uh, if the whole, if the idea of the 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 lore in Matt Pat's head about the Pale King is that 
every single bug was attached to the Radians before he came along, but then he freed them from the Radians to start Hollow Nest, then why is the Radians a problem? Yeah, see, yeah. This is, I'm talking about. This is, <laughs> if wait, if you, they if they if, if he freed them from the radiance, then why does he need to do all of this? Yes, the radiance did, is only did, did, doing that because the radiance is trying to take <laughs> back her worshippers by force. She's an opposing <laughs> god. <laughs> And, and you know what's the fun part? I don't even have to play Hollow Knight. I have to watch this video and just use his argument from before. Like, that's the, the entire point. Like, why are you rebirthing yourself to free your son and all that? Like, if you have the power to get rid of the Radiance and make the bugs sentient, then why don't you just do that as yourself, asshole? <laughs> Like, why'd you have to- did, did you make and sacrifice your child for fun? <laughs> Was it just like, I could save these people, but buzz saws and murdering my own children's way more entertaining. <laughs> like, why do you- why are you- why are you doing all this? Also, the Pale King is already like an omnipotent god being that rebirths himself every time that he gets too big and become- and, and like, you know, continues on in a new form. Okay, Why does it Pale... need to be immortal if he's already functionally immortal by his own Dude, biology? But not even that, but like, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, uh, like, since, like, he's a god and, you know, gods exist to, like, b gain power from, like, the believers, like, from the, like, uh, followers, uh -huh. fucking Twitch, Twitch followers, uh, he, oh, fucking hell, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, like the the, the, the whole idea is that he's making soldiers and he's making creatures out of the void to serve him because he wants Hollow Nest itself to be immortal. He's already functionally immortal. Why would he want to become a void creature if he's already like his life yeah, cycle is yeah. already immortality? Yeah. Also, he's a god of light, and void directly opposes light. <sighs> yes, this is it, and. Like, I love how he has servants with wood just because he knew that, like, you know, they wouldn't like it affected. Also, like, he fucking died because they, he had no more fucking followers. Like, the entire fucking, like, you can see a statue of him not being taken care of. Like, even fucking eggs not taken care of. Just because Radiance took over. Like, mm. actually, okay. Basha, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. sorry, I'm like, just gonna fucking, mo like, I will just fucking die on the floor right now. He will actually talk about fucking cutscene All when right. we see Belkin leaving. Play the video at the show. All right. From the black egg in the abyss, was taken back to the palace to be raised, and was eventually sent away from the kingdom to avoid succumbing to the infection, only mm -hmm. to be called back when he was older and when the Hollow Knight started. He misinterpreted those control. those no little Easter eggs so bad. Is a line that we see no repeated a lot by the Pale King, and it's thought to be referring to his sacrifice of his children in pursuit of the perfect Hollow Knight. However, is. there is another interpretation here. No, it is not. Cost is to himself. Humble what? In appearance, no. Comprised of void, a force that is completely opposite himself, he leaves his regal body behind to take the form of a lowly, nameless knight, our uh, player character. Why? He chooses why? to reincarnate himself into the form that is most appropriate to defeat the infection. But the really? cost why? is that he loses himself in the process. But it's all in why? pursuit of why? helping his son no, and his no, kingdom. You, That's you why we said okay. he had. You know, you literally say in the video on the mark somewhere like around ten minutes, like night. No, seven, seven minutes. He said, oh yeah, like, I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind so fucking hard just because I love this game more than fucking read books. <sighs> Literally, you said that he had all the power just being reborn to the fucking Pale King to free everyone. Why, why? have to why have to be reborn as a why? dead fucking child yeah. of a son who, like, fucking get older and then save his son? Like, like why? What? Why? Like, it's a like, whole lot of emotion that's a, for an that, empty that, vessel. Yeah, look, that's a that's a that's a be like that's a beautiful thing that he's like weaving. He's like, oh yes, the 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 god must turn himself into the lowly tiny bug to save the entire kingdom. Okay, yeah, but why would he do that though? What advantage I, is what advantage is there of being like a tiny little shithead, like 
Like, we, we have, a, like, a rusty, really bad nail when we started the game. We only have, like, what, four hit points? Like, why, why would you do that if you're, like, a god? Why? Like, the normal ending... The, the normal ending of this game is you just becoming another Hollow Knight. If that if the, if the king's objective was to save his son and defeat the radiance, then why would the normal ending just be to replace him? Oh, Fuck. I know. Okay, you know what? If this fucker will say, but the only one ending is going to no. Developer said every single ending is canon. Like we're not talking about silk swan, I guess. Every single ending is canon. Hmm. Like, 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 this uh, is like, developed by developers. Like, like, okay, like it's like it. This is the thing that fucks fucking kills me about MatPat. He just says like, oh yes, the most the most beautiful like, yes, the the god will cast down cast be cast down into the earth and become this lowly creature to save the world. But like logically, why the fuck though? It why? makes no sense. Why? Why? Why though? Why though? Why though? Hey, well, I his... Oh shit, sorry. It's very too many shots. By the way, I will answer the question. How the fuck, uh, like, how the fuck every ending is gonna? Developer said, like, no matter ending you go, like, definitely every ending can have a place to exist, so just count it as canon, you know? Like, if this, like, if this theory was correct, wouldn't there be something in the game that would tell you, oh, yeah, this form is the ideal one to defeat the Radiance or something like that? Like, there's nothing like that. Like, the whole plan of the Pale King was to make the Hollow Knight to contain the Radiance inside of him. Like, like that was his plan. There was nothing about becoming smaller or, or, or casting down his godly possessions or anything. It's like, wh where the fuck are you pulling this from? What's the plan here? Well, last three minutes we're What's going What's the plan to here? So no plan his kingdom. That's why we see him thinking the line, no cost too great, on the throne where he died. It is his last <laughs> That's thought his as he passes on to his next transformation. Yeah, he was thinking about it's his son and died of guilt. It's sacrificing his children, it's the cost of sacrificing himself. It's a calculated risk he's making. The knight being a reincarnated pale king would explain how a nameless, faceless knight is so easily able to accept the king's brand item, which outright yeah, marks him as the king. It would explain how, just like the pale king, King snapped the bugs out oh, of their collective like stupor like during his like lifetime. Our knight, as you go through the game, is oh doing my. exactly the no. same thing. Waking up bugs from the infection and... No, no. But but what? Up. What's the problem? Then why did you make the Hollow Knights? Okay, so What's the, thing the is, conflict? Okay. What's the okay. conflict if this is just this easy? Okay, it's not even that easy. Okay, wait then. Okay. <laughs> He wakes up only two <laughs> fucking bugs that didn't even got infected. He wakes up Breta and, <laughs> and Sly. Okay, and he didn't. Okay, they are not even infected, by the way. Like, uh, like <laughs> why we didn't send Mila because Mila was already infected, like full infected from like Both from King the heart. The bugs out of their collective stupor during his lifetime. Our knight, as you go through the game, is doing exactly the same thing: waking up bugs from the infection and. Too getting bad. them to return to a life in dirt mouth. Then why is there a problem in the first place? Oh shoot, people are getting infected by the radians again? Hey, come here. Alright, you better. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, hey, son. Hey, hey, why son, why right, you go, do buddy. you need to do this? If, if you could just fucking slap them why did I mean, you make a billion dead children and put your the, your favorite one into like a fucking egg and like then just die in a and then retreat into a palace and then just become like another one of the children and then return to your game why did you do all of that just hey, let's, slap them just slap them <laughs> Dude, two minutes will go crazy. I will fucking die. Fucking somebody catch me. Why? Play, I die. It would will explain die. how only you and the Pale King are seen to use the Monarch Wings item. And if all of what? that wasn't enough to convince you, in cut dialogue that was oh. data mined from the game, course, if you cut dialogue. dialogue the final boss, course. the Hollow Knight himself, it will say this. Father, oh. get much more explicit than that. Because he's so thinking he's about his dad. The only thing he cares about.
The only Jordan, thing he cared about was his dad. True, Hollow Knight isn't about some random knight doing his duty. It's about a king's redemption. He picks a son to sacrifice to this infection, but before he can offer him up, they bond, which ruins the purity of the son as vessel. This, in turn, gives the infection something it can corrupt, the desire to be loved, to be with its father. Huh? No then just slap your kid in the face if it's that easy. Oh no, I found him. I love my son. <laughs> Up his son, but Stay back. this plan is now bound to fail because of his own weakness. The king is filled with regret and eventually comes to realize that he's the one who will need to make things right. He studies the void so that he's eventually able to be reborn with its power, hatching down in the abyss, getting cared for in the safety of the White Palace, and then being released out into the lands beyond Dirtmouth place where canonically <laughs> bugs lose all their memories. This self-exile for a period of years is probably for two reasons. One, his own protection from the Radiance, and two, losing his <laughs> memory helps make him purely hollow. No memory, no desire, oh, yeah. okay, no okay. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> the achievement that you get after, okay, the achievement that you get after, like, to get the ending, you have to, uh, get the White Heart. Mm -hmm. To get the white heart, you're going to wait. To wait. The moment when cutscene ends, the wait achievement appears. And what achievement says basically, remember your past. Mm. What's the fucking point then? To defeat the writings, you have to remember your past. What's the fucking point to defeating your memories in the first place? He's now an empty vessel, so that, should it come down to it, he can now be the one to take on the Hollow Knight's place. Along the journey, he unknowingly assembles the kingly items that once belonged to him. He prompts flashes of memory from his former friends and loved ones, who are reminded of him as he passes. And he reignites the will of the bugs around him, just like he did when he first came to this land. All of it, all of it is to atone for everything. His mistakes in handling the Radiance, and most importantly of all, his mistakes in handling his own son. As he uh. Himself for the final time to pop his throne as he dies into his next life, no cost too great. And in the end, he's finally able to put to rest his biggest mistake, the son he was forbidden to love, the son that he chose to chain up for an eternity, a son who recognizes him in his final moments of clarity. In cut dialogue. But in cut hey, dialogue. that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Uh... I, I... Politely, go. Why do have a nice day? Like you're a, like you're talking about the Hollow Knight as if he was the only son that he had. I mean, the only what only about the other? Like... What about the other tens of thousands of dead babies down into the abyss? <laughs> Literally, not once did you bring up the cutscene when you get the Void Heart, where the Hollow Knight goes and grabs onto the ledge, and you see the Pale King and okay, wait, the Hollow okay, Knight so? leaving the abyss when you okay. just don't fall down. Like, Can that's literally it, bro. Can I say the pink comment? If I'm mistaken, somewhere he like actually like even like pink comment he actually like somewhere like draws from him that he says that um what is it some pink comment the below comment is from the channel someone who someone did any is actually like a like incredible fucking whole night lore like fucking like amazing person. Unfortunately, the, uh, who did an incredible job critiquing this episode, unfortunately, the comment got lost. And despite digging around hours looking for it, I couldn't find the original. But the work that she put into it was so thorough that I wanted to make sure it got seen. So here it is. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, and ba basically he apologized for like... Into he basically like... Uh, I've like seen this tried... claim many times and it really does not make any sense. Not only does it contradict evidence in the game, but it's also very misleading. I'll go through the points one by one and explain why. We might too be in the ranks of a higher being. The knight is the child of the Pale King and the White Lady, who are both higher beings. It makes sense that the knight is able to read these higher being tablets. It doesn't mean the Pale Knight, the Pale King, is the knight. Does it really sound like we're just some failed experiment cast into the depths of the void? No, it doesn't sound like that. The vessels are the children of the Pale Knight and the White Lady who are born from the eggs in the abyss, which gave them a shade. The vessels are not just failed experiments. 
This poem is addressed to the Pale King. It literally says, Elegy for Hollow Nest. <laughs> this poem is about Hollow Nest. Under Palace Watch refers to the Pale King, but the U is most definitely Hollow Nest. Oh. In the beginning of the game's lore, all bugs were basically a hive mind controlled by the Moth God Radiance. This information is not supported by anything. <laughs> 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 oh that's like oh that's the phrase isn't it <laughs> that's like, yeah that yeah that this information is not supported by anything just fuck every time you could bring this up in half of mad pat's lore videos because this is the thing that mad pat does and we've talked about this before the stream started. We've talked about how sometimes MadPad will get into a lore conversation and we'll just make up some shit. Like out of complete nowhere that has no basis in the story of the game that he is making a theory off of. And but he just treats it as fact, you know? Mm -hmm. In this like, case, it's not even just that. It's there's information that horribly contradicts it too. Yeah. It's it's like like like, like you know, you know when he was making like he he made like his FNAF timeline videos and shit, and those time those timeline videos are basically just fan fiction that he made for the FNAF like timeline community, like for the FNAF theorist community. Like MadPep just for some reason sometimes just takes assumptions that he makes about the story of these games as fact, and every and spins everything else around it. I have but no idea why he does this. Can we read some of those fucking remarks? Because uh, the person who made the comment, like original comment, is actually like a big fucking lore master, like next to most bad. Like uh, this uh, is uh, this is like the lore master of the community. Let me only let me read. They let me continue to read these. Yes, only the Radiance's descendants, the Moth Tribe, worshipped her. Nowhere is it stated that the Radiance has controlled everything else. The Mantis Tribe, the Moss King, the Deep Nest, and the Hive were all separate tribes and already had minds before the Pale King. This isn't just a poem about the Pale King, it's directed to the Pale King. It is about Hollow Nest, and it is direct to Hollow Nest. Elegy for Hollow Nest. What do we see appear on screen just moments later? Or night. After the poem, we see the Hollow Knight! Not the King! The, no, not no, the no. Knight. The Knight scene appears after we see the Radiance break out of the Hollow Knight. Team Cherry is not drawing a parallel between the Knight and the Pale King. The poem is about Hollow Nest. It is for Hollow Nest. And the scene with the Knight does not appear <laughs> right after the poem. <laughs> this information is not supported by anything. <laughs> Elderbug says we're seeking our dreams and, and perhaps a very literal sense. The context of this scene matters. Elderbug is talking about all the previous travelers that went down into Hollow Nest to follow their dreams. He does not actually know if the knight has any dreams themselves. Elderbug's wondering if he's seen a ghost is another potentially clever play on words. No, it's not! <laughs> Elderbug is just referring to how he thought maybe he didn't see anyone pass him because the knight left so quickly. This dialogue has no other meaning besides that. Uh, the white lady is it more than simply a vessel. I almost feel like I'm once again in the princess of my beloved worm. The white lady only says this because the knight is wearing the king's soul. The king's soul reminds her of the pale king, not the knight themselves. Also, the white lady literally calls the knight her spawn when they first visit her in the with the grim child equipped. Success then for the Scarlet Heart and irony to use my spawn to grow its own. Are you saying that the white lady gave birth to her own husband? <laughs> Your noble bearing reminds me of our dear king. No surprise there since the knight is the child of the pale king. You guys are doing great, but I'm fucking The bugs in White Palace bowing as you approach them is just screaming that you're the king. White Palace is a whole other issue, but this is not really concrete evidence. Also, their dream nail dialogue makes no sense if it refers to the knight. 10 out of 10, royal retailers can't be wrong. You're royalty. You're actually right there. The knight is royalty, since they're the child of the king. But because they are the king. <laughs> this, line of, yeah. this line of more transformation seems to imply that the Pale King's death will only lead to yet another form. Not really. Bardoon says that the Pale King's death in Kingdom's Edge was not an actual death, but it was more like a transformation. This does not mean that the Pale King can transform again after he became his bug shape. A caterpillar transforming into a butterfly also cannot transform into another being again. 
It's an ancient force that opposes the blinding light of the Radiance. Not just the Rali Radiance's light, but the Pale King's too. He, re he is referred to as a light in multiple places. Another light appeared in our world, a worm that took the form of a king, no blazing king, only one light shall shine against the dark. King, light, M growth, in kind, flow, all think and field. Other bugs talk about the Pale King's emanating light, though even its pure aura is no match for the light of our dear king. I've heard it we have to have to read all of those. All right. Uh, the Pale King used the Void to fight time itself. He wants to use the Void to attain eternal life. He births himself as a Void-based creature. Not literally time. Time here is capitalized. It is more likely to just refer to the Radiance. Looking up the Radiance is generally seen as being what has caused the kingdom to remain in a stasis. It seems to suggest that this egg in White Palace is where version 1.0 of the king hatched into its upgraded form. It does not! The Pale King became his current bog form in the cast-off shell. The Wanderer's Journal even mentions that too on page 111. Deep within the maw of the cast-off shell, a pale broken egg of some sort hints at such rebirth. Not only that, but the egg of the night and the abyss would be deadly! For the Pale King, Void opposes his power. It would simply kill him if he were to become corrupted by the Void like the eggs of the vessels were. And I will add after that, eggs also use, like, remember what uh, fucking Merchant says about eggs? Mm -hmm. Those eggs you also use to store the power, like, the information. Elsewhere in so White Palace... Uh no, no, no. Elsewhere in the White Palace, there is a nursery playing this song in the music box. That sound that accompanies our night's past life coincides with the same sound from Nursery House in the Pelt King's Palace. Yes, this is true, but not because of the reason you're describing. It's because the Hollow Knight grew up in White Palace, Sea Path of Pain scene. This nursery was probably for them, and since the Hollow Knight is a vessel too, it makes sense that the shade theme plays for that. Uh, that the shade theme plays for that area. The existence of a connection between our knight and the Pale King seems undeniable. Yes, it is undeniable. The knight is the child of the Pale King. <laughs> oh. In COD dialogue that was data mined from the game, it shows that the Hollow Knight says father. COD dialogue is not evidence. <laughs> <laughs> the father line is COD dream nail dialogue. It was COD... For a reason! <laughs> we don't know when this line was written, in which context it would be used exactly, maybe the Hollow Knight's fight was different at the time, etc. <laughs> just, just take the- just cut dialogue is not evidence. Show that for so many theories. <laughs> Losing his memory helps him- helps make him purely hollow. No, <laughs> It does not? Quirrell lost his memory, and this does not happen to him. Not to mention that the knight is not hollow. There are multiple places where the knight is said to have a will. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God. Yeah, the... Oh. None of the points that were brought up align with the evidence that is in the game, and it even contradicts it in various places. To put it quite simply, the knight is not the Pale King. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, ugh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Just beautiful. Uh. I... How many shots was it? Was it just... I have no idea. I have Wait. no idea how many shots you took. My too many. <laughs> All at once? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, woman. Anyway, anyway, thank you everyone for visiting my whole stream. I so, will cry myself to sleep. So, like... I'm sorry, like, I'm a newcomer to this shit, like, I'm not nowhere near a fan of this game as you two are. But even I can recognize the blinding stupidity of that theory, because it just completely ruins the entire point of the game. If, if the Pale King wanted to be, to cast himself out of his godly shell to become something else, why the fuck? Was the Hollow Knight himself necessary to defeat the Radiance? 
Why go through all of this? All the abyss children, the entire process, hiding himself in the palace. What the fuck is the point? If the Pale King can just slap you and like remove the radiance from your body. Why? It somehow makes Why? him even more of a monster Why, than he already though? is. <laughs> somehow yes. he's an even worse person if Matt Pat's right. But why Guys. though? <laughs> Guys, if you hate if you hate Falcon, remember that in some timeline there's a mad pass. I uh, no. <laughs> like Azazel? Mm. You keep you you keep talking to me as if Matt Pat like did that video, but like you know he 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 like we love him in the FNAF community. No, he does the exact this exact same shit with FNAF, like every six high. months. I should get high on a weekend and just watch him. It's gonna be amazing. Like he does this shit every time. Just like yeah, I should, yeah, I should get high. Like the the thing the thing with MatPat is okay. And uh, by the way, but b before anyone gets like uppity and like starts to get legitimately angry at MatPat, MatPat is a cool guy, you know. Like MatPat mm -hmm. is not a bad person, and in fact, like his videos are actually extremely fucking entertaining, and like you know, he's a cool guy, you know. Like don't give him any hate. Uh, it's just that the style of his lore theory videos is upsetting. Because he takes a very specific idea, which is, you know, Pale King equals Knight, and instead of actually seeing if the game means for that to be the case, he just tries to find every single little small bit of evidence that could feed into his already pre-established conclusion that he made, you know? Yeah, it's not a hypothesis he has about, like, a specific thing in lore. That's the conclusion, and no matter what he sees, that will not change that. Because he's already thought, okay, he's working on a theory video, and the point of a theory video is to find the most, like, um, like mind-blowing, like, surprising, amazing conclusion that he can put on a thumbnail and he can put on, a t on the title of the video to make people speculate and to make people talk and to make people say, Oh my god, this changes everything, you know? So, he has that pre-established conclusion that he's already making in his head, and he's just trying to find every single other bit of evidence that can support that theory, and the things that don't support that theory or contradict it either are lies, or he just ignores it, you know? And that's not how it works. If you're going to actually quote unquote solve the lore of the pre-established uh, of the of the game or story that you're going to be theorizing about, you don't just Throw away the evidence that it contradicts your theory. You try to adjust your theory into what actually makes sense, not what you want it to be. Fuck. Yeah, because then you just get the absolute worst confirmation bias I have ever seen. <laughs> like, the actual worst confirmation bias ever. Like, when he said that Bendy enemies despawning was evidence. Oh! Because, like, okay. he has to take every single thing that makes sense to his theory and use it as evidence. It doesn't matter if it's, like, the most smallest little piece. As long as it furthers the idea he, that he's trying to put on the video, he will use it. Which makes the most fucking funniest shit in the world sometimes when he starts saying that fucking, like, Sans is Ness, you know? Like, Wait, can I just... Okay, okay. I really want him to make a video where the fuck his theory, a theory is gonna be... But I want him to use Hungry Knight as an evidence. <laughs> <sighs> Phil, uh, hey Phil, it's been nine hours. You have three hours to do Path of Pain. <gasps> oh, I do that. Go, go, go. Let's 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 go. I, I, okay. Wow, damn. Sheesh. Welcome to the bonus moment of the. Welcome to the bonus of the stream. We have already done everything that we needed to do. This is just bonus time. I'm going to try I mean, to beat can... Path of Pain within two hours. I mean... <laughs> he know? Does he know? I don't, okay. but that's the point. But... Oh, okay. By the way, we can quickly go get something? Okay. Okay, let me guide you once fucking again. <laughs> I fucking okay. love this set of streams, by the way. Thank you all for being here. I... These have been wonderful. But yeah, again, please I... don't fucking, please don't, don't, don't genuinely hate or dislike MatPat for us shitting on his theories. Like the theories themselves are the thing that you have to make fun of. The yeah. guy is actually pretty cool. 
Yeah, don't criticize somebody for the stuff, like, you know, for the stuff they've made in this instance, you know? Yeah. Like, criti cri like you can criticize the content, but not the person for making it. Yeah. Unless, like, that person's, like, a... Like... Okay, you'll, cha you'll change your charm uh, charms on, uh, in the game itself. Like, okay, let's go to... Okay. Resting grounds now. With speed Ryan. All right. Oh. Resting grounds, go. Ah, oh. but yeah, look, every time I complain about a thing or a product or a video or a game, people automatically think that I hate the person behind it. No. You no, just hate his opinion. You shouldn't hate someone because they did a mom, bad mom. job at... They did a bad job. Like, the person themselves is nice and amicable and, like, cool. But just, like, <laughs> maybe they did a bad job. But you can just critique the bad job that they did. You can't... You shouldn't just hate the person because they did it. It's like, a person is a person. Fucking lay off, you know? Huh? Anyways... Ah, we'll do no, we no, no, you have to, you have to, no. feel, 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 uh, it's important. Shut so, up. You, 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 you miss the best part of the fucking lore. Fucking let, Sorry. let Buster do the job. Sorry. <laughs> Set speed run. They were content to bask in that light and honored it for a time. But another light appeared in our world. A worm that took the form of a king. <laughs> How fickle <laughs> my ancestors must have been. They forsook the light that spawned them, turned their backs to it, forgot it even. And so this kingdom was born from that betrayal. But the memories of that ancient light still lingered, hushed whispers of faith, until all of Hollowness began to dream of that forgotten light. Ooh. Ah, but what's done is done, and so am I. The wielder has at last appeared, and I've held the memories of my tribe for long enough. It is time for us to be forgotten, too. Aww. Don't remember us, wielder. Don't honor us. We don't deserve it. I'm sorry. Aww. Light. Radiance. I remember you. Aww. Man. So that's what she meant when she said that she was making up for the crimes of her tribe. Yeah, because she blames her tribe for getting the radiance and leaving them behind for another god as being the cause of everything. Yeah. Okay, now hit a station. Do we have the charms for the Path of Pain? Any any other recommendations? Oh, uh, th th there will be a, oh, there will be a bench. Don't worry. All right. That's sad. It was not her fault. Yeah, but it was. She was the last of her kind. <gasps> she was the last yeah. of her kind, and like, they they kind of shared blame with uh the pale king in a way. Bitch. Oh, they fucking good. Okay, uh, go right up. Okay, I took an elevator. <gasps> Jump! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. And we here. Well, oh my god. Let me see this corner really cool. Oh, let's, oh, let's take a shake. Path of here Pain! Here we are. So, no more charms are needed. I think these are it. Okay, uh, Pastra, any, mm -hmm. any thoughts? Ah! Uh, all, mm. th none, none of the stuff, like, none of the lifeblood charms, like, the extra health wouldn't stack with, uh, the hive charm, would it? Mm-hmm. Mm. No. No, actually? Okay, if I see, is there, like, a combination between, okay, I think it's, there's a combination that gives you lifeblood and, uh, yeah, this combination, remember? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the lifeblood does stack with the hive charm. Yeah, it does. Okay, should we try that? 
You cannot heal though, but if you will be patient enough. Well, yeah, that's the thing. You, you're either you're either trading your ability to heal for more hearts that will slowly regenerate, or you can just regenerate with the addition of that. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good because the other way with the lifeblood is probably going to be slower, and we're already kind of pressed for time. Baby Grim now. Yeah. No, he's going to be a distraction. Oh, the best Witness secret life. sealed. One must endure the harshest punishments. And the wailing kicks in. What the fuck? Dash first. Okay, here we go. Alright, anyway, welcome to the Media Buster Podcast, Just where Ophelia is basically <laughs> dying in the background. This game two hours. Year, and while I'm not two into hours. Games like this, two hours. Two hours, hours of perpetual oh, death. Liked it so far. Oh, how long will it take for him to give up? Oh. Alpha Kata donates $10 and says, Just popping in to say hi. I finished the game earlier this year, and while I'm not into games like this, I really enjoyed it. How you've liked it so far? I literally finished it, like, a few hours ago, and it is the peak of its genre. Hmm. Alright. This, so this is my favorite challenge in the game. Also, hi. Yeah, How you doing? No, I don't mean, like... Oh, dude. Mission doubles again. Oh, I forget. I... But okay, your top scenario characters. Sorry. Your top scenario characters, like. Ooh. Like mm, okay, yeah, Karomi. So. so. Yeah, yeah Karomi my favorite. Um, I also fucking love uh Kropi, cause he's just three circles. Wait, just like that. The little frog. Kropi? Yeah, Kropi. Oh, he's cute, yeah. Have I you seen him. his family? Have you seen his family? I don't think so. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. can you Google his family and just read the names out loud? Alright, alright. Let me pull up, uh. Boy, okay. Karopi's friends and family. We've got... Okay, wait. I'm gonna make sure this is, these are the right characters. Wait, I, I'm just gonna DM you a screenshot of these names to make sure I'm reading out the right ones. Because it okay. is late and I don't trust myself. Dude, it's like... It's like 8 a.m. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. for you! Ah, oh, well, it's 7.30. Oh my gosh! Did Emery, like, okay. I remember when on Ape Stream, yes, 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 it's the right name. Like, the like just the first, like, the first five. Okay, let's see. We've got Kiki, Karopi, Karopa, Karoma, Karoji, Karoba, Karoli, Kuro Kurosuke? Dude, imagine fucking naming your characters by the name of the one. Like, my god. <laughs> like... Fucking Clyde, Clyde man. Clyde, Clyde man. Clyde woman. Oh, holy shit. Ah, he has this only three genders. Like... Oh my Oh wait, speaking of gingers, do you know- uh, do, do- do you like Wilwood? I do like Wilwood, yes! Nice! Like, I was about to ask because, like, uh, the music of Wilwood played, like, twice the stream. And uh, this is my favorite artist. I know, like, um... Wilwood has one album I absolutely adored. <laughs> um, it's Selfish. Selfish is- Selfish Dude, is one of my selfish, favorite albums. Selfish is so fucking good. Okay, mm, fuck, I can give you the entire fucking playlist they have, and this just the Wilwood favorite songs. Like... Sure, yeah. Like, you probably heard all of them. Like... <laughs> like, dude, Wilwood is so fucking good. Like... I really enjoy Wilwood. I need to I need to actually listen to more of them, because I've only really listened to Selfish, and I was like, that's amazing, but then I never bothered with anything else. F fuckers, but like, oh yes, I like this artist who's into one album. 
I, I never I never said they were like my number one is the thing. I mean fair. Okay, the other command okay, I will give you some songs that I fucking adore to death. Like I should have to destroy my fucking dump your DMs with like amazing songs like mm. Yeah, please the, do. Dude, Dr. Sunshine is my favorite from fucking like uh what is it? Dr. Sunshine is my favorite from Selfish. Yeah, that one's really fucking good. Uh, my, my favorite- my favorite from Selfish, um, why am I blanking on the name? Late. Uh... Oh, Cotard Solution, that's the name of it. Oh, do I remember this? Like, I- like, I really need to... Dude, a little bit is a genius. Like, when I know more about him, like... Oh yeah, dude, I was about to send you this video, like, exactly right now, I was... I was fucking searching for that. Like, dude, the bit... Like, I really like how it's like, you know, it's so like, like, quiet and normal the first time, and then the bit goes off. Mm-hmm. It's so fucking good. Dude, the main character, though. Yeah, oh my god. Main character is... Mm, Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, okay I, I know we do not talk about that name of the stream, but when I when I let Phil listen to this song, he said fucking Bab King song. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> fucking hell. Okay, okay. Uh, hey, uh, fucking. Okay, do you listen to Mother Mother? I do listen to Mother Mother, yes. Nice, dude. The thing, I love how this. Uh, okay, I are okay. I will, okay, I will say this because I cannot pronounce the original name of the song, but the horny song. I think I know what you're talking about. You probably know this. How many songs they did like that? <gasps> dude, okay, no, no. Actually, my favorite one, Body. Look, dude, why do you have such a big fucking coping mechanism for me back in this? By the way, feel heal while you can. I just remember Body from back, like, when animation memes were really big and everyone did animation oh. memes of that song. Dude, I hate how everyone did a fucking Body meme. Like, dude, uh... Body is a good song, though. Like, I really like the theme. Like, it, like, sorry, I was called heal heal. Like, uh, is he... Death and no, he's, no he's just really focused. Anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, oh dude. Hmm. Fucking Jack Strauber. Uh, again, how would you pronounce his name? Stra Jack Strauber. Nah, you know. I showed her Opal. Yeah, I know I seen Opal before she showed it to me. Do you know Opal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love Jack Stober. Yeah, oh my god. Like, yeah, Fucking... no, fucker is insane. Oh, so there was point blanks all that. Okay, yeah, it was two time. I really love two time from Jack Stober. Dude, two time. Fuck, I will actually some actual good fucking memes. Like memes. I hate it that people call them male memes, even though it's like. Like, you know, just fucking, fucking PowerPoint presentation. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Fucking the division of your community. <laughs> but, like, dude. It was. Like, there's some good fucking two times. Like, um, like, I remember seeing two times from, like, this one Korean artist. You know, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, like, I, I, I love how everybody, everybody knows them for this one, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, you know, bringing up, bringing up Mother, like, Mother Mother before, that reminds me of, like, one time I was, um, there was one time I was on Spotify, and I was, um, what and I was looking... What a good start to the story, wow. Yeah, right? What a good start to the story. I was on Spotify, um... Because I was trying to find, um, I was trying to find Wesker's theme from RE4 Mercenaries, like the original game. Mm -hmm. And I remember I found a playlist that somebody had made. Mm -hmm. and, let me read the name of this playlist that I had found when I was looking for this particular piece of music. 
By the way, you're doing this, Phil. Am I advised heal? And second of all, when the second saw on the... Uh, when the saw on the second player, like, top saw goes away, Nick said to Crystal Dash. I... Remember this really briefly, but... Second, uh, on top. On top, so when it goes away, Crystal Dash. This is what Nick says. Just fully goes away. Thank you, Nick. There you go. But yeah, I, um, I found this playlist while I was looking for his RE4 Mercenaries theme. The playlist mm -hmm. is called Wesker's Autistic Villain Swagger Playlist. Oh, and when I found this playlist, when I found this playlist, I was in a VC with my friends, and I said out loud, how much you guys want to bet this this playlist has at least two Mother Mother songs on it? So I looked it up, it has exactly two Mother Mother songs on it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that okay, okay, it, it's gonna be two Halos, right? Just two okay. Halos, that's it. The two Mother Mother songs on the Wesker's Autistic Villain Swagger playlist are waiting for the world to end and businessman. Hmm. What is this to Halo be there? We've also got his mercenaries theme. Oh, uh, it's Psycho oh, Killer by uh Talking Heads. Dragula by Rob Zombie. Um and by Tally Hall. Uh-huh. Um let's see here. What other random ass songs do we have? We got some creature feature songs, if y'all have ever listened to them. We've got I Want You Gone from Portal 2. Uh, 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 we've got Turn the Lights Off by Tally Hall. Of course, I love that one. Course, yeah, it fits Wesker one. very well. Uh, we've got No One Lives Forever He's by just Boingo like me Boingo. for real. <laughs> just like me for real, for real. Uh, hey, speaking of Jack Stober, we've got Choice on here. Of course. Um, we've got the I'm Prowler's good. theme from Spider-Verse. Uh... Huh. I'm just uh, imagining Albert motherfucking Wesker playing Portal 2 and getting to thing. getting to the ending of that game and thinking, mmm, yes. Wesker played through all of Portal 2, heard that end credit song and went, yes, I vibe with this. <laughs> <laughs> this wait, is wait, wait. such a vibe. By the way, Wesker, he's like half I feel. <laughs> I'm halfway? Yeah, you're halfway through the Path of Pain. This is easy as fuck. Yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, surprisingly. Okay, should I do all the- Okay, actually, if we have time, do you want to do all the 57? If there's time? I mean, he's halfway through, come on. Like... True, yeah. I do believe in him. Wow, he's doing great. Actually, I must put my root beer in the fridge because who the fuck left the warm beer? Am I right? Am I right? Of course I'm right. Oh, I like the super chat that just says, of course, it has Oingo Boingo on it. <laughs> uh, what else do we got on this Man, playlist? Albert <laughs> Wesker really loved Spider-Verse. Man, Albert Wesker <laughs> watched Spider-Verse, saw the scenes with the Prowler, and he's like, man, I wish that played when I was chasing people. <laughs> Man, like, uh, just imagine it. Chris is all like, oh shit, it's Wesker. And then I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> As a Resident Evil fan, I love this interpretation of Wesker. I do too. <laughs> oh, there's also more Portal 2 music. Uh... <laughs> Albert Wesker canonically loves Portal. What? We've also got like some stuff from other Resident Evil soundtracks, but those were removed from Spotify. Um, oh come on! Oh my god! It just what gets me the most is I want you gone from Portal because the person who made this playlist sat down, listened to that song, heard its lyrics, and went, "This is just like Wesker. Oh my <laughs> this god, is just, like... just like Wesker. Oh my god, just like me for real. Like what part about that?" It's like it's obvious that you know that it's just the 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 the, the playlist owner's personal songs, but it's just like he views them through the lens of Wesker. Like I don't know what's funnier, you know, this person's personal playlist just having Wesker thrown on it as a joke, or like this person sat down, heard all these songs, and they were like, "This is so Wesker core." <laughs> I need to focus. Just, 
Please do not, please do not say Vesco Core. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh, killing people is so Vesco Core. Murder is so Wesker Core. This is the song that plays when he releases Ouroboros. It's the fucking wow from Spider Verse. <laughs> That's so fucking good. <laughs> oh, I fucking love Resident Evil. It's so fucking. I love Resident Evil so much. Uh. Okay, hell. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I saved. Anyway, I saved this playlist. And, oh my god, you did! Oh my. And I god. listen to it when I play Wesker in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> <laughs> the canonical does. Wesker playlist. Actually, I am not actually, kidding. Actually... I unironically listen to that shit when I'm playing Dead by Daylight as Wesker. It gets me in the mood because it's so goofy. Yeah, guys, guys, this is just Buster promoting his Spotify playlist. I did not make this playlist. I did uh -huh, not! Uh -huh, it yeah. was made by Cool Guy on Spotify! <laughs> his name is Cool Guy and his profile picture is Wesker! Can I, okay, can, give me the title once again. I, I, want, I want this. Wesker's Autistic Villain Swagger Playlist. Wait, wait, I just checked his profile! He has one called Ethan Winters Core. Oh! <laughs> and it has another Mother Mother song! I can't. I fucking can't. What are the options? What 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 what's in there? What's in there? What's in there? Okay, so we've got we've got we've got some songs from the Resident Evil like seven and eight soundtracks. Fair All right. right. Um, we've got once again "Turn the Lights Off" by Tally Hall. Of course, yeah. Ethan would listen to that. We've got "Hey Loft" from Mother Mother. Okay, we'll we go have... here. <laughs> we, we... <laughs> okay, we wait. Have... Which one, "Hey Loft"? Uh, the original from Oh My Heart. Okay. We okay. have. Discord by the Living Tomb. Oh! Ethan Winters is a Brody. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Ethan Winters is a Brody. Ethan. <laughs> we have Losing My Mind by Mystery Skulls. <laughs> oh my! We god. have a Lemon Demon song. Yeah. Okay, oh my fucking god! Not Lemon Demon, no. Eighth Wonder by Lemon Demon from the Spirit Foam album. We've got that on the Ethan Winters Core playlist. <coughs> bust your drink, bust your drink, bust your drink. I, I, I got water, I got water, I got water. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose Plash to fucking Ethan fucking, uh, fucking playlist. You don't even, you haven't even you know, seen who Ethan is! You explained it to me, thought, no? The thought that they were sitting there at their computer <laughs> listening to Living Tombstone and they went, Oh my god. Ethan would totally like Ethan. love the Living Tombstone's Discord. I'm hauling Discord. up the moon. Just like a lichen! <laughs> Just like a lichen! Holy shit! Oh. Sleeping in the middle of a summer afternoon like a vampire! Like Lady Demetrisk! Oh my god! Does this Ethan is such playlists? a fucking nerd. <laughs> what? What? Oh my god, playlist for a certain boulder punching asshole in the oh! picture is Chris! <laughs> what does Chris listen to? We've got some Fallout Boy. <laughs> We've got I Am All of Me! Yeah! <laughs> Chris Redfield is such a fucking edgelord, holy shit! Bohemian Rhapsody! <laughs> he listens to Queen! A little Dark Age! Oh, this is for fucking no one. <laughs> We've got, oh my fucking god, Discord by Living Tombstone again! Nice songs, Ethan! <laughs> American Idiot by Green Day. Ah. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I need to focus, I need to focus, I need to focus. This, I'm I, losing my fucking mind right now. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing, sorry. I'm losing my fucking mind right now. I, I do not mean to distract you, but I am just having so much fun. Okay, I'm dude, I was, Spotify. I was literally just like in 100% focus mode a few minutes ago, and then you hit me with Albert's Autistic Villain playlist, and I'm like, wait, what? I am so sorry. I, I did not mean to ruin the run. I swear. Like, oh my god. Oh, I need to focus, 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 focus. Okay, okay. I am the tiger. 
Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Wait, this is <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, sabotage. Uh, there's a playlist for what's her face from RE5? What was her Sheva? name even? No, not Sheva. Uh, what the fuck was her name? Nixella? That was that, yes, yes, that's her name. That's her uh, name. There's a playlist made for her. She has it, no the playlist. Her. It's called a playlist for girl bossing too close to the sun. Oh, uh, fuck off. <laughs> Uh, Phil, uh, Nick's gonna try, uh, stop doing, stop doing, trying to do this kid. Alright. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't have any funny ones, the name's just goofy. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking dying. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop looking through this uh. person's Spotify. No, no, I'll do it more. Do it more. <laughs> I need it. It's best for dying or left leg to for two oh, minutes. You, you don't Dude. Understand. Dude. <laughs> for a fucking Resident Evil fan, this shit is fucking comedy gold. You have no idea. This is the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I wish I would play a fucking... Uh, I, I wish I would fucking Resident Evil as much as you. But I don't wish I would play oh. the fourth one. It's the best. And apparently the, the fourth one or make is not even as the fourth one? Like, the original? Please tell me there's a playlist for Leon. Oh, I'm looking. Please! Please! I'm looking, I'm looking. I beg of you! <laughs> they have they have a playlist called Zombie Simulator. Uh-huh. The description of the playlist reads, Maybe the real Resident Evil with nods to other zombie media Spotify playlist was the friends we made along the way. What? The picture is a carton of milk with Jill Valentine on it. Of course. And the first song is the Texas song from SpongeBob. <laughs> and X Gon' Give It To Ya <laughs> is the next song. We have a bunch of tracks from RE4. Oh, this um, person is an artist. You're got, an artist, mate. We've got Rainbow Factory by Wooden Toaster. <laughs> Uh, We've got, uh, once again, turn the lights off. <laughs> ra, 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 Sputin. Oh, God. Once again, I am all of me from the Shadow the Hedgehog <laughs> official soundtrack. It's a pretty good song. It is. I like it. Discord from Living Tombstone is on here twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> it's tier twice. All I'm all, I'm all I am. Here we go, but buddy. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Here we go, every, buddy. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. It has every single song from every single Resident Evil soundtrack that is on Spotify. Oh. Every single one. Oh. This is like, okay, <laughs> this, you know what this is? This is my 13 year old ass fucking Spotify playlist. No, me too, though. Literally, <laughs> me too. I would have, I would have put like fucking all hail shadow on here from Sonic 06, and I would have been like, yeah, this just screams Leon. <laughs> oh, I fucking Where love this stream. Oh, this, this stream is so fucking good. Holy shit! Oh, oh my god! Holy shit! The stream is good. Holy fuck! <laughs> They didn't make one for me. All, I am all that I am. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Have fun. Imagine, imagine this person right was watching this stream right now because they're like, oh man, I love, I love Fizz and Amit Pass. No, content. no. <laughs> and they were just like, wait a minute, these playlist <laughs> titles sound kind of familiar. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, you did a good job, buddy. You did a good job. If, like, if, your person, if, if you're the person who made these playlists and you're watching, good you job. the highlight of my night, please. Good you're, job. You did awesome. I, you're great. Please, please don't Keep stop doing what playlists. you're doing. Please make one for Leon. We're, we're a fan of your content. Could you make me one for Heisenberg? <laughs> Just for me. Oh my god. <laughs> I was waiting, I was waiting to see, like, a Nemesis playlist, and I was waiting to see, like, a really emotional, like, Mother Mother song. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, Hayloft, very Nemesis core. <laughs> How do 
do you even find this up? Again, I only went down this rabbit hole because I was looking for Wesker's RE4 Mercenaries theme because that song slaps while I'm playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> you found the mother load. I was looking for a good song to listen to while playing Dead by Daylight, and I found the best playlist <laughs> ever. <laughs> like, the best thing. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't made any more. <laughs> They've... I'm still just... Why did they make a playlist for Excella of all characters? Yeah, I guess they the really fuck? liked Resident Evil 5. Was the, I guess, what, yeah. Was the, was the profile picture of Chris, like, the one from RE5? It's the one of him from the Resident Evil manga. Oh, that's a ball. And their profile picture is Wesker from the same manga. Huh. The, but, the, but the picture for the Wesker playlist is his RE4 Mercenaries, like, model. Interesting. Oh my god, there's a quote on the Wesker's Autistic Villain Swagger playlist. Okay. I died once. I will never forget the cold, dark fingers of death reaching for me. Oh. However, even that death was a necessary component of the big picture. Now allow me to play my theme song, <laughs> Once You Gone from Portal 2, to properly explain my emotions to you, Chris. Like, really listen to this shit, Chris. You gotta take it in, man! <laughs> I'm sorry, Essie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm so, this was supposed to be our podcast, and I just derailed it so bad because you brought up Mother Mother. I am so uh, sorry. I mean, I mean I it, was doing, the film was doing so good when both of you talk about Resident Evil. I, <laughs> yes, I'm yes. sorry. I didn't mean to. I did not mean to. No, I feel Fucking like Albert Wesker's autistic right? villain playlist is the highlight of my day, too. Holy shit. Correction, Phil. Wesker's autistic villain, Swagger. <laughs> <laughs> you left out a kick. <laughs> I didn't even register that part. <laughs> oh, you shit. left out the most important part. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking cry, though, for real. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> she won't live to see the dawn. <laughs> Swagger. <laughs> my impersonation's falling apart too, because I can't keep myself composed enough to swap my <laughs> voice over. Uh... <laughs> Elsa, you've messed up a hundred times now, so so check. Sick. Is that like? I've been <laughs> at this for less minutes? than thirty minutes. That's like over like fucking three fails per fucking minute. <laughs> that is insane. I mean, I mean, he actually has final part. Am I? <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is easy as shit. Uh, yeah. Okay, actually... This is easy as shit. Okay, yeah. Why yeah, should once... I say... uh, Are you okay? No, I'm just... I'm crying. I'm just recovering, okay? <laughs> uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay, great. Fucking tears, oh. dude. I, I am crying shit. and my face hurts. You gotta give me a minute to recuperate, okay? Fucking tears, dude. <laughs> Pastor at UK, I've never been better. I can't believe that Ethan fucking Winters is a fucking brony. Oh my, I need to look at that playlist again. I mean, it kind of makes course. sense if you really think about it. I like the, the, the description too. Have you ever wanted to pretend you were a strange man in the state of Louisiana looking for your missing wife? <laughs> well, now you can. Discord, I'm holding up the moon and sleeping in the middle of a summer afternoon. <laughs> Listening to that shit while fighting Jack Baker in the garage. No, no, that's the song that Ethan was listening to on the car on the way to Louisiana at the start of the cutscene in Resident Evil 7. I miss my wife. I miss her a lot. <laughs> this song encapsulates my misery. Discord, I'm how they get the moon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'm gonna fucking cry. I'm gonna fucking cry. Fucking Hayla for Mother Mother. Uh, <laughs> fucking Lemon Demon! I miss my wife, Chris. I miss my wife a lot, Chris. Losing Dude. spirit phone with me to cope. Not now, Ethan. <sighs> I'm busy listening to my playlist. My playlist for a certain boulder-punching asshole, as I call it. Uh, now, if you, you can tell me, you could tell this person really loves Resident Evil 2. Like, it's not like just like a fake fan. Like, this is a real pull. This is a real pull fan. 
real no, fan. No, you can tell. You can tell so much that this person just like really loves Resident Evil, and they're like, you know, associating the characters they like with songs that, that they, they really like. like. Yeah. Which, like, you know, as much as I've been laughing, that's that's wholesome as fuck to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Like, that's, that's, like that's, I'm that's not really hating wholesome. on this guy. This is the shit that I would do when I was his age. No, literally me too. Literally me too. Imagine Luis's playlist. Oh my fucking god. Did someone make a playlist for Luis? I want to see if other people have done this. Please! Let me see. Have other Give people Give me the done character this? playlists. All right, let me, let me look up Leon S. Kennedy and see what comes up. All right, let's see here. What's on the, what's on the playlist for the fucking Pale King? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I'll check that in a second. We've got we've got a good one here. We've got your right hand comes off a Leon S. Kennedy playlist. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Gimme! Give Gimme! Give we've got Okay, let's see. We've got some songs from the Devilman Crybaby OST. Okay. Makes okay. sense. Alright, we've got some Three Days Grace. He's an angsty boy, he'd listen to that. Yeah? Um we got Little Dover Cage once again. Uh American Idiot. Of uh, course, yeah. Weezer! <laughs> There's Weezer! Uh. <laughs> we got Dream Sweet and C Major. Man, the people who make these playlists really like Tally Hall and Miracle Musical stuff. They really, really like Tally Hall is pretty so good. There's so much Weezer. There is so much Weezer. This playlist is like 70% Weezer. <laughs> I so fucking, fucking much. Leon S. Kennedy, like, on his car. Heading to Raccoon City at the start of Resident Evil 2 while listening to I Wanna Be an American Idiot. <laughs> I like the idea of him listening to like Buddy Holly in that car. <laughs> Just like, what's with these? <laughs> um, oh, we got some Jack Stover. More Lemon Demon. Of oh, we got Clint Eastwood by Gorillaz. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Resident Evil fans really love fucking Tally Hall. They really like Tally Hall. They go hand in hand. I mean, I love Tally. I mean, Hall, I love so I Tally I Hall, talk. so you know. Yeah. <laughs> you and I, you and I aren't really ones to judge with this. We're kind of playing into that statistic there. Uh, Man, what a stereotype. Palm Tree Panic from the Sonic CD soundtrack. That's a fucking pull. That is. That is wild. <laughs> that is a that is a crazy choice. Holy shit! I'm so sorry, Assy. <laughs> Let me try this podcast. I'm I just so have I just have a I just have a place in the first row. <laughs> I've just I've been, I've become so invested with this. Like, I'm so invested this. in the character playlists. I'm so. I want to do you know one. It. I want to know what my favorite Resident Evil this character is to. This is a whole genre of content creation that I've never been like aware of until now. Wait, hold on. I need to look up Carl Heisenberg. I need this. I need this. <laughs> it's I need a this. thing that just exists in Spotify. Yes. You can just people can make public playlists, <laughs> and a ton of people look for playlists of characters they like. What's Fi's wanna... playlist? Yes. Look, do you want me to look up if someone made one? No, definitely not. Definitely not. I'm not fucking popular enough for that. But like, it's just I want somebody to make one now. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Well, what is see, Clyde's Carl playlist? Oh, let's see. Is there one for me? Maybe. Is there one for me? Oh. I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not seeing one. Wait. 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 What, if I what look is up Clyde's other fucking oh, Spotify playlist? Oh my god. Clyde the Eastridge Demon. Someone Ooh. actually made a playlist for me. Ooh. A playlist of songs that remind me of Clyde, aka the Eastridge Demon from Dreams of an Insomnia, a ah. created by Pastra. Ah. Someone actually made one. Holy shit! Wait, someone. Okay. How, what, what, how recent is this? Uh, so can I see when this was made? I don't think I can. Did somebody can. on this chat make it right now? There's no way. It's got it's got it's got so many songs in it already. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna read off the songs from this, and I'm just gonna preface this right away. I am not judging you for having made this. I am not no, we're blaming hyped. you the person. We're hyped. I am excited right we're now. We're hyped! I do not I do not want it to come across that I am being mean-spirited. I am so excited right Yo, now. This is genuine hype. 
<laughs> okay. Like I'm the I'm the got. toxic asshole that like belittles people's work and shit like that. But no, like I'm fascinated now. No, whoever made this, thank you. You're <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Let's see, we got okay. Turn the lights off by Tally Hall. Of course! <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> A mask of my own face by Lemon Demon. Alright. We got I Can't Decide by Scissor Sisters. Of course! <laughs> We've got we <laughs> We got more more Tally Hall music. We got Murders from the Miracle Musical. Um, we've got People Eater. I guess that of one Of course! Fits. That one fits. <laughs> um, the Mind Electric. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be so real. This person actually has good song choices for this character. Fucking I Can't Decide. Yeah, no shit. I Can't Decide's a good one. Um, Turn the Lights Off actually kind of fits with Clyde, funnily yeah. enough. Yeah? Uh, Murders fits with Clyde. Mind Electric fits. These- This is actually a good playlist. Actually in character, though! Like, this person actually fit the characterization of Clyde with this. This is not like- I'm this fascinated. Is not like... I am fascinated by this new kind of media thing. <laughs> no, dude, uh, like... Uh, yeah? What's up? Somebody says that Chai has Elsa Claus playlist. Wait, there's- What? Somebody people are making- so People are making playlists of my other characters? I don't fucking know. Somebody said that Chai I- I don't there... know how it's terrifying. There's multiple Lankman ones! Holy okay. shit! Okay, you know, I'm not surprised about Lankman. Okay, let's be honest. I saw you coming in here. There's multiple! <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know. Oh, I hey, know. Azazel, you'd love this. It's full of Will Wood. Of course. Shut up! Come on, it is like exclusively Will Wood, actually. <laughs> wait, it, wait, Lankman is a wait. huge Will Wood fan! Okay, it actually, is only okay. Will Wood is literally only Will Wood. Okay, people wait. have to be making this shit midstream. No, it cannot be only Will Wood. Like, I mean, yeah, Will Wood is like. Brain Holy brain. shit, Lankman! Actually, actually, fun for this. Lankman. <laughs> I would actually say, yeah, Lankman is actually a fucking Will Wood fan. Like, no, no, how Cannon. Will Wood is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my man loved Selfish. That's his favorite album. No. Oh my god, there's. Okay, what's the other Lankman? I, 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 I love when Lankman just, uh, you know, midway stops and just says, say my name like a slayer. <laughs> <laughs> that actually happened. That really did. Oh my gosh. True story. He, Fucking he, he cannon. Just look, he just looks at Clyde and like, say my name like a slayer, Lankman. Pastor being shocked that people are making stuff about his characters. No, no, that's not what's surprising. It's not that I'm getting fan content. It's that I'm getting this, this fan specific content. one. Like fan art, I totally get. It. I appreciate it, but I get it. Yeah. Like, but somebody making a playlist and being like, oh yeah, Clyde would Clyde would <laughs> love this shit. This I don't know amazing. why. I feel like a child on fucking Christmas morning right now. Dude, right? Like This <laughs> made a joke, Clyde just lay down like Hello Kitty headphones, just swinging his legs and like listening to that. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Character oh playlists. Both? Both Lankman playlists are loaded with Will Wood music. Yeah. Both of them. He just seems like I that mean, kind I mean, of guy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Will Wood is literally insane. If I'm like, not like, okay, like, fuck, like, personality tests, like, fuck INTP, fuck, like, 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 alignment charts. Give me the character playlists. Give me. Give me, give me the Spotify playlist that your characters would listen to. Give me, please. Wait, wait, Pasha! Mm-hmm, Pasha! Mm -hmm. Can't yeah. you do oh, this? Oh, 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 I oh, did it, oh. bitches! Get ready, get ready! What? Fight them, fight them! I don't have any combat ones! What? No, no. Oh, no shit, no I don't shit. have any combat ones, though! What? No. What? No. What? No. I don't have any combat ones! No! <laughs> no. I'm not here! I'm not here! I don't have any combat ones. What do you mean? I, I, I specifically put charms in there just for platforming. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, Pasha, Pasha, I think we should have told him. You fucking assholes! I forgot! I was 
I was in the playlist. I was, in, I was in the middle of the playlist. Shit. I was thinking about <laughs> Whiskers' autistic villain swagger playing. What do you mean? I say so! Oh I say so! Uh, you bitch! Why you have done nothing? What? Why are you so mean? <laughs> you haven't done oh, anything! You fucking bitch! Why you haven't oh. done anything? Why are you hoping you're yelling at me? Oh. Ugh. All right. I have to be so mean. Back in there. Right now. I'm about to make a playlist about my misery. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, has been remember for ten months. Five playlists: the wheels on the bus, Humpty Dumpty, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Baba Black Sheep, Jack and Jill. I am all of all of me. Crush forty. <laughs> The uh, idea of listening to like a bunch of nurse rides, then you hear the freaking da -na -na, da -na -na -na, <laughs> right at the end, <laughs> or the fucking Prowlers theme. I see a you no know, evil black markets on the wall. Na 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 the faces, and one by one they fall. <laughs> Did you know that was the first game I've ever played? Oh my fuck! Of course. That was the first game I ever played. Of course. When I was a kid, my first ever console was a GameCube, and the first game my parents bought me was Shadow the Hedgehog. Fucking okay, course. Okay, Phil, uh, made my stick. Flat hard and evil. Here we go, buddy, here we go, buddy, here we go. <laughs> here we go, buddy, here we go, buddy, here we go. <laughs> I unironically love that game, by the way. <laughs> me too! Oh I played God, it on the too. PS2! Me too! I unironically love that game! <laughs> I love that game to death! It is one of my favorite Sonic games! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. I loved it. Evo. I loved it when Shadow the Hedgehog shot the police. It was so funny. So like Aya is not even fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, all I am all I am. <laughs> that opening cutscene still goes anyways, so fucking hard. Uh, anyways, uh time is ticking, Phil. Yeah, right, 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 right. Right, right, right. We have a we have a time limit, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> God fucking hell, this stream fucking rules. I have never laughed so hard on a stream. Just a stream in general. Oh, shit. Thank oh you, Coco, for the five letters. There is a Dead by Daylight soundtrack, but your Spider Man playlist, and it's a mess of everything. <laughs> I, 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 I swear to fucking God, never in my life have I heard of this genre of content creation. Fucking character playlists. I know. I like love it. I only found out about this shit properly because I wanted to listen to Albert Wesker. Like, it makes sense. I just didn't think it was a thing that existed until now. I still uh. want to see what people think Carl Heisenberg listens to. I've got one here. Uh, let's... Oh, he, of course he listens to My Chemical Romance. Of course. Mother Miranda never lets me listen to any My Chemical Romance. Holy shit, that's a really good impression. I, I quote him a lot. <laughs> I quote him a lot. You know, I when you were originally first playing Resident Evil 8, I told you that you were going to get into a section that you're going to really like, and I expect you to like it that much. No, dude. Um. Okay, okay. Like, you got to understand, right? Um, Industrial themes in horror are probably my favorite kind of setting of all yeah. time. So much so that I'm literally replicating it in my own work with, yeah. the, with like my next entry in my series. And on top of that, one of my favorite works of fiction of all time is Frankenstein. Yeah. Heisenberg is literally everything I like in a character and in like a setting for horror in one guy. Fuck yeah. He's even based off of a movie I like, which I immediately noticed because of the designs of the enemies. Fuck yeah. Because there's literally a movie called Frankenstein's Army where he makes a whole army propeller of mechanical monsters with a propeller-headed monster. And I saw that shit, I'm like, there's no way they did this. There's no way they made this. Like, it, it, Rip the fuck I, off. When, yeah, honestly. Uh, <laughs> but... When I, I, I'm not kidding when I say it feels like Resident Evil 8 was made with me in mind. It, yeah, it's no, it's fair uncanny. Enough. You can have like the best game ever. You can have the most pinnacle of genre ever game. But if there's a game 
that sure has its faults, but it was it felt like it was made for you, then yeah, fuck it, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, my god, it blew me away. <laughs> he also listens to Will Wood, by the way. <laughs> the Oogie Boogie song from Nightmare Before Christmas? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ethan Winters, why don't you take a listen to my... Yeah, you know what? It all. actually fits, though. It does! Oh, 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 I'm the Oogie Boogie Man. <laughs> Fucking love it. So good. Mother Miranda never lets me listen to this stuff. <laughs> Makes Lady Demetresque, that supersized bitch, upset. <sighs> there's no one, there's no one who likes me, Ethan. Sorry if people were expecting, like, a Cecil Pastra Podcast Episode 2. This just became Phil and Pastra Podcast. Sorry. Oh no, this is, this is even better. Like, I'm actually enjoying this. Sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm glad, because I kind of feel bad. Sorry. I kind of feel bad. I'm supposed I'm like, to be focusing on the game. No, I'm actually enjoying this a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm glad, because if you wanted us to shut the fuck up, I'd shut the fuck up. I hope yeah, you know sorry. that. <laughs> I'm having fun. I have no idea what you're talking about, though. Bohemian Rhapsody! Of course, fucking Heisenberg would love Oogie Boogie. Holy shit. Of course he'd listen to Queen! <sighs> <sighs> and my chemical romance, that one gets me the most. You know, Ethan, I was listening to oh. this Black Parade album, and I was thinking, wow, these guys really get me. They just like me what? for real. Just like me, for real, for real. Like Ethan every Winters. time, every time I'm thinking of this shit, of the <laughs> stupid shit, I'm just imagining the character with like fucking uh, like like i like i uh, like iPods and like fucking like like an uh, iPhone, like just listening in like a beach chair, just like <laughs> listening to the soundtrack while they while, while they see like the the, the 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 horizon and just thinking they're just like me for real. <laughs> oh. Fucking Heisenberg listening to Mother Mother, because once again, it's on here. Oh, he also listens to Cabinet Man from Lemon Demon. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. You really should have listened to my playlist, Ethan. You really should have done it. <laughs> Fucking Tally Hall turned the lights off. Okay, there's one in here for Heisenberg that I find hilarious, not because of how unfitting it is, but because of how fitting it is for him for a very specific reason. Mm -hmm. It's a song called Damn These Vampires. Azzy, Azzy, Pastra. Mm -hmm. Azzy, Pastra. You're yeah. both coming to the Resident Evil Lake Village stream. Please! We please. need to, we need to, at this it's point. It's my favorite game of all time, Phil. We need to, at this point. <laughs> I have played it, I am not kidding, over 11 times! Oh, fucking I hell. have... I have so many hours in that game, I could probably quote everything Heisenberg says right before he says it. <sighs> oh. Oh. That super-sized bitch. Super-sized bitch. <laughs> Ugly-ass psycho doll. And that He's moronic freak. Fucking Nicolas Cage impression. He sounds just like him. And he's supposed to be German? Like, I'm- I'm supposed to buy that this guy's fucking German? No fucking way. Like, fuck? No, but please, please, I- If I wasn't there for the RE Village stream, I'd be upset, man. Yup! <laughs> yup! I feel like I've earned that! Yeah, no, you kinda have to at this point. When Resident Evil 9 gets announced and there's like a release there or something, like, we're, we're gonna go through 7, 8, and then 9. Oh, hell yeah. Whenever, yeah, no, that, supposed... whenever that happens. Whenever the hell. Did you see, like, those fake leaks about Resident Evil Apocalypse? Apocalypse. That, that was floating around since the inception of Village. 
Like, I don't yeah. believe that shit for a second. I don't believe it for, like, sec a second at all. I, I believe the title Apocalypse because it's just dumb for Capcom to grab it, but everything else, nah. No, I, I read the description, and I'm like, this sounds like a fan fiction. It's literally it's just, just fan fiction built off of the ending of eight. There's nothing new there. We got like, Chris as the main protagonist, and he's and he's going after the, what, what, what the uh, BSAA, and it's the scariest Resident Evil game to date. Like that's and, the that's the shit that because like you could also do the exact same kind of leak for the ending of seven, right? Yeah, like easily. it. No, like they're gonna come up with a new setting with a new type of monster. Like you're not gonna see that shit. The only reason why I believe that that, that village because there was a legitimate village leak with werewolves and shit like that, you know? Yeah, and like, exactly. And like, I believe that because it made sense with how Seven was all about like, uh, uh Texas oh, nice. Chainsaw Massacre horror and stuff like that. And like, I thought, okay, so what else is left after you do Saw, after you do Texas Chainsaw Massacre, after you do all that? Well, of course you go to Gothic horror, right? Yeah, it just makes sense. It just makes sense, so. Like, re like a, a proper leak for Resident Evil 9 has to have a new kind of threat, you know? It's not just, you're not just gonna go back to fucking Chris and the and fucking BSAA or shit like that. No, that's boring. Come on. And then the Mr. X Tyrant is back and there's zombies and, and it, it, it takes place in the, in the city of Raccoon. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and there's this guy named Simmons, right? And he turns oh. a T-Rex. I mean, yeah, like, okay, I would, I would understand the leak. I would, un I would accept that leak if it was from the time of Resident Evil Five, Six. You know, like that's the dumb shit that that kind of era of Resident Evil will give you, but not this one. You know, no, like they absolutely learned. not. They, they fucking they, learned. Like Ugh. even, even when Eight went into the dumb like actiony stuff, it still felt like it was different. Yeah. It Ugh. wouldn't be like that at all. Although I do find the idea of Resident Evil Apocalypse a goofy fucking name, and I want that really bad. No, they literally did that in the movies, and then they walked it back by it being a fucking simulation! Because uh -huh. it was so fucking dumb! Uh -huh. God, the Resident Evil movies. I could fucking talk about four hours about the Resident Evil movies, about how fucking stupid they were. I watched all of them! They fucking sucked! Mm -hmm. I don't know why I watched all of them! <laughs> When I watched the second Resident Evil movie and I saw how they explained Nemesis, I was livid. Fucking why, bro? They chose the lamest fucking loser on the planet. They were like, that guy, him. He has to be the ultimate weapon. He is the ultimate bioweapon. The ultimate bioweapon. And he's gonna fight the main character fisticuff style. Uh... <laughs> Are you excited for Death Island? I mean, uh, I have to watch it out of obligation, don't I? That, yeah, that's how I view it, right? Like that, Because, that's like, the that, there's all it. the warriors are there, you know? You've got the actual dream team. The You've dream got everyone. team. Rebecca fucking Chambers, Chris motherfucking Redfield, Claire Redfield, fucking everybody there. It'll be like the first time we see Jill and Leon teaming up, too. Uh, oh. Like. All right, here oh, we go, okay, buddy. Okay, 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 okay. Play it safe. Play it safe. Mm -hmm. Play it safe. Play it safe. Why put these here? That's so fucking mean. It's so cruel. <laughs> yes! Okay, 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 it's actually over. It's actually <laughs> over. You did it, you did it. And that's oh the podcast God. done. All right. Welcome everyone to the Fiznom podcast. We're, we're ending it off for tonight. Uh, we that's talked it. about playlists and... <laughs> Resident and, Evil. And Resident Evil. Here we go. Oh, yeah, here's the... Oh. Here's the cutscene that MatPat spoiled for me. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Father. Oh, this shit gets so much sadder, though. Total fails 170. Can't believe you did the Path of Pain twice. It wasn't even that difficult. No, it's not that bad. <laughs> All right, People so People use their shit when I say I did it like as a break from P5, but All right, so I 57? believe Yeah, uh Azazel wanted to show you that, but was there an item you got after that? I... There should have been 
was there like check your inventory there's some kind of item that's connected to the path of pain that reveals some lore stuff it's a journal, journal entry. entry it's a hunter's journal entry go to that Where? I was like, cheering I... for you, and I'm and I forgot that I I muted myself to not interrupt your podcast. What? Oh, so <laughs> shit. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... It should be at the bottom. Yeah, it's in the bottom. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's it's okay. No, no, sorry, no, no, we're no. sorry. <laughs> we kind of we kind of like completely took over that conversation. Sorry. Yeah, I mean this is your street. I know, but come on. Oh, 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 hold on. Grim, master of the Grim Troop. Through dream I travel at Lantern's Call to consume the flames of a kingdom's fall. Also, it's falling kingdoms. Yeah, he goes to collect flames from, like, places where many people have died. Oh, fuck. And that's why he went to Hollow Nest after. Fuck. The Nightmare King, twisted specter of Scarlet Flame. The expanse of dream in past was split, one realm now must stay apart. Darkest reaches beating red, terror of sleep, the nightmare's hearts. <laughs> He's the coolest thing ever. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The light, forgotten. The plague, the infection. The madness that haunts the corpses of Hollow Nest. The light that screams out from the eyes of this dead kingdom. What's the source? I suppose mere mortals like myself will never understand. Seal of Binding. Intricate seal of ancient design, used to contain a powerful force or to preserve something of great importance. Hmm. You got that specifically after beating Path of Pain. Mm -hmm. Oh, this game is fucking awesome. I know, right? This game is fucking cool. Are you crying? <laughs> Hmm? Are you crying? I can hear somebody sobbing. I'm not- I'm not crying, I'm just... Okay, that part makes me a little emotional. <laughs> ah. Cause right. that implies- that implies that the Path of Pain was created by the Pale King literally wanting to seal away memories of his lost son so he didn't have to grieve. Oh, The boss saw- the boss saw actually meant something. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's called the Path of Pain. Oh, because it's, it's his pain of abandoning his son after oh. he grew to love him. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's that... why it plays the sad part of the Hollow Knight's theme because in that moment he's remembering his father just like his father's remembering him. Oh, fuck. It's right. time so to sad, man. It's time to speedrun. Uh, okay, travel to King Station. I'm doing this, we're doing this fast. Go into the statue to the left. Uh, to the um, city of tears, the middle of it. First to go through the down. Wait, why? Oh, you're ready. Just in case. You didn't change your armor. Actually, ah. Pastra, as Matt Pat said, the path of pain is him regretting his life choices and being reborn as the knight. I fuck off. I fuck off. I, I just <laughs> listen, off. listen. Okay, uh, mods, mods, weird name on my side, right? As always, Ben. This person plays forever. Yeah. Mwah. I'm a mod. <laughs> okay. Pastra, Ben. This person forever plays. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait for real? Vanish. No, no, no. I wouldn't do that. I would do that. Anyway, mods, please do that. Wait, somebody actually get a All right, man. statue? Wait. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Okay, to the left and to the sewers. Wait, somebody actually got fucking... Wait, somebody what? got actually timed out, Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I think that person actually got timed out. Oh my gosh, Nick. Of course it's been Nick. Okay, oh, Nick. <laughs> okay go right. to the left. Okay, go to the left. Oh my god. Thank you, Nick. It's funniest business that I work at. Okay, now... Oh shit, okay, go down? Hmm? 
Okay, and somebody somewhere on the left. Okay, going down from here. Mm. I'm gonna spoil the members on the stream. Quick splash would be more useful than grab song. Grab song and the where? And okay, gr okay, gr uh, fucking quick splash next to nails and take away the soul thing here. Yeah? All right. Okay, love down. This stream is awesome, by the way. Thank you for being down, here. Down, down, down! Thank you so much for having me. It's been lovely. So, we're, so okay, so we have the left. That must be a broken wall. Like a wall that you can break. Yep. Opa. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, the hard part starts. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Up. To the right, be careful, those creatures took a little bit more than they should. Oh, fuck. Uh, up. You can dash through them, by the way. Left. Go a little bit to the right and break the ground. No, okay, you will hear. Oh, to the right. We will hear. Alright. Oh, this place grosses me out so much. Oh, yeah. Ew. Left, left. Oh! <laughs> I. Okay. We are almost there. And yeah, we're here. Mm hmm. No. And crystal dash from there. There's another character we can talk to. Do not worry, there's nothing. Just crystal dash from there. There's another character we can talk to. Nah, there's another stream. I actually climb up. I actually climb. Actually, fuck it. Uh, climb do the parkour on the right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright. I'll hold it. Here's what you do. Like, I love how the entire stream I was just a map. Just fucking didn't love. Turn right. Ratatouille. Right. I love how in the background yeah, of that area you were just in, you can see the fungal waste and all the monsters. Little grubby guys. Oh, these things. Kill them. Okay. Somewhere... So I hear that must be a break breakable breakable environment. Okay. There's a shortcut to the name master. By the way, if you kill name master, he will swing the pit below. Okay, so I have right. Good thing that we fucking got the tr the good ending for those guys. Well, I am so happy you didn't kill him. Hello? Gla gla, grow and grow, nice and wet. Mother's glow, so angry, so angry. Okay. Honestly, I don't remember what's her fucking deal, so I'll just leave. Oh, okay. Maybe Bash can explain this, but I can't. I she's just, I have she's no just idea. There. Like, she just exists. She's a just, fluke. Just 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 a little thingy. I mean, I know this. I I want to believe I know her like more well, but she's just there, like, like. Cool hairdo, I guess. Mm. Okay. Right. Uh, Crystal. Yeah, look at all those little things in the background. By the okay. way, uh, this is the perfect. Here, uh, hold draw, on a second. Draw, okay. But well, one last thing. Uh, just, it's kind of late to be talking about this late, like this late into the game. But can I talk about how fucking amazing the parallax is in like most of these areas? Look, yeah, right. Look at the layers of parallax in the background. 
for those that do not know what parallax is basically uh, to make depth in a 2d environment you need to have like multiple layers in a background scroll at different speeds look at the stalactite uh, stalactites like in the ceiling look how individual stack stalactites have different scrolling speeds to simulate depth in this environment look how fucking crazy that is and it goes so far back too. You can see it's even there with like some of those like floating balloon enemies. Yes. Anyways, it's all right. insane. Drop it looks, down. It, drop down. So much to to drop down. And left. Drunk pit. We can open those chests, by the way. Oh, nice. Money. Money. Geo. Uh, oh. And yeah, this thing. A cocoon chained with a simple lock. Use the simple key. Yeah. All of this creature also like goes into fucking the world. Hello? <laughs> Get fucked. God tuner. Device that resonates with beings of great power. Seek the gods of Hollow Nest. Tune their power through their strength. Ascend. What? Uh, the weird little yeah. doodad. Is that right? Like oh, yeah. Glows bright upon defeating mighty foes. Do, you, no. do we go into him? Well, then, man, to my PTSD. <laughs> oh, this is the Pantheon. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, good for the people in the middle of the night watching this. Yeah. Blasphemy. Rank blasphemy. Yeah. The crawler, the cringer. <laughs> the smallest of the small. Motherfucker just called you cringe. But what? Those thou trespass here in this home of the gods. Shrivel away. Be gone. Be gone. Hey, Chad, cringe mode. I don't want to be called cringe. You fucking at cringer. Uh, 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 is this gonna be the place that God home? Hello it's there. Place, this is the place that will fucking. Uh, this is gonna. This is gonna be the next set of streams when when we do the members only streams. Dude, mm -hmm. I, I, I will be there, One, but my therapist also will be there. Two. Three. Oh, oh no. Go down, go down. Okay, you can actually save from the bench. Yeah, there's a bench up there. Oh. No, it's just the left. There's a bench. Oh, the fucking god bench. <laughs> what the fuck is in the map for this? Oh, the way to this place in Suris. Yeah, it's it's just the way here. All right. You're in a dream. Hey, go right. Oh, do it. So many. No, go down then. This thing will look better. Go to the left. Go inside. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh. Mm. All of mm. gods. Frost Mother, Venge Fly King, Rooting Moloch, False Knight, False Champion. Everyone's here. Mm -hmm. oh. There's oh. some ones that I haven't fought yet. Yeah, those ones you haven't defeated. Huh. Uh, okay, okay. Walk around. Okay. Oh. oh. Yeah, these are all them. All the bosses that we defeated on our journey. And you can rematch them all. Not even that one. Even the big moss charger. Like, everyone is here. Everyone is here. What yeah, I, ha I, had, I had this. Okay. This was more or less what I thought the Pantheon was. Dude, it's not the Pantheon. What? Yeah, this isn't the Pantheon, this is just the Hall of Gods where you can rematch characters um, and adjust yeah. their difficulty to make them harder. Yeah, this is just the training arc. This is not the Pantheon. Yeah. 
Oh, Treat shit. this like a training room. This ain't the Pantheon in the slightest. Yeah, oh, okay. Shit. Th this is no fucking. No fucking. Not even King Sout. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Go up. Okay. Okay, if you will make the character on the left. Okay, stop. Ha! Ah. It's him! It's him, my baby boy! Okay, yeah, anyway. Okay, feel, we'll do the 57. Huh? 57, okay. Fuck, Buster, correct me, uh, fucking prove me wrong. Uh, you have to climb on the wall to the right. To I'm the right. Pretty sure you're right about that. Why are you opening them? Like, slowly, special, like, this is specifically waiting. Anyway, I said wall on the right. You can also save on the bench, yeah. Okay, wall on the right. Okay, wall on the right, then we have to dash to the left. Fuck, I do hope I remember. Ow. Okay, cl climb the wall on the right. And we have this... Okay, dash... Dash, double jump, like you have to... Okay, actually, okay, crystal dash and step like... Okay, okay, oh, how do I explain this? Go to the left a bit. And step somewhere, like, around, like, when you see... Like, or somewhere around green. Like, I might, I might actually just give you the legit eh? tutorial. Hmm... How do I explain this? Let me just give you the actual tutorial for that, because I will not be able to explain this with my level of English. Yeah, I'd like, no fucking clue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not knowing English well. Here. Mm hmm? I'm sorry oh. for not knowing oh, English Oh, 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 oh. I'm doing my best. Okay. Eh? Oh? I think you have to break. You have to break, break it. Come on. Okay. Okay. You, you got this. Oh, there uh -huh. you go. It's a breakable wall. The fuck Ooh. is this? Okay. Bitch. Break. <gasps> Dream nail. Why? What? <laughs> no. This is more questions that y'all should ask. Dream nail. Oh no, challenge, I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Why? <laughs> Why not? You are not ready for this shit. Oh. Hello? Uh, okay. Final boss? Yeah, yeah basically. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh. oh. It, it's really, Kill as many it as you can! Dude, it's literally fucking eternal. <laughs> Huh? And remember, okay, okay, remember the best super rules that oh. Zod made? The 57 precepts? Oh my fucking god. Guess what? 57 of them? Yep. Oh, no, this is actually, god. this is actually Jono. Fucking meme tier shit. Dude, developers know what, what we are. <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect end, of, end to the stream, actually. I, okay, oh, I, you know what I love? Like, we talk about, like, yeah, only a few characters get a full screen title reveal. Oh my fucking yeah. god! And there's new zotes! New zotes! Ah, shit! My advice do not die because, the like, only... we... Because me and Pasha was preparing you for the best end of the stream. Like, best, best. There are only three characters in the entire game that have a full screen name reveal Nightmare King Grim, Radiance, and fucking, fucking Soats! Soats. 
The only three. Oh I'm my gonna... fucking god! Okay. You were actually halfway through, so yeah. So that's the final hour of the stream. Fucking so. All right. Let's go. I've actually, I actually have to do so much extra work to actually get this here. Holy shit! This is so extra. This is stupid. I have no idea why they made it. I have no idea how they found it. <laughs> yeah, who found this shit? Like, somebody was- I mean- like, The eternal I like the person ordeal. who said wow so hard sarcastically in chat. <laughs> Fucking music! No, no, no. If you yes. ever do a game, can this just be like a fucking main game thing, but just you saying like nah, 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 Oh, the misery. No. 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 That's a Zote theme. Everyone wants to be my enemy. Arcane's theme is Zote's theme. Yes. Dude, I imagine dragons. Yes. I mean, it's actually a good song. The, the, the is? problem is, the problem is people fucking memed it to death. Gone pond a lot, feel it gives you life frames. You know, I love that this implies because, like, you know, got home. They took all these like different bosses through the game that were like strong enough to, uh, you know, be in this godly world. This implies that they saw Zote and they were like, "Fuck it." Dude, believe his own hype. You gotta respect his own that. Hype that they believed it. You gotta respect that. He says he's a god, he's a god. I mean, he's a god of gaslighting because he gaslighted himself, the fucking god seekers. Maybe he's actually. The god seekers, and he's awesome. No. Big fan. Sure. I don't even know yeah. the lore for these guys. There's no lore, there's just so. No, no, like, I like, I, I don't know what the fuck a s god seeker is. This you actually learn the story at, as you do the pantheons. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, there's gonna be a memories. Oh my god. What the fuck? Ground pound a lot. And you're dead. Fuck! A tiny soul <laughs> killed me. <laughs> oh, you actually, you're actually so fucking close. 30 out of 57. Halfway through. Yeah, you actually surprisingly do Yeah, that. we might be able to finish everything. We didn't do the fl fragile flower quest. Oh well. Yeah, well. You couldn't oh, well. do everything, right? You can't do everything, but I, I can how, I can fight so. I love how priority is between uh, like fucking forbidden love and fighting this fucker, aka flesh painting the entire fucking chart with the white screen is more prioritized than forbidden love. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, I understand your argument, but counter argument, I love him. <laughs> counter argument, you play lead. Counter argument, you read Homestuck. Counter you will never, yourself. you will never be able to beat that. I'm sorry. Okay. You Both will never be able to beat that. Both of your FNAF fans. No, no, I'm sorry, no. I would take no, the FNAF fan any day over Homestuck. Okay, 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 okay. Not even Shut Mad, pa not okay. even Mad Pad dares to touch Homestuck for anything. Okay, listen, listen, Phil, you also read fucking the whole stuff. Yeah? Huh? I don't feel proud about it. I also don't feel proud about it. I'm not here judging other people's tastes. <laughs> yeah, you see, here's the thing, right? You don't have to be proud of it, but you can't go judging me for playing League. <laughs> I mean, okay, you spend money on League. Did you? Oh. No, I'm playing. This is the point. I never play lit, and I never spend this fucking penny on fucking Valorant. I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't have skins, but this is my customer money. I'm just this is just paid me that way. Either sure. way, it's okay, okay. Whatever I'm helps you sleep tonight. at night. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> man, man, and man, Assy, you really are a riot. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I don't blame her. I don't blame her for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, between that and your five nights of the Pale King, you are on a track record of shit this stream. Shit list. I'm surprised you came back. Uh. <laughs> ah, shit. Fucking lanky one just He's just me. singing his own theme. I love him. Did he sing the fucking endgame theme? I heard da 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 Wait, you're so close! You're so close! You're so close! I know, I know, I know, I know, hold on. Be careful. This is fucking stupid, I love it. Dude, I fucking heard the Avengers theme there too. Wolf. But I'm not the you only might, one. If, if, you might have heal. This guy is stealing all my shit. Fuck! Ah! Oh, fuck. He was so the little guy spawned in front of me. Okay. Mm, One last try. Order... Last? Come on. I heard him say da da da. Fuck. He actually hit me, motherfucker. Hey, well... You hit me. You actually hit me. Oh, kinda. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Like, you should. Dude, I really want you to do that. The eternal ordeal. I should have some time, so. Yep. Someone in chat just asked me a question that, like, I've been dreading. Yeah? Somebody said to Pastra, how would you feel if MatPat did a film theory on dreams of an insomniac? Oh, boy. The thought of that is horrifying. I mean, the point that if you're gonna say it is, isn't everything pretty linear in the dreams of insomni? It's a pretty linear story. There's a part of me that would be like, yeah, that would be fucking awesome, because you know, it's such a big channel covering covering my little series. But then there's also the part of me that's like, can't say the dumbest shit. <laughs> Mad Pat reformed. No. <laughs> no. Hey guys, I made a theory that actually makes sense. Hey guys. This is so cool. Fucking hate. I told you to grump on them. Because you will have, have fucking eye frames. And you probably did, most likely. Nah, you guys gotta believe in the heart of cards. <laughs> I can't get over the lanky one. He scares me. <laughs> lanky Lang, is that you? It's, oh, it's Lanky he came Lang. Back. Oh my god. These streams finally came full circle. I just don't like the actual just like noodle that dangles from the ceiling and spits shit at you. Like, this, this is a whole ass creepypasta. They're okay, so fucking right. radiant. The radiance plague ain't gonna shit on this. Oh, speaking of fucking creeper pasta, this is not a creeper pasta, but, uh, oh. like... Uh, I just checked myself into in the mirror. I have fucking red eyes. Great. Shit. Sorry. I feel myself... Actually, no, I will actually, like, I know this, like, out of canon, but I'm still working on my fucking... Dreams and then something like a fucking OC. I sound like a fucking... Like, this is my honor to OC you. But I'm still working on my character. Maybe I will add them red eyes and just say this character is so looking so much. Like, this character is now fucking blinks and this way and actually plays a lot of leads. Oh. Oh. What the fuck, it's evil. <laughs> Come on, don't do me like that. Okay, I will actually do something to the Lord. Like, I already had ideas, but it's like, if it's like super fucking off canon or if it's stupid. Which can be fun. I mean, like, I can tell you don't have to have yellow eyes as like a rule. They don't have to. I just generally design them like that. 
Yeah, I understand. This, I like how like, all the rules is like is basically like yeah, have stripes, have red, uh, have yellow eyes, great. Get now, get okay, it. Have, the, the, the rules I had when I designed that species was literally stripes, yellow eyes for the most part. One of them doesn't. And their color, they, they, their color schemes have to be complementary to whatever character they're supposed to go with. That's basically it for the most part. Wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 okay, time to fucking, uh, German's off and something can reveal. So they have to go in pairs, like, some sort of, like, you said, complex the characters to go with? Yeah, I have, I have six cannon belt again, and all six of them, um, are, like, they work in pairs of two. So, and all of the, all of the pairs of two that I've designed have complementary colors to one another because I'm a fucking obsessed with color theory. <laughs> Oh, fuck off! You have to use colors! Oh, this is like evil. Yeah, colors are important to the actual designs. Ah. Very, very important. Oh my god, I am fucking- I, I am I... so sorry. I only just clicked in. I hope people generally forget that I'm colorblind and like, Wait, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I, I- Look, I'm sorry, I forgot! I didn't mean to! Oh my fuck. <laughs> But I might actually have an idea because I already have. Okay, fuck time for me to speak about my OCs. I have an idea of the character that will kind of like, like fucking either like share like the uh, two personal, just either like bipolar or something. Just you know, like my sh my team is a sheep and stuff, right? I was thinking to do like a sheep in a wolf club, and like this is gonna be just two characters, and, and now they're gonna wear the skin of other. But this is just a theory. Dreams of insomnic theory. Sounds fucking cool. Like, I have to work on design a lot, especially if it has colors. The colors aren't all that important. But you see, the thing is, like, I, I want people to be very flexible when they make, like, you know, characters of my species. Those are just Oh, you're so close! Design you're so design. close! Oh, so yeah, you're. Oh, don't say that. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, one more, one more. Yes! All right, all okay, right. Okay, okay. Now perish. Shot. Yes. This is all we need. Can't take me alive. Guys, it's actually going to be the end of the stream. You won't take me alive. No shit, you gonna go for party number? Take down as many as you can. Oh. oh. The regular zote that ended it. <laughs> okay. Like you can go and session, leave to the main menu. Just just leave, please. It's time to end it. It's been oh, quit, okay, almost quit twelve hours. We okay, quit to the 11. menu. Quit Let's to go. the menu. Hello? <laughs> well, Da 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 da. Thank you everyone for this amazing series of streams. Thank you so much for joining my takeover. Thank you so much, Buster, for joining. <sighs> thank you so much for Phil for like existing, I guess. And thank you so much for all your donations. You all those donations will go to my Prime Lasbit Bank. <laughs> You bitch, you fucking tried to hype up Path of Pain so fucking hard. I completed that shit in a second. I won! I won, Asaisal! Fuck you! I won! You did some of the shit that we thought you wouldn't be able to. I'm out of here! <laughs> see ya! Yeah, see ya, motherfuckers! On the anyway. next Hollow Knight stream, when we do the Pantheon. Oh, this fucker. Boy. Okay. Uh, I will hype up. I will hype up this so you'll get called here. If you, if you beat Pantheon Five on like your first couple of tries, I'm never showing my face on the internet again. <laughs> I'll see. 
Pasha, Pasha, fucking same. I will do the face review apology for face on. <laughs> I will fucking record the script like one hour apology. Like I'm so sorry. Like yada yada yada, and I'll just vanish from it. That's a like, fucking nothing. motivator. All right, see you both when we do the Pantheon. <laughs> I'll see you then. It's been a wonderful stream. Bye bye. Bye bye. Goodbye, everybody. Oh god. Oh man. This was awesome. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> fucking awesome. Oh, it's three in the morning. <laughs> bye bye. It's, it's nine a.m. And this game fucking rules. It's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. Let's let them listen to the amazing music. Shut the fuck up, Phil. Bye bye. Shut up, bitch. I won. <laughs>